again. Uh, like I'd say like six or seven months back, there there's a these people that put out a animated show called Murdoch Murdoch. Okay. And they had a clip of Sargon in it. Um and it's him basically getting a big head <laughs> and getting full of himself, trying to be a politician, uh, surprisingly. And um there's this clip where he he turns into like the Akira baby monster at the end and mm-hmm. he starts screaming, Sargon needs more dopamine. And I thought that was I thought that was funny as fuck. So I retweeted that. And it, it like kicked off this sequence of events where his friend wanted me to come on stream and he he asked somebody else to ask me to come on and I don't know what it's about, so I go on the stream and there's Sargon in the chat just flipping his shit at me. So I tell him to get on and Sargon lays it out and he's like, Oh, oh Jim, you should have been a leader in Gamergate, you were a coward, and uh, you need to do this and this and just all this really pompous bullshit. Uh and so that that's kinda I guess what you know, I'm amazed. I see Sargon constantly saying things in the chat. Bring him in. He seems to be rather I'll, talkative. I'll, I'll message him, all right? Sure. I mean, I'm sure he's going to get the message. He'll hear me saying this right now, so he'll check Skype. I'll send him a message over on Skype. The thing is, Jim, is that, like, you know, I... I just think you're you're going a little bit too far with this. Like, I, and too I realize that... what? I'm not on anybody's side. If I think something is dumb and gay, I'm gonna fucking laugh at it. I don't care if it's you or the alt right or anybody else. If it amuses me, I'm going to laugh at it. This Fair amuses enough. me. You're free to do so. I'm not telling you you can't. Do so it. how am I going too far? Like, uh, uh, too far in what direction? Laughing at you? I just think that you're like you're taking advantage of something you're misunderstanding, and then you're you're misconstruing it, and it's just weird. Oh, and it's we like, I don't want you to do the it. Man like, of the hour. All right. Oh, Jim, you sound, uh, you sound kind of rustled. What's going down? I, I don't know. Did you send Lewis here to talk to me because I was making fun of some dumb shit? No, I he wanted to talk to, to you. Because, you know, Sargon, I noticed you did the same thing with V when he got pulled into something I, after, I, I you, after you told him not to do it, and then he ended up in there, and then you were in the comment section talking. I don't know. That's a little weird. It's a little Jim. coincidental. Jim, I, I talked to my mis- friends. Mysteries Jim. of the universe. Jim, I talked to my friends. Is that okay with you? I, I don't know. I don't know. You don't know if it's okay I talk to my friends. I don't know. I don't know if I should give you permission or not. Well, Jim. That's the thing that you're going to have to come to terms with, isn't it? So, Sargon, what's with the fucking fart huffing? Well, I think Louis explained it. Well, you, you can know, explain it, because he does, does he speak for you? Yes, he's my minion. Yeah, he's not yet. Member. He's got to pay me. The check hasn't cleared yet, so I'm waiting. <laughs> Jim, what, honestly, are you not, like, watching your own reaction to this? Yeah, all I know is I'm making some jokes on Twitter. I get pulled in here. You're in the comment section, yeah, and you now you're in the call. Here, didn't you? I mean, like, this is so weird. Like, should we just let the SJWs carry on unopposed? Because it would be. Oh my uncool. God, Sargon! Yeah, we need the freedom fighter of Sargon of Akkad to go win the West for the world. Uh, we don't. Without then. you, Are you saying without you, we'll be in shackles, Sargon. Social justice, buddy. With, without you, we'll be in shackles. We need you to save us. Probably not. We can do this. The greatest weaponization no, again. But- SJW that's the thing. It, at, least he's, at least he wants to do something, and that's that's <laughs> all I think is something. It's all I'm recognizing here is that he's one of the few people that actually wants to try something, and I'm like, good, let's do it. Like, what's that's wrong with that? Great. And that, like I said, point. I find it funny how he's going about it, and I find the name to be funny. It's the only one I could think of. I mean, it logically makes sense, and it's not already taken. So, you, why didn't you go with individualist? Because it's a description of what a liberal is. It's, it's a component of liberalism. Yeah. I mean, you <laughs> well, don't see, no, no, Jim, you, is a bit Jim, on the nose, honestly, honestly when, when someone who understands political philosophy explains to you why, like, being shocked that a group of individualists can form a group, you're going to feel really dumb. I'm, I'm not even joking, man. Oh, it's, my God. Do I need to read more? Do I need to read some more Locke to get up on your level? <laughs> To get up yeah, on your level and understand things not, better. It's it's not like my level. It's just what the things mean. This this yeah. is pretty basic, man. Like it, it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> it's it's, it's why I wanted to talk to you. It's really why I wanted to. Talk I don't to think you. so, Lewis. What I what I think Jim, is that you didn't like me making fun of this, <laughs> and so this is this just comes across as really. It's uncool. <sighs> it's gay. totally uncool, dude. It's it's. I don't get me wrong, right? I agree with you. It is the lamest fucking thing. You are way cooler than this, and I don't know why you're wasting any of your time on it. Well, because I was invited. The quartering said Lewis wanted to talk, so I was like, all right, I'll pop in. Well, he did. He did. I mean, you know. Yeah. But, uh, seriously, though, it's totally fucking lame. I agree mm. with you. 
Okay. Well, th this was educational, well, sir. Go, sure, did you want to tell people sure what you did believe? Because I know you were going to change the world with your SDW and... videos. I, I look forward really to you winning the West. Are you running away? I, I said I look forward to you winning the West. I'm giving you congratulations. You I'm you so in your camp. That's the thing, isn't it? You agree with what I believe. No, I don't. Because I oh, think what it's do dumb that? what you're doing. I think that this organization, no, 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 the monopolization of your YouTube videos is fucking retarded. Not my method of action, but what what I believe you agree with, don't you? Okay, list your beliefs off. Let's go down the list. Sure. Uh, I think we should okay. have individual rights. We should have freedom of opportunity. We should have access to markets, personal res responsibility. I mean, are there any mm -hmm. things here that you're disagreeing with? Well, is there anything that specifically nails that down as liberalism? Is it, com you know, like compared to conservatism? Yeah, political philosophy, current, commonly known as liberalism, yeah. Yeah, I'm saying what differentiates what you just said in the vaguest of terms from conservatism? Conservatism is a variant of liberalism. It's like a modern uh, bifurcation of it. But the problem, I don't think you, I mean, you must understand that we're currently facing people who, the, the, I mean, the reason I'm talking about it on these like basic principle level is because the people we're dealing with disagree on the basic principle level. And That's what, what people are you disagreeing with? Because you talked about your enemies in that video. So who are your yeah, enemies? The SJWs and the alt rights. Any, any so the all, okay, wait, no, no, no. So the alt right is your enemy. Yeah. Have you not looked at the way they treat me? <laughs> did they not treat you kindly? Do you think they did? I I don't know. People is talk shit on the internet all the time. I get, I get shit talked right? about on the internet all the time. Well, that's that's good. I don't I don't do that as much. You don't get shit talked. No, oh, well, I get shit talked all the time. I just don't spend too much time indulging in it. Oh, okay. okay. So. <sighs> Are, are you seriously, what, what, like, with, what with beliefs crowds? do you have that are inconsistent with, like, well, just the sort of classical enlightenment liberalism? What do you well, hold? Okay, okay. now this is what I'm more curious about now. now. Now I'm interested. So you're going to counter the SJWs, but what are you going to do? I just asked a question. Do you mind answering it? I'm not going to answer another question. I just want you to answer one. Okay, what this is your say, big say fear. Your question again. Say your question again. Sure. What personal beliefs do you hold that conflict with the sort of standard in understanding of enlightenment liberalism? Well, if you give me some vague definition, I would say none then, right? I mean, we can use vagaries and not get into specific oh. policies. Individual rights is great, but give me more okay, to bite okay. into. No, that's a great, no, that's that's a great that's idea. Because they disagree with Because there are loads of people who think that individual rights aren't great. Yes. That's the fucking <laughs> point. Yeah, I'm glad we agree on that, buddy. Oh, okay, fantastic. Now let's get back to my question. You said you're going to counter SJWs, but the alt-right is also your enemy. So yeah. what are you going to do to counter them? Nothing. They're irrelevant. So if they're irrelevant, why are they counted amongst your enemies? Because they people are the people who oppose me. Oppose you or liberalism? Me and liberalism. Are you the group? Is it is it like your I, I thing? The group. All right, say that again. You cut out a little. I, I personally am not a group. No. No, no, but you said you know. I said you define them as our yeah, enemies. I know what you're trying to do. I know that you think this is like you think that I'm. I'm, I'm asking you really simple questions. You, you said our I enemies, and you, you listed them as SJWs and alt right. And yeah. then when I said you know, what are you going to do to counter them? You're like, well, they're mean to me. It seems to be specific well, no, to you. I didn't say that they were mean to me after you said what are you going to counter them. Um, I, what am I like? What I'm going to do to counter them is just advocate like they do. Hold conferences, talk to people, try and put across a set of principles that are more positive than, you know what, it's okay to say fuck white people. I think that's a good start, don't you? <laughs> sure. Oh, I'm glad, glad we're on agreement there. Because I was honestly wondering that you didn't. I mean, it's like this cool kid well, on I, the I internet. I don't know. I mean, I have been hanging out with Motex adorable. a lot, and he is the king of SJWs. I mean, he does run something awful. I might have gone full that? goon. What's that? Sorry, who was that? I said I have been talking a lot to Lotex and hanging out with him. I don't know. He's the the leader of something awful. Maybe I've gone full goon. Maybe I've turned SJW on you. Maybe okay. fuck white people and fuck Trump. Okay. <laughs> I would I would love for you to stop making content like that. <laughs> but but Sargon, I, honestly, and I, I don't know if anybody else is going to tell you this, so I'm just going to tell you this honestly. I I, I know what you're going to say. It's cringy. I know. No no. I I, I just think you're getting a little high off your own ego. Yeah, and the thing some is, of the comments I would agree with you. If like everyone wasn't calling me the leader of something, and I was like, I'm not the leader of something. 
everyone's like, yeah, you are the leader of something. And now we're going to act like you're the leader of something. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll just be the leader of something. And everyone's like, oh, you can't do that. That's up your own ass. I'm just doing what people are telling me that I am. And that's fine. I'd rather not do any of this. I've honestly, I cannot wait to do my shitty video games. You just have no fucking idea how much that calls to me. But at the moment, I, I mean, I heard Louis explaining to you like the depth of the problem of SJWs, and I don't think you're ignorant of, of it anyway. And so you're something like acting like this is something I, I want to do, and it's really not. I well, really Sarah, you're, 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 you're a proud individualist, right? I mean, you make your own decisions. Why are you letting peer pressure pull you into a direction you don't want to go? You don't know what an individualist means? <laughs> Sarkin, I'm saying, why are you letting a group dictate to you what you're doing? Because I'm not like, I'm not like a Randian objectivist. I'm not so, an no, anarchist. Sarkin, you're you're I telling me with, you like, don't want to so do it. Why are you letting them pressure you into doing it? Because it needs to be done, Jim. That's fucking why, mate. Do you know they in my country they are teaching four year olds about being transgender or not? Yeah, I can imagine that's probably going on in a lot of places. You think that's a good idea. Uh, no, I, I would not think that and was a good maybe, idea. Maybe maybe someone should stay do something, right? But I mean it wouldn't be I wouldn't want to be uncool. So nobody's speaking out against that. Fucking no, mate. Honestly, you get nobody speaking out against transgender four year olds. You will find, I don't know, some conservative politician somewhere who gets roundly lambasted on social media, but they don't know anything about the underlying philosophy. They don't understand any of this. That's, I mean, that's the real issue. You talk about conservatism, Jim, but it's like, yeah, what the fuck is conservatism doing? What have they done other than lose and lose and lose and then get Trump elected and then that's it, at least in the United States context? What are they doing to combat any of this shit? At all. I have no fucking idea. Nothing. My prime minister is a conservative, and the other day she comes out calling for gender equality in the workplace or some shit. It's like you're not a fucking socialist, bitch. You should you're you are the opposite of what you are currently advocating for, at least in name. And it's like, dude, you know, you can sit there and what you know, like make fun and go ahead. I don't care. But like to suggest that something doesn't need to be done is weird to me. Mm. I, I don't know. It's just the timing of this strikes me as odd, man. I mean, you, you had the, the stream with Spencer, and mm -hmm. he made fun of you for not being as smart as you think you are. And then the Murdoch Murdoch video came out. That's a bit of an ironic statement, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, true. And then the Murdoch <laughs> Murdoch video came out and mocked you, uh, you know, for literally becoming an Akira baby. Okay. And, uh, I'm you know, the, very the, the, stepfather, the stepfather meme that's going around. And, and, okay. and it's, just, it's just weird. It, it almost seems he like they're they're saying you're too dumb to do this, and like you're doing it just to prove them wrong. Maybe That's I why I find it. I should just don't do nothing. Well, you could. Just I mean, like their estimation is very important to me. So like I that. guess I should regulate myself accordingly. Is that what you're saying? Well, if you're so easily swayed by other people's opinions, I might as well throw mine out I don't out really there, think right? that's it, because how long have they been saying the exact same things? And like I yeah. said, this this goes back at least even a couple of years of just general vague, like antagonism. And it's like, okay, the, the things that the status quo is not currently working and the advocates that exist out there that are right leaning or more conservative, the only ones that have any real traction that I've seen are people like Paul Joseph Watson, who aren't exactly, in my opinion, like deep thinkers. Like I watch his channel. I like his channel. I, I like Paul Joseph Watson and he does have traction, but he's not actually getting into like the real difference in principles to what's going on here between the different sides. He just generally mocks the other side. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's, I don't think it's advancing anything that could actually correct the issue. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, like like I said, I, Sargon, I, I'm giving you an honest assessment. I think you're getting way too high off your own ego. I, I honestly I do. Hope, Based on your comments and some of your actions. I'm just telling you that. You can take it or leave it. That's up to you. No, but like, you know, I'm fine. And I, and, I, I, and I think this is cringy as fuck. And I think that yeah. if you, you know, perpetuate this for like six months to eight months, the amount of shit you got in the past is going to pale compared to what you're going to get in I the future. You That's really but like your your little echo chambers aren't everywhere. This is what, the thing. what echo chambers you guys are though? kind of. You, I I don't know how about half of the stuff you're talking about. So like mm -hmm. you know the, the whatever it is you're passing around about me, but like do you not think that passing that's around weird? about you? Yeah, yeah, whatever. You know, I, I don't care. Like. You know, you guys say whatever you want. I don't mind, like, you know. Well, if you don't know what I'm doing, then how would you know I'm passing around stuff about you? Because you just brought it up. So I'm Murdoch Murdoch now, and I'm Richard Spencer. Have you not, like, retweeted something of his? Well, you wouldn't know, would you? Maybe someone might have sent me something. Oh, so people are sending you information about what I do? Only once. 
Oh, just just the ones. Yeah. Okay. And what what was that information you got sent that I was well, that doing? Was the, the, this video of the baby thing, which is I'm sure completely completely reflective of what it is. I believe. Wait, wait a minute, dude. I'm not I just said that you put you that video up because of the Murdoch Murdoch thing, and somebody sent it to you, and then you put the video up. So I called that. Sorry, say again. I, I said that you know the Richard Spencer saying you were dumber than you think you are, and Murdoch Murdoch putting the Akira baby video out got to you. And now you're telling yeah. me somebody sent you the information that I tweeted that. And then after you get that information, you put the video up. So I was right. No, you weren't. This is just it, like, the, apparently you, I haven't watched your last video about crowd, but apparently you were clipping that in a weird way as well. This is, you want, Jim, honestly, it's really weird watching you desperately try to make something of this, but it's actually not. What did I desperately try to make out of crowd, Sargon? What did I desperately you, try to make you, out of crowd? Think there's a narrative here. I didn't know about any of this. I've been spending. Sargon, you just and... you're like I don't know what you do, Jim, and then you say, "Well, people are sending me information about you, so stop yeah, fucking lying." What did I twist that's about crowd? Really right, that doesn't give me a comprehensive understanding of the things you're doing. I don't spend very much amount. Of oh, time I don't know what you're doing, Sargon, but people are sending me information about what you're doing. Don't try that pill pull shit that on me, man. bitch. That is not fucking what bitch. You're doing. I'm being honest just with like, you. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know what Jim's up to when people send me information about Jim. Come on, don't lie so badly, Jim. Are you Step even trying? Are you even trying? Jim, Am I trying what? Look, you're fucking up left and right. Saying. What the Jim, fuck are you talking saying. about, Sargon? Think about what you're saying. I like, don't know what you're doing, Jim, but people are sending me information about right what you're doing. Just the once. Sure, buddy. Jim, sure. What is the importance of what you're saying right now? Because None you fucking all. lied, Sargon. Because you lied. It's so asinine, Jim. Well, then why, why would you lie about something shit? so petty, Sargon? Wait, it makes I know, no sense. That's the thing, Jim. You've made this narrative up, and now you're certain you're right. And I'm just sorry, Sargon, you're not right, man. Like, I was working on the video all day, but you've now myself. made it up in your head that you're completely correct, and I must be a liar instead of you being wrong. Sargon, you just is, told Jim. me you don't know what I tweet, and then you told me people send you information, so you do know what you I tweet. You referred to a massive body of work, Jim. A large amount of stuff that's what going around. What the fuck are you I talking about, about a massive body of work? My tweets are what people send you, Sargon. What is it? Why is this a point of contention? Because you lied, Sargon. I didn't lie, I'm just <laughs> Yes, you did. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, Jim, but people are sending me information about what you're doing. Seems like a lie to me. Yeah, a tweet, Jim. Okay, then why would you why you would you lie about, about it? it? You think that gives me a comprehensive knowledge of your Twitter history? All I know, dude, is the timing. You got that. You Br saw the brilliant tweet timing, tweet man. Brilliant you, timing. It, it, it could be exactly as you say, or it could be how I say, which is I was making the video in the time frame you're thinking of. I don't know, man. I'm sorry that you're not correct on this. Oh, God. Can, why do you do that insufferable chuckle shit like, when you think you're, hang hang on, you're right on, about something? On. It's so Jesus fucking annoying. Christ, it's hang on, it's hang so on. played out. You did it with Spencer too, and it was just oh cringy as God. fuck. Hey, hang on. Let me let me just say something in, in defense uh, of yeah, oh, the, the idea of organization or having more live meetups. And Sargon, I know that you can speak to this. That uh, it was probably well over a year ago, or maybe even longer, that you and I had a conversation about what can be done to organize and who could do it in terms of actually trying to do something that could be uh, some sort of political activism against the left or what would be the progressive left. Did we not yeah. at least have I, one I conversation? It was a year ago. I can't remember, man. Oh. Well, I, I, we, I, we, I, I don't know. We had a conversation about this a long time ago. To say that the timing is just spur of the moment is not true. This is something that has been discussed for a very long time with different people. That oh. one of the real issues is that the voices that are out there, and I could give you an example, Jim, of what mm -hmm. I compare this to. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I forgot what Douglas Murray did prior to him actually speaking out against Islam. I don't remember if it had to do with music or history or what. I can't quite remember. But he had something else that he did prior to him speaking out about Islam. But one of the issues with Islam was, or Islamism, was that no one else would speak out about it. And so then he took the initiative to speak out about it. Would you think that Douglas Murray is cringy because he decided to do something that no one else was doing, or at least not enough of people were doing? Did he brand himself as something when he did it? An anti-Islamist. <laughs> okay, because I mean, that he, was... Weird. I mean, he does speak about the actual, the, the real principles and the real values, at least in the UK, that are being lost. I, I Would it be cringy I if he called himself something? Would that be cringy? If he came up with some term like liberalist, yeah, it would be. 
Well, what, what's wrong with? I think he calls is himself a neocon. So different from socialist or feminist or what? It's just it makes me laugh, Sargon. Yeah, I know. It's because it's nerdy. It's, it's, it's sad. Laugh, right? huh? I, I agree, dude. I totally agree, right? And like, look, look can we can we not drop the egos for a minute? Because like, this is something that pisses me off so much. Because everyone everyone is accusing me of being like egotistical egotistical about all of this and i'm really not right i don't want to have to be doing these things i'm not interested in these fucking ego matches and it's it's not like i don't know that you do generally have political sympathies in my direction and it's fine it doesn't mean you have to join me i'm not trying to like steal your go-kart or something because that's really how this is coming across like i understand it's lame to have to do something to organize something to stamp something but if you're not going to do it, Jim, someone's going to fucking have to. Okay, so the, the mantle of leadership was thrust upon you, but you'll, you'll take it up. No, it was you, thrust you upon you, you, you pussy, and you shut your channel down? Yeah, I left Gamergate because it turned into a fucking hug box of pussies that were money-grubbing fucks that were using it to bank money. Yeah, so that's why I left. you should have done something about it, shouldn't you? Uh, well, the whole point during Gamergate... No, wait, the whole point during Gamergate was there was no leader, Sargon. Yeah, it I wasn't know. my place to step out and, and tell people lost. to get in it, line. It mm. lost. People have been looking to you for leadership for years. That was and... their fucking mistake. I yeah, was very was, clear. You're not a fucking leader. You're a coward. I, I was very That's clear. The problem. You, you are so afraid to stand for anything. Holy shit, you are so up your own ass. But you're the brave man, right, How Sargon? That's the inverse, up my own ass. This is that's the inverse of behavior. what you're saying, is it not, Sargon? That if I'm the coward for not doing anything, you're the brave man for doing no, something. No, no. it's People look to you, Jim, for some kind of... Any kind of leadership... Well, they're fucking retarded. The... I'm an internet troll. What the fuck are you guys on about? But his We're point was he ran away. With you, man. you that's ran away that's... from it. You and created yeah, a whole new channel and then opened a Patreon. And you're going to sit there and try to say to other people that they're fucking sellouts. Did I use money Game oh, no, no, no. Did I use Gamergate to get fucking dental work done, to get a new wheelchair, to pay my rent because my no Asian girlfriend kicked me out? No, no one's no, saying yeah, you're not pure. So don't compare me opening a Patreon after Gamergate to criticizing people using Gamergate to make money. That's a it's clear fucking wrong. mistake. It's not wrong what you do. Okay? We're not saying it's wrong. You're the one who's worried about it. I'm not worried about it, but you're trying to make it seem like, oh, that goes counter to what yeah, I said during Gamergate. You're saying that he's, people are looking to Sargon for some kind of activism. He says, okay, I'll do activism, and now you're saying there's something wrong with it. I'm saying it's fucking laughable. I didn't, I told you at the very beginning of this conversation, when we started this stream, that I didn't pass a moral judgment on it of being right or wrong. I said I found it funny, and I was laughing at it. Yeah, but you must be just be laughing at the concept of activism then, right? Yes, I, I think people generally that right, describe okay. themselves as activists are fucking retards, yes. I, yeah, okay, well, we agree, I agree. Activism is retarded, but unfortunately our enemy's doing it far better than we are. Oh, and, I mean, are you suggesting they're not anti-white male? I think that we can classify them as enemies at this point. I, I mean, Jim, like, seriously, like, these people are changing laws in, in multiple countries, yeah. and it's like you, like... I, I just don't like. I can't understand how you see this as something that is so easily dismissible. But did you know? I think you guys are overestimating stuff? your abilities. You're acting like, oh my god, we're gonna jump in and change the world. You're fucking I, YouTubers. Nobody Come fucking on. said that. Fuck we're probably gonna what? fuck it up. Yeah, and the, so I'm gonna laugh when that happens too. But great, that's great. And when you're not allowed on the internet because you're an alt right male, then it won't be a problem, will it? I, I guess not. I'll laugh about it in person as I relate the story to my children. <laughs> Okay. We'll have a chuckle about like, yeah. it. About I was the, the last background. cool kid on the internet, chats. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm going to tell him. I'm going to tell him I was the last cool kid on the internet. That's how you feel, though. Everyone can fucking see it. Oh, is that how I feel? Mm. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is something else to run away from. Yeah. So, so what the fuck are you talking about? I'm in the chat right now talking with you. I haven't run away from the fucking stream yet. Yet. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. You you know you shut down your channel because you didn't want to be the leader of Game Game because you were the de facto leader. And Did I okay. explicitly state, Sargon, you're not blind or stupid, I don't need right? you to during, explicitly during state Gamergate, it, man. Everyone During knows. Gamergate, Sargon, did I not explicitly state that I'm not a leader, that we probably shouldn't have leaders, that people should do what they want to do if you're good at digging, dig, if you're good at... What's that? Then if you state it, then people definitely aren't following you. Because, I mean, I've done enough of that myself, and people definitely aren't following me. Is that yeah, how it works? Sargon, it doesn't work like that, and you know it. About it. Come on, you know it doesn't work that way. Well, Sargon, here's the difference. People tried to force me into the position of leadership. I declined. You gave in. 
Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. You gave yeah. in. Yeah, because I don't want my son because... brainwashed with Franny's shit. I don't want them trying to turn him into a girl before he's even 10 years old. Yeah, I'm a fucking pussy that way, Jim. I think there's more involved than just you being forced into position. I think you like it a little bit. No, I fucking hate it. I've, I've literally for years been saying consistently, I just want to make my shitty games. But unfortunately, Jim, I can't just stand by and let this go on. And if no one else is going to do it, who the fuck's going to do it? Here's the thing, Jim. Wouldn't it be easier for him to just continue making like stupid, lame, anti-feminist videos and not do live events or anything? Wouldn't that be a lot easier? He already I, makes I a lot. Of I have no idea. I, I don't easy? do live events. Okay, I, don't well, know I can, how I can let you know it would be way easier. Well, you seem to organize this week in stupid in a live event pretty easily. Yeah, that's because I'm pretty good at organizing stuff, actually. Right. So it's not difficult for me. For other people, right. and it's only be and it's not. It's not difficult. It's just I'm good at that. You're good at organizing. I seem to organize This Week in Stupid pretty easily. Well, yeah, no, I'm talking about events. That was an event. Yeah, so, I mean, you're good at doing that kind of thing. Yeah, I'm pretty good at organizing, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, but you're, you're also saying that it's difficult to do this kind of stuff, but if it's easy it for is. you, it wouldn't be difficult, would it? <laughs> but would it be demonstrably easier yeah. to just make videos at home and then yeah, collect yeah, them? Do you even understand, that? like, it's not... It's relative. If someone can have a skill at something that is difficult, and so for them it's less difficult. I mean, th this is like levels of pedantry I can't even begin to describe, and you know that you think that what we're doing is actually ultimately going to be beneficial. No, I don't. I think it's fucking yeah. goofy as shit, man. That's why I'm it's laughing terrible. at it. It is goofy as shit, that's why. Man, I, I fucking cringe at the idea of going on stage. It was really difficult. It was, and the thing is, like, it wasn't the room, obviously. The room were fucking thrilled that I'd gone on the stage, but I fucking hated it. Because I never want to be the sort of fucking guy who sits there on a stage talking to people. I really don't. I totally understand where you're coming from. But unfortunately, I really think we're at a point where no one else is addressing this satisfactorily. And even if it's not fucking perfect, okay, I just want to make it good enough and I want to try and improve things. I'm just at that point now, man. It just comes across like a savior complex. Like, I, if I, I don't do it, too. nobody else is going to do it. I yes. have to save but the again, I'll, 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 I'll save the West. I'm going to press you on that. I'm going to press okay. you on that as well. Go back to Douglas Murray. Again, apply the same thing to him. Do you think that he's a I don't give a off? fuck about Douglas Murray one way or the other. Sure, why not? Sure, he, why not? He had a savior complex. Why not? Is everyone who wants to try and fix things someone with a savior complex? When you frame it in the way that if nobody else does it, I have to do it because nobody in the world is fighting this issue. It has to be me. But again, it's the truth is, is that people, the people that are out there, the conservatives that are out there that do not agree with the people that are on the left, they are doing fucking nothing and they have no efficacy. They, they aren't changing shit. So you guys are going to go out and change the world. I we try. It will be an attempt, yeah. I don't, know whether we're going to be I don't know whether we're going to be successful, but we're going to have to try and change something. Oh, man. <laughs> the SJWs did it, man. They changed the world. You know, it's not like... Well, all it is is ideas. All we just have to do is make convincing arguments and persuade people that maybe, just maybe, getting a child to self-castrate is a problem. Would it be wrong even in the end of if the, the, the best we can do, or the best Sargon can do is to influence politicians to whatever degree that is possible. Is that, is oh, that terrible? Oh, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> why, why is that crazy? Because I mean, that like, sounds so dumb. Hey, this YouTuber is going to influence that's politics. politics. Sounds... Dude, it's yeah, that's, politics. That's, that's just egotism. Come on, no, guys. Not. Come it's on. Politics. Jim, it's Jim so listen. fucking right? ridiculous. No, Jim, it's actually really, really likely. I mean, there's an MP in the Britain called Philip Davies. He already speaks at MRA conferences. Right, well, PewDiePie he had, what, 50 million subs? He still got shit on by the press, right? He's at a level way beyond so you. So fucking what? Yeah, so, so what? Like if you, the press you can influence do? politicians, why isn't PewDiePie's, you know, spiel about what, how the New York Times is treating him, how the Wall Street Journal was treating him? Why That's didn't a that political platform. Them? That's policy. That's an actual argument against anything other than fuck the press. Okay. It, it, this is just, no, seriously. This, seriously. Whole, this whole thing is absurd. I don't know how you two don't see there, that. There are already MPs who are engaging with YouTubers and things, and even smaller groups. I don't understand why you think this is a big deal. I, again, I find it funny, and I think the way you guys are looking at this is just way too serious and 
way too up your own asses and it's got a tinge okay. of egotism to it. I'm okay. giving you my assessment. I mean, you, you can take it or leave it, but no, that's no, how no. it appears to me. Okay. That's really how it appears to me. I'm not, okay. you know, fucking screwing with you. I'm telling you how it really I, appears. I believe you 100%, man. And this is the thing, right? I, I don't actually think you operate from bad intentions. I know there are a lot of people who think that because you're just like you know, the king shit lord, but like, I don't think you actually do, you know? Like we like the drunken thing you posted back to V. I was like, oh, that's actually kind of nice. Look at that. He does have a heart. But um, but yeah, I believe that's your honest intention. I believe that's your honest assessment. And I appreciate you giving me it, you know, because I appreciate you know, I know it's gonna be fucking cringe. Hey, I'm gonna get up here and tell you how things should be. Man, I don't like the sound of that. But the, re the reason doing? why the reason why I wanted to talk to you, Jim, to begin with, is because I I I like I said to begin this. I like you. I like your channel. I follow you. I have for a long time. I care about what you think. And if that's fucking lame of me, then fine. It's lame of me. But the reason there's a reason why I'm talking to you and not anybody else at the moment. And what would that reason be? I mean, there's got to be other people that you he like that think this your is intelligence. Cringy. That's the reason. You guys just went on about how I don't understand these terms and I really don't get you it. Don't. So what but intelligence are you respecting? That just makes you uneducated. Oh, I'm uneducated. I need to read you more. What, just what, said... what intelligence do you do you like then in me? The fact that you dude, I know, I'm you're talking an incredibly to, to Lewis. good critical thinker, and I, I totally understand why you would take the name Mr. Methodical. You know, you have a very good style. You you do your work very well. That that just actually, uh, it's not it's not Mr. Mr. It's not Mr. Methodical. That was that was that's a joke. It just translates. Oh, it? it translates right. to that in Turkish. I I, I didn't know. Okay. <laughs> Medicare was spelled by a retarded man that couldn't spell mediocre properly. That's what oh, really, it really? From. Yes. Is that where it was from? I didn't know that. It, a literal retard couldn't spell mediocre, and it came out as Medicare. The Turkish translation was a convincing author story, a different story. Yeah, I would have stayed with it. I would have yeah, just yes, <laughs> because, because people. People are stupid and they'll believe a lot of dumb shit. Yeah. Yeah, but that was actually, you know, it was, it was convincing. But um, that, that's what makes it funny. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. But um, but yeah, the, the the reason that people like look up to you is because you are an intelligent man. Not knowing the definition of one word. I mean, don't get me wrong. The alt right have demonstrated they don't either. So you're not alone. You know, it's just like I don't understand. Like, how are you okay with what the SJWs are doing? Do you think it, it would be better to be like not lame than try and stop them? Well, Sargon, I don't understand how you standing in front of an audience in person rather than making a YouTube video is going to have any difference when it comes to dealing with SJW. Saying a blue-haired feminist is it an idiot. It does. Uh, on, just, okay, how does it? How does it translate? How does that? I, I have no idea. I have no idea. But Thomas Smith. But how do you know it stage. does? Anita Sarkeesian triggered the fuck out in VidCon after me just sitting there, dude. It apparently really matters to them. So you're you're planning on counter protesting? You're going to go to their events? Sometimes. I'm definitely going to host my own, though. And if they want to come to mine, they're more than welcome to come to mine. Dude. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? Uh, good luck to you. I, I still think it's a monumental mistake. I think it's going to end sure it is. And, end badly. It's cringy as shit. And I, I dude, I, I think you're getting a little too high off your own ego. I'm, I'm telling I'm you sure that. You I'm telling you that straight up. Thank you. I, I don't think V would tell you that for some reason because he likes he you too much. He would. <laughs> he absolutely would tell me that. Okay. Thank so him. we'll we'll yeah. just we'll just disagree on this, I guess. I I, I don't know how don't else to put think it. think there's a disagreement. I agree with everything you said. It is all of those things, but I don't think I'm being egotistical. But I'm not perfect. I mean, maybe you know, I'm trying not to be. Well, wait. If it. if you agree with me, then why would Lewis pull me in here to ask me about it? Because everything I, I said apparently Lewis. he's the one who Lewis. Lewis what uh, Sargon agrees with me. So the, the reason why I pulled you in here is because, like I said, I care what you believe, and I thought I was actually surprised by how. I don't know, like just amenable. You've been. You were just. I I don't know. Like I said, like you just seemed to misinterpret what the video was, and then just ran with it. And well, I just. I mean, but, but I, Lewis, Lewis. Apparently, I didn't misinterpret it because everything I've just said, I was no, tweeting from out. From my, my perspective, you did. If yeah, he well, wants to do just that, told you, he agrees with well, me. Well, so I I agree with you, like of the social perception, but like on the technical definition of terms, you you're wrong. Yeah. On what? Uh, on the technical definition of cringy? No, individualist. Uh, okay, putting that aside, my main thing was I was laughing at it, calling it absurd. It really was the point. Yeah. You don't think that uh, you you actually uttered the phrase a group of independent-minded individualists coming together with uh, an enemy list and a set amount yeah. of goals? You want to yeah. you know uh, you want to organize as a political group? Yeah. I'm guessing. Yeah. yeah absolutely. So that wouldn't be collectivism. 
No, no. collectivism is the principle of putting the value of the group above the individual. It, it, exactly. So what I'm saying is, could I call myself a liberalist once you've established this and go around telling people that as a, an official liberalist, our party policy is gassing kikes? No, obviously not. So I'd have to, yeah, I'd have to yield to the group's will. No, you would just be using the pr the term incorrectly. It's like saying I'm I'm a fascist, but I don't want the government. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, make me if, if the group is establishing fascist. norms that you have to follow, it would be a collective, would it not? It it's would be a group. a group. It wouldn't be collectivist. You're trying to combine the words, and yeah. that's not accurate. Jim, you, you can't play this work, and it just doesn't work. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. It, this this is what I'm saying. You're just using the term incorrectly. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm really not. Okay, so you're going to create a, a large group of individuals that's not a collective, that's going to come together with a no, list and a no, political party no, ideology. It, it is a group. Okay. Jesus Christ. I said a, a group, a group of individuals that's not a collective. No, every group is made up of individuals. Not every group is made up of individualists. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know what I'm no, saying, no, sir. No, that's, that... no, I don't. I, I'm literally saying Okay, you sorry, about you're going to create a group of individualists, okay, yes. that's not a collective. Yet has no. you know, so it Why is a collective. Why don't collective for us? Because maybe we've got a different definition to you. Well, you're talking about uh, two different things, right? So a collectivist would be somebody that adheres to the group will, or the group will overrides their individual rights. So my individual right as an individualist would be what free speech, free yeah. association. Yes. So I could go out and say I'm a liberalist, and we want to gas the kikes. And you, as another liberalist, couldn't say I'm wrong because you would be I, what, I, I using absolutely the group. Could. That would definitely be going against the principles of liberalism. Yes. The principle set by who? It's like a socialist saying I'm for I'm for private property. I mean, you can say it, but that doesn't make you a socialist. Oh, it's it's man. weird how you like things have definitions, and definitions do matter. I know I know what you're trying to do, but it just doesn't work. I'm really sorry. I, I think it works just fine. I find this funny, like I've told you, I, I and I know being... that you don't see it as that. And you're going to set out as no, a group of individuals. No, you're just You're just really being obtuse. Oh, okay, I'm... I, I'm being obtuse, but yeah. you'll have. Yield though to me on Lewis, what I said about this being cringy shit, Sargon agrees, so it is, right? Cringy shit? Totally. No, totally. I don't. Do, doing something in the real world is totally cringy shit. I agree. Oh, okay, now you're being sarcastic about it. So you weren't genuine no, I'm earlier. Not, I'm not. It's real cringe. I swear to God, I'm going to hate it. And, and you know, in, in like, you know, if, if say it went for like five years, I probably would become everything you're thinking of. So don't be afraid to do a fucking video on me if I am actually doing Because oh, I okay. will need So, to Lewis, be if Sargon is telling you this, He's the guy that made the video, so it is cringy shit, yes? Like I said, I just, I just I, want to hear I, you, you say can, it. You can, you can believe that. That's fine. I don't care. I well, think Sargon, that, no, Sargon believes that. Do you believe in Sargon? From your point of view, Jim, I do think you will find this to be cringy shit because you find any kind of like positive statement forward to be cringy because mm -hmm. I think you're hyper aware that anything could be criticized and you're really afraid of being criticized, I don't care whether you think it's cringy. I, I just want to start trying to fix things. Just push back on No, anything. no, and I get that. I, I'm not trying to pull you back into this discussion. I just want Lewis's opinion. If Sargon is I, saying like this is said, cringy shit... That's he's fine. Video. He's fine. He can believe that. But the but, thing is, is that I, I... If you want to ask me if I do take this seriously, seriously? and yes, I yeah. do, yeah. I think this is something that's necessary. It doesn't. It, it could be him or somebody else. It doesn't matter to me. It's just as long as somebody's doing it, and I actually know that they're going to put forward some actual, you know, philosophy that may contradict or may have some efficacy against the people that are out there that want to basically just take the Constitution and put it in a shredder. You know, this this is very serious. I mean, Richard but, Spencer said, "Oh, it's just a piece of paper." The far left. Did you see the one? I think it was from California, where they were like, "We we think that's an outmoded document or something," and it's just like, "Holy." Fuck, dude. These people are lunatics and they want to tear down everything that I hold dear. It's awful. Right. Um, okay. Oh, is there anything else to discuss, gentlemen? No, if you gotta go, you gotta go. No, I, I don't have to go. I'm just asking. I, I gave you a lot of time. You I you go. If, you, if, you, if you want to head off, man, just head off. I yeah, know. If you, you said you had a time limit. Yeah, well, I told you I had an hour, but we've got a few more minutes. Is there anything else you wanted to discuss before I go? Uh, no, other than if uh, if uh, Sargon uh, hosts an event of some kind, if it's anywhere near you, you should go. Uh, yeah, you no, should. I'm, I'm, I'm very anti that. Uh, Milo, when he was up <laughs> in my area, wanted me to come to attend one of his like university speeches. Did he? And I, I tried to explain to him that you know I don't really do that kind of shit. I don't go to like VidCons. 
or well, I think there's a little bit of difference or any of that shit. But though, why not? And I genuinely mean, like, why not? I, I'm not going to go into real life activizing. I'm sorry. No, no, I just, I just mean not like activism. I mean specifically, why can't you just go to attend? Because I'm pretty sure if you if you said you were going somewhere, there'd be a oh, ton yeah. of people there to meet you. Oh, yeah, you you would see what I'm talking about, Jim. You would no, see no, you're you're about. misunderstanding. My philosophy behind being on the internet has always been anonymity. I don't want to meet okay. people in real life. That kind of runs counter to what I do. Yeah, I know. fair enough. But imagine if you did. What do you think the people would be like? I, f I have no fucking idea. Oh, I, when, on, I dude, when I when I when I did deviance. Well, very... let me answer. When I did Deviance, I had a bunch of furries that found it funny, a bunch of vor fetishes that found it funny. I'd probably have people showing up with bike pumps to shove up their ass. That would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a whole diverse mixture of people. I have no idea what you, would show up. You are not making a good case against a Metaka meetup. I know you are. It, that it's is a never really good idea. I'm just saying, it, if, if one happens, you're getting a ball pit and you're going in it. Yeah. I, I'm I'm never gonna host a real life event. Holy shit! Oh come on! Oh dude. my god! Just so fucking cool. god! No! Come on, man! Do it. It'd be amazing. No, I, I think I think I'm good on the <laughs> oh, medical meetup in real life. I don't bad. think that's ever gonna happen. That's, that's, that's genuinely too bad, dude. Because that would that would be awesome. Because out of all the people that I would genuinely li like to meet, you would definitely be at least in my top ten. Just, just, <laughs> just why? Just to shake your hand, just to fucking meet you, dude. Just like, yeah, but I'm just I'm just a dude that puts videos up on YouTube. Like, what is there to meet and talk about? Nothing. Well, it's just it's for the gym. sake of it. It's just for the sake of it. Doesn't yeah, have to see, be. See, Sargon, I said no. Welcome to my world. Bitch, do you not think I spent years saying no? You could have oh, spent a few more saying no. You gotta be you gotta be made of steel, Sargon. How, like how many? How uh, do, like when when the spiritual laws come into place? Is that when? W w at what point is it acceptable for for Sargon to be an activist? Like how far to think? How much well, more? No, I mean, I genuinely think if he doesn't want to do this, if he's being honest and he really doesn't want to do it, it's going to end badly. If you're not into it, if you don't have your heart, oh, 100%, I'm, I'm committed. I'm absolutely committed. Yeah, but if you're forced into it, it's just it'd be awful. It'd be like making content that you don't want to make. It'd be like making a video you didn't want to make. You know how tough that can be. Mm -hmm. But I mean, imagine it on a scale of people showing up to events and shit. No, the thing is, there's a lot of energy when you go to events. It's always really yeah. cool. People are really happy to be there. But the thing is, what I mean even is... Even if it is seriously, if it, even if it is a serious event, there's still a reverence to it of meeting yeah. people. I mean, it's not like I don't want to meet people and do... I like, I love my job. My job's amazing. But like, I wouldn't be doing it unless I had like a giant overarching incentive to do it. You know, I it, given the opportunity, I'd rather just be a fucking lazy neckbeard in in my basement making shitty video games. I that would be yeah. But what, what's the incentive, though? I mean, what's there to do it in real life as opposed to just online? Positive change. Try and fix the future for my kid, man. You know, I I just cannot get over like how much this shit has infected my country. You are so lucky in America. You have no fucking idea how insulated you are from so much of the bullshit that's going on. Don't ever let them take any kind of hate speech law. Don't ever. And any American listen to this. Whenever they say hate speech, you tell them to shut the fuck up. It's free speech. Every time. You, you got to. Your Second Amendment or whatever it is with your fucking life. You know, I promise you, you will regret it if you don't. You got to admit, Jim. I mean, I, I, I don't know if you've been paying attention too much to what's going on with Count Dankula, but you have to admit that that kind of shit is fucking insane. Like the way that they're stringing him along. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, shit. I, I understand that losing your rights over in Europe probably is tough, but you've got the yes, caliphate to look forward to. So, but, that, but that's why, like, I'm afraid of that. I'm afraid I'll, I'll of just that have to be here. a lameo and just get out and try and do something. <laughs> you know? Well, you can always convert. You can become one of the, uh, you know, the new members of the caliphate that's going to take over. God, oh, you Jesus. Or something, Jesus. <laughs> listen to yourself. Come on, I'm going to be, I'm going to be manning the fucking helicopter squadrons. Are you? Are you going to go out and fight in the streets? <laughs> If it came to it, yes. I mean, I don't, I don't want to, and I'd be terrible at it, you know. But that's, it's anti far, isn't it? So. But but that's the thing, though, is that the right, honestly, that's been one of the only effective things they've done yeah. is showing up in the fucking streets. Because uh, I don't they, know, I don't think Charlottesville went very well for them. No, yeah. I'm not talking about Charlottesville. I, well, I they mean, were in the streets on that one. I'm and talking about Berkeley. Berkeley, yeah, I'm Berkeley talking Berkeley about was it. essential, in fact. But that's the, I don't think we want to really settle this. Uh, I mean, I'm sure it would be good YouTube fodder, but I'm not sure we want to fucking have this settled in the streets. You know what I mean? No. Like, no, no, no. I I would much rather just have the police do their fucking job. I mean, you in in my country, right? When they discovered the Rotherham rape gangs, after the investigation, I can't remember the name of the doctor offhand, but uh, she did this big investigation, and basically she just came back saying they're afraid of being called racist. That's why they let it go on. 
Imagine you're a police officer, you burst into a home, you find a drugged up 13 year old and a bunch of 20 something Muslim Pakistani men, and then you take the girl and accuse her of being a prostitute. That's what police in my country have done because of fear of the word racist. No, I, I've seen the news reports. Same yeah, with so, uh, Cologne yeah. on New Year's. I've, I've seen all that stuff. Yeah. So, Talk to so Dean so Esme about it. So, yeah, yeah, that was great. <laughs> he fucking hates me. I don't even know why he hates me. I, I don't know why half these faggots hate me. Dean Esme doesn't like me. Uh, one of the guys that showed up to you this week in Stupid is really up my ass all the time. The fucking oh, puppet guy. Oh, he's not up your ass all the time. Oh, he fucking is. He takes these <laughs> passive-aggressive snipes because he's a pussy. <laughs> You should debate him, though. He's a, he's a I've lovely offered guy. Him, I've offered him 20 times. He's refused oh, really? every time. That's Honey Badger's won't get involved. They won't host a stream. No, it's never happening. Man, that's 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 a shame, because Random Cam, is he's one of my favorite people on the internet. He's he oh, is a lovely gosh. guy. Is he? Yeah. He really hates it when you say autism for some reason. Yeah, I think he's autistic. That's why. I, I think that's probably what it is, yeah. Yeah, I think it is. Because he went on a guy. fucking two-week tirade about that with me. Yeah, I know. He, uh, he's called me up on it as well. I'm just more forgiving, obviously. Well, hey, you know, I'd love to debate the guy. If you want to try to set that up, feel free to. But he will not respond when I've offered. Well, I mean, he's not, like, he runs a YouTube channel, and he, he's a performer, but he's one of those people who's very introverted in conversation. And you're not. <laughs> right. Yeah, but you know what? You, you, you gotta admit, you gotta admit, fucking uh, Jim, that you, you, when it comes to you having conversations with people, that you're pretty fierce. Yeah. You, you really don't hold back, and you, you, I, I think that out of all the people that I've heard online, in terms of like articulation and needling into people, you're probably the absolute fucking best. I, I just, it, it, it's just the internet. I just talk to whoever the fuck shows up. I mean, I did a stream with uh, fucking white nationalists. I've done streams with BLM communists. Like, I don't understand the fear of interacting with people, which is, I, I think, No, no, specifically, there's, an, there's a fear of interacting with you. Because you know, you know how to rip people apart, and you're very effective at doing it. Uh -huh. That's well, why. I, 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 you know, I, I promise to be nice to Dr. Randomer Camp. I'll be a gentleman with Dr. Randomer Camp. <laughs> if he, I, think that's, I think that's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I promise not to raise my voice and make him piss himself. He's not like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, he's very passive aggressive and he won't just directly confront you, which I think is weird. Like if you're a men's rights activist, you should act like a man, but apparently that's not happening. I'm not sure that that's, I, I don't think that necessarily follows actually. Well, yeah, I think he's being a passive aggressive little bitch and acting like a woman by refusing to directly confront what he has a problem with. That's my assessment. Yeah. But again, I, I, I know I, that's being, I know that's being mean. I won't be like that. Doc. No, 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 Dr. Randomer Camp, if you hear me, I won't be like thing. that on stream with you. To, to me, that would be a provocation, but to him, I don't think that's a provocation. That's the thing. I, I don't know. I can't read the guy. He just, we won't interact. Well, I'm just saying as a person who knows him and likes him, you know? But um, anyway, you know, maybe one day he will, maybe one day he won't, who knows? But um, anyway. Uh, I, I look forward to it with bells on. I, I would enjoy that too. All right. Well, I, like I said, I had about an hour. I, I got to jump. Uh, if there's anything else. No, I'll just say uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for you know having the conversation with me. Thanks for Sargon for jumping in with you. Yeah, no and uh, I look forward to what you do in the future, Jim. Yeah, like I said, I think this is a difference in philosophy between us. Like I've, maybe again, I'm, I, I think it's I, just it's personal uh, priority. When it comes to internet and real life, I think it is. Like I, I like I said, I'm more on the side of just be anonymous and do shit rather than go into real life and do activism. That's why yeah, I find yeah, it funny. That's, that's that's fair if you can afford to do that. Okay, fair enough. All right, well, uh, you two take it easy. Uh, Sargon, uh, Sargon, no need to get intel reports on me. You can always hit me up. I'm, I'm always <laughs> really available to shit talk to you in person. Whatever about you, if that's okay. By the way, you know, <laughs> when you're doing the crowd stuff, you could have just messaged me on Skype. You could just yeah, well, I, I tried to stay away from all the people involved in it. Crowd tried to get a hold of me, um, <laughs> and, and I just didn't want to engage. I guess I just wanted like an outside perspective on it. Uh, yeah, okay, he he like, asked. He yeah. asked one thing of me, which I I did because I had no intention of doing it in the first place, which was leave his family out of it. Because okay, uh, yeah, I mean, they had nothing to do with it, so why even bring him up? It'd be like bringing yeah. up Jeff oh, Holliday's yeah, family. Like they have nothing to do with any of that shit. Yeah. But like, like you know, you were like, why did I want to record the conversation with Crown? You could have just messaged me, and I'd have told you. Well, why did you want to record it? Because it was very because weird. I was going to do a podcast and talk to him about it, and then the, I mean, you can hear it in the stream. He just lies to my fucking face. Oh no, he lied to you a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I know, and I, I know, and I was just like, right, okay, 
And then I think I think it was my kid was calling for dinner or something. So I was like, I'll call you back later. But I was sat at dinner and I was fucking fuming, man. I was just like, I can't believe you just lied to my fucking face and I just never called him back. Yeah, no, that's that's one of the things I said after I did the videos. The thing that really got to me about Kraut in particular was his like willingness to basically use everybody uh, around him and throw them under the bus. I mean, he lied to he lied to and about you, Thunderfoot, Jeff Holiday, Zeph, just like anybody you could get his hands on. Even Spinosaurus turned him down when he was like, yeah, here, you want to take this information and give it to your SJW friends to do something with. And he's like, yeah, we don't do that. Which is just fucking surreal, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I, I, like, like I said, I I was just so pissed off that he just lied to my fucking face, man. It's like, I mean, I knew he'd been digging stuff up, but I didn't know he'd been using the server, because every time he'd tell me about the server, he'd be like, hey, do you want to join my server? We're doing science stuff in there. And I was like, no. I mean, he literally never said anything else about it. So I assumed that that's what he was doing. And I assumed that the digging up was something he was doing in his personal time or something. You know? But it's just like, why are you doing this, Kraut? Just stop doing this, Matt. I, I, actually, I am curious about one other thing. Uh, I did bring this up on stream a couple of days ago. Sure. Um, when you talked to Kraut, you said, you know, like, digging up stuff and using it against people, it's morally wrong. It's not what we'd call morally right. You had a problem with that. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, Kraut had this information. He said he shared it with you. You acknowledged that he was talking about doing this kind of stuff. He shared that he had information with me. Okay. Uh, but, I mean, if it was morally wrong for him to do it, why did you make a video on CRP and show his Kiwi Farms thread with all his information? No, oh, because it was already out there. I mean, he'd already doxed himself. It's not hiding anything, is it? Yeah, but that information was Kraut's. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah, because Kraut had a proxy of a proxy put that up on Kiwi Farms. Well, I had no idea. Everyone was just passing around this Kiwi Farms link. I had no idea where it came from. And it, it, I thought it was King of Pole anyway. Yeah, Guardian gave it to King of Pole, and Crowd gave it to Guardian, and Guardian well, had I his own. Do an investigation in it, so it's, uh, it's good to know how it came, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I, I just found it kind of weird, I guess. Um, I mean, if it was personal information, that, or if it was public information already, you don't find it morally wrong. No, no, not if it's already public. Okay. Just just private information. Yeah, I think so. But what if somebody's trying to, op, you know, like, hide their name? Like me, right? N most people don't know who I am. So would it be morally wrong to use my name? I'm sure you could find it. It's probably publicly out there. I don't know. Everyone uses my, my name publicly, and I don't find that morally wrong. So, I don't know. Probably not. What about kids? What about whose? The kids. Children. No, I wouldn't be interested in finding a kid's name. But, I mean, if it's public, it's not morally wrong, yeah? Well, I mean, on the face of it, it might not be, but there's probably some moral ill intent there, I think. Okay. All right, yeah, that, that's what I wanted to wants to dox a kid. Because I wasn't sure exactly what Crowd gave you, but uh, from the tapes, it made it sound like he gave you the information he'd gathered on Coach. He was bragging about having his name and some other information. And then when he talked, and, you know, he also talked to you about uh, I don't know if Ryan's full name's out there. I'm just going to call him Alt Hypothesis. I mean, you brought him up too. I, th I think so, his name is out there, yeah. So, like, how did you know Crowd had that information? Because he'd say, I found Coach Red Pill's name or something. And I'd be like, there's no point in finding out Coach Red Pill's name. Right, right. No, I, I get you. So, I mean, if the, but that, that goes back to, I guess, my original question. Uh, if there's no point in it, why did you include it in your video about him? Well, the docs of Coach Red Pill. Yeah, I mean, if there's no point in digging up this information, why use it? Because it was pertinent to the subject at hand. Which was Coach is a con guy. Yeah, I mean, he's yeah, making v, nothing v but character up. attacks against me, which is ironic given the state of this man's character, don't you think? Okay, like I said, I'm just trying to get a feel for what went on. Well, there we go. Because I, I, it struck me as weird that you'd tell him it was morally wrong for him to do it, but then seemingly kind of do the same thing. I didn't, though, did I? No, that's why I'm asking you to make the distinction of what exactly he shared with you. Okay, well, there we go. All right, all right, guys. Well, I, like I said, I got a jet, but uh, it, it's it been interesting. I'll say that much. Yeah, all right, take it easy. Take all care, right, man. Uh, yeah, uh, take it easy, guys. Bye. All right, so I think that was... Um... It's only 22 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and play it for, for the chat in case they haven't seen it. They think we are weak and that they can take advantage, and everything we do proves them right. We are desperately in need of some backbone. Tommy Robinson has been arrested. There are many people who wish me to comment on this situation. 
Unfortunately, I don't believe I can. Oh. I don't want to run the risk. I have a family to worry about. Oh, Sargon. Okay, but now here's here's another clip. Uh, again, Jim's just been pulling off repeated windmill donks on this guy. Like, it's just... It's bad. And it gets worse because Sargon makes it worse. But uh, <laughs> let's just... Let's just continue. Uh, this is only an, an eight-second clip. L let's watch this one. Louis Levi messaged me. Metzger is saying on Twitter that Sargon is blaming Tommy for being arrested. It appears to be bait. Well, he, he is to blame. He, he's <laughs> the one who broke the law. Oh, <laughs> wow! Uh, well, Seriously, that's that's Sargon. pretty definitive, then, I, I would say. Chat of mine earlier. Uh, uh, let's show V's original tweet. It, it's from Sargon, and it's a Skype conversation. I don't even know how to tell you how gay this is. This is how messages are being put out. Uh, Sargon says, tell Jim I'm going to start selling Mr. Medicare shirts and there's nothing he will do about it. And, and uh, V says, you want me to post that on Twata? And Sargon says, sure, I'll host Meadowfest as well. And then Jim said in reply, well, it wouldn't be the first time he used content that wasn't his, but unlike Aquila, I won't sue. Skype message from, from V relaying some some words of wisdom from sargon uh sargon says lol tell him I'm, tell him i'm too busy doing irl cringe activism to listen to his non-arguments uh, and then jim said in response to that oh it only took me one day of mocking him to get him off his ass you're welcome liberalists i mean just <laughs> uh and lol and v also said sargon is at hyde park corner protesting for tommy right now and sent me this since he is banned from twitter by the way that protest was kind of like planned in advance so yeah uh it's kind of hard to say that that was a protest for for tommy and then jesus christ how many skype messages did they send back and forth a lot oh fuck Oh, man. Sargon says, I love how he thinks he had any influence over this. Take that unearned credit, Jim. You need it, buddy. And then he says, please do let Jim know that organizing an interview with a Polish member of the European Parliament indeed does take less than a day, and he can take full credit for my efforts. V says, dude, make a twat account already. Twatter account, however he says it. Uh, and then Jim says, oh, for dude... <laughs> For a dude claiming he isn't paying attention to me or doesn't have time for me, so far I have him personally communicating with you about me, writing Facebook posts about me, talking about me in videos, marching in the streets because of me, and selling my merchandise. Somebody linked this on Sargon's Facebook page. Jim just posted this on Twitter, uh, and it was the clip that I played you. Uh, actually, it wasn't the clip that I played you, but it, it was a meme that uh, Jim posted after that, like a reaction shot. Uh, and uh, But the video all you know that quote's contained in there uh jim says tommy is to blame he's the one who broke the law so did so did dankula but you had no problem protesting that sargon as being ridiculous bullshit then sargon posts this long ass fucking paragraph i mean it's it's long i'm gonna read it do let him know i posted this on facebook and that his opinion doesn't mean shit as it appears he has degenerated into a dim-witted fool because of the company he has kept. Yes, Jim, I appreciate that some laws are not just, but that but that's just our opinion on the subject, and we want to persuade people who don't share this opinion. The opposing argument, he was already on a suspended sentence for doing the same thing, so this is not arbitrary, unjust ex not an arbitrary, unjust exercise of state power because he knew what he was doing and deliberately went too far, is actually quite persuasive to people outside of the Tommy Robinson fan club. Tommy Robbins, Tommy's reputation is terrible outside of the people who have actually taken the time to know anything about him, and his opponents can make a constitutionalist argument from liberal theory about the importance of the law that Robinson broke. They can make a moral case for Tommy going to jail because he willfully broke a law designed to protect the independence of the ju judiciary, a judiciary that, that was currently in the process of trying the alleged rapist that Tommy was complaining about. Wow, okay. Tommy knowingly breaking this law can be seen by some people as self-aggrandizement and vanity, a moral failing on his part, even though I personally don't agree that this is why he did it. I like Tommy and think he's acting from a position of good intentions because I understand why he's doing all this. It's the same reason I am. But if you don't know and already don't like Tommy, it's unlikely one that would extend... By the way, there's typos all throughout the, this, but I'm trying to clean it up. It's unlikely one... That would extend uh, that kind of good faith, and so it's easier to persuade neutral people that Tommy is being a deliberate provocateur because he's a self-important Islamophobic racist, 
and what has happened to him is just what he deserves. Then he says, we don't want people to think that, Jim, you mick. And then he uh, posts, how do you do, fellow kids, like that meme uh, with with the Mr. Medicare head on top of it. <laughs> and then there's another, another comment. Uh, Sargon posted this himself, not just a response. Uh, in the thread for some reason Jim is trying to get my attention but he's turning into a brainlet I put it I put it down to the company he keeps and then somebody comments Fabio Lapel says Sargon you are really not as smart as you think you are which I believe is what Richard Spencer said to him and then Sargon says smarter than you though Fabio it's underreported but Australia is going down the same path as the UK keep doing what you're doing fuck Jim and the other spineless weasels and hopefully you head down under one day is like Jim's just wasting his life because he hates himself. He's he wishes he could achieve something, but he doesn't have the self confidence to do it. Like I I don't hate Jim or anything like that. It I feel bad for him. I feel bad that he's wallowing in nonsense and he's ruining everything around him. That's not what a man does, in my opinion. That's what a boy does. That's what a coward does. You know, and if you've got a problem with anything I'm saying, Jim, why don't you come to one of my live shows? I'll give you a spot on the stage. We'll have a chat. But I will come to Australia. In fact, okay. So, and now when I first saw this, I thought, oh, he's he wants to do a live stream. Like he's saying, why don't you come to one of my live shows? So I'm thinking, oh, he's doing a live show, or this is like a recording of his live show. He's talking about why don't you come on my channel and and have a chat. And so I'm thinking, oh, wow, this is good. And I tweeted it out, and I, and I said, uh, actually, I said, uh, I wanted it to be on the kill stream. So I was yeah. like, no, we should be, uh, you know, I'm not on boss, but I, I would like to see this on the kill stream. And then somebody messaged me, and they said, no, Ralph, he's actually talking about Jim coming to see him in person. And I said, wait, no, 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 he's, no he can't be. Uh, he, I thought he meant his channel. Let, let me go back and, and have a look. And I forgot he was doing his live show thing. That is actually what he meant, though. He, he's telling Jim to to dox himself, basically, uh, because he's that he's that upset. So, uh, by the way, Jim just said, "Say it to my face, Ben Kuchera of a cod." Yeah, it's funny how how Sargon went from you know like like the ultimate defender of anonymity to you know come on dox yourself and let, let's chat in person, Jim. Why aren't you showing your face, Jim? Uh, here, here's a couple of tweets uh, that uh, Mr. Medicare made. Uh, what makes this funnier is that V told me you'll know when Sargon is mad or taking something seriously because he'll post it on his main channel. Watch the Karen stream when, when Karen and when Baked Alaska said to Jim, like, why don't you show your face, you snap. It's the only thing that gets to Jim, so I guess... Uh... You know, V, I, I gotta ask you, because I'm really curious. How is it all these ex-Gamergate people that would go on and on about the importance of anonymity and fighting against those evil SJWs and those journalists are so prone to saying, dox yourself and show me your face? Because you, <laughs> like you sound like Ben Kachera, you remember that? Well, it's, just, it's just a meme, bro. Like no one really wants to see your face. I personally don't want to. I, see I don't. I don't know, man. I mean, it seems like every time I'm running into a liberalist, they want my docs. They want my face. Sargon, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure Sar they Sar do. Sargon does shows with what? I mean, Karen. He's he's done speech engagements with her. She says, "Show your face." Short Fat oh. Otaku does a stream. He hangs out with Sargon. He's got a a docs folder. Maybe it's really it it's, it's really weird it, it, for ex gamer gators to keep on harping on that. I, I think you forget the fact that he said the docs is fake that that was said on the stream. And second of all, if you wouldn't react the way you did to Baked Alaska when he asked what your face looks like, then no one would bring it up. But people notice you're getting upset. I mean, you're the troll expert, Jim. You know, you, you, if you show a little bit of blood, you show a little bit of. Oh uh, no, no, I, I get that. Emotion. But I mean, I, I thought I was dealing with principled liberalists who who stood for something. I didn't know you guys changed your tune to suit yourselves. We, we still joke, Jim. It's, it's okay. Do, do it's you? Not... I, I don't know. I've been looking at the last two days of Fallout here, V. It doesn't look like a lot of bands to me. Well, so, so you legitimately think that people want to see your face? No, what I'm saying is based on his reactions of using you like a Romanian carrier pigeon, <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would say that uh, he seems to be a bit perturbed. I thought he wasn't going to address me or the, or the alt-right either, but it's been... Oh. I, I, v... Just in the last 24 hours, I've had him talk about me in multiple videos. 
write Facebook essays about me, use you as a carrier service, say he's going to sell my merchandise, ask me to come fly out to meet him in person. Like, does this guy want my dick? Like, what's going on? Because this seems like... Well, this seems I, like I, I don't know if you know this. I, I think you are trying to join the Hangout because I said right before you joined that uh, I was edging him on. I was like, look what Jim's saying, look what Jim's talking about, you know, trying to get a response out of him. Because I, I really enjoyed the banter between you two. It was quite cool. Oh, I, I've enjoyed it too. I've been having quite the fun, quite a bit of fun on uh, Twitter. I've, I've, been, I've been enjoying myself with this, but... I, I don't know. It's just, it is weird to me, though, to hear, you know, anti SJWs, the Gamer Gators go on and on about dox yourself, show your face, or you're a coward. And that's not him joking around me. I mean, he said that way before fucking Baked Alaska. I think he said it after Karen, uh, where you also expose yourself to, to hate the fact when people go after your anime. Well, yeah. I mean, I just, I, again, because I, I'm used to watching SJWs do it. I didn't know I was dealing with the Zoe Quinn crowd. No. Uh, yeah, but wait, if, if you're going to show that something bothers you and people want to get out of your skin, they're going to do that over and over. Like, do you have me lecture you how to deal with trolls online? Uh, no, no, no. But I mean, I, again, V, it just is very mysterious to me that, you know, it's all these people around Sargon are doing the same thing or asking the same thing. We're talking doxing and uh, wanting to see faces. I mean, first it was Kraut, then it was Short Fat Otaku. You got Karen doing it. Now, now Sargon's saying it. it. It looks bad. Okay, but show me your face is not power word reveal, Jim. Like, if enough people are going to ask you to show your face, I don't think they will have the mind control ability for you to do the face reveal. Like, yeah, if I, I, think, I, think, to... I think you're missing my point, B. It, it's like once it's a coincidence, twice maybe, um, but like three or four times. What's going on at the What's going on at the the Don's house here? Mate, mate, if, if you play Xbox and people say they want to fuck your mom, do you honestly think that they legitimately want to fuck your mom, or are they saying it because it upsets you? Like, if, if people notice that whatever they ask you to reveal your face, you're getting upset, they're going to do it more. Yeah, again, V, there's a difference between, you know, somebody on Xbox talking shit and Short Fat Otaku having a docs folder. And I, I know you said, oh, you said it's fake. Well, how the fuck does he know? How is he verifying what's real or not? Why would he have a dox folder? Why would Kraut go around doxing people? Why are all these people associated with Sargon into this shit? Well, as I recall, it wasn't his folder. It was the friend. Uh, no, the he explicitly friend. stated, and I think Ralph can back me up on this. Did he not say on your stream that it wasn't from Latvi Man, that that was his own folder? Uh, believe yeah, he I, I, hold on. That. I know the folder. It's from a board we both frequent, Jim. And, and I'm pretty sure you saw the pictures over there as well. I can neither confirm nor deny, V, where I spend my time. By the way, some people in oh, chat yeah. are saying Sargon is coming. Is that true? Is he actually going to show up? Or I don't know. I, I gave him a message. I told him not to come, though. So it's up to him, I guess. Why, wait, why would you tell him not to come? Uh, why? So he can go into the white niggers rant again? I mean, Jim is... <laughs> <laughs> Jim I mean... is the Newman of Twitter. Like, last night, he said, so what you're saying is that Martin Luther King is a nigger. It's like, okay... Well, no, somebody, somebody, somebody had asked me, you, you can't do activism because think of your family and your children. Uh, you know, only a coward would do that. And I said, so MLK Jr. was a coward because he had a family when he was out there risking his ass. And then your response to that was, so are you saying people are niggers? So I just was asking for clarification. No, no, no. Are, are no, you I, asking I, me I, if MLK, MLK was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I mean, look, I, I just find it hard to, you know, for him to say Jim's a coward, Jim's a coward, he's not a man, and then, like, the, you know, the challenge has kind of been made here. Um, well, the, the thing that I said, though, is that are you saying that the British government is treating the citizens like niggers? That you would compare Sargon to Martin Luther King? I never compared Sargon to Martin Luther King Jr. I said that there are <laughs> activists out there doing shit no, wait, you did. that risk their family. No, you why would I ever compare him, just compare him to compare. fucking Martin Luther King Jr.? Are you kidding me? You, you heavily implied, okay, that he doesn't live up to Martin Luther King Jr. expectations. Uh, <laughs> are, are they putting lead paint in the water? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't look at that and not make the nigger argument. <laughs> Oh, so you can't look at Martin Luther King Jr. and not think nigger. Nice liberalist. <laughs> no, you're, you're <laughs> I said that the British government isn't treating its own citizens like niggers. That's what I said. 
Oh, this is some, these are some harsh words from the liberalists. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I, this is a little too hot. I've got a family to think about. I don't know if I can associate with this stream, right? Well, I, I'm sorry if you're from the Reddit part of the internet that can't handle harsh words, but, uh, I mean, no, you know, I, I gotta draw a line at blatant racism. I believe people should be judged as individuals, not as a collective V. Sargon Luther King. I saw that go by in the chat. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, the, the thing, uh, it's like, what, what, the challenge uh, between Jim and Sargon? Well, Jim, you say you're a troll. Why should Sargon engage you? Like, you don't engage trolls. They're, they're not there to have an honest well, conversation. Well, that's, that's probably a question you should be asking him because he's engaged me for the last 24 hours. <laughs> You know, like he he gave you a couple of posts, right? By the way, and, I heard your Skype. That, I heard your Skype go off there, V. Was that Sargon messaging you? Uh, let me check. Yeah, you. but yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Holy shit! Oh, oh, wow. Hold on, hold on. Holy shit! You fucking called it. I heard it. I knew it. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, give give me a link to the stream, mate. Oh, okay. Rob, you gotta you gotta turn off your uh, you gotta turn off your super chats. You promised. <laughs> I mean, if that's what, he, yeah, I don't have a problem with that. Oh, hold on, he doesn't even know what this is about. Like, he, he's not aware that the stream is even going on. Well, you have the hangout link. Do you, you don't need that? You want the actual stream link? Is that what? Is that yeah, what yeah the actual stream link. So I can do it. Okay, here's the stream so, link. So, I, I'll so, DM that can, to you. Uh, it's about so, so he can hear Martin Luther King and the word nigger in the same phrase. Indicator. Is, is that on the liberalist talking points list? I, I haven't checked the site, so I couldn't say. Oh, they have talking points now? No, there is a site. I, I saw somebody read it out on the stream. I is, is, that even, is that even still up, or is that defunct now? That I'm was not like sure. five months ago. Yeah, I forget which stream I was watching where they went through and read it, but... I'm not sure if that was... Was that official, V? Did you guys get together and do that, or was that just somebody else that put that up, or... <clears throat> do what? No, there's another one. The liberalist website. Yeah, I hear Scott. <laughs> <laughs> he literally, he literally has you on a leash fee. This is the most amazing thing. Jeez. Uh, apparently, he's waiting for a plate to speak at a university. He's what? He's waiting for a plane to speak in a university. Oh, so he's at an airport is what you're saying? Yes. I mean, his Skype works, though. No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, that's even funnier. So you're telling me his ass is waiting for a fucking plane, but he has enough time to keep tabs on you coming on to talk about this shit? <laughs> no, but I messaged him because Ralph told me he wants him on. Actually, I said uh, the challenge... What did I say? I think the tweet's still up here somewhere. Uh, I believe the word man was I, used. I, I said the challenge has been made. Oh, so you were watching the stream. Was no, I, I have people relaying me what's oh, going okay. on. Oh, people. Your, your, your spies were... Yeah, were I, I, I said when I, I mean, just... I said uh, it, was, it was pretty I, lame for you to, to relay his Skype messages, and now he's Skyping you live on air rather than just getting on the stream himself. And he obviously has the time. I mean, he's sitting in an airport. Okay, maybe not the best Bigger, setting. You but... make a stream that's one hour long talking about me, right? And, and I have 80,000 subscribers, out of which some of whom... I really like to be Ralph is talking about the, you. But... The discussion about, discussion about you was a very small part of the program. It was actually mostly about it, Sargon. It was it. enough for people to say Ralph wants you, the manservant, to get Sargon on. And I <laughs> I'm not sure Sargon. I used the term manservant. That might have been uh, used. Well, to be, to be fair to Ralph, I don't know if that's necessarily, you know, inaccurate, <laughs> considering you're getting <laughs> Skype pinged as we're talking <laughs> yeah. from a guy sitting at a fucking airport. <laughs> I didn't even know he was sitting in an airport, but for me, all of this is amusing. Like, I, I really enjoyed the banter between you two last night. Uh, yeah, I, well, I was, I was, I was having fun, but I, I, again, I don't know how he's taking it since he's writing essays on Facebook. I, I suppose you could say he gave you attention. And not only that, he went on his stream earlier Who's called Call Me Daddy. Called Jim. <laughs> <laughs> he called Jim a coward, a failure at life, basically. Um, everything he touches goes to shit. What else did he say, Jim? I, I think you saw the clip too, but, uh, uh oh, he, he was a boy. Oh, no, a the, the, only, the, the only thing I found funny was the fight me in real life thing. Cause like I, I had flashbacks to Eric Kane and Ben Kuchera, like say it to my face. Jim. <laughs> like, how can you not immediately default to say it to my face? That, that is amusing to me. Hold on. There was another one, like bring back bullying. What was his name? Sam Biddle. Sam Biddle, I think also asked you to fight him in real life. 
Yeah, that's not a good comparison. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's not the guy you want to be compared to. Oh. I, I just don't understand why the Joker of the internet doesn't get jokes. Like you Dude, think he everyone was absolutely people. not joking with no, that comment. Serious. Like he. Was... How can you tell from a Facebook post? No, I'm talking about from the stream. Did you not see the clip earlier from his own stream? I mean, I have a Tom stamped here. You know what? Maybe we should play it again. I mean, if you if you haven't seen it. <laughs> Uh, we, we do have a much bigger audience. Oh, now. wait, wait. I, I, I want to actually confirm something. V, you told me once that you'll know if Sargon's mad or taking something seriously because he'll talk about it on his main channel. Yeah. Great. This is from his main channel. This is from his uh, Weak and Stupid. So, okay, go ahead, Ralph. Play it. All right, let's, let's, let's play it here. Uh, okay, that's just a little short clip. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play it uh, right now. Um, it's underreported, but Australia is going down the same path as the UK. Keep doing what you're doing. Fuck Jim and the other spineless weasels, and hopefully you head down under one day. It's, like Jim's just wasting his life because he hates himself. He's he wishes he could achieve something, but he doesn't have the self confidence to do it. Like I I don't hate Jim or anything like that. It, I feel bad for him. I feel bad that he's <laughs> wallowing in nonsense and he's ruining everything around him. That's not what a man does, in my opinion. That's what a boy does. That's what a coward does. You know. And if you've got a problem with anything I'm saying, Jim, why don't you come to one of my live shows? Give you. I don't see it, by the way, for playing it. chat. Well, you can't. Um, I, I played it to. Uh, <laughs> I'm just obvious. playing it for my own amusement. Fuck I, you. I mean, I, I sent it to you in DMs. Uh, I guess I could. See, I use OBS, so I don't, I don't really use. I mean, we're using Hangouts to talk, but that's not what I use to broadcast. Um. But uh, it's only okay. a minute clip. Well, if, if, well, if you would well, like well, to pause while you watch it, I mean, if you'd like to just mute for a second and watch it, it's only about, what, 45 seconds to a minute. Fucking Christ, two hours. Oh, fuck. Uh, all right. No, no, where... it's Tom. V, it's Tom Stamp. You, you yeah, really I, I just want to ask, like, where is the time stamp at? Uh, well, I sent it to you in two minutes. And, uh, two hours and three minutes. Okay. Yes, it's right there. Yeah, it's right there, buddy. Keep going. Oh, I guess in this in this little break, uh, there was a tweet from Chelsea Manning. She didn't jump off the, the building. Okay. So that's the Chelsea Manning update. <laughs> no he's responding to a comment, and I see his lips are next to his ears as he's smiling while responding. Are, are you telling me that this is a serious he's match? Not, being... Dude, he's not even smiling at the beginning of the Like, at the end, okay, he does crack a smile there at the end. Uh, but he's calling Jim a you know failure and a coward, and I mean these are very personalized insults. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I, I guess if Jim feels insulted, then you know it's a subjective matter for I Jim. Mean, hey, my my hot take on this was again, I just was interested in the Ben Kachera comment. That's that's what I zoned in on. Mm -hmm. But I don't think you've ever talked about Sargon like that, Jim. Have you? I mean, not not in those stronger terms. I mean, you made fun of some of his, you know. Uh, oh cringy, yeah, cringy. I've cracked. I, I have no idea. I mean, you could go look back. I guess I, I don't know what I've I don't know what I've called him. Aside, I think called I've, him a failure. Said he's not a man. At least I don't. Think well, no, I, 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 I I've called him stepfather a few times. Yes, yes, I think yes, the, yes. the meme is funny, and I, I've said that liberalists are cringy as fuck. Uh, but I, I I don't recall calling him a coward or a failure or anything like that. I I don't. That doesn't bother me. Again, the thing that I find funny about it is the Ben Kuchera shit. But it's just hard to say, oh, he's just joking around when he says it, when he well, says no, like that. Well, here's the thing, Jim. You, you put out a lot of videos online, and mm -hmm. someone who watches your content kind of know what would piss you off. And I, I'm telling you, as a person who knows the man, he did it to upset you, to rile you up. And here I am the next see, day. Well, see, see, now you're video. making it look worse, though. You're like, he's just doing it as a joke, but now you're saying he's doing it to make you mad, so he must be upset. He's trolling you. Like, uh, you like, didn't say yeah. no. You didn't. You didn't say it was trolling. You said he wanted to rile me up. So I make fun of him, and now he's mad, and he wants his revenge through bans. Which yeah, and is a troll problem. is the person who says something they don't believe in order to. I, I'm sorry. I thought I thought Sargon pitched himself as the leader of the liberalist movement. We've got to be smart and responsible and change politics. And I can't associate with bad things. Well, when did I, I he? Guess, when did he declare himself a troll? Because I must have missed that. Well, I suppose when he is talking with the Polish MP like he did yesterday, you can bring up the fact that he trolled Jim, and that will definitely ruin his reputation. Is, it, is talking to a Polish MP supposed to be a big deal? Uh, uh, MEP. 
I, I don't know. Get get the Polish MP as well and talk to him. See if it's a big deal. Who gives a fuck about talking to a Polish MP? I, I don't know what that has to do with yeah. anything I just said. If you talk to the Polish Prime Minister, maybe I would give a fuck, or, or like an actual minister, a member of par a member of the European Parliament. Yeah, V. I got to say too on Twitter, you sold it as he was going out there to protest for Tommy Robinson, but he wasn't. He was going to talk to something uh, to somebody at an event that was already set up. He, he did both things. Like, no, no, he was but you to go tweeted it out. You tweeted it out with the, giving the impression that he was going out you know, for solely for the reason of Tommy Robinson. I, mean, no, I, I tweeted tweet out yourself. that he was going to the uh, Hyde Park speaker corner in order to protest and address the Tommy Robinson issue. Yeah. And after that, right? No, no, there was no, there's no after, there's no after no, that. I, I'm telling you after, you know, regardless of my tweet, after he finished the protest, he went and spoke with the uh, Polish prime minister. Well, that's that's great, but again, you pitched it when I was giving him shit for not doing anything about the Tommy Robinson thing. No, as oh, he's going out to do something about the Tommy Robinson thing. No, he's just showing up where he was planning on going in the first place. Also, I heard your Skype go off again, V. I don't know what the. What yeah, the... this is not Sargon. I I, oh. I don't have a list of Sargons. In <laughs> <laughs> well, Jim, you could have asked. Like not, nothing would have stopped you from asking me to clarify the issue further. I didn't think of it at the time. You asked me if he protested. Well, it was a, it Robinson, was a, it, and it was a pretty definitive statement, V. You were selling me a, a bag of goods. It was a, it's a little tainted there. Well, I'm not responsible for what you understand. I'm only responsible for what I write, and what I wrote was well. And what you wrote gave the impression that it was one thing when it was something else entirely. No, he he legitimately was when I tweeted out at Hyde Park Corner talking about Tommy Robinson. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't think I lied or uh, did anything uh, unethical. Yeah, I'm just going to let the silence hang there. <laughs> well, I, I don't know what else I need to say. It's, it, it, it's okay, like... so how about this, V? Sargon, he's at an airport. He's a busy man. He's going to give a college lecture. Why don't we try to set up something now to, to have a conversation here on the kill stream? I, I told them not to go. So if you want to set something up, get a person. I mean, he doesn't want to not... answer my messages, V. No, wait wait why. a minute. No, I mean, wait a minute, V. That's a bit dickish to Ralph. You said you were trying to goad him into having a little back and forth with me yeah. yesterday. But now you don't want to set up a future back and forth with me. So what, how did that change in 24 hours? <laughs> Because no one gives a shit about Twitter, right? But if he goes on a live stream that says white niggers again, I think that might be a problem. That's already out there, V. Yeah. Do you think and, that's going to disappear? I, I don't want another one. And if it's, he has that much like, lack of self-control, what's he doing trying to be a fucking political figure in the first place? Well, that's his business. You don't have very but... much confidence in Sargon, then, it doesn't sound like. No, I don't, because I see him on live streams. Wow! Isn't that, isn't that a pretty pathetic statement about him? I mean, I don't, I don't know. Well, I suppose it's up to him if it's pathetic or not. But I think we both. Well, I'm know. saying it's pathetic, I, I, and I'm saying it's lame as knows. fuck. It's lame as fuck and bitch made a pussy move to call somebody else a coward, and then you won't show your fucking face here on live stream. Well, or not, face, not even show your face. Just, just show up. Wrong. Ralph. It's bitch made, dude. You, you want Sargon on your channel. Let, let, let's be honest. If Sargon wanted to talk to Jim, he would use his platform. V, here's, the, here's the thing. The the one time that Jim and Sargon talked was on Louis' channel, correct? Is Sargon just afraid to go on neutral channels or other channels? Does he have to go on a yeah, liberal channel? Louis' channel is not a neutral channel. Jesus Christ, that dude sucks his I know. I'm, I'm, I'm saying. That's like, what I'm saying. It's, it's a liberalist channel. That's why. Is he only going to go on channels that are Sargon-leaning? Is that what he's doing now? Is he afraid to like you know engage with anything? How how is he going to change anything if he's afraid to engage with anyone? So you well, had your Jim want to do on his channel. You, well, you guys kind of let him answer. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you were looking at the Sargon. You wanted him to change the world, and now you're disappointed. Is this what you're going with? Talking to me? Uh, no, to Gator. You're talking to Dan. That was the Dan. I'm Gator. Uh, Sorry, my bad. So, I don't think anybody in this call was looking for Sargon to change no. the world, but all that's the <laughs> No, I'm saying... <laughs> that, 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 why, why are you making that argument, That Why are you worried and because are concern trolling he, right now he on, on what Sargon is supposed to do and what he is doing? Because Sargon said it himself. That's what he wants to do. The 20-year plan. That's his thing, isn't it? Yeah. He's yeah, but you're concerned trolling right now, Zidane. I'm not concerned trolling. I'm just Look at the definition a fact. of concerned trolling and tell me how you are not fitting it. I'm, I'm saying a fact. Is he just going to do it on Liberalist, right? Like, you know, his channel. And I am like telling that. you that you are concerned trolling. You're not interested in the Liberalist movement. No, I, I don't see you personally invested in it. 
and you're what? worried how is Sargon going to do this issue? No, it's not. It's not even concern trolling. He's saying he's a bitch because he'll only do it on channels that are favorable towards him, and he's scared to show up after he just called somebody else a coward. Well, I guess that's, that's between weird. him and Sargon to dish it out. So here, come on here and dish it out. There you go. You literally just said it. Well, it was it is it Anne? I don't think you're gonna probably sway him on this. I mean, when he went on to the morning kumite with uh, Takasa, he had like 14 special stipulations for even showing up. Yeah, that's true. No. No. I, I mean, if that's if, what he if we now... pay him the hundred and twenty five dollars that he's charging people to see him in Manhattan, <laughs> will he show up? Hell, if I go there, what if I show up there? I can go to New York. We could just be streaming live on the kill stream and just feed the audio through. Yeah, I can. I can drive over there. Does he want me to do that? Well, we can did, get this done. Did Did V drop out? Is he still here? No, I'm, I'm still here, but <laughs> you didn't ask me a question. I just did. I can go to New York. He's having a yeah, speaking year, right? I'm not right? there. I, I I'm don't ask you. Could, is would he be okay with that if somebody drives How over there? Much? I know if he will be okay. You're his with messenger that. boy. Well, turns out I'm not. So ask him. You know so if you will be okay or not. Get, just get, get that guy on Facebook like everyone else. I was invited here in order to uh, try to get Sargon on, and I came but here. You, because... Actually, you weren't invited. You messaged me and said, want me to join, and I sent you. Well, the... yeah, I mean, I, I can share the screen. You, you pretty much invited yourself. Go ahead and share it. That's fine. Yeah, man. I mean, you, you could have said no, Ralph. I, I didn't yeah, but, but you're misrepresenting this, the fact. I didn't invite you on. You invited yourself. Yeah, so, uh, okay. Matter, I, I'll fact, show you I, matter of fact, V, I have invited you on this program plenty of times, and you never showed up until we were sitting here making fun of Sargon, and then all of a sudden, you jump out of nowhere and said, want me to come on? That's exactly what did you invite me, Ralph? Show me the logs where you invited me, and you set up a date, and I, I didn't want to come. Okay, I will, if you would like. Uh, message me if you get up early doing a kill stream in an hour or so. JF just quit the uh, Warski show. Was gonna get you on here. Hold on, I'll pull. It, I'll pull it up on screen if that's what you really want me to yeah, do. Yeah, well, let me watch as well. Cause, uh... Okay. Every time someone invited me, I usually said yes, unless I'm busy or something like that. So. Okay, let's just. I, I know you came on my channel a couple of times, and if you invited me and, and I was available, okay. I would have came here as a common courtesy. Okay, V. Can I? I'm just gonna ask you one question. Why did you tell Sarkar not to come on here? Why would he come here? Like, what, what, what would, would you his say advantage that? be? Like, what would he gain if but he comes? Why would you say that? Well, okay, so Jim is a troll. He he claimed himself that he is a troll. Why on earth would he engage with the trolls? Because he already did on a, on a Facebook message. Uh, on, uh, on no, a wait, stream. let me read this. Let me read this out. Uh, up for a stream. By the way, I've been on your streams plenty of times. Up for a stream regarding the Baked Alaska thing. I said, sure, what time? We could even do it now if you're up for it. I said, send the link. We did the stream. Uh, hey man, featured your website in my video today. Uh, oh sweet, I'll check it out. By the way, I was gonna see if you were down to come on my stream one day. Kind of blew up in the last week. Been at a thousand plus viewers most of the time, two thousand plus once. Now I actually have to put in work and book guests though. LOL. It's at eleven p.m. Eastern, so not sure if you could do it one night. And you did a smiley face at it, and uh, you didn't say anything. Uh, and then I said, oh cool, it was on Count Dankel. I love that dude. Um, then you didn't say anything. You said, oh, actually you said, by the way, I'm having failure to talk about the recent drama. Uh, want to join as well. Yeah, I heard him mention he was coming on early on the Kumite. Yeah, sure, I think I could make that. What time does it start? Then you send the Hangout link. Then I jumped on that stream. Actually, failure no-showed you, so it was just me and you talking. Uh, then I messaged you. Message me if you're if you're up early doing a kill stream in an hour or so. JF just quit the Worski show, was going to get you on. Then you said, ha ha, I just saw this. I was asleep when you sent it. So you could say you're asleep on that one, but uh, yeah. So then I said, uh, I'm trying to get Sargon on tonight to talk with Alsop. I don't know if he would do it, but maybe you could fill in if he won't. Then he said, nah, he won't. Uh, and this, you were definitely up. This was, you know, con you know, contemporaneous with me sending the messages. Uh, he said, if Alsop hey, apologizes you're, you're, for the way, let me, let me yeah, finish, V. You're he usually said, messaging me at 3 a.m., mate. Yeah, but you're awake. I mean, you're saying you, you usually come on if you, if you get the message, you, and you said you didn't, and that I didn't even invite you. So yeah, sometimes like, I do, sometimes I'm not, but you're messaging me in okay, the middle well, of the Well, the point is, you're full of shit with what you were saying. No, the point is, now it's 7 a.m. Like, well, you're, you're up, you're here now. With the last time. So, so, okay, right? so you got on now, but all the other times I asked you to come on, you didn't come on. Okay, you can have your conspiracy theory that the only reason I came on now is because it's you're talking about It's not even a conspiracy. Like, I, I don't know, man. It's just... Well, it's your interpretation of it, and I'm telling you it's not the case. Now you can believe me or not. Okay.
But we saw for the record that I have invited you on the show. <laughs> I, I never denied you didn't invite me on the show. The thing that I pointed out is that I didn't came before because I couldn't. And I, I, as you pointed in one message, I was asleep. Yeah, on one of them you were asleep, true. But on the other two, you weren't. As a matter of fact, this, yeah. this the other uh, one you, you to be fair, the one with better. JF, the one with JF, I didn't want to come because I don't want to get involved in that drama again. Um, I, I made it a public statement that I'm not going to get involved about JF, and I'm trying not to. Um, and and the other one, I was asleep, so I, I'm willing to come on in the future if you want. Okay. Yeah. But let me put, uh, you said Zidane was concern trolling. Let me translate what he was trying to say in a more, in a more conducive format for your understanding. So, a long time, we've criticized, we've been criticizing social justice warriors because they will only interact with each other in their own special little hug box. They don't want to engage with us. They don't want to talk you know, to, talk to the all right, or they don't want to talk to liberalists or anti SJWs. They just want to live in their own little perfect bubble world. Isn't that a lot of what Sargon is doing right now? Is he has a hug box of liberalists and he just wants to engage within that sphere of discussion and doesn't really want to branch out to challenge his ideas against the ideas of people who will likely be his political competitors? Name me a single alt-right talking head that Sargon of Akkad hasn't engaged with. I mean, that is true. He has engaged with several. Okay, I, I can tell you communists he has engaged with. I can tell you feminists he has engaged with. I don't but think why that now is the question. Tell, tell me how many people from the alt-right has Brianna Wu engaged with. Or tell me how many people has Anita Sarkeesian engaged with. Well, Brianna Wu did actually engage with uh, Ralph as uh, <laughs> Ralph was thrown out of that convention. I don't consider that an actual engagement. Well, then how are you considering Anita Sarkeesian? She called him a garbage human. Brianna Wu wanted Ralph thrown out for being a stalker. I mean, it's the same fucking thing, right? I, I don't consider uh, Anita Sarkeesian calling Sargon of Akkad the garbage human the type of engagement we're talking about right now. Yeah, he also, he didn't engage with uh, with uh, James Alsop. I mean, there, there Wait, are did, some people, some people I, okay. say he's scared of did I, did I, as well. Yeah, yeah go ahead, Jim. I, I I feel like we're getting lost in the thickets here. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. This conversation's taking a weird turn. Yeah, well, I wouldn't disagree with that. No, I, I don't think the criticism is accurate. If you can name me how many people uh, Anita, like you name me a person, Anita Sarkisian or Biana will engage outside of her circle. I name you a person that Sargon of Akkad engaged out of his circle, and we can see who runs out of names first. Mm -hmm. You're comparing Sargon to Anita. How shitty is that already? Well, you are m making the conversation that <laughs> Sargon of Akkad is like an SJW, so I'm comparing an SJW to see if the comparison is accurate or That's not. That's not what I was saying. What I was saying is that Sargon has pulled into his ideological bubble and refu is refusing now to come out of it when he had a clear history of doing so in the past. It's a contrast. A lot of people but pre-SJW would engage with people of other viewpoints too, but they hit a point at which they decided that protecting their own ideology, their own sh belief structure was more important than engaging other ideas that run counter to their own. That's the whole point of talking to people that are communists or alt-right, is you want to see your intellectual rigor versus theirs, and that's why Ralph wanted to invite Sargon to talk to Alsip. Because you have two people that are, you know, no, kind of... Not, and not even Gator, not wanted to. I did, and he didn't respond yeah, to the you message. Did, and, and by the way, we talked plenty of times in years past, and, like, I don't even know. Like, he doesn't even respond now. It's just it's just yeah, shady, my, it's my shady behavior. My other argument to that is that he actually engaged with pretty much all of the alt-right talking heads, I guess, save for also. I don't okay, know if they consider any... me all right. Like, what's the excuse for not even just saying, fuck off, fuck, fuck off, Ralph? Fuck off, Ralph. I'm not coming on your show. Fuck you. Like, why couldn't he say that? Like, I don't understand. You're inviting him on your show not to talk with you, to talk with also. No, actually, I first invited him just to come on the show regularly, just as oh, a regular I, guest. I don't know if you noticed, know but he doesn't come on my streams either. And, and it's not because uh, he's being a dick, it's because he's legitimately busy. Like yeah, right Ralph, now he's in the Ralph, airport. Ralph, Ark isn't gonna play itself. <laughs> <laughs> gotta gotta look after your wife's dinosaur. I don't know. 
I just think it's a little shady, uh, especially since we have a history, you know, like I always, you know, I won't say we're friends, but, you know, kind of defended him and said, you know, I like Sargon and he's been I don't know, mate, before. I, I, like, I, I, I don't never, know. It's just, it's just kind of shady. Him, give, give him the talk about friends on the internet. I said we're not friends, but like we have, we had a relationship, like we had a, a you know, dialogue. He's been on this channel before. I've been on his channel. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's yeah, just. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he ever said anything negatively about you. I never heard him say anything wrong about you, but that doesn't mean that he has an obligation to come on no, your stream. No, he definitely, he dude, he has no obligation to show up. I'm just saying, why not even uh, message, fuck off, Ralph, like. I'm he doesn't kidding. respond to my messages either. Well, all he was responding time. earlier, though. I mean, yeah, I mean he's, he's watching this right again. now. There's zero I'm doubt he's watching that. the stream right now. I mean, if you would wait for all of my words to leave my mouth, you would understand that I said doesn't respond to all of my message all the time. Like if you, if you would bother him about it, which is what I do, but I, I I guess you did a little bit of Eastern European assholishness in order to just keep insisting eventually he does respond chat said we had an emotional connection no i mean it's not even that i just i don't know i just thought it was a little like bush league but maybe that's just me maybe i'm wrong about it but Look, trust me, I, I, I never heard him say anything remotely negative about you. <clears throat> well, oh, the stream got so gay, so it did, fucking it yeah. did. Uh, it's, it's, So, So what do you think about him? Come, is he ever going to come on and, and talk to Jim since he called him a coward earlier? Or is that... You well, I'm telling him not to talk. I know to you this. said that a hundred so times. You can get now. someone else that's not involved into this. Like my my whole thing was just poke at Jim a little, and you'll see him react. Going to blow off all Twitter. There's going to be streams about it. Going to last for a week, and it's yeah. going to be funny. A stream by Sargon. He mentioned him in his in his stream. Yeah. Do you think we'd even be talking about this if he hadn't said? Well, we were gonna laugh at it a little bit because Jim was, you know, pretty funny with some of the stuff he said on Twitter, but. We I was actually... on. I was on fire. What the fuck are you talking yeah, about? Yeah. <laughs> but, but if you like look at the stream on... title, the main topic was Elon Musk, and then we yeah. were gonna, you know, mainly talk about that. But then Sargon did his his stream right before this, where he, you know, he just goes off and it really yeah, personalized lots of text. It wasn't you, just you know what you're and, and and you refuse to point out is that it was a super chat that got him to talk about Jim. Yeah, it's not he that didn't he have people... to say all the things he said. <laughs> the super chat didn't yeah. ask him to invite me to fly <laughs> out and kiss him, did it? Yeah. There's nothing in that super chat about us having a gangbang in a hotel room, there, <laughs> was there? <laughs> but he wanted to piss you off, and apparently he did. Got you to I, react. I, I don't know, V. I mean, I know you're trying to, to trying to kind of paint this like, oh, he he got me. But I sent out tweets. This nigger has been writing essays on Facebook, doing live streams, sending you secret Skype messages to relay to me. Not not you deciding to relay them to me. He's telling you, show this to Jim. Seems like he's pretty fucking invested for a guy that doesn't care and isn't angry. Well, what, what you're refusing to point out is that there are at least a dozen of people of day asking him to talk about Jim, you know? And, and oh, I'm sorry. I didn't, say, I didn't know Sargon gave in to peer pressure so easily. Well, I'm sure you would give in to peer pressure if you had a dozen of people asking you to reveal your identity each day. Eventually, you'd snap and make an essay about why you're not revealing your identity. How many? V, people... I, v, I have people ask me to do shit all the time that I don't fucking do. Yeah. yeah, but sometimes you respond on it on Twitter. That doesn't mean you have a deep emotional connection. Yeah, like but Ralph and the, does, there, yeah? there's a difference between shit posting on one platform and taking that to fucking 19 different platforms to talk about it. Isn't there? I, I mean, we're talking about scope here, aren't we? You're comparing Twitter shit posts to essays, videos, and secret Skype messages being relayed to me by a fucking Romanian uh, carrier pigeon. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about the alt right anymore. Thread one out of forty seven. Oh, hold on, Jim isn't alt right. No, yeah, this is this is well, I mean it is kind of similar though. I mean he he has said a lot. He's not gonna talk about the alt right and then he talks about the alt right. Well you know it's I'm like, not going to talk about you, Jim. You, set your goal. About Jim. you know, you, you you can have a goal and not be able to fulfill it. That doesn't mean that when you set the goal you're not honest about it. 
he actually said on on Facebook earlier, do let him know. I posted this on Facebook and that his opinion yeah, doesn't do, mean do shit. Do let him know. Do let him know. Be sure to send this to Jim. Be sure to send this to Jim. I need Jim to know. I also like, you remember the Louis stream where uh, I was like, so you have people giving you information about me? And he's like, that's not true, Jim. That's a conspiracy. Yet literally in his video, he says, Louis sending me messages saying Medicare's saying this. And then you're saying, I'm telling Sargon what you're saying. So does he have like little little liberalist agents out there keeping tabs when people make jokes about him? Because that comes off as fucking paranoid. Come on, Jimmy. You have a big subscriber base as well. You know that when people talk shit about you, people will point out, look what this guy said. Well, yeah, but again, you're, you're comparing a subscriber base to people that fucking hang out with him. Uh, you know, or a part of his liberalist movement, right? There's yeah, a kind of a difference, a they're difference they're there between yeah. random YouTube subscribers and you know, my, my liberalist agents. <laughs> yeah, and there, there are people that give me messages as well. Uh, Ralph wants to talk to Sargon, make it happen. You know, that, that type of shit, you know? And of course, you know, if I relate to Sargon, then you'll say, oh, it's it's a conspiracy. They're just like, I'm the little carrier pigeon and shit. It, you know that when you have a big subscriber base, this happens. Like, people will tell you if there's other people on the internet talking about you. It's not, it's not that you need to hire an army of spy. You're not you're not the spider from Game of Thrones that has an army of children going around the internet trying to figure out well, what's yeah, going and you, you could be totally right. Maybe I shouldn't be uh, maybe I shouldn't be painting this on Sargon. Maybe Louis LeVay is just a ball riding little bitch. And the moment he sees me say something about Sargon, he scuttles off to bring the message. Well, I, I don't know about that. Uh, but I, I have a question, right? Because I wanted to ask you this. Um, yeah, you talked about Sargon being a coward because, you know, he, he's not doing activism. He's afraid of being arrested and shit. Um, he, he, he's afraid of the man, basically. Um, did, I call, uh, did I call him a coward? I don't recall calling him a coward on my Twitter. Okay, well, that's what I got. At least that, that, that is the implication I got. If you, if you didn't do it, then that's fine. You know, it's on me. No, I'm legit uh, asking you because I shit post a lot, man. So you got you to gotta point me into it. I don't remember because I was last night. I was just laughing and it was like I, I was in a good mood. I, I oh, but maybe, this is, maybe this is what you're referring to. Um, uh, somebody was bringing up the Sargon thing. And I said, because uh, they were like, Sargon, they're trying to, uh, you know, to one up me. So they're like, Sargon's a coward for not endangering himself and risking being thrown in jail, you know, and then signed American protected by the First Amendment. And I responded to that saying, anonymity is cowardice. Now let me show you my bravery by not discussing things that might get me in trouble. Sincerely, Bob. Yeah, okay, so, so, so you're basically saying, you know, that he's afraid of the man. And uh, I noticed you on the Kumate once, you basically talked about how you would want to talk more interesting stuff on your YouTube channel, like the case of Wolfie, with yeah. the guy who had the clothes hanger that was uh, off his fuck box. Himself. And then yeah, fuck his... himself on the coat hanger, yep. Yeah, and, and you wouldn't talk about it because, you know, YouTube wouldn't like it, like it would be against the community guidelines. So, you know, isn't that a comparison where you're afraid of the man as well? Like, you know you're not supposed to do it, you want to do it, but you're not going to do it. Well, th this is where we get into a, a differentiation between publicity and principles, which I think is a big fault with liberalists. It seems to me like you guys are all for low risk, high reward, but not for high risk, low reward. Oh my God, Dankula is getting an $800 fine. Let's go protest in the streets. And by the way, I think what happened to Dankula was bullshit, but you're all fine for that. And, you know, Sargon's reasoning of, well, he broke the law, you know, for Tommy Robinson applies to fucking Dankula too. Yeah, but, but you know, here's here's Tommy Robinson. You're not going to get a fucking two hundred and fifty thousand dollar GoFundMe to overturn Tommy Robinson shit. Tommy Robinson has yeah a reputation attached to him, so that's too hot to handle. So fuck principles. We'll go with PR and optics. Yeah, and you know what's the difference? There were actually thousands of people protesting for Tommy Robinson as well. Yeah, and... people that had balls. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Yeah, Sargon was there as well in Hyde Park Corner. Mm -hmm, but yeah, he, he, can't, he, can't, he can't talk about it though because he has a family to think about. Well, no, it's because it's illegal to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I get it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's illegal. Sentence. These laws are stupid, but let's not let's not protest them. Yeah, you know, the the tyrannical government uh, has a law in place saying we can't call them tyrannical. So no, I guess, he, he is the law. protesting the laws. Anything. Like he, he raised awareness on the issue that it's illegal to talk about. Like what what exactly more would you expect? Uh, maybe not be a coward. Uh, maybe not be a bitch about it. Maybe. Maybe not sing me the song of maybe not sing me the song of I'm going to be a political leader, but then be afraid of taking political risks. And then trying to say shit like, "Oh, oh my my family, think of my family." The motherfucker raised 125 thousand dollars because he doesn't understand copyright law. So I mean, I think you know financially he'll be okay. I, I don't think the risk he would be facing is as enormous as it's being painted. I think the Tommy Robinson case was talked about by other people. I don't think. What Tommy Robinson did actually violates the law in the way they were trying to make it seem like it did. 
And I think the media blackouts bullshit. I mean, how can you guys bitch about Muslims committing rape crimes all over Europe and how the fucking press won't talk about it? But then you bow down and suck dick when they tell you, you can't talk about what happened to Tommy Robinson. That's against the law. Well, okay. First of all, he's not a political leader. He made that clear plenty of times. I think I he said, said I'm starting a political movement because I know the responsibility. And all, he made a fucking video on it, V. It's an advocacy group, man. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it fits your definition when it, it's... it's an activist. It, it, no, no. Okay, what, whatever. Secondly, what exactly more would you have him do? Like, he went there, he protested. He raised awareness on the issue. He, he spoke with uh, Polish, prime, uh, Polish PMs about it. Hey, he's, he's planning to talk with the guy from UKIP about it. Like, what exactly more that he isn't doing right now would you have him do? Uh, maybe not make statements like I I you know, I can't talk about this. I have a family. To th it just comes across oh, as just so fucking wishy washy. Raise awareness on the issue. Raise that, awareness uh, about what if you can't fucking talk about it, V? Yeah, the fact that the government is so Orwellian that it's make people afraid of talking about it. Like that that is concerning. That would get people. Uh, yeah, on you know you know what else also kind of stuns me, and this goes beyond Sargon, by the way. But I, I think as an American, and maybe other Americans are feeling similar to this. But I am so fucking tired of listening to Europeans bitch about the Orwellian states they suffer under, and then be complete little bitches about doing anything about it. And then get upset with us because we're not going to march down the streets with you. Like, you well, know, nut up, not, not up or shut up when it comes to this shit. Like, well, you guys well, bitch all the time about how oppressive it is over there and how terrible it is over there. But then when a little law gets in your way about you can't talk about this or you can't do this, you are like, well, we can't do that. We need to follow the law. We need to queue up and be good little lemmings. I mean, it's well, just well, well, it's when ridiculous. Did you like the Patriot Act was enacted? Bitched you about it, B. Bitched about it. Didn't vote for fucking Bush after that went through. We've had about five of those come through after that. I mean, you're not even talking about the National Defense uh, Authorization Act of like 2012. I mean, there have been a ton of those that have gone through. Well, I can also point out during World War One, your freedom of speech was revoked. You couldn't criticize the government and you couldn't talk against or are, the are you at so war? People didn't rise up. Hey, are yeah. you at war right now? No, but what I'm saying is that when uh, American rights are taken away, I don't see the revolution. I, I don't see people on the streets, you know, trying to take their rights back. V, is Europe is in such a chaotic, shitty state from Sweden to England to everywhere else. And your rights are getting taken away from you left and right. And you're, you're, you just sit there and you take it. And then you have snide remarks for Americans when we make fun of you for it, for not standing up for yourselves. And I think as an American, I'm just fucking tired of listening to it. Well, no, what, what I'm saying is that if you're not in that particular country, it's very easy to talk shit and, and act all bravado and macho and stuff. I'm from Romania, you know, the things that are going in Britain don't affect me. And I can say, oh, look, all these British people, they're so afraid to talk about it. Yak, yak, yak. If I talk about it, nothing happens to me. If I call Martin Luther King Jr. a nigger, I'm not going to get fired for it because I'm in Romania and we haven't enslaved black people here yet. And, and basically, me being able to do all of these things, I kind of understand that, yeah, I'm able to do it because I'm not over there. And it wouldn't be fair to just go on and, and online and say, oh, yeah, I'm so tired of these little people over there that have their own little problems and their own little shit. Uh huh. Let, let me. Let, I just. I, maybe I'm alone in this. Let me do a poll of the room. Everybody here is an American. I'm assuming. I mean, Ralph. I know you are. I don't know about Zidane or Gator. Yeah, yeah. Th we're all Americans. Yep. Am I, am I alone on this, or is, is this annoy you too? No, when it comes I'm to tired that, of hearing about Iwana. And then they don't uh, ever really do anything. <laughs> they like, they'll like, never do you anything. You know, like you, you, you guys have your own problems. You have people who are hopping the sure, board. Sure, we have our own yeah, problems. Yeah, we do. So why do we have to act for you guys? Like, why are you? No, oh, but, but hold on, hold on, right? You have people that are hopping the border. They're illegals. People know they're illegals, and they manage to uh, appear on national television as a lawyer. Sometimes even uh, in places like po uh, politics and stuff like yeah. that. And, and you know, I'm looking at that, and I'm not, I'm not understanding how is it possible for that to happen in a nation. Right. I wouldn't criticize you. You know, it's it's just it's the way it is. It's yeah, but V, I think the key difference is you don't see a majority of Americans when they're facing those kind of issues. When you brought up like the Patriot Act, when you're bringing up border jumping, when you're bringing up all these different things that America has to deal with, Americans aren't running to fucking Europeans and saying solve it for us, support us in it. Aren't we so sad? No, but, Help but, us. But you know what's the problem, Jim? We live in the age of the internet, and culture and ideas can jump from one nation to another like wildfire. You're laughing at the well, British... Well, I mean, I hope American Backbone jumps on over across the fucking <laughs> pond to you lot, because you could use it. I, I, I don't know. You, you have people in power... 
that have dual citizenship, usually Israeli and American at the same time? How can they be loyal to two countries and be in positions of power? Yeah, we agree that's a problem. No one's, yeah. no one's agreed to say that. said, press one to tell, to tell Euro cucks to, to stop whining and do something for themselves. No, but, but here's but, the thing about no, whining, he, right? The, he, the firewall that Britain wants to have against porn. I personally don't think it's going to remain to porn. I think it's going to be extended to other things like, you know, hateful content, hate websites. You know, things like 4chan are definitely going to require a license in order for you to be able to access. He, and, and I don't think it's going to stay in Britain. Can I, I don't think it's going call to be full chat license. V, let me ask you one thing. Uh, tell Sargon to make a Twitter and tell him to tweet out Jews are responsible for 9/11 and they're they're <laughs> and they're they're the cause of all the evil in the world. Let's see how quickly he gets arrested. I, I don't understand your point. Like for two years he's saying he's not living in a free country. And you're like, oh so, I, so I can, that I can tweet that in a free country. Right? I think he knows. I can tweet that out right now. Put my local PD, put the FBI, put everything. No one's going to knock on my fucking door. Him, they'll be on his door arresting his ass. Well, I don't know. Then tweet Martin Luther King. It, 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 I, I can. I can. What's it going to do to me? This is going to do nothing. I can tell my boss that too. He's going to fire yeah, me for it. You know what's the difference, right? It, it, they, it, of course, it's not going to happen. And, and you're comparing, and you're comparing, illegal, you're comparing well, illegal listen, breaking listen, the law they, over Sweden and Europe, all of them bringing in refugees. Different story. If I go, if, if I go in Britain sense. and I tweet that out, nothing will happen to me. But the only when you get the large following, only when Are people you... start listening to you, then it's going to happen to you. Nothing no. happened to Milo Yiannopoulos when he had a small subscribing base. No one gave a shit about it, right? Only when you start growing big and you're getting a huge audience. Same with Jordan Pearson. When, when he was small, no one gave a shit about him and his opinions. Only when you start gathering people and you have a following, does the government care. And it's not just the government. It's it's usually, you know, the, the journalists that are going to slander you as, as a racist. And the moment you're labeled as a racist, it's almost like in Japan where you're considered to be without honor. No one is going to hire you. No one wants to associate with you. Uh, you're going to be treated like a piece of shit. And if people come and break shit in your house, well, no one cares because you're a bad person. Who the fuck cares when bad things happen to bad people? V, this is an article in 2016. It said, uh, according to the register, a total of 2,500 Londoners have been arrested over the past five years for allegedly sending offensive messages via, via social media. They're not all famous. They don't have any reach. They're getting arrested still. Yeah, the so, absolute state of Britain. I mean, you guys, yeah, not you guys because you're not from there, V, but I mean, fuck, they need a license to jack off now, right? They need a fucking porn license over there. You can't own fucking knives. They want to bend the knives. You can't, they, they're up your ass about yeah, guns. Yeah, you can't say offensive me. shit. You can't talk about, uh, this this kind of press shit where somebody gets wrapped up through a kangaroo court in the span of 12 hours and thrown in for 13 months. But you can't talk about it because there's a, a blackout and you've got to, you know, queue up and just follow the fucking status quo. Like, yeah, how, is that gonna, fucking Sharia uh, how, how long is that going to continue? When is that going to be enough? Like, what's the line for people in Britain to say, you know what? No more. I mean, do they have to start fucking your babies in front of you? English people no. like what? What is what needs to happen I for mean, English I mean, people to have personal, enough? From my personal experience, it's usually when it affects people's lives. Like it, the the moment that porn law is going to hit, you will have people on the streets. I'm not even joking about it. But the thing that I'm worried about is that you, it's going to spread, right? Like the system they're having in place in order to block porn sites and stuff like that. It's going to be purchased by other countries. I'm, I'm pretty sure Germany is very interested in blocking so all like the porn is going to get them activated, but but uh, yeah, you know, the kids it's getting like, raped and their free speech. Well, being taken if away. your daughter isn't getting raped, most people don't care because most people don't even read the news. They go to work, they they stay there for eight hours, they come home tired, they watch a movie or some shit, and they go to bed. That's what the majority of people do. They don't read the news. They don't know what's happening. Not to mention, like most mainstream journalists don't even report about it. I, I mean, I think I can end this conversation here. I mean, yeah. I, I think two times is enough. How many times does America have to fix your fucking shit? Like, can't your <laughs> continent get its crap together? Like, we bailed your ass out in two world wars. I think we've done enough. Well, I, I just hope it's not going to, to spread in other borders, mate. Um, and That's what we have nuclear us. weapons for. an example, right? Like, Germany's new law to... Uh, ban hateful content from social media within 24 hours. If someone from Germany reports your videos, Jim, they're going to be placed uh, on a priority list. And YouTube is not going to fuck around and look, hmm, is this hateful or is it hateful? They're going to err on the side that it's hateful. 
just not to, to get a, a fine from Germany because people from Germany can see your videos, right? So, so shit that happens in Europe is going to affect you in some way. Oh, so you're, what you're telling me is people in Germany can't watch my videos because they let the government put in policies that prohibit them from watching my videos. And that's my fucking problem how. I'm not saying it in such a funny way, but basically, yes. And it's your fucking problem because you're trying to run a business on YouTube. Oh, you, all those Merkel viewers. What am I going to do? What am, I'm all <laughs> yes, Merkel no, viewers. No, no, no. I'm going to be watching my Listen, furry videos. I, I like your shit, Tim. <laughs> Believe it or not, I enjoy watching your shit. And, and I want to watch it, despite the fact that Merkel uh, idiots don't want to watch it. Right? So because a Merkel twat can flag your video, I'm not going to be able to watch your content. That sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. <laughs> you don't you want to. You, you can't keep you asking. Want you can't to watch your videos, Jim. You, like, you, you can't keep want... asking Big Brother America to save you. I'm not, I'm not asking to save me. What I'm asking is for understanding. Oh, I you understand. I understand you guys can't <laughs> fix your shit. No, I understand it perfectly well. I understand <laughs> I your cuss. You. It's fine. I'll I understand. Fine. <laughs> we had problems with the way the government was running. We had problems with unfettered illegal immigration. And guess what we did? We elected Trump. Now, whether or not the wall is going to be built, you know, we did something about it. The difference here is that Theresa May is still in power. Angela Merkel is still in power. Europeans yeah, have I, absolutely I no desire to upset the status quo. They're too busy being no, 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 that, overrun that's with refugees. So, so, so in Britain, they had UKIP. Uh, which was a one-issue party voter, is the United Kingdom Independence Party. And the, the only thing they were campaigning for was Brexit. And when they won, the Tories told their platform, because UKIP was pointless. Like, everyone was thinking that the Tories are going to push for Brexit because Theresa May, before the election, she was really hard on it. Everyone was admiring it. And the moment she got elected, she just changed stances. She immediately started cocking and... Basically, Britain is going to live the, United, the U European Union, but they're still going to be under the same laws as if they're inside the European Union. Yeah, which basically so not, illustrates not, my not point. That people didn't vote, okay? It's not, it's not that people didn't vote for the, the party that was pro-Brexit. It's not that they didn't vote for the party that was against political correctness, theoretically, because they're conservatives. They, they actually did vote for the proper parties, just that they got fucked. And, and this is how it goes in is, Europe. Is that, the, is that the motto of Europe now? <laughs> we got <laughs> fucked? Because that seems like a story every day from you guys. Well, I mean, I, I think there is hope because there is an alliance of Eastern uh, European nations like Poland, Hungary. Uh, I, don't think, I don't think those guys are going to save you. I'm sorry, bro. But I, I think if you're expecting them to rush in and save France and England and Sweden, it's a pipe dream. I don't know, France, I don't think it's that bad like it is in uh, Sweden. Take a walk down the streets of Paris and tell me what you think. Yeah, that's the capital city. You know, that's a tourist trap. Go to Sweden. Anywhere. <laughs> yeah, no, Sweden is fun. <laughs> 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 I'm not going to the grind. Go, go to London. Certain uh, parts London, London is a better capital city. Like, like capital cities, at least in Europe, yeah. they're, they're tourist traps. Go to Rotterdam. Trap. Rotterdam. That's not a major city. Didn't they have, no, like, like, two rape gangs? Where like two thousand girls got raped by Muslims, didn't that happen? No, it's uh, yeah, I, I'm not denying the fact that there is a problem in the United Kingdom, but I'm just saying like capital cities are made to attract tourists, so they spend money. So it's not it's not usually like the place that we're, we're no, we're talking about there. populations. I mean, we're not talking about tourists that are coming by your capital cities. I mean, you can see a very definite change in the population of fucking uh, major major Britain, uh, British cities. I mean, you, you can't deny that, can you? You're not going to actually try to tell me that walking down the streets of a, a, a popular, uh, you know, large city in Britain is going to be like it was if you walked down the streets 30 years ago. No, I, I would uh, have a few policies to change that shit if uh, I would manage to advise someone that's in power. Yeah, by the way, somebody in chat pointed out Theresa May was actually a Remainer. Um, now she, after, you know, the other side won, the leave won, she kind of changed her tone, but, uh, I mean, it's kind of yeah. silly to think she was going to be like the, uh, <laughs> savior. Of yeah, the you know what? And I actually, I actually want to follow up on one point because I think this is something, and I'm talking to the Americans here that we're going to have to deal with in 30 years, 40 years. See, we're so focused on the Middle East with countries like Iran and the others getting nuclear weapons. And we're worried about what uh, a Muslim majority country might do with that. Right. Cause we're, we're scared. Uh, 
we're going to have a bigger issue because these fucking Europeans keep importing people from fucking North Africa and the Middle East, and they're replacing their own population with them. So maybe rather than focusing on, you know, Muslim countries that are trying to develop nuclear weapons, we should start focusing on contingency plans to deal with the, you know, the English or the French or the Swedish or the others when their country is completely blacked and they already have <laughs> nuclear weapons. <laughs> Oh, I, I keep pointing it's this true. up, right? Because it's the, the Jewish conspiracy that the Jews are so smart, you know, they bring brown people here that despise Jews so that more Jews go to Israel. It's like, okay, but what about the, the uh, more far into the future, right? All, all these brown people, quote unquote, that, that are coming here, they're going to have nuclear weapons. How is this not a problem? You know, like, is, is, uh, why isn't the, the, the uh, su superhuman Jewish people that are so smart, they're not figuring this shit out. It's like, okay, if we're giving them these countries... I, I just want you to know, to build a fallout shelter, because when the caliphate of Europe happens, we're not saving you. We're going to nuke the fuck out of you and be done with it. <laughs> <laughs> there's no there's no salvation the third time around. When you guys I'll... give up control of your nuclear weapons to a new uh, you know, majority population that wants to start shit with us, we're going to glass the fucking earth. And then we're going to go high-five Russia and China and go into space together. That's the fucking future plan for us. Yeah, that's basically what's going to happen. Now, also, here's a super chat. By the way, there's a lot of super chats. I'm, I'm going to read them all eventually, but uh, I just kind of let the conversation go. But this one was a good one. Uh, Barry Schaff says, Americans don't just let illegals cross the borders or just vote. We form fucking armed patrols to deport our border jumpers and drug ru runners often. Yeah, I mean, it, it's... Yeah, it's well, how is it going for California? Well, he didn't say that it completely stamped it out, but we don't, we're not really seeing a, a response like that. Well, like, like for me, in Europe, it's bewildering that there's even a conversation about building a wall. It's like it's a fence. Obviously, you need to build some shit over there. You know, I, and people, it's like, well, it's racist to build a fence. It's like, what? It, it just can't compute. You know, I, I, I can't understand the mentality of being against marking your property. Yeah, we like, agree okay, with if, you know if there is no border, then can we park our tanks into Mexico? If I was an American, that's the question I would ask. No, we agree <laughs> with you there. The the only thing Trump, Trump has done recently is sent the National Guard to the border. I, I guess he's being blocked on uh, the funding for the wall. Of course, hundred percent. Yeah, I, I think the 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 problem with Trump's foreign policy when it comes to dealing with Mexico is he's not you know. Take, he let go of his advisor, Steve Bunnell, who had a really ingenious plan of dealing with them, which was to, <laughs> to carpet bomb them. Um, so maybe was there, that yeah, back. I would put mines on, on the border, right? And, and if anyone yeah. wants to risk their lives and they make it through the minefield, then Jesus wants I'm them. I'm pretty sure mines are against the Geneva Convention V. I think plastic yeah, are. mines are. <laughs> I, I, I need to check it out. But, and since when did the United States care about the Geneva Convention anyway? Oh, we we don't, but there it's going to be on like our property, yeah, the one the, on the border. No, no, no! It's going to be on the border. It's neutral property, right? Just... And if someone manages to, to somehow sneak past all of the mines, then Jesus wants him in your country. You can even make a live show about it. You know, a television maybe show, and, and get elected V. He's mined the fucking Mexican border. <laughs> you can run on that platform, and he might actually win. <laughs> well, no, because I would make a reality show about it, right? Okay, you, you then get... you definitely would win. You, you get money from ratings, right? And, and you can have bets. You know, you see a group of Mexicans coming over and you can bet. I, you're turning me on this idea and I think this is brilliant. Yeah, honestly, the the, 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 the Raza crew might actually start sending children in order for the more important people to manage through. You know, they, they could have the minefield with children so, so that it looks good on camera. Maybe then, we could. Start you're telling me that show. we're going to get rid of the dreamers? Maybe we could start a reality show where, where we just like live stream the Muslims hunting Europeans love. Uh, and and just... oh, oh, I don't know. Man. Like, rape they gang. already do that. They've got cameras Running everywhere. Rape gangs. Just to see how fast listen, they can listen, run I, away I, from I talked about this. I talked about this on my stream. Um, apparently in London, uh, there was a group of Romanians that were doing construction work. You know, and, and as it's Eastern European tradition, after they would finish construction, they would go and have a beer in the parking lot. So they were drinking in front of this Muslim um, Muslim store, and the owner comes up. And basically tells them to, to leave because it's carrying off their customer. And Romanians do the kind of thing telling him to fuck off. So the, the, the owner of the store comes with his friends and starts harassing the Romanians, right? They get very aggressive. They start pushing at them, shoving them. Um, and eventually the Romanians leave. So after a while, the Romanians come with baseball bats and they start smashing the store. They, they beat every little Muslim inside, you know. 
and, and it's the, the Eastern European beating, the one where you know how to beat someone to an inch of his life so that they don't die and look bad on camera, but they can make it to the hospital in time. Um, and, and after that, the Muslims were complaining, you know, that the, the Romanians are violent and stuff. Um, and they were the ones that actually said, yeah, we, we went there, you know, we started doing shit with them because uh, we, we didn't want them to keep drinking. And the press didn't know how to report it because it was immigrant versus immigrant violent. You know, it's two groups of marginalized people. And I like how the one story you have to tell us about Romanians is that travelers are violent. <laughs> 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 hey, guys, let me tell you this Romanian story about how gypsies beat people with bats. Yeah, okay? There is a difference between assault and self-defense. You know, it, it, like you don't fuck with the man having his drink from Eastern Europe, right? Like you, you need that liquid bread in order to get down with your life. So you know, it's our culture, okay? We live in a multiculturalist society, and if they're going to fuck with this type of culture, we're going to fuck with their culture. It's as simple like our that. Our culture is beating people in the face with bats. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Do, do you know what a good lesson is? Apparently in Russia, it happened as well. Like, a group of immigrants went into a club and started raping a couple of uh, Russian girls. So so the Russian people so went in with bats. Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, they went in with bats, they beat the living shit out of them, and everyone who managed not to get beaten was arrested by the police. The ones that got beaten didn't get arrested by the police. Because it's like, well, you know, l l let's save taxpayers' money. You already got your punishment. You know, you're not going to do it again. God, you know what's a really common thread amongst all of this? It seems like violence is the answer, huh, V? Well, it depends violence towards whom, mate. Well, you know? who are the who are the people who are the people uh, that the violence is against in the two stories you just told us? No, see, that's the thing. I don't think it's a Muslim issue. I, I think it's. But an your two stories issue. and examples were a Muslim rape and a Muslim. Yeah, but, but listen, if the police, if the police would be there and they would enforce the law and the state would have the monopoly on violence, this wouldn't be necessary. You, you wouldn't have ci uh, citizens doing crimes against its own citizens if the law would be enacted. But as we look in the United Kingdom, the police don't want to do anything because they're afraid of being called racist. This is why the, the problem exists. It's because of the establishment and it's because of the journalists that are pushing the idea of political correctness. Now, v, I think I figured out... Oh, oh go, go ahead. ahead. No, 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 go ahead, man. I was going to say, I think we figured out how to save Europe. We just need to deputize Romanians, send them <laughs> into London, Sweden, everywhere, give them unchecked power to baseball bat people in the face. <laughs> problem solved. Problem there stayed solved. Perfect. Well, you're going to have an increasing pickpocketing, but you're going to have a decrease in rape. I mean, you know, maybe an increase in burglary as well, but but again, a decrease in rape and uh, terrorist attacks. I, I gotta say, I, I really am enjoying this conversation. Now, I'm not saying I'm, like, I'm not saying Muslims are a problem, but let me tell you all these stories about Muslims being a problem. <laughs> I'm not saying violence is the answer, but let me tell you all these stories about violence solving things. Oh, no, l l listen, Jim. If you, if you take any group of people you want, let's say people with blue eyes, right? And you give them the privilege of the law not being applied to them. Now, some of these people are eventually going to start doing petty crime. Like, for instance, you know, not pay taxes, uh, <laughs> go, go, uh, go with the bus without paying for a ticket. But, but eventually they will notice that the law isn't applied to them. So, so they're going to spark into more criminal endeavors. They, they're going to branch out a little bit into some organized crime. Now, the police is cracking down on their competition really hard, so which means that it's going to flourish for them, right? And, and when they think they're above the law, they're going to act like they're above the law. So, yeah, that, that, that is the reason you're, you're going to say Muslims are the problem. I, I think it would be the same if people with blue eyes would have the privilege of the law not being applied to them. Let me point this out real quick. Chat's pointing out that your your Skype seems to be blowing up again. There's speculation that that could. Oh, be... it's Devil. He wants to come on. Who? Oh, Who? it's it's uh. Bert Fado talk to you. Oh. oh, bring him on. Hey, uh... Oh, if if you want him on, yeah. I'll, I'll get him Send on. Send him the link. I'll, I'll give him the link. I thought he said it's Devil. That's I was trying to figure <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> That's That's like, devil. devil. What? Uh, Some gypsy term. No, maybe. Uh, in the end, just. Eurofags need to they need to learn. It's fucking All right. <laughs> I, I So everybody know. except Sargon. The quartering was in the chat trying to get on earlier too. It's 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 kind of uh weird how it's always the same group, huh Ralph? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. What you think, right? Yeah. It really gets the uh They're trying to throw them the the job. Job. <laughs> <laughs> trying to throw themselves on the grenade to uh Protect the boss, I guess. Yeah. Did, did, did any one of us deny that we're friends with each other? 
No, no. no we're not we, saying we, it. We never said you denied shit. Like, we're, we're just pointing out a movie. common theme. <laughs> it's like, it's like me noticing. saying, oh, oh right. wow. Jim you don't need to be Sherlock Holmes to see this shit take a place. <laughs> no, but, but it's like me saying, wow, Jim has a manly voice. Jim is a man. Hmm, really gets the almonds going. You know, it's like, I'm not going to fuck you, but thank you. Oh, uh, by the way, the Corian said, fuck off, Ralph. <laughs> dead, dead silence. Thank you. Gotcha. <laughs> Corian said, fuck off, Ralph. You know if I want it on, I know where the green room is. Well, we're not actually using Discord. And we have had you on the show many times. So I like the quartering, but I'm just saying. <laughs> we're Sargon, basically, is, is what I'm saying. But all of his friends are around, but he, but he's not here. You want the fat figure, don't you, Ralph? I want the what? The fat figure. The fat figure? The fat piggy. Oh, uh, you... yeah. I guess is, this... is Sargon the fat piggy? Is that your You're not getting room? the fat figure off. I don't know. Is that I'm your the gatekeeper? Right. Well, I mean, he looks like a bitch. I, I don't know what else to say besides that. Yeah, he's got all his like lieutenants here, but the big boss. All his friends show up, but he doesn't <laughs> show up. I, mean, yeah. I, I don't know. If if you think that's good advice, I, I, I can I can't argue with your political expertise, but. Has he finally caught his flight yet, or is he still waiting at the airport? So, know, so where is Short Fat Otaku, by the way? Did you send him the link, or what? Uh, he said, I'm going to go on and only address Ralph. Oh, God. Why? Oh, oh, boy. I, I don't is... know. I think it's a bad idea. Like, by what? the way, on, guys... on the record, oh, I, I, advised, I, I advised Jesus Short Fat Otaku. Christ. Hold on, hold on. I advised Short Fat Otaku that what he's doing is stupid. And he, he should uh, play with By fire. Way, somebody sent me this message. Uh, please call out V on this point. In the past, he's already made himself a fool on purpose to deflect criticism from Sargon. He's stalling you guys right now again. And here we have you. You're telling Sargon not to come on. You're telling uh, Short Fat Otaku not to come on. I mean, are, is is that a fair criticism that you're just here to like? Well, if you want me to leave, I can. And, and, and no, you can. Yeah, I'd rather you stay. But I'm just saying yeah, that's, that's, that's what somebody messaged me. I, I will tell you uh, the answer to that criticism. There's nothing stopping you from after I leave until the end of time to just criticize Saga nonstop. That's true. Yeah, I, I came here because I'm the man servant, and <laughs> apparently you didn't ask me, but someone else said you did. So I'm here and I'm enjoying this conversation. Okay. I didn't say that. Somebody messaged me that. By the way, I don't think I actually called you a man server. I just said it was like kind of gay to. Let me let me see the exact messages. message that I got. Hold on. I'll... By the way, I sent him the link. I'm kind of gay in person. certain ways. <laughs> 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 I, I I have to be honest. I actually really like your soundboard. Uh, it's pretty great. Gator's got the best soundboard. Yeah, Gator's in the, business. the one that runs that. He's you yeah. just gotta not <laughs> overplay it. Yeah, it's good shit. Yeah, you gotta pick your moments. Yeah. He's he's the best at it. No, I, I want it as well, because uh, I, I could definitely use it. By the way, Jim, yeah, I will yeah. steal some of your jokes in my next video. Then, okay, knock yourself out. <laughs> they, they, they will be mine, and there's nothing you can do. Okay. Honestly, the thing with the Merc was kind of funny, because uh, I, I pointed it out, like, you know, Jim uh, whispered into Andy's ear, it's like, trademark delivered. And Andy was like, yeah, two grand. And I was like, well, why, why don't you sell... Mr. Well, then he, he got uh, he got hoisted by his own petard on that one because Halsey copyrighted. What did he? Uh, he copyrighted blood sports, I think. Yeah, yeah, he did. yeah, you know the difference between a Jew and a non-Jew. The Jew can do it for fifty bucks, and the non-Jew had to do it for two grand. Well, to be fair, he had to do it internationally. Oh. There's a difference, yeah. And oh yeah, Halsey. I think it's all. Well, actually, I don't know how that works between Canada and America. No, Halsey's in America, so. I, I don't fucking know. I don't know. Halsey explained it. It's like yeah. it, I think if you trademark it in America, it goes into all the English speaking language of the Commonwealth or some shit like that. So But it won't it won't it doesn't have any basis to stand because it both words have been used. Going to do about it. For me, all of this was really stupid, but I mean it was funny at the time, but not two thousand dollars funny. You know? The first thing the first one for liberals was a joke. It was literally a joke. It just yeah, it was a two grand worth of joke. You know, it's just never. V V V. He didn't. He didn't copyright it. Do you understand? That's the joke. That's Whoa. the joke. He never copyrighted the fucking thing. Okay. Well, Andy okay, Worsky doesn't. Funny. No, no. If if it didn't, if it didn't, then it's funny. But when he told me, it's like, yeah, I paid two grand for it, and it's like, yeah, why that, are you laughing? That's, at that's, me? Part, of, like, that's part of the setup to the joke. <laughs> No, okay, then it's funny. I, I understand. But the way it was presented to me at the time is that he paid two grand for it. And I was like, what? 
I'd pay two grand for a joke. <sighs> Depends on the joke. I, I... yeah. Why Especially not? like if you're going to trademark something you can't enforce. Yeah, you probably can... have to be the best damn joke in the world because I'd buy yeah. a new fucking computer with two thousand bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you I mean people do it. People do it. It's not a crazy thing. I wouldn't see Jim doing it. What's that? I wouldn't see you pay two grand for a joke. I'm not gonna pay two grand for a joke. <laughs> You're not going to pay two grand for a joke. I don't think, even if you'd make 20 grand on Patreon, you would not pay two grand for a joke. But, you know, I mean, then again, to be fair to Andy, if he would have gone through with it, I mean, he was making fucking ridiculous money at the time mm -hmm. from Super Chats. I mean, fuck, in, in that first month of him doing his streams and all that shit, it must have been like 20 grand. Well, oh, no, yeah, wait, YouTube takes 30%, don't they? So yeah. and, whatever and then that you pay the taxes, to. then you pay the taxes, and then you also pay for, you know, the bank account, you know, the transfers. You, you, can, pro you can probably write off the, the trademark as a tax write-off, too. So it would cost a lot less. You would get it back as a business expense and stuff. Yeah, you could do that. I, I guess. No, I think you could probably that would have been That would have been even funnier if you wrote it off as a I business. <laughs> I, I, I would have. I would have 100% written off as a business business expense. I would have gotten every dime back pretty much, or at least seventy five percent. It would be funny to justify it to the what? What do you guys have there? The IRS? Uh, no, it's it, it's 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 we just you just have to add it onto your business. No, we're, well, we're first off, we're talking about a Canadian, so yeah. their tax uh, thing is different yeah. altogether. Yeah. No, but but when you have like an inspection and audit or whatnot, you know, and you have to justify like you you have to prove that the expense was actually for the business. It's going to be uh, an interesting. Uh, see, I, I don't know. Business of that. making super chats. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I think they just send a Mountie to your house on a moose, and he asks you, is this all right? And you're like, yep, it's all right. Okay, buddy, thank you, and he leaves. <laughs> Take your word up there, from what I understand, in old Canuck land. Yeah, and stateside, if they audit you, just you give them the paperwork and say, you're going to use this for this, this, and this, and most of the time, you get your buy. So. But anyway, uh, Jim, now that you're here and it's not your channel, can, can you tell us a similar story to Wolfie, like something else you'd like to talk about, but YouTube wouldn't let you? You're I, I I don't know if I want to do it on Ralph's channel because I don't want to get Ralph in trouble. <laughs> yeah, be um, he's already got in trouble a couple We're of times. We're short fed Taku V. I sent him the invite. It's oh up to him God. if he wants to take it or no, not. Wait, he was like, are, are you say, you're saying he came on, said, message you, said he was coming on. And yeah, now, he is wanted, he backing out again? Like, what's, yeah, what's he, he's like, let me talk to Jim. I give him the link and he's not coming on. I think he expected Jim to go like, oh, short fat Taku is coming. I'm leaving. Why? Why would I ever do that? I don't know. <laughs> Who's scared of short fat Otaku? Upset. Get the fuck like, out of here. No one's he, scared of that guy. He is, upset. He, he is upset that Jim didn't take his invitation. Right. So, so he issues an invite. He no, no, V, let's, yeah, let's, no, let's Look, go back. Look, he's upset he's listening to no, this. V, okay, just okay, good, good. Well, good. Let's go back to the beginning of the story. He does a fucking stream, and then he and Scrum Monkey, that's the other guy, right? Scrum Monkey, or is that yeah. the wrong? Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's Scrum. Scrum. Oh, yeah, so him and Scrum Monkey invite me on like four or five times. I'm listening over the course of an hour. And so finally, I was like, fuck it, I'll go on. Then he's like, oh, God, sorry, we're out of time. And then he says, we'll reschedule. Anytime Jim wants to come on, we'll do it Friday, 3 o'clock. Boom. Okay, I'm there. Okay, so okay, the first time, wait, wait. The, the, no, I'm not even done with my version yet. <laughs> so he invites me and then has to go. Then he schedules a thing and cancels it the next day. Then later that night, he's in. I'm talking to Ralph on Ralph's stream. And Short Fed Taco is in the fucking chat. Yes. And Ralph's like, come on on. And Short Fed Taco's like, not going to do it. So three times this guy dodges me. And then what am I supposed to do? Schedule with him again? <laughs> like, do I look like yeah, a fucking retard to you? Like, I, I, I'm all the way with you on this. But I'll tell you his side of the story. So, you know, you can judge the other side. So basically, he legitimately had to go. Like, I, I know mm. for a fact that it was a coincidence. <laughs> he, he said he had to go play Nintendo. Who are you kidding? No, 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 no. Listen, listen. I, I, I will explain, right? So, so he had to go because his attendant came in, like the, the landowner, in order to see about the broken pipe or some shit. And he expected that would take an hour, right? But it doesn't take an hour. It takes less. And then he's he's back and he goes to play Nintendo. Um, so I'm telling you what he said. Okay, I'm telling you what he said. It's not it's not my arguments. It's his. Uh, after that, he does say that he wanted to schedule a stream with Jim, but people on his Discord are saying they're not interested in that type of content and he should drop it. So so he drops it, but then wants to reschedule with Jim after he changes his mind, and then is upset that Jim doesn't accept. That's that's his story. That's his version, okay? 
Just the messenger. I'm the carrier pigeon. Don't shoot me, please. But see, here he is again, messaging you, saying, let me on, and now he's ducking out again. Like how? Does Not even look? just that, Ralph. He said he'd come on. At first he said yes. he wanted to come on. Then he said he'd come on but only talk to you, and now he's not even showing up. Uh so apparently there's a plot against me orchestrated by JF, Medicare, and a bunch of the other blood sports slash alt-right types where they're faking conversations between people and myself. Meanwhile, I'm packing out live events and doing the work. Sargon derangement syndrome is real. Him. He said, where's the proof of this? Sounds like a baseless accusation. You didn't even give a source of who might have told you this information. Listen and believe. And yeah, it does sound like some uh, listen and believe classic... Uh, Anita type shit here. Somebody called him uh, Carl Sarkeesian Twitter feed earlier. That maybe that's a bit far, but uh, uh, then somebody else, Jake Horn, says, "LOL, I like that lack of proof or evidence you posted there, Carl." I'm just being told from multiple sources, none of which owe me anything. They think this is going too far. Apparently, not named any of those sources or shown any evidence, of course. But uh, but they're there. They're there. Just 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 believe them. Just listen and believe. Uh, there's another one. Um, this is from a fan. I knew Medicare was trash, not to be trusted. Uh, then Sargon says, just look at how he revels in his host's miseries when he goads them to go too far. Uh, yes, Jim. Jim is, he's laughing like we're laughing. I don't, I don't think he's, he's never said anything differently. Of course, that, you know, in Sargon's, Sargon's world, that makes you, uh, subhuman, I guess. Just being in it for the laughs makes, makes you a bad person. Uh, and then uh, Bill Crawford says, Sargon, stop feeding the trolls. Seriously, bro, you're one of my favorite YouTubers, and this is cringe. Sargon says, I totally agree. I guess he totally agrees this is cringe. Uh, but sometimes you have to stay ahead of it. Sargon, uh, big brain Sargon's all over this. What else do we have? Uh, Gibbs proof, please. And then Sargon says, remember what apparently means old bean? Ritbong saying, we don't use that here in Freedom Land. Uh... And then, yeah, they go on. Uh, the same dude who commented earlier says, Still a smear like anonymous sources. Journalism, JF has always held you in high regard and claims to have respect for you. I wonder if he will after this. I think you're being played by Kraut and Spino. Sad. Uh, finale here. Very quick video. Uh, hey, I've got a bone uh, to pick with you, buddy. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. I, I heard you were dead naming some beautiful <laughs> trans women. And, you know, I've just got to step up. You, when you see something... You need to say so, something. So, uh, what's your next big plan to take down Sargon? Oh, well, you know, I am working with uh, uh, JF uh, to, uh, you know, initiate a plan. I don't want to give too much away, but we are working on some things. Some <laughs> things, you know, that Richard Spencer was like, Jim, Sergon needs to be taken down. And we're like, okay, Rich, how do you want to play this? And he's like, we're going to burn liberalistisms to the ground. And, you know, both Jay and I were really surprised by this. We're like, why do you want to do that? And he's like, just for fun. Just just for the fun of it. I just want to fuck with him a little bit. And we're like, all right, you know, let's do it. And then with the help of the John uh, Loki Foundation on Facebook, uh, we got that ball rolling. Uh, but apparently, yeah, I'm a part of a conspiracy I was unaware of. So that's always, that's always fucking nice. <sighs> what, what would possess him to, to send something like this out? I mean, I, there was a theory that... Uh, some people put out earlier that that this is Sargon trolling all of us, and and this is a part of part of his plan to to make us look like fools, not him. Uh, this is like a master op by the liberalist leader. Yeah, is that yeah. what they're fucking saying? <laughs> yes. Well, hey, you what know, you call our ops, dude. Well, I mean, this is the man that was the leader of Gamergate. So who am I to say? <laughs> who am I to say what the genius might have come up with? But um. <laughs> Ah, uh, I don't, I don't know. I guess, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now I swear on everything. There was comment after comment. I did a short video on my channel about it, and it's like, well, lol. You guys don't see how Sargon's trolling you right now. I'm like, okay, well, if so, you're uh, really playing underwater chess. I'm playing 16th dimensional settlers of Catan. <laughs> So I, I, I don't know. Uh, I, this is going to, I am looking for, I'm actually legitimately excited because uh, I don't know what conspiracy I'm a part of. So I'm, I'm looking forward to him dropping, dropping that hot bombshell on us. Yeah, he said he has I have more. a theory. Oh. Oh, do you have a theory? Hit us with your theory. What do you think? What <laughs> my do you think? Theory, 
my theory is that during the uh, the Dick Masterson stream when we were fucking with Kareen, I think he heard my JF impression and thought it was actually JF, and then heard my Sargon impression and thought I was playing my soundboard. Uh, well, no, he said people sent him things. He said people, what, what did it, what the fuck did the, uh, it said something like, uh, people that I don't normally talk to or associate with sent me a dire warning. <laughs> the dire that, warning. Uh, that 24 hour ops were afoot. And yeah. so he just wanted to get the word out there to his, uh, his followers that if a screen cap showed up saying gas all the kikes, that really wasn't him. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the main the main Facebook post, and there's some more, I'll pull those up in a sec. But the main one said, so No, is right. My song got impression isn't that good. Uh, so apparently, we have a guy who does a really good one, mostly because he's actually from the UK. But, uh, he's actually he's from there. So, yeah. So apparently, there's a plot against me orchestrated by JF, Medicar, and a bunch of the other blood sports slash alt right types where they're faking conversations between people and myself, which, by the way, is the easiest fucking thing to do in the world, but I'll, I'll leave that alone for now. Well, I, I'll just be straight up with you. I mean, in Sargon's case, there's no need to fake anything. <laughs> like, yeah. the shit that he says on the regular is entertaining enough. Why would you need to make up anything? Like, the white nigger comment, maybe MLK was wrong comment. You act like white niggers. <laughs> you don't think <laughs> Like that shit's that shit's gold. Why would you? You don't need to really. You don't really need to tinker with the formula to get a to get a great result. <laughs> so, I yeah, I I don't really understand the theory. Uh, and then here's the, here's some comments from the thread that I screen capped earlier. Uh, somebody said I knew Medicare was trash, not to be trusted. Then Sargon says, just look at how he revels in his hosts. His host miseries. I don't know. I didn't know you had personal hosts, but anyway. No, no. He meant a host, as in I'm a, I, I, I'm a parasite. Oh, like a parasite. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. See, I latch on, and then I suck okay, out the okay. life force. I'm like a, like a giant <laughs> hybrid of a tapeworm and a lich, just kind of, <laughs> kind of crossbred to fuck with people on the internet. Even though I've been more than upfront with everybody that I've ever gone on their fucking streams or shows and said, I'm not, I'm not your friend. I'm just here to shoot the shit. Yes, I think you've been very consistent in that. I don't understand. Oh, sorry, I just... what, what about what I said earlier? Because somebody, we were talking about it, and they they said, well, how has Sargon made it so long? Because I guess what I had pointed out was it really seems to be people laughing at him. It, it is, it's kind of getting to him. And they said, well, you know, people have been laughing at him, making fun of him for a long time. And I guess, you know, my next point was maybe it's because people he thought he was cool with or that should naturally be on his side are making fun of him, or at least saying, wow, Sargon, you're looking like an idiot right now. Maybe you should reevaluate. And that, that seems to kind of have pushed him over the edge. I, I don't know what it, what the deal is in his case. Um, I, I don't really check in on his fucking daily life. When he does something stupid or if there's something funny going on, like the liberalist thing was funny to me. Or, you know, the, the interesting would be like the Tommy Robinson thing, kind of his ducking out of that. But aside from that, I'm not like really paying attention. So I don't know how much he gets fucked with on a daily basis. He tries to, I mean, I know he's written letters to the alt-right, like fucking four of them. Uh, and he tries to make it seem like they're relentlessly fucking with him. But I can't really imagine how bad it could be. Um, aside from calling him maybe a faggot in the comments. Uh, I, I don't know. I, you do all this anti sw shit. You shit on feminists for so long. And you deal with Tumblr, nothing but Tumblr. And you get used to dealing with that, right? And then when a normal person or a, somebody from a different fucking community comes along and says, Hey, you kind of... Uh, you're kind of a fucking retard, aren't you, buddy? I guess you don't know how to react to it because you can't scream, oh, you're a blue-haired feminist. No, no, I'm not a blue-haired feminist. I should think you're a faggot. So, like, I, maybe that's what's throwing him off his game? I don't fucking know. No, but wait, aren't you obsessed with Sargon? What, what's your problem? Why do you keep talking about Sargon? That's, that's what I've been getting. Oh, oh well, I mean, I've got, I've, got, I've got posters around my bed that I can just <laughs> lovingly look at. Uh, you know, I'm hoping to get them signed when I go to one of his events. I've tried to, I'm going to crowdfund the money because isn't it like $3,000 a ticket? Or, but I mean, that's <laughs> worth the money, I think, in my opinion, to, to be able to, to watch this week in stupid in real life. A small and song. Of, yeah. And of course I get to listen to the great fucking burger prep songs, uh, or a prep burger. I'm reversing order there for a second, but whatever of, uh, Dr. Randomer camp. So that'll be, <laughs> that'll be fun. You know, that's a great opener. Nobody nobody's expecting that a kekistani song by a guy in a fucking yushanka with puppets sign me the fuck up where do i where do i send that money do i gotta paypal that to you or do i just buy it at the door bitcoin only um let's see. <laughs> <laughs> uh 
Um, yeah, okay, here's an another one. Comment. Some of the people in the thread were actually, they were kind of like, okay, why are you saying this? Where's the proof? You know, what, what is, where's this coming from? Uh, and Jay Corn says, LOL, I like that lack of proof or evidence you posted there, Carl. And then Sargon says, I'm just being told from multiple sources, none of which owe me anything. They think this is going too far. Yeah, yeah, I think that was the comment I heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. something like this, something like uh, people I don't associate with, or just uh, neutral sources or some yes, shit. Neutral yeah. sources. <laughs> yeah, trolls <laughs> are sending me things. <laughs> well, I, mean, I guess two things really. One, I I don't really care. People say shit online all the time. Again, I'm really looking forward to this because it's probably going to be funny. But two, why would he even comment about it? I, I thought I thought my 24-hour opping ass wasn't worth the effort, but apparently he hears one whispered rumor and suddenly he's got to make posts about it. I uh, maybe this is a grand troll to make him seem paranoid. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what he's going for. <laughs> yeah, I, honestly, I just could not tell you. Uh, I, just... I will say, um, I, somebody sent me a clip and I hadn't seen it. He finally responded to me today. He sent me a message. And he pointed to the tweet that you quote tweeted, basically saying, "This is why uh, I'm not going to come on." And uh, what uh, what what tweet did he say? It was the tweet that I that I uh, hold on. Let me let me scroll back up to make sure. I, you know the one you quote tweeted, it, and it was me, and it was a screen cap of his Facebook post. And I said, "Jim, any comments about another one of your famous 24-hour ops being revealed by Sargon the Big Brained?" And then he he messaged me back on Skype after I sent him a message like May seventh. And today he just out of nowhere messaged me as I'm, I was on my way to dinner with my family. Actually, I'm on like a trip or whatever. And he said, why won't Sargon talk to me? And that was quotes. And then he linked that tweet and he said, this is why I avoid your community like the plague. Take care. Good luck in the future. Uh, that's, that's all he said. That's all he said on Twitter. And then uh, somebody linked me and I didn't see this the other day, but somebody had told me about it. I, I just saw it tonight live. And they said, turn it to 340 in one of his videos, New York newscast, whenever he was in New York. And they asked him about coming on the kill stream. And he said, why would I Why would I ever go on there and lend them my name? Look, Just look at the titles of some of the streams where they talk about me. Just why would I do that? Basically using the pretty much verbatim the SJW reasoning for not going on to talk to him or to talk to others like him. Uh, because, oh, they're garbage humans, and just look at what they say about me. Why would I ever go on their platform? I mean, it's pretty much the exact same argument, right? Yeah, I, I mean, it's really similar to, like, two years of YouTube where they wouldn't fucking have anything to do with anybody making fun of them, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. Why would I lend them my name? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's some like fucking magical tome. It's a rune that it's can be song, read for power. Man. Yeah. I invoke Carl of Swindon. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> let, me, let me just say something. So, JF, uh, the payment yeah. went through. Good work. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think he bought it, man. Wink, wink. We're doing good here. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, What's really weird about all this? Usually when this kind of shit goes on, V is like on top of it. It's like the PR guy. I don't. Has yeah. he said anything about any of this shit today? No. No. I DM'd right, him. That, that's really unusual, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yes. It very, like it before the stream even started, there were I couldn't tell you at least five or six comments from the chat that you know there were quite a few people waiting, and they said, "Oh, I bet this is going to turn into V coming on to run damage control. Quarter pounder will probably show up, and that's that's probably what this stream will be." I haven't heard from either one of those guys like yeah. nothing. Then they must be treating it seriously. If none yeah, of they, them are showing up, they must believe that there is a level of severity to this that uh, they don't want to. They don't want to risk uh, exacerbating it, or I, I don't know, to be honest with you. I really don't. <laughs> I haven't heard anything from them. I actually messaged V earlier because Caligula kind of sounds like him, and people wanted him to, like, holler at him. So, <laughs> um, so I messaged him. I didn't hear anything back. He did message me back last night because I was looking for shit rats, uh, one of his archives, and V, like, hates that dude or whatever. Uh, I did hear from him then, but that was almost 20. You know, Jim did his stream, fifteen thousand watching. It was, it was pretty. It was pretty good. It was, it was hilarious, actually. And then, I, I really, he didn't say that much about Sargon from the. You know, I, like I said, I saw the first. I don't know, two hours of it, and I, I mean, maybe he made a couple comments in passing about Sargon, but it was nothing serious. So I, I really don't even know what Sargon was was up in arms about. I mean, he was destroying you know skeptics and and laughing at them in general, but. Why was he so angry, Zidane? I don't know. 
my theory is if you poke Sargon, he just loses his complete shit. Even if you just like, just a little, you make a little bit of fun of him, he just completely spurgs the fuck out. And Jim has a way of just poking at him, I guess, and he just loses his complete shit. I think, uh, you know what? I think Sargon's actually in love with Jim. Every time Jim makes fun of him, is it a is it a shit rat situation? Yeah, Jim, if you're listening, I think Sargon's definitely 100 percent in love with you. Jim, you could have led them. You could have been the leader. He oh. wants you to be his leader. He wants you to be his king. <laughs> he wants to make you his king, Jim. Oh man, I just don't. Uh, anyway, by the way, uh, should we should we show who actually tweeted these out? I mean, uh, well, let me just ask the chat for those who don't already know. Who do you think tweeted this out? Without me, without me spoiling it. Who do you? Well, you already know it, man. So I guess I, I do. <clears throat> uh, I just want to see. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna just wait a second just to see if chat can guess who tweeted this out. Oh, I think they got it. Let's see. I'm still oh, waiting. They got it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Instantly. Yeah, that's correct, chat. Uh, now, just for the record, I'll, I guess I'll show the show the tweets. I am but a humble Romanian carrier pigeon. Please no bully. That's what uh, that's what V said. And yes, V was the one who sent this out. Now, can I ask you a question, Zidane? What on earth? It, this had to be from Sargon himself, right? Because hundred percent, we've seen this before. Remember the Skype messages to Jim? We've seen this before that he's like the intermediate, and every message he he sends to V and V tweets it out for him. Um, this isn't anything new. I guarantee you, Sargon was like, oh, "I'll send this out." you know make make him feel like shit look i'm with uh, ukip now look at us we're in suits hanging out with people that actually matter yet because why would he ha 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 i just woke up but i can tell you that jim is just looking for attention because nobody is playing with him then he says jim is a scared little boy who needs to bully those smaller than him i am literally dealing with pan-european politics Sargon's a big, he's kind of a big deal now, Zidane. Why don't you respect this guy? Fuck him. He's a cuck. Nah, he's, he's literally, he's literally dealing with pan-European politics, sir. Yeah, well, how dare you? raising his, his wife's child. <laughs> First off, who puts this out to the public? Does he not realize how just pompous and just arrogant that sounds? Why would he, why would he do that? Maybe he doesn't care, but... You know, most people, even people who might be predisposed to kind of liking Sargon, just like, wow, this guy sounds like a fucking pompous asshole. Because he is. Well, yeah, I mean, I know, but I know <laughs> he is, but I'm just saying, like, you don't want to just give the game away, right? Like, I, I don't understand. It's not the best. Maybe he needs to hire a PR agent with, with those Patreon books. I'm not sure, but, um, and then goes another tweet. I have a press conference about Article 11 and Article 13 today. I will be wearing a suit. Oh, Jim dude's got probably a suit. doesn't even own a suit. <laughs> oh man, he's gonna be wearing a suit, Zidane. I can't afford a suit. What's a suit? Never worn one in my life. I, Never had a job I have a suit, ever. and it's all pressed and it's ready to go to attend Sarkon's funeral. That's, that's <laughs> why I have. A... <laughs> Mine's ready to go. It's really nice too. It's fitted, you know, custom tailored. Uh, I'm even gonna fly out to London. Hopefully, my wife's still living there, man. I don't know how many more years uh, uh, Sargon's got left. I know she's gonna move over here soon, but uh, we'll see. Uh, I will be wearing a suit. Yes, chat. He actually said that. Yeah, this is real. Yeah, this is I not Photoshop. Nothing. It's like. Suits aren't... Everyone owns a suit, basically. I might Fucking... even wear a vest. You know, one of those three-piece suits, you know, with the vest and everything. Oh, with a little damn. flower in the pocket. You know, yeah, I'm gonna come with the gator boots and everything. Like... Uh, oh, well, gator's not here, so okay, you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, don't tell him. I won't. Alright, there's another one. This is... You can tell he's been reading his... um. It's Jordan Peterson here. He says, 
Let him lead his lost boys to Pleasure Island. It'll turn them into pointless, braying jackasses. And he can be responsible for it. Ah, uh, hello oh. there, gentlemen. Hello. Sorry, it took a moment. How you doing, man? Uh, I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? I'm doing excellent, actually. Okay, what? let me just adjust that. There we go. Okay. What What are your thoughts? Are you wearing your suit now? Are you, you said you, you... I I am suitless. I, you know, when you lead the Lost Boys on Pleasure Island, uh, occasionally when you're running around the woods with all those kids, you, you get shit torn up. And wearing a nice Armani suit out there, you get all dirty doesn't make a lot of practical sense so i'm mostly just very relaxed jeans and a t-shirt just kind of roughing it that's that's how we do it on pleasure island what what do you think okay so there's a couple theories that we've we've bantied about here by the way zidane said my volume's really loud on hangouts i don't know how to to adjust that that's all right so. I, I adjusted it myself it's okay yeah so okay. so did i you're fine okay all right thank you um, what do you think possessed him to send that out? Do you think it was just V doing that on a whim, or do you think that came from the soy father himself to, to send that? Well, to no, I, I thought V was just shit. I thought that was like a joke. Like he sent those, those, uh, screen caps. I thought he was joking. Like he edited them for a joke. Uh, so I threw him in like a, a little video montage that I thought suited it. Uh, but no, he was like, no, no, that's real. And then pictures of Sargon and his amazing Applebee's outfit started popping up. And so I was like, oh, he was, he was telling the truth. I have that video montage, by the way. I'm going to play it. It's only nine seconds long. Let me go ahead and hit it right now. Hold on, let me make it bigger. There we go. I am a division manager. That is very important. Do not raise very your voice important. at me or You at don't Derek. talk Do to me like that. Said? People Do are you? scared of me. People are scared of him. He's literally <laughs> dealing with pan-European politics, Jim. I, I drive a Stratus. You will fucking respect <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, right? I don't know what his deal is. It's such a weird thing. Like, this is his big day, right? This is the day that he's going to go play politics. And the first thing he does when he wakes up is tell his little gypsy carrier pigeon <laughs> to inform me that he has a big boy suit. I've never had anybody. I've never. Had, that's such a little kid thing to say. It's kind of adorable. You know, it's like one of those milestones in life where you brag about it a little bit because it happens to you, but you don't realize everybody else has done that. It's like, oh, I got my driver's license. Well, Congratulations, everybody who's 16 does. But I'm proud of you, champ. So he's so he was so happy about it. Like I have a big boy suit, and I'm gonna wear my big boy suit to my big boy event. And what is but this no, is a big day too. That's what I. Why yeah, yeah. Know? It's it's pan European, uh, pan European uh, political summit. I, I don't know. I mean, hey, you know, don't feel too bad. It's only one continent. I mean, Anita and Zoe did get the whole fucking world, oh. but one day, champ, you'll get up on their level. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe you'll need three more political parties you have to jump onto before you reach that. Uh, but, you know, best of luck. Wore a better fitting suit once than he did. Oh. Did you I, see I, the, I... the actual cut of the suit? <laughs> How fitting it is? Like, it's a joke. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. It was so... It, but it really was just... It's a very weird... It's a very weird message. It's, it's, it's a really bizarre thing. Like, I just woke up this morning... And Jim needs to know I don't fucking care. And on top of that, I got a suit. <laughs> now, if you excuse me, I've got to go to a press conference. Dude, he's in love with you. I I don't know what it is. No, I'm it's, serious. Uh, it, it's you know I only said I think I mentioned him three times at most, and that was it, like in uh, answer to something somebody had said in chat. And I brought up that um, you know she went ahead should really be considered the alpha skeptic because she's batting like over a million right now. Like, her numbers are fucking crazy. All her videos, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of views. Shit ton of likes. Everything she puts out. Massive audience. Like, if somebody's going to be the alpha skeptic, it's fucking chew on head. Maybe he needs to bend the knee a little bit on that. And then the other two things I think I mentioned were uh, him leaving the liberalists to go join UKIP and uh, tranny porn. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, that, maybe, that, <laughs> maybe that did it. I don't know. It's just, it's just kind of out of step. I don't, I don't understand. This is his big thing. Now, a, a couple people messaged me, you know, kind of in his orbit and said that V kind of turned it into a joke and they were putting the blame on V. But I, I don't think V would have sent that out without the go ahead from, from Sargon, right? I mean, at least I'm, I would, I would think that. I don't know. 
I, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't really give it much attention. I was more busy um, dealing with... It's weird. I, I've noticed anytime I make fun of skeptics or anytime I make fun of the gay Discord ops, it's the same group of like 20 people that show up. Every single time from both groups, right? Um, like Louis Laval was just constantly going on with his passive aggressive tweets, uh, whining uh, about shit. Um, you had Kraut whining about shit. You had Shit Rat whining about shit. And they just, they always come out. It's always the same fucking group of clowns. I'm sure one species uh, will eventually show up and make an ass of himself like he does on a usual basis. But the reaction I've been getting, I'm going to start doing, I think, maybe a fucking weekly shit on skeptic stream. Because it seems to it seems to work pretty fucking well. I they they kind of went into a fucking tizzy uh, the day after. I, they're really mad about the Matt stuff. Uh, really mad about about everything on that stream. And I saw you know what's his name Tizzy. Speaking of tizzies, after after your stream last night, he went back and quote you you know you you screenshotted on uh, well somebody screenshotted it on Twitter, and uh, you know. It, it, they, they hadn't even really paid that much attention to it until you spotlighted it last night, and now they're trying to to go at him. Like it clearly, I, I, oh no, I, yeah, I love how they all said like uh, shit rat, and the others were like, oh, it's a conspiracy theory. But it it only became a conspiracy theory when I pointed out that they were getting upset about it. You know, he he responded, he put out the video, and then uh, somebody said Jim watched and commented the whole video, pointing out the behavior from you. But okay, tell everyone and let them believe that this is cherry picked. Then he says, "Not talking about Jim, lol." Did I quote tweet Jim? Uh, oh, uh, and no. I, the, my favorite <laughs> response. You know what? I'm, I I can already guess from the giggle. You know what? I, somebody had the best fucking line in response yes. to him talking about cherry That's picking. Right. Let me let me pull this up. Um, hold on, I'm sorry. One second. Uh, uh, Bunty had said. Bunty had said. Oh yeah, go ahead and pull it. Up. <laughs> Bunty had yeah, said to uh, to people. Uh, got to get those cherries. Got to get those cocks squirting. And then uh, Lucy responds, "Your ex sure got those cocks squirting." <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, holy shit! That is fucking devastating, Bunty. Ooh. People Man, have been I'm taking shit. shots all day, all day. <laughs> he made the video. Like, who does this? Like, why would you come out and then post this video? What he did was he, then he. Disable oh, the comments. Oh, fuck. That's, that's what I wanted to talk about. Have you heard mm -hmm. the speculation on who the chick is? I know that people I were have, saying Peach, hey, yes. Peach Saliva. Yeah. Uh, okay. yes. uh, I heard a different story, and Ooh. it lines up with VidCon. Who was the chick that was known to have fucked another guy at VidCon and was crazy? Huh? Crazy and people hair? didn't like Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Seriously. People are saying, it, it, people are speculating that this was crazy hair. He got cucked by her, of all people? Because apparently, didn't she fuck Vernaculus when she got there? Yeah, and she pointed the camera at the bed. Yeah. Hmm. yeah I don't so, know. Uh, There's so many levels of lore. There's so much exploration to do <laughs> on these stories. <laughs> yeah, you a know? lot of people were saying Pete's love at first. And uh, I, I don't really think it's her. She's out of his league, let's be honest. Yeah, yeah I don't, I don't um, think it's her. You know who else has a good picture with crazy hair? Fucking Sargon. That's right, yes. Sargon was alleged to have uh, railed her as well. Did he wear a suit? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he was he was wearing Jamal's suit while while he did it. Uh, yes. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, my my take on that video uh, with with Bunty King was it, it's just it's weird to put that out there. Um, it's weird to share that story and. It's just bizarre that you'd let a chick cheat on you and then want to make her your queen, right? You've got to have a little bit more self-respect uh, <laughs> and basically throw her whore ass to the curb and uh, move the fuck on with your life. Well, see, that's the thing that gets me. Okay, so look, if you got cheated on, all right, that's fine. E even if you made a video on it, I wouldn't do that. I think that that's, you know, stupid. Uh, don't put that out there. But you know what? You made a video. Some whore cheated on me. I kicked her to the curb. Fuck that bitch. But in the video, he specifically says, I'd still take her back and uh, want her back and I want to make her my queen. Please get rid of this guy. Uh, I had people tell, you know, not very many, but a couple of people like, well, Ralph, you've never been in a, an emotional state and da, 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 da. you never had anything bad happen to you. Well, yeah, I have. Uh, not like that. But e even if that had happened, I'm not going to make a fucking video about it and put it out there. It's just, 
I don't even understand the mindset. Maybe, maybe yeah, YouTube yeah, you know, make yeah, people yeah, so and again, sick in certain ways. But. Yeah, and again with the timing, right? Wasn't that VidCon where all this shit happened? That was 2016, right? And Bunty's video was a year and a half, two years ago. Yeah. Yeah, it, was, uh, it, it, it lines up, doesn't it? Yeah, it was what? 2017, I think. Early. And didn't didn't she say that she was there with someone? Didn't she say, "Oh, I was brought here with some, but somebody, one of the skeptics brought me," but mm -hmm. she never really uh, elaborated on who. Yep. By the way, here's I, a, I don't know. We got some. There's some. There's some. There's some uh, skeletons in these <laughs> closets that need to be uncovered, and uh, you're going to have to tune in next week to find out more. <laughs> I suppose. There's a uh, photo on screen with uh, with Sargon and uh, and crazy hair there. Oh. Uh, I'm just trying to imagine him dressed like a valet, just slamming the shit out of her from behind. <laughs> Talking about, this is how we save the West. <laughs> Slapping her ass. You know what I mean? Like, have you even read Lock, you filthy whore? And just fucking you rail her. Uh, uh, in his ill-fitting suit. Um, what, Gator's not here? What, what did Gator, did the, did the hurricane kill Gator yet? Or is that, is that what happens? No, nah, he went to go get something, some stuff before the hurricane. Oh, room, damn. As we said. Um, but yeah, you saw the pictures of the suit, correct, Jim? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, people were, people were sending me stuff all day uh, on that after I was laughing at the suit thing. I mean, people were even sending me, like, old... Uh, well, not old. But when my, my channel and everything got taken down, apparently Sargon was uh, favoriting comments. And one of them, I swear to God, was like, uh, liberalists don't look so bad now, do they, Jim? I wish I had seen that earlier because I'd be like, well, apparently they do because everybody left for you, Kip, didn't they? You know, what, what a great uh, political operation. He doesn't really talk that much about liberalists anymore, does he? I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, uh, I wish them the best of luck. <laughs> I, know they're, I know they're looking, I guess, for new leadership. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I think there was a post on his Facebook where he said that he's leaving most liberalist groups and he's only going to do like one or two things with them nowadays. But see, that's so weird to me because he started it, right? Yeah. And he ended it. Or it wasn't his complaint when I was on stream on Lou Lavao's channel that, uh, Jim, you were supposed to be the leader of Gamergate, but you abandoned it. Uh, Why? Well, you know, it, like, it was not supposed to have an assigned leader, but he kind of declared himself leader of the Liberalists. So I hope he isn't leaving the Liberalists, because that's going to be a really bad look. That's what he said. The, the whole leader thing, and I see that constantly you know specifically with you it's like well jim why didn't you lead us what why do you do that and, and you, you've never really tried to be that person i think we talked about this before but well, oh, these people are so up their own ass like i just i don't have time for this we're so serious shit like, you know it's just fuck off it's so boring it's so fucking boring you know what's entertaining though what? hearing more knife point stories <laughs> or cucking stories we're gonna focus on those kind of things just start digging through <laughs> Maybe talk about Facebook trannies. I don't know. Just throwing out an example. Not anything specific, but we'll we'll take a look at massage parlors. Maybe we'll talk about massage parlors oh. in search results. I don't know, but it oh, could be something we can brought up. <laughs> there's this, speaking of skeptics, there's this thing called uh, trans vegetation or whatever. And they're the group of people, and they were making videos on Shu on Head and how she's a tranny. They make some compelling points, by the way. I saw that. I don't think Shu on Head's actually a tranny, though. Even though I've talked uh, a lot of shit about her. Well, yeah, 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 and I brought this up on stream yesterday, too. I mean, kind of when you think of that group, like the skeptic group, that sphere of YouTube, I, I've noticed that, like, her and, uh, it's Greg, right, Armored Skeptic? Like, yeah. her her, her, and Greg have kind of, like, they, they stay away from it, right? I mean, they're kind of mostly cocooned and doing their own shit. And again, that's because, like, she's the alpha dog. She can do whatever the fuck she wants with her million subs. So, again, maybe maybe needs to bend the knee and recognize who's an authority here. It's, the, it's a big channel. It's a million plus one. Yeah, I, I've noticed that. And I also noticed that a lot of these people will try to kind of defend Matt, you know, when the stuff happened. They, they all did. They all ran yeah. in uh, to defend Matt. They're all trying to run in to defend Kraut. I, I don't know if it's like an image thing with them, if they think that like, oh, if these people look bad, we're going to look bad by association. But you're the one choosing to associate with them, right? So... If you weren't doing it in the first place, nobody would be drawn to you know drawn to that conclusion. Um, I I don't fucking know. I mean, what do we have so far in the skeptic sphere? We've got Kraut running gay Discord ops. We've got Matt flagging people down because his feelings get hurt, and we got Bunty getting cucked. 
Like, it's uh, just story after story. And Jeff Holliday getting cucked? Oh, that's yes. right. It, yeah, it's a, like a polyamorous <laughs> relationship or some shit. I don't fucking know. Where his wife yeah. says she's gay, basically, and that she, she likes women more than men, and she, she, she cucks him with women. Yeah. No, I missed that. Okay, that I missed. Yeah. His wife came out and said it, that she gets stuff from women that he can't provide. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. His own wife said that, yeah. It's, uh, uh, there's a lot here. <laughs> so that's what I'm getting at. Uh, she said, uh, and I quote, that she's the big gay. Yeah, his wife well, said she's gay. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, I, I don't know what these these guys, man. I don't I don't know what to tell you with these fucking people. <laughs> I don't I don't fucking know. And V is playing fucking furry anime games about boar. I don't know what the fuck is going on with the skeptics, Ralph. Like, what the fuck is going on with these people? <laughs> and they put it all out voluntarily. It's not like it's drug out of them. Or, you know, people are just battering them every day they they put all this out on their own like it's it's not even you know, it's, it's it's not even a dig they 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 put it out themselves that and just like me oh sorry i'm not i'm not authorized to see that status i have to i'd have to log out but i'll go ahead and read the tweet it can cure the gay <laughs> <laughs> here is a memory holiday who by the way i speculated that she used to be a whore like an actual whore because she talked about you know she was uh, like a hitchhiker, and she she had all this, you know. She traveled the country and lived in these parking lots, and I have no opinion on Memory Holiday. I I'm content with just making fun of the skeptics. I, I well, am I not interested in, they went, in their they families. Went, they went out. Well, I mean, she's a public figure. She has her own channel and stuff. I I, I don't feel that bad about it. But I I, th I think she actually was a hooker. I mean, that, that's my that's my own personal view. But let let me read the uh, let me read the tweet. Uh, I don't like the term poly, but for most it works. I say we're monogamously open because I hate surprises. So I just want a heads up first. Also, I'm bi bisexual, but mostly gay. Like, big I'm gay. <laughs> I'm a fucking punk, guys. Like, big gay. I crave female companionship, but it's not something he can provide for me. He's Oof. speaking about Jeff Holiday. That's, yeah. uh, well... You know, I, I, maybe I'm just old fashioned. Maybe that's the boomer in me, but I don't uh, stay in a committed relationship where my partner is fucking someone else. <laughs> I know that's just archaic in this wonderful day and age of fucking iPhones and uh, uh, Nintendo Switches, but I like the idea that the vagina that I'm interacting with hasn't been pilfered by somebody else. Yeah, it's, it's controversial. Thought. Do you think she even lets Jeff watch or he's got to be in a different room? I, uh, I, <laughs> I, it's like, it's like sensory overload right now. Okay. I've got all these like caricatures of these people in my fucking head at the moment. And it's hard to sort through. Um, I, I don't know. I, I just, people have been sending me a lot of weird shit. Somebody sent me stuff about, um, saying that, uh, short fat otaku was LARPing as a female during Gamergate, pretending to be camera lady, yeah. no a cute autistic lesbian. <laughs> You know, I I don't know, man. It's just there. This feels like there's so much here that I think it's time to take a look. I guess one of my criticisms for him might be this, and I, I think it kind of comes down. Let me put this back on screen to give you an idea of where I'm coming from with this. When I hear Sargon talk about wanting to do something, right? I'm not hearing somebody doing it for a cause. I'm hearing somebody doing it for themselves. When you look at these kind of messages, is this somebody proud of the fact that he's standing up for freedom? Is this somebody proud of the fact that he's fighting against what he sees as some sort of oppression? Or is this somebody stroking his own ego and getting high off his own farts? I'm doing this. Look at me. Look at me. See how important I am. He uses these things, at least it appears to me, as a form of like ego enforcement rather than because he believes it's a just thing. It's, it's serving more Sargon than it is others. Uh, that's how the liberalist thing felt, too. It's very weird. But uh, to, to back to your question, uh, do, I, do I begrudge him trying to do something? No. Uh, you know, Dankula did shit. You don't hear me talking shit about Dankula, do you? 
Klaus and Lord of Ireland. Um, you know, yesterday Sargon uh, went to the EU Parliament. He was there with uh, Count Dankula. Um, yeah. I, I, I will tell you this. I, I mean, we're on the air live in front of over 2,000 people. Um, but but there were people from, from Sargon's orbit. Uh, I won't name them, of course. You know, it's uh, just use journalistic privilege, even though I'm not a journalist. Um, that said, you you kind of they they blamed you. They said you made this a laughing stock uh, with your mm -hmm. tweets towards Jim, and that um, this was Sargon's day, and you kind of made it into a joke with your tweets. And I'm not uh, 100 not making that up. I'm not like that. That's literally yeah, no, no, no. these these people. They're friendly to Sargon. They're they're very close to Sargon. They said you made it into a joke, and they they pretty much blamed you. Okay. Do you have any response to that? Uh, well, what is the question? Like, they're, well, they're okay, so I, well, I guess I guess the question that we've had on this stream was a, and of course you put this out like this. This is not you know a gotcha question. You you put this out on Twitter, right? So yeah. it's it's not us going at you. I mean, you you did this, right? It's, it's not. I, I did this. Yeah, 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 you did this. It's, now, so I the question this. is whether you did this of your own volition. Or and of course you can answer or decline as you would wish, uh, but but the question is, did you do this of your own volition or was this, did this have the go ahead of Sargon himself? Because uh, a lot of people close to Sargon who who you know are pro Sargon said that you made it into a joke and and my you know my my original take is, well of course he wouldn't share that without Sargon's approval or or, or you know his go ahead and I, I guess you can answer that or, or not answer it. I see. Well. I can neither confirm nor deny. So it's yeah. yes. <laughs> well, it, uh, yeah, I mean, if you can't say no. I, I don't know. I mean, you, you can interpret it any way you want to. That's, I, how, I, uh, that's, that's how I guess we're going to interpret it. But what did he think of accomplishing by sending that tweet? I mean, it's, it's retarded to think, A, that, uh, you know, just having a suit is awesome and cool. I mean, pretty much everyone owns a suit, multiple suits. It's not like some uncommon thing. And also... When you're bragging about something like that and to look like complete buffoon with your tie too short, with fucking short sleeve shirt underneath, with with two his suit jacket was too long for him and not tailored, and his pants and jacket didn't match. I mean, the fuck was he thinking? Well, as I said, I can neither confirm nor deny. You're just <laughs> making assumptions. So well, about, look, there's there's no way you would put that out without his go ahead, right? I mean, so the, the is way that, that really what you think? But oh no, my but God. no, the, the people that were that were talking to me. Come by on. the way, these are people. <laughs> In in that orbit, I, I cannot name them because I don't, you know, I can't give away sources. But uh, they're like, "Wow, well, V put this out." They turned Sargon's he, you know, you turned Sargon's triumphant day into a fucking joke with these tweets, and it was his, you know, it was his moment, and that you kind of made it into a joke, and um, th they were blaming you. And my position was, of course, I mean, it was kind of turned into a joke, but. Uh, my view was that you you would have done that without without the go ahead. You know what I mean? Without the go ahead, and, and of course you, you don't really want to answer that. But what, what uh, type of organization do you think is being ran the, there? No, but the, the, like, the okay, thing, tell me that I can do something that Saga wouldn't like, and I'll do it. Just no, the, prove the, the that v, I don't v. need the go ahead. No, well, the thing I is. I would just say, I don't think he was probably too pleased with you apologizing to me. Like, I, I don't think you're... Well, as, as I understand, Kyle Dankula stole his phone, had his password figured out. Apparently, it's yeah, not a hard uh, password to figure out. I, I guess, you know, you know? I, I, <laughs> I, I, like... will, I will say you're oh. completely enthralled to start you, you, you on. You can but, play but the... jokes on the man. It's not, it's not no. forbidden. But, but it's, but thing, you he... probably shouldn't have said that one on the, on the live chat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm just saying that, that it's possible, okay? So I'm astonished that you would think that this this type of organization like you wouldn't go at all behind his back doing these things no the like, thing well basically v. what i'm asking and i'll and i'll let by the way sedan uh I, I, I agree completely like i'm not i'm not trying to cut you off but i, no, I guess okay. what i'm trying to get at is and i guess i've already asked it but uh you know did did sargon tell you to send that out or did you say hey i see these tweets i saw jim stream last night that had fifteen thousand people this this is your response. Can I put that out? You know what I mean. Like, well, like yeah, I, my 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 response is that I don't want to ruin the mystery, so I'll not confirm nor deny. People can believe whatever they want. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> Doesn't want to expose the, the right. liberalist secrets. Go, go liberalist ahead. secrets revealed. Well, I just exposed them, didn't I? I'm glad to. You, you know what? I, I by the way, there Jim, there are a lot of liberalists that that think you fucked up. I mean, I, I'll just put that out there. There are liberalists that that think you fucked up with that. I, I don't really care. I think it's hilarious, and I'm glad you did it. Um, believe me, because you gave us a whole. You, you, you know, you, you know what? You gave us a whole show last night, so I want to thank you publicly. I, I think it was great, and, and I hope you do more. But you, uh, I, welcome, I would just say man. there are people within your own orbit who thought that was not a good play. No, I, I understand. They, they can DM me. We can have a talk. But I want to say something to Jim. I know he's watching. He hurt my little heart yesterday. He hurt my little heart. I tweeted that at him. And then he said, I thought V was shit posting, but this is true. He doubted me. Why did you doubt me, Jim? There was a tear running down my cheek as I saw that you do not believe in what I have to say. You, you thought I was lying to you. You should be ashamed. Shame on you, Jim. <laughs> so I have it's two coming questions. back to me. I'm sorry. Please. I have two, two things. First thing is, um, this... The reason why everybody thinks that you know Sargon told you to do this is one, you've done this before, right? You've you've gotten Skype messages from Sargon to send to Jim personally mm -hmm. through your Twitter. So that's this is sends precedent, right? So you've done it before, and that's why people think it's been he told you to do it. And the other thing is, um, you have you seen? I don't know if it's real or not, but there's Facebook posts of Sargon saying he's leaving the Liberalists and only being in part of like one or two groups now. No, I don't think he was actually in any groups. I think he started the movement. It's like, this is the idea of what you need to do if you want to be a activist for classical liberalism. And uh, the, the only group that he started was his Discord server. Every other group that was started was by other people anonymously without any contact to Saga. Now, um, another question, you know, we, we watched a little bit of uh, Sargon at the uh, EU parliament yesterday. It didn't seem to be... First off, his suit was ridiculous. Like, his suit was very bad. I, not that I'm, you know, the fashionista. Mr. Blackwell, to use an old term, who very few who are watching this actually know what I'm talking about. Uh, not that I'm, you know, the, the fashionista of, of the internet, uh, but it, his suit was very ill-fitting, to especially to make that point about Jim, that he doesn't even own a suit, and then you look at him, and it was... It, it, it was a bad. It was a bad look. I guess that's what I'm getting at. It's just the whole what you don't even own a suit, Jim. I, I just think that that was off key. Even some people who don't like Sargon, and and I've liked him in the past, but you know, had that not all came out, uh, I'm not saying I would celebrate his visit or anything, but I would look at it and say, oh, okay, you know what? He, he's there at the European Parliament. He's doing something. You know what I mean? He, he's putting some uh, something out there. Yeah, I but mean it, that's that's why. I, uh, yeah, I mean I, even I, now, I even now him. with all the with even now with all the shit talking, say like, okay, you know what? He, he was doing something, but he just seems so. I guess pompous would be the word. Like you don't even own a suit, Jim. Like wh what was even the point but, of but that? Don't like, you I, think that don't, don't you think that this is exactly what Jim would want to hear in order to to be happy? That's what I wanted but to hear. Like I mean, a little bit tailored, I mean, just, just a little bit tailored for for, for Jim. I, I, mean, I think was, he's very it, happy they, about it. I, I just don't think I don't think it's for the, the right reasons that Sargon would like. You know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah, we coined him. Why, why do you assume? Why do you assume he doesn't like it? Hey, me, I mean, he likes being called Sargon of Applebee's. I mean, you're assuming that he's not, he doesn't have a sense of humor. You're assuming he doesn't watch the kill stream. You're assuming he doesn't laugh at jokes. <laughs> Okay, well, he, 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 to, to be honest, he is the punchline. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think he, you're, you're telling me he watches the kill stream, is that what you're telling me? I mean, I mean nothing's yeah, stopping not him, man. nothing's stopping him yeah, from again, coming on the kill stream, right? Again. <laughs> well, what happened last time he went on a, on a stream with a, a gentleman by the name of Kenya? Who? Who? See, you, you don't know the gentleman, but I bet you, I bet you know his stream. Uh, oh, I cut out. Okay, so a gentleman by the name of Caitlin Nya. What, what happened when Sargon went on oh, that? You, you're saying when he was saying white nigger this and white nigger that? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I mean, so but what? whose fault is that? Like, I, I, well, no, no, his fault, but, but, but look, if, if the guy can't control himself, would it be better that he's not exposed to the environment? I'm just so saying. you have to, like, play goalkeeper for him to keep him from saying dumb stuff? How is well, he going to run for anything if he can't control himself? 
Yeah, right, he's going around. Say, yeah, well, I don't think the, the, the journalist is going to talk with that like Kate Lanyon. I would just say this. The, Are you the, saying the, that the venue matters? Is that what you're trying uh, to argue? Yeah, of course. Of course, the venue matters. Look, the, the invitation has been open. He's been on this show before. Actually, when he was on this show, you were on the show at the same time. And this was years ago. Before we had 2,000 people watching us, there was, I don't know, two or 300 watching us. And the invitation is still open. I don't think he'll take it. But you know what? It's still open, you know. If, if he wants well, to I actually show, and, and and this is him, right? It's not me. With me, you can talk about anything. But if you want to talk with him about that, his ideology and stuff like that, I, I think he would come. But if you're just going to talk about his personal life, you know, no, like we, 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 we have fun with with all the t look, dude. We make fun of my own personal life. You know what I mean? Like it's not. There's really nothing off limits on this show. I laugh at myself. I have a lot of shit to laugh about. Uh, the chat laughs at me as well. I have no problems with that. Um, no, if he came on, but, the, but if, if he like came on the show, w would we have some jokes? Would we do that? Of course. Um, w the main things I would like to have him on the show to do, and I told him this personally, would be one, you know, talk about what you're doing, of course, you know, your channel and w what your current thrust is. The next would be, uh, I would have a few questions of my own. And then to take questions from the audience. That's really all I ever had in had in store. Well, and, I'll pass uh, that message on to him. Yeah, it's it's not it's nothing more than that. And uh you know, that that's still the that's still the same thing. And uh we, we would still have him. And of course, you know, the child you know, the whole Medicare versus him thing has been laid down as well. Uh, and he tried to say that that's not in his mind. Uh, I know, I know, Medicare is on record as saying he would like to have a conversation with him on this. Oh, show. I would love to see a conversation between him and Well, yeah, that's that's been accepted already on one end. Uh, I don't know if he's interested in that or not, but uh, yeah, um, as much fun at his expense if we as we've had on this show. If he came on this show as a guest, I would treat him fairly. I would not, you know, try to make you know, a joke out of it. Uh, so yeah, I don't think he's going to come, but I'm just putting it out there. I'm just putting it yeah, out yeah. there. I'm just putting it out there. I'll, did I'll come, pass it out to him. I'm, I'm just putting it out there that if he did come, I would treat it seriously. And I'm not, it, it's not a joke. See Jim in the chat. He says, kill stream exclusive. The, the offer is there. Him and Jim. I mean, maybe there can be some type of, I don't know about, reconciliation but uh some type of understanding there you know what i mean like he seems he seems really bitter towards medicare like i i, I don't even understand why v i know i know why he is bitter towards america okay but well, i don't know why america is bitter towards him well okay, I think well, tell us why he's bitter yeah then. yeah he's yeah, well two things um but actually one i shouldn't say i'll only say it if america is here because i want uh well, I mean, I Medicare's, here. Medicare's in the chat. I mean, he's here in the chat right now. But Well, okay. Medica, can we talk about the uh, DMs I sent you, uh, I believe, six months ago or something like that? If, if, if you're fine with me talking about them, then uh, then we can go through that. All right. Well, I'm looking at the chat. I, I, I would expect oh. that, that Medicare's probably okay with it, but, but we'll see. Um. Well, actually, you can. Well, what about the? Uh, while we yeah, see, okay. He said six months ago. He said six months ago. So six months ones? ago, which ones? Yes. Um, it was on the uh, We Was Macro account, which is now banned, so I can't really see it the exact time. But it's basically him talking about the IBS community. All right. While we wait for the answer on that, what, what was the other? Um, well, was he, the other he made reason? it public, didn't he? I think it was on the Louis stream. He said that. Um, he thinks America is a coward because he doesn't like like the thing with America is really good at agit prop, like agitating the crowd, and he doesn't understand why he's not agitating people towards any goal. But why is he um, angry at him in the first place, though? That's what I don't understand. Why? why well, that, that that's fun? why I disagree with him. That's why I disagree with him, and I keep telling him it's like look, if America wants to do entertainment, <laughs> like let no him not point. do entertainment. There's no point in that. Like, why are you anyway? Here, here's Jim in the chat. He says, "Okay, what about it?" All right, so um, the, the, re the reason he is more recently upset, because I think he, he went past the fact that Merker does his own thing. Um, th there are some leaked uh, DMs. Okay, between... now wait a minute. V, mm. are, are you okay with, with going on with, with uh, Mr. Medicare? Yeah, of course. I, I actually asked you to have him here so I can. 
Okay. Well. We're switching to Hangouts. Like it was yeah, sick. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna switch to Hangouts. Wow. <laughs> While Ralph does that, do you want to know my theory on why, why Sargon's mad? Uh, I would like it. Yeah. It's because he's in love with Jim. <laughs> That's I said it yesterday. I'll keep saying it. I'm Tainted pretty sure. Love. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's in love with him. You remember that drunk ass stream that he did when uh, um, when he left and came back? Okay, you can't me, tell me he's in love with him. Give me a sec. God damn it! I copied the wrong thing. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna get it right. Oh, there we go. I'm the first one in there. Um, so what I'm gonna do? Is first off, turn off my camera. It's not even facing at me, it's facing against the wall, but um I will send it uh first off, I'll put it in the chat. It's already in the chat for, for the uh for the co host. V I'll send I it to it you. To you already sent okay. it to me? Uh, through Discord, so it's in your okay. So I will send it to Mr. Medicare myself. If I can lo load up this shit. Here we go. Wow. All right, so uh, living Discord and joining the Hangout. Yeah, go ahead and join the Hangout. Make sure I got it. Got a, a, uh, there we go. There's the Hangout, Jim. I just sent it to you. All okay, right, sure. we're all here. All right, we'll, we'll quit. I'll go ahead and quit the uh, Discord. Uh, let me see. I think we're all here. So that's Jim. We're, we're, we're waiting on him. Let me, there we go. There it is on the screen. Holy shit. Ah, oh, there we go. There Hello, we go, Jim. Jim. Go ahead. I like your previous avatar more. Oh, uh, well, you know, Hal is a great guy. So what, uh, what DMs now? Cause I can't access the fucking account. I'm suspended. Yeah, me neither. So this is annoying. Uh, I can pinpoint the date. Um, it's when you were making the videos about the uh, people. Well, no, just just tell me, tell me what they're about, and then I'll be, I'll remember what you're talking about. Which which particular set of DMs? Okay, so first let's confirm if the DMs are real or not, because I, I sent them to you and you didn't uh, confirm or deny them. Um, it's basically a leak, a DM leak between you and someone else, and you are explaining uh, why you are helping the IBS community where you say that you don't like streaming, but you're willing to eat shit and go on streams if it means pissing off the liberalists. Oh, yeah, no, that's absolutely true. Yeah, they got really fucking angry when IBS started getting popular. I'd say about a month into it. Um, once Worski started streaming with JF, once Tonka started doing it with Failure, uh, it was like every day where people, and it was the usual suspects. I mean, you had Kraut and all of them, of course. You had the Jeff Holidays. Uh, you had the short fat otakus. Everybody was whining about it. Even the quartering was whining about it. Oh my, uh, uh, Karen from fucking the Money Badgers was whining about it. IBS is going to get people killed. IBS is horrible. This is terrible. This needs to end. Like, and I, I fucking love that. So, I, and it wasn't that I said I'd go on streams to eat shit. It said I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't harp too much on certain issues and just kind of take more of a backseat thing because. I'm not gonna try to sink something that was pissing other people off that much. That doesn't that doesn't work out for me. Yeah, but you were also saying at the time that you just don't care. You're not you're not involved in anything, and then you come out saying that you just wanted to anger the liberalists. So you are willing to go on streams even if you don't like it. No, the person you're talking you're talking about Zoom, and this is when I was setting up the stream. Uh, Ralph was on that one. Worski was on that one. Uh, and their main complaint or the complaint they came to me with was, oh, we've got all these issues with Tonka. We've got all these issues with like Andy Worski. Um, you know, they're doing this, this and this. Why don't you ever talk about it? And I was basically responding and saying, I'm not going to start picking apart shit and IBS myself because it pisses these idiots off so much. But I'm more than willing to set but up a stream if you guys want to come basically saying you were going to be the umpire, right? I mean, that that's kind of how you set it up, right? Like, I... Well, that or, was or, pretty or, much... Maybe, maybe not a full umpire, but you were going to give the form, you know what I mean? Like... Well, yeah, I, I told all the participants the same thing. I said, you know, if you want to put up a video, try not to fucking have docs yeah. in it. If you want to bring up screen... It, it, that was basically the one rule, is just don't dox each other, and I'm not going to fucking interfere, and you can all scream at each other. I don't give a shit. And it was, mm. it, was a, it was a complete cluster. No, it wasn't my idea to go on, but I was there kind of as an ancillary character. Yeah, um, you and you and Worski were kind of ancillary characters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 
right, go ahead. Go ahead, V. But oh, yeah, I, I know, I, yeah, I know what you're talking about, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the, yeah that's that's real. We had that conversation. I, yes. I, I confirmed this to you when you you asked me about it and said, "Is this real or not?" And I told you everything I laid out in that is exactly what I thought. I, I thought Sargon is not as clean as he wants to come off. I'll just say it openly. I don't think Sargon is as honest or clean as he wants to come off as. I think he's dirty. Um, I think the candid shit, he was dirty. Um, I think that uh, he likes to send out his little capos to do his bidding for him, like Short Fat Otaku and other faggots, because he doesn't want to get his hands dirty. Uh, and I just, I don't trust him. And when I hear him make statements on stream where he says, I'll lie if it's convenient for me, I mean, this is a guy that wants to run for political office, right? He has a political ambition. Well, you know, what, what is he expecting is going to happen when somebody in the press pool comes up and says, so can you comment on the white niggers? Uh, can you comment <laughs> on saying, can you comment on saying that uh, you'll lie when it's convenient for you? Or here's a better one, V. Um, we know that you have an association with a, a YouTuber by the name of Matt Jarbo. Well, recently information came out that Matt Jarbo may or may not have allegedly tried to rape a teenage girl behind a church at knife point. Um, do you disavow that person or do you stand by them? Why are you commenting on Matt Jarbo's videos? You talk about uh, the Rotherham rapes, uh, but you don't you don't disavow Matt Jarbo. Is that because the people in Rotherham were a little darker than Matt? Is that it? And does that play into the white nigger mentality? Well, let's go through the accusations. So first of all, um, this is the reason. Um, I believe Ralph asked me why Sargon is mad at Jim. I did, you, not, but I also asked you s specifically and... I mean, Jim's here now. Like, yeah. why even put that out there? I mean, Sargon had to have told you to put that out there, right? Like, I, I can neither confirm nor deny. So that, but means let's yes, the that means yes. That means yes. Yeah. But go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So you asked me why is Sargon uh, upset at Jim. Well, if you try to start the movement and you get DMs with this person that you used to interact with and is doing his best to try to fuck your movement, uh, or at least that's how it's coming off as. You, you v, can see... v, if you go read the DMs, and you, if you read them, you'll literally see what it says is, I, uh, the reason I didn't fuck around with IPS or, uh, you know, uh, turn around and fire at them, that kind of thing, the reason I was hands-off with that, was because it pissed liberalists off. And I just yeah. gave you, like, eight examples of liberalists that it pissed off, but IBS as an entity wasn't uh, trying to stop your political movement. There, there okay. wasn't a motivation among them. It made you mad. That's what I liked. That's why I didn't. That's why I was hands off with it. That's why I enjoyed it because it pissed people off so much. So you had the short fat otakus and the quarterings and everybody else that seemed to always be in Sargon's sphere of influence, coming around. You know, there's that picture of Sargon where he's the Grim Reaper going door to door to door, and it's really weird when something is created and is doing pretty well and seems to have some momentum going. All the fucking sudden, the skeptics show up, and if they can't co-opt it, they try to kill it. And they kill it with that concern trolling shit of, oh, my God, IBS is so terrible, and oh, my God, it's so racist, and oh, my God, how can well, wasn't that uh, Wasn't that Karen Strong who made those accusations? Because I don't think uh, Sargon, myself, or Short Fat Otaku made the accusations that it's getting people killed. I don't. You know, I'd have to go through Short Fat Otaku's tweets, and I'd have to look through his shit, but I don't know. I don't want to piss off some guy that's got eight times the, the <laughs> level of testosterone in his fucking ovaries is what I've heard Allison Prime has going. So, I, you know, that's a fucking thing I'll have that table for another time. But what I'm but saying let's is... let's go that, back to the accusations, because you said that uh, Sargon is willing to lie. I believe the context of the stream was that he knows that the kill stream is not... Out, not the kill stream, sorry. The Kumate is not Kumate, outright. Yeah. yeah, it's not outright. He knows that. Yeah. And the idea was if someone comes up to him and says that the Kumate is outright, will he correct that person? It's not, it's not that he would lie that the Kumate is outright. It's would he correct someone that he knows is wrong about the Kumate? Oh, so he's, he's, no, no, no. Oh, oh, let, me, let, me, let me have my little interaction with me. So, yeah, he, he's fine with propagating misinformation when it's beneficial to him, when it's politically expedient. So who the fuck's going to elect the guy uh, to office when he basically will tell you openly, it's politically expedient for me not to give you the truth or make sure that you have the truth, only what serves my purposes. Who the fuck's going to go put a ballot in the box for that? Well, a lot of people in his camp, including myself, were really upset at the way he answered that. Uh, but afterwards, you know, when he apologized, uh, many other people, including Tonka, uh, you know, said, well, that's fair enough. So it's, it's up to you to decide if, if you are willing to accept his apology or not. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm just, I, God, I don't, I, it's like, 
okay, you want to know uh, when you tweeted the suit thing at me? I really did think you were fucking around because I was like, there's no way he'd write something a like that. Fear on my cheek, Jim. There's no way he'd write something like that because it comes off as so childlike, right? It's it, it's like I have a suit. I'm a big boy now. It's so kid like that it, it's almost adorable. Well, you do have I, an avatar with a suit. I, oh yeah, but you. but here's the thing is that's how I feel like he's trying to approach this kind of like veer off into politics was it was like this childlike wonderment of it. And I don't think he appreciates what politics is. And when you're in the arena, the real arena, these people are going to fuck his ass on television with every single quote he's ever said. And you can, you know, hand wave away a lot of it. You can say, oh, well, he's dealing with SJWs. And you can explain to the voters what an SJW is and why they call everybody a Nazi. But then you're still left with shit where he's saying, I lie when it's convenient. You're still left with shit where he's calling people white niggers and saying you need to act like white people. And I don't care how slick a politician you may think you are. That's enough to per pretty much kill anybody's political ambitions. And it's just it, that that sort of shit uh, haunts you. And it's just weird watching him fumble around doing this <laughs> and it, like with this like childlike wonderment. So, yes, when you sent those, I, I, I it was that Discord, I guess, the Discord messages, mm -hmm. I was like, there's, mm -hmm. there's no way. There's no way he would really write this kind of shit. There's fucking no way. I still need an apology because you doubted me. That 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 still hurt. That they were legit. They were. Yeah. So you're saying on the record they were legit. Yeah, they were legit. So okay. So but wait. So they were legit. I already yeah. assumed that they were. What's stopping him from from coming on here now? Well, I'll talk to him. I, I guarantee right, you, right he, now, he's, he's, he, 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 he's watching this show right now. I mean, there's no... No, no, pro no I, I, I'm i pretty sure he isn't. I don't, uh... I don't believe that. Ralph, we're suitless. Of course he's not watching. <laughs> <laughs> Although you, you do have a subject. But I have a question for Jim, because this one is uh, quite uh, bewildering. So, yeah, on, on, many, yeah, on many occasions, you said that the Louis stream was a trap. I mean, the way I view it is that Louis oh, it absolutely, Levesque... absolutely, one hundred percent was yes. Louis Levey is a dick sucker of Sargon. Louis Levey is in love with Sargon. Uh, Louis Levey. Okay, let's the 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 way this transpired. Oh, let me ask the question. Wait, well, I don't the, know. No, I, I'm going to give you my answer first. Then you can adjust your question right. if I haven't satisfied you. I get a That's message fun. from who? Do, who do I get a message from? Oh, the quartering, telling me, hey, Louis Levey wants you to come onto his stream. That's all I get told. I was like, all right, whatever. I've never really interacted with the quarter. I didn't know much about him at the time. I go onto Louis' stream. Uh, Louis wants to talk to me about why uh, you know, the liberalist stuff and why making jokes about Sargon because I had posted the Murdoch Murdoch click of Sargon needs more dopamine, which is funny as shit. Uh, and what do I see immediately in the fucking chat is Sargon running his fucking mouth. So here you have Louis LeVay and Quartering, both, you know, uh, admirers and friends of Sargon. And there's Sargon in the chat. And Louis telling me, oh, no, no, it's just I just wanted to have this conversation with you. It's just I'm not fucking five years old, V. And this, you know, I know, like, you guys have this habit of running around uh, being like, can you prove it? Can you prove it? Can you give me proof? We're adults. OK, we don't need the shit spelled out in black and white to be able to see what's going on plainly and to fucking interpret the events. Well, I, I have two things to add to that. Number one, when I came on the kill stream with accusations, I was asked for proof, couldn't prove it. I apologize. But the second thing, I'll tell you how the story really happened. I remember you started first uh, mocking Sargon's idea of uh, starting a movement. So Louis makes the stream, talks about your tweets, uh, eventually asks you on, you come on, you're demolishing Louis um, to the point where you know, Sargon was in the chat, didn't like what's happening, and asked to come on. And you were asked if Sargon can come on. Now, you say that this was a trap. Like, the Star trap was Sargon, to okay, wait, why doesn't, why doesn't Sargon like what's happening? If it's Louis' stream, why does Sargon... Oh, see, that's a weird thing because to Because he, was, he wasn't able to defend the, the argument. He was doing a bad job. No, no, but the way you make it sound, Sargon didn't like how it was going. So now he wants to get involved. So his cap was not doing well. So here comes the stepfather. Is that what you're if, saying? If you, if you would put out the movement and one of your friends would defend it and he would give bad arguments, wouldn't you want to step in and say, hold on? Like it was a one day, you know, the, the thing happened. In well, the I, 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 I don't start movements. I mean, I was a part of a movement. But if you one would. Day Matt started, but I think we've all seen how that turns <laughs> out. <laughs> But my question is, like, what was the trap, the discussion between you and Sargon? Like, were you trying to avoid that discussion and you viewed it as a trap? Like, you, you facing Sargon on, on the Louis stream? 
no, this is a, a hey, we're not going to tell you what this is even about, bring you on, and then, hey, this is what this is about, and oh, by the way, let me bring on, you know, uh, let me, Sargon's going to start uh, cheerleading from the comment section with his little snipes. So that's why I said, well, if you're going to just sit in the comments and snipe, why don't you actually come on yourself? So, so you're the one who invited them. You just told me that he was watching in the yeah, chat. And, and he all, didn't like yeah. how it went. So I didn't invite him into the chat. He knew the stream was going on. How do you know the stream was going on? Right. So, so I just want to clarify because it happened a couple of months ago. You're saying that this, he was This happened like chat. six months ago, but yeah, yeah, go ahead. Six months ago. No, so he was in the like chat and you, you said... Ago. Well, well, you I mean, want, we, you can, want the, we can rewatch the stream. It was January. Know. It was January. No, wait, yeah. wait, wait. You want the deepest lore here? Please. Why don't we talk about the, You know, it is kind of weird. We could rewatch the chat, could we? Oh, no, wait, we can't because Louis took the video down to erase the chat and then and put he, it back up, didn't he? Put uh, copyright strikes on other people who upload. Yeah, and stuff. then people are saying the times don't add up. There's a longer version and Louis is kind of edited. I don't know. I can't confirm or deny this, but it seems. Oh, you, you weren't there. Like, what, what was edited about? Because I was asleep when the uh, You want me to remember an hour, uh, hour and a half long conversation from six months ago? I mean, okay, I am pretty amazed. But, but, but no, you would amazing. remember if something important <laughs> was removed. Like, if something important was removed, you'd probably remember it, you know, like the week after. Or, or you know, hey, we wouldn't be able to see Sargon bitching in the comments continually, would we? That might look bad for him, so uh, you gotta pull that no, line. But I, I confirmed it. I confirmed it. Sargon was bitching in the comments. You you were there. You confirmed it. I mean... Dude, just bring Sargon on. What the fuck? I know he's watching this right now. Just just bring him on. No, he's not watching it. I don't believe I can see because, no, he, it, you get the Rita Red Dot on the disc. <laughs> he, he has suits he needs tailored, bro. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You know he's, Jim, you know he's watching this. Like, I just, just come on. Like, what? Well, I, I don't, I, at this point, I don't really care. It'll be a well, kill stream. Yeah, no. It'll be a kill stream exclusive. I promise you, Ralph. I promise you, <laughs> I'll make one. Just because you're angry, he won't come on your stream. So I said, I'd only do it here. <laughs> That's the exclusive. Okay, so if it it's ever an, happens, it's a, it's a fucking exclusive. But I, 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 we're getting off, we're getting off track. Okay, so that you, you said there were two reasons, V. Uh, the one I guess you're saying is because I, I enjoyed watching IBS make uh, Sargon mad. What was the other one? Well, it was the fact that you were fucking with his uh, movement. That's that's what made. Is, is it even his movement? I mean, uh, who starts a political party and then joins another political party? But who, that's the thing we're going to be, we're going to be liberalists. This is what we stand for. By the way, I'll be back in a couple months. I'm going to go join you, Kip. Yeah, I mean, I think you're misinformed. It wasn't a political party. It was a movement for activism, for oh, classical God. liberalism. Like, he actually says this on his video. Okay, okay. I, well, I'm misinformed, but it still yeah. looks silly. Doesn't well, it? no, you, like, if you, if you create a movement for, I don't know, like, what, what activism happens today, like, let, let's say you're for PETA, right? And then you decide to join a political party, that it's not inconsistent. You can still do activism for PETA while inside politics. Okay, I, uh, this is a, a we'll side table that. I, I will agree to disagree on this conversation. But what was the, what was the other one though? What oh, you I think, yeah, I think uh, he confronted you, or uh, at least uh, uh, on the Kumate he said it. Um, the, the the fact that he doesn't like that you're not doing your agit prop for political means and you're doing it for entertainment. Well, no, better question, Ralph. How could I have confronted, how could he have confronted me on the, the Tonka's uh, morning show when he had 17 stipulations about what could be talked about, who could be there, how long it would go for? Well, I, I mean, else was allowed. yeah, no, that's, that's a good Well, I, I know why that happened, because last time when he was on Baked Alaska and he spoke with Andrew Anglin, uh, the moderator there dogpiled him. Like, he invited three or four other people. He was arguing against seven people, I believe, and, and then I came in. So he, he didn't like those types of tactics. And yeah, by the way, I see chat. I was muted. I mean, I really didn't say anything that important other than... Oh, now that people are spamming F. Did you get pulled down? It's a no, 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 no. I'm still no, good. No, just the, I'm just, still just good. The... All, all I said was... You know, th there was nothing stopping him. Like he he made these these stipulations on his own, and um, you know we've had fun with him on this show. But it, but if he showed up as a as a you know an honest participant, I'm not gonna try to you know make him look bad. I mean, he can do that on his as own. As I said, I'll try to make it happen. I really want to see Jim and Saga. But, but you understand, and I said this earlier. 
you know, the last time you were on here, well, not the last time, but within the last three or four times you were on here, you said, I'm going to tell Sargon not to come on because he calls everybody white niggers and I, I can't let, I can't let him on here. He's going to make himself look bad. Like you said that publicly. Yeah, but now he's in UKIP. He's got a membership. Uh, the, the, the issue was discussed with the people at UKIP. So, well, I mean, I, I think it's I, wait, 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 wait. Okay, now see, that's another dumb thing. He shouldn't be letting people like you make statements like that. I just want to clarify. Are you telling me that UKIP was fine with Sargon of Akkad saying that people needed to act like white men? No, stop I said being, it was discussed. Start, stop being white niggers. They've discussed no, I, I, Yeah. They, they so discussed UKIP it. is aware of this. Well, I think Sargon himself made the statement on um, what, one of his shows. He said that he's not allowed to use the N-word anymore. Like, you do <laughs> see that. You will see that whatever whatever it comes to it, he, he uses the N-word. Now, can, can we also say that uh, Sargon had to publicly admit that everything I said about his membership in UKIP was true, right? I mean, he, he tried to say that I was making up shit and this wasn't, this wasn't the case and, uh, you know, how dare you? And then he put out a video that, that stated everything I said was true. Yeah. He I did. mean, it looked, yeah, it looked really weird. You know, like, uh, Jim came out earlier, said that uh, we're adults, we don't need evidence. I mean, come on, it, it looked very weird. Okay, it can look weird, but, 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 but everything he was saying about me, and he, he tried to, I mean, look, I hate to use the slander word, but that, that's what he was trying to do. Well, yeah, you guys can have all your different standards. I, I'm saying this is how I handle it. And in the end, Ralph was proof, right? Twice. Yeah, exactly. You, you that's were, what I'm saying. You were wrong about Negro Joe, and you were wrong about the emails. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, basically, what I'm saying, V, is if Ralph tells you the lottery numbers, go buy a fucking ticket. <laughs> but the thing is, like, he made the video where, where he said that you're right, so what, what is the question? Well, I will, I will say this. He put up a video on his secondary channel. He didn't update the original video. You know, it's all about ethics, right? Uh, he, he, didn't, he didn't put any clarification there. Uh, I will say he did, he did put out the secondary video, but, but, but the original still stands, and... You know, if you're well, all those about are ethics. my standards, is what I'm saying. Well, but uh, about, look, we're what, talking what, about Sargon. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not yeah. saying that those are your standards. I'm saying by his own standards, by his own ethical standards, he he fell short. Is is what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I don't, hey, don't want to that. divert it into that. We could take it into that all day long. Uh, but yeah, that's yeah. True. Okay, so I, I, again, I got lost. So what was the second? What was the second reason? Well, uh, he confronted with you on Louis Levas stream, I remember now, like uh, when he called you a coward for not uh, doing uh, agit prop towards uh, political gains, whatever that they may be. Yeah, um, I guess I guess my response to him then and my response to anybody bringing that up now would be, it's fucking YouTube. Where why aren't why don't I see liberalists or skeptics running up to Markiplier and demanding that he join politics? Hey, you've got a million people in your audience, Markiplier, stop doing let's plays. Hey, ones plays, stop doing let's plays. You need to join a political party and start agitating for the common good, or you're a fucking coward if you don't. No, I, I agree with you on on this. Like, you should make content on whatever you want to make it. I think why why he said it is because you used to do um, more politics. Like your video against the EU was quite eye opening, and it came up way before you know Brexit, and then all the conversation happened. Uh, your video with the tale of two accounts. Um, I, I believe you make quite quite a lot of uh, interesting videos. That you, you got this charm, I guess, in explaining something that takes thirty minutes to explain in just ten seconds, um, and, and that's why he. Uh, basically thinks you're a coward that you don't want the fame or some shit. I, I don't know. I, I I don't agree with him on that at all. I, I have no interest in politics, and, and I have no interest in being a political guy. I have no interest in playing the game and dancing the dance, and it's foolish to think that uh, somebody with my history, especially online, wouldn't be more damaging than I would good. You know, it's kind of like uh, when white nationalists say, hey, Jim, why aren't you a full-on ethno-nationalist? Well, do you want the guy that's fucking an Asian chick to be backing your movement? Isn't that going to make you look like assholes? Well, do they have up? a lot of people like that? I mean, would, would you be the only one? Would you be the odd one out? I'm talking for myself. So mm -hmm. uh, you want me to go... Well, hold on. What, what, what you if you're Asian? Go, like, you play, you play StarCraft, you play Brood War, you seem to have yeah, a high but IQ. Like... V, v, you want me to go march in the streets and do the politics thing? And again, when you're in the real world of politics... The nigger clips and the kike jokes and the faggot statements, they all come back in because your political opponents aren't retarded. Yeah, I agree with you with that. 
But the thing is, you know, you know what's different about the UK compared to the United States? Well, the men are cucks. Well, that, that too, because if you read the news, you'd see that because of uh, fear of being called racist, police allowed over 10,000 girls to get raped by Muslim rape gangs. So maybe people should say nigger more often. Maybe if this is the price for political correctness, if this is the price to uh, not be viewed as racist, uh, then maybe it's not worth it. I'm, I'm not British, V. <laughs> like, no, but, but we're talking about yeah you're, you're talking about a person who does british politics so you know apply to that country it has a uh, different potential that you can use against your opponent yeah i think the only solution for europe and a lot of places is violence i've, I've openly stated that i, I can neither confirm nor deny yeah, I know, because you know you don't want to you don't want to go on record as that smart. See, now if you kept your fucking mouth shut when it came to other things, you'd probably be a lot better off. But yeah, <laughs> I will openly state I think violence is a solution for many of the problems that the world is facing at the moment. Yeah, no, I, I I I can neither confirm nor deny. I'll repeat what I said the first time. Well, the the platform is open for Sargon to show up, but. Yeah, as I as I said, I'll talk to him. I'll, I'll see if I can. Uh, I, I want to see the debate between. I, I, and don't, I don't. I don't know if I want to. You know, I mean, uh, yeah, I don't own a big boy suit, right? <laughs> it, it would be it would be awkward, and I'm not used to going on smaller streams like Sargon does. <laughs> are kind of like they're twenty thousand people, so it'd be weird stepping down to a smaller audience. Mm. So, so you want Sargon on your channel? Is what you're saying? No, because they'd probably be bored. They'd be like, "Who is this?" Um, maybe we could, maybe we could host it on the kill stream. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to him. Uh, I, I don't promise that thing. I don't mind control, man, but I'll, I'll do my best to try to get him to come on. Well, we'll okay, see. it sounds good. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Yeah, we'll see. V, do you, do you have anything else or? No, I'm just, uh, thanks for having me and, uh, thanks for coming on, Jim. Yeah, take it easy, B. Yeah, thank you very much. J Jim, you're still here, right? Oh, do you... It was led by a a very brave <laughs> Applebee's waiter. Um, but apparently the EU just wasn't interested. Wasn't interested in his recommendation of appetizers. So uh, that didn't really go over that well. Go to make a grand speech about saving the internet. Two days later, the internet's destroyed. I, I don't know how that happened. Uh, he was literally doing pan-European politics, and he was wearing a suit. So, <laughs> you would think, you would think that would be the solution, but apparently not. I guess they'll they'll take a recommendation on the frittatas, but not on freedom. But thank you, thank you, uh, based Applebee's Waitron, for uh, trying to save the day on that one. Oh, somebody sent me a thing, and they said, "What, Ralph's Ralph's? I mean, not Ralph Sargon is plotting a stream." Uh, here you go, Ralph. Why don't you check this out? Uh, it looks like he's gonna try to dox Jim here in a couple days. So I looked, I looked, and uh, let me see. I guess, I guess I could pull that up. Hold on. Uh, it's it's actually up right now. Hello, Jim, is the name of the stream, and that's not an actual photo of Jim. That's uh, some boomer photo that uh, that Sargon found. Now he he links to alleged dox in the in the description already. I actually think that docs is is uh, most likely incorrect, but uh, still, it's not a good look for you know ethical Sargon. I thought I thought he was all about the ethics. Apparently not. Apparently not. And apparently uh, Jim's really been really been getting on his nerves lately. Uh, I don't know what to say. But what I will do is I'll go ahead and bring in the co-host. There's like I said, there's an awful lot to talk about. Uh, another topic came up right before stream time. And we'll talk about that as well. Let me make the screen visible. We're actually doing Hangouts tonight. And I said, Sargon flat out seems to be claiming he's going to dox Mr. Medicare on stream in two days. Links to Kiwi Farms, plus puts plus more in the description. But he's not mad, you guys. He barely even thinks about Jim. He's clearly, clearly, he guys, he's not mad. Have a suit. Oh, <laughs> what happened to pan-European politics? Yeah, I thought he was too busy to to you know lower himself to discuss stuff like like this. I guess it's turned into pansexual European politics. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, I think that's close. Oh, wait, here goes a good meme from Scratch Point. Let me pull that up, too. I think this about says it all right here. Oh, wait. Here it is. Sargon, Mr. Medicare, is this literally pan-European politics? Oh, Dude, that one by Scratch Point is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's great, actually. Sargon, you know, on one hand, he's, he's despicable, but uh, on the other hand... He never fails to give us material, so I, I have to th I have to thank him for that. But anyway, so I was tweeting out about it. Of course, the whole the whole Twitter sp Twitter sphere was going nuts about it. Um, by the way, I'm gonna read the super chats here in just a moment. I'll take I'll take a story break in just a moment because they're they're poor now. I appreciate it. Um, everybody was talking about basically. So Tonka saw uh who I like by the way and who actually you know helped put us on this channel. So I, I, I'm not going to say anything bad about the guy. Uh, he says, just to be clear, Jim can show people's faces and identities on his streams, and that that is totally kosher. But if Sargon does the same in his stream, it's some kind of massive injustice we should rally to. At least pretend to be consistent for fuck's sake, you people. Now, um, I don't know if he was referring to me specifically. I feel like I should... I sh you know, I, I had been calling it out, so I kind of figured I should respond. So I said this. I said, he can dox, he being Sargon. Sargon can dox whoever he wants. I don't care about doxing. I said that on your show, my show, everywhere. What I do care about is hypocrisy. This is a person who talks about ethics, claims to be anti-doxing the works. If he actually doxes Jim, it's a massive contradiction. And then my follow-up tweet, I said, and he's already linking to alleged dox in the description. So I think pretty much that ship has already sailed. Is, is yeah. what I'm getting at. Um, so that was my position. Now, there was a little back and forth there. Um, then something else happened. After after he said that... Uh, Medicare. Wait, let me, let me make sure I get the uh, timeline right. Oh, man, there's, there's so many back and forths. Let me see if I can get the first one. Hold on. Medicare responded, basically. Um, he says, link it. And then, then he actually links the stream and says, now show me. And then this is the next tweet. Uh, he says, okay, well, you go back to being a bitter bitch then and complaining about Billy Hunter. It's weird how you weren't complaining about him when you were getting super chats from him, though, huh? And Tonka had already responded. Uh, People will be linking you the timestamp. We'll be linking the timestamp to you if you generally forgot now that you posted it, but I'm not interested in holding your hand and showing you what you did on your own stream. Get real. And uh, another thing Tonka said, uh, this was the response to the first uh, Medicare tweet that I just read. Yes, I was mocking them. So were you. We mocked them together. Go back to pretending you aren't everything you mock. And uh, Medicare says, nah, I think instead I'll go back to running a stream that can pull actual viewers. That was a little... That was, that was a body body shot there, and then I said, you know, I'm cool with you both, but I guess I wouldn't be doing my job unless I suggested a discussion right here on the kill stream. Right? I mean, that's you have to. Right. Do right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would be it would be for the best if both of them came on. I know that Jim said he's he's willing to. Yeah. So Jim did Jim did come out, and um, I, I assume that he he most likely would. That uh, by the way, Gator, you've been you've been saving that for a while. You haven't played that in a long. I haven't played that in a long time. It feels good to use it again. That was right on time, sir. Anyway, Jim came out and said, "Yeah, you know, let's do it." Actually, he didn't say it quite like that. He um, he said, um, "Well, Ralph, you know, I love being a guest on a stream, especially a stream that pulls actual viewers. Maybe Tonka will agree to go as well. It'll be a treat for him. He'll get to see what it's like when people are actually watching for once." Jesus. Um, that was, that was a little, <laughs> was a little spicy. Um, again, I like both these guys. I'm, I'm just uh, recounting this stuff here. I, I tried to set up the debate, blood sports, whatever you want to call it, discussion, a parlay. And Das Pooch says that war plan purple Twitter, Twitter that Wild Smile thinks is Sargon seems very friendly with Piss Rat and being smug as fuck. Yes, I noticed that as well. They're clearly uh, Shit Rat's clearly working in tandem with Sargon and his goons. I mean, is there any doubt about that? Yeah, this takes this takes all the yeah. crowd stuff and pretty much practically confirms that uh, hashtag Sargon knew. Yeah, uh, uh, look at look at our chat, by the way, for a all spicy right. tweet. 
Oh. Oh. That, that shit rat? Oh. oh. There you go. Now this Fucking is confirmed. I told you not to incur my wrath, Jim. Enjoy the internet war. Well. Yeah, so it's con it, that pretty much confirms it, that, that shit rat is working in tandem with Sargon. This is a straight bitch. Yep. And and by so, the way, I want to bring this up uh, before, but you know this this thing of Sargon doing this isn't new. He did the same thing about you know CRP. Remember that whole video he made on CRP? Yeah, basically it was just a recap of a Kiwi Farms thread. Yeah. And who was the one that posted C CRP's docs on Kiwi? It was people uh, from Kraut's Discord. Yes. It all comes full circle. Yeah, it's, uh... It activates the old almonds, I have to say. Uh... Alright. Let's continue. Uh, Jim, Jim did respond to that. Fit and burn. Hello? Hello? Is, this, uh, is yes. this men's warehouse? I yes. need to get <laughs> fitted for a suit. You're gonna like the way you're you gonna look. like the way you look. I, I guarantee know. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Sunday is going to be so much fucking fun. Yeah, this is like oh, gym week. Holy fuck. Oh, I love shit like this. It's going to be enjoyable. How, what is Sargon thinking exactly? I don't know. know this all is the, exactly what you want? Like, I don't... All the little capos have come out to play. I'm having a great time. I got uh, Tonka spedding out on me on uh, Twitter. Apparently he's not coming on. Is that, uh, is that well, the final he, decision? He, he told me he wasn't. We're here. You know, I started the hangout just in case. And... Oh, um, that's that's sad. Yeah, no, he's trying to uh, to say I doxed him on the. Uh, yes. I don't even know what uh, what the the stream was called. The Spurgout stream, the seven hour <laughs> stream of yelling. Yes. Where everybody basically went into a coma by the fucking end of it. Uh, no, yes. I laid out the ground rules pretty much for everybody. Uh, the one explicit rule was just don't dox each other. Make your videos, get your screen caps, put all the shit together. Uh, yeah, and you I think sent the, me those ground rules. The, the only. Like one of the only ones that had like a name and a face and everything all attached was Zooms, and uh, he, he was the one that spoke up about it and was like, "Do you want me to end the stream?" Because I told everybody, if shit starts flying and you want it ended, just say something. The stream dies right there. And uh, Zoom said, "No, I don't care. Go ahead, play it." That was the uh, the uh, pedal one. You know what I'm talking about? You know the yes, the, yes. the audio clip from that. It's like up on another source. Now, but uh, I I don't know how he's laying that at my feet, but. All I know is for like the last that people have been sending me clips off and on of him like taking like these passive aggressive snipes at me. I don't know if he's just like a bitter ex girlfriend or something or what's going on. Like you know, uh, complaining about Billy Hunters. Oh my God, Billy Hunters, and uh, trying to lay it like the blood of Palooza thing at my feet and say that was oh well Jim hyped it up that's why it sucked. No, Jim didn't host that fucking stream. That wasn't on Jim's channel. Jim didn't make money off of that. Jim didn't make merchandise for that. Jim didn't promote that. That was a Tonka saw stream. If that turned out bad, that's because you don't know how to run a stream. Maybe take some fucking responsibility for your programming. I no, mean, I'm, I I'm watching the Ralph retort. Seems like you guys can handle it. I mean, you've got your shit set up, right? It's running smoothly, isn't it? Doing pretty good, yeah. But yeah, I guess he doesn't want to come on and talk. My feelings are hurt. But real, real gets that noggin jog and activates those almonds. Acorns are falling from the sky. I got the Don doing a stream on Sunday. Shit rat and Krauts and all the little uh, YouTube academics are running around. And now here comes Tonka saw to complain. And boy, he's been getting buddy-buddy with Kraut and them, hasn't he? And then he does his stream. Well, Jim, Jim did, got everything wrong. And oh, he must be ignorant. He doesn't understand anything. Well, you don't have proof that Kraut doxed anybody. Uh, why don't you go look at the tweets uh, Tonka was shooting out about Monday Matt flagging him when he had no proof about that. So, you know, choke on the hypocrisy, asshole. Yeah, and look, I would have loved to host the debate. I mean, I, I think it should have happened, but um, he didn't want to. He offered you a spot on the Kumite, I guess, was, was his response. He, he doesn't he doesn't run on gym time, I think is what he said. And, Are you gym time? Uh, this is not my stream, no. is it? This is a Ralph no. stream, run on Ralph time. So I don't know where that's coming from. Well, I just thought it was now, perfect I know, since you I know guys were going you, at it. Like, yeah, I know. you got to be political, Mr. Neutral. <laughs> I understand the current situation you find yourself in, so I won't harp on this too much. <laughs> You know, he, he said his piece on the evil doxer, I guess, because uh, 
I, I what is it wasn't up Zoom's ass 100 percent of the time for his 30 minute fucking video, even though people are sending me screen caps and videos from 100 different fucking sources. Sorry. Sorry, I got to do better next time, I guess. Oh, yeah, wait, so there's not going to be a next time because I'm going to just continue running streams that have fucking <laughs> viewers. Sorry, what, Tonka. <laughs> what he said was, I guess there's, you know, I was there. I, I kind of subconsciously blocked most of that stream out of my memory because it was, uh, it was, it was le legit. No, not even exactly. Well, you you and Worski had no reason really to even be there, but I wanted, I didn't know what the fuck's going to be talked about. So I wanted everybody to have an opportunity to show up. Because if somebody has something accused or if there's some bullshit that goes out, I wanted them to have a chance to say, no, that's not right. And here's why it's not right. And I mean, like the first two hours of that was uh, the Backyards Blood Sports guys and then like Joakim. And then it went into Tonka and Zoom. And then after that, it was like Diogenes and him yelling a little bit. And then it kind of just tapered up. But it was like seven hours. Yeah, it was a marathon. Uh, but I guess what he's saying is, and I vaguely remember this, there's something, uh, there's some video, I guess maybe it was part of Zoom's video where there's like a, a screenshot of, of his face or whatever, or some, some video when he was a wrestler or something. Spicy. If you remember the fucking Zoom video, yes. like there were about like 10 times in that video where he had to edit audio and go over and edit shit and say, Jim made me remove this because there's no doxing. Jim wants this removed because he's a pussy. So, you know, I, like, it's clear that I told people, just keep the shit out of your videos, make your points, whatever, fucking redact what you need to redact. Uh, uh, like, uh, what else am I going to do? I will also point this out. Before that stream, Joakim uh, did a webcam share with me to show me who he is and to, like, to show that that wasn't him, that people were accusing him of being. And Tonka sent me pictures saying that, uh, oh, yeah, this is really my family and stuff and, uh, you know, all of this stuff. I've never leaked any of that. None of that's ever come from me. So you want to pay me as this evil doxer. Well, I sure have a lot of docs that I never fucking did anything with, but I sure saw like 80 other fucking people take the shit that they were spreading around and their personal DMs and put it out for public consumption. Yeah, I will say I don't think it's fair to like put that on you, really. I mean, you were just the host of the stream if there was a video with his face in it, which I do seem to recall, to be fair. Um, I mean, you you were the host. You told everybody what to do. It's not like you made the video and put it out. You know what I mean? You're, you're kind of the third party host. I mean, I guess you could. That, that's fine. I, 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 I love it. I want them to take the <laughs> hardest shots at me. I want these fucking faggots, this group of retards to take the hardest fucking shots they can at me because I live for this shit. Now, and when I'm looking at a group of people assembled on the other side of me and it's a bunch of fucking crazy hormone taking trannies and dick chopped <laughs> academics and failed politicians and shit like that, then I know I'm doing something right. I live for this. I fucking live for this. Nothing makes me happier. So swing away, Jim. Now, what do you think uh, Sargon has in store for the weekend? I don't know. We'll find out when I stream snipe him. <laughs> Ralph, yes. you want to know how easy it is to read Sargon? Would you like to know what I did to him and uh, how I know this is an ego thing for him? I would, yeah. You remember when V was on your stream? The very last thing I said to V before we went, he's like, well, maybe, mate, he'll, he'll talk to you or go on stream. And I told V, oh, I don't want to, I'm not going to go on Sargon stream. I don't go on to streams with people who can't pull the numbers I can. And then he said, well, he'll go on your stream. And I said, no, nobody would know who he is. Because I know that would piss his <laughs> ego off. So the very next day when I did my EU stream, I pulled 13 and a half thousand people. In the middle right? of the day. Right when my stream ended, Sargon streamed on his main channel of 800, 900,000 subs. Couldn't even crack 10,000. I know for a fact he did that because I heard his ego. I know for a fact you can hear the depression in his voice as the stream numbers are going down before he ends his fucking stream on his main channel. So I'm going to stream snipe the shit out of you, Sargoy. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. I hope you have a great shit show prepared. I now fucking he... called it. I knew you were going to do that. I was like talking in the Discord earlier and it was like when we saw fucking he put a his videos up for two days beforehand. Like that's fucking weird as shit anyway. He's trying oh, it's to hype exciting. It up. It's exciting. It's it's and, fucking yeah. Oh, we got it's like the pre pre show, pre pre show shit, you know? What yeah. I mean? <laughs> and I was like, you know what Jim should do? He should just stream snipe him and get like triple his viewers instantly. Quadruple probably. Oh, is that a quadroon joke? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know. It's just he keeps. I I, I don't know. He's Ralph. not mad. I mean, he's not mad, man. Well, Ralph. I mean, okay. Uh, uh, real talk, okay, buddy. This is hard for me. All right, this is very emotionally I'm upsetting. But the things that Sargon linked in his description 
James Tristan is my real name. Sargon of Akkad, a member of the political party of UKIP, is retaliating against me for my political viewpoints and criticizing what their party was doing at the EU parliament. I don't know why UKIP is targeting me for having a different political opinion from them or why their representative is trying to exact revenge by putting my family in danger. So, oh, God! We'll be alright, Jim. We'll get through this. It's it, The name is James Tristan. Pray for me. You I feel sorry for that receptionist girl. Boy, her day is going to be ruined. So many phone calls. <laughs> the phone calls never end. Hey, hey Jim, fire up those emails. <laughs> Why am I being politically retaliated against? I'm just a liberal. Why are the conservatives coming after me? Threatening your family. Is it because I believe in gay marriage? Is that why UKIP hates me? <laughs> Nigel Farage, why are you why are you attacking me with the full weight of your political party? Just a humble YouTube YouTube man in there. Trying to put their throat on your neck. <sighs> okay. Disgraceful. Well yeah, you know. Live and learn. <laughs> Live and learn. We gotta move past it, I guess. <sighs> So, do we know what what is the exact time that Sargon City is going? Let me look. I know it's Sunday. I think it's Sunday. Right? I don't know. Look for when Applebee's closes and this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, September sixteenth. Yeah, that's Sunday at five thirty p.m. Eastern. So that's you know four thirty Central. Oh, oh, you prepare yourself. It's going to be fun. Because uh, what I like to do is when people put stupid shit out about me, I don't say anything because I wait for a moment like this. And I know he wants to go over some Haverman stuff. And I can definitively, definitively, with evidence proof, that what he's going to bring up is going to be verifiably false. So this is going to be funny as fuck. You've activated my trap old. card, you waiter. What are you doing? All this stuff is old, too. <laughs> like, it's not like this is new material. I mean, maybe, you know, I saw David uh, Shitrat, you know, what did he say? He Enjoy your internet war or something? He seems, He really thinks he's a big shot now, doesn't he? No, no. They, they, uh, to be fair to shit, Rat, uh, he's just fucking about. Uh, I, he's not okay. legitimate. He's not. He's not outright saying this okay. is a war we're going to. He's trying to banter. But um, no, no. It's it, so it, boring. It very... and my, just, just how I can, how I speak is just disgusting. L Lauren, Lauren, <laughs> Lauren. Um... Lauren. <laughs> Lauren. <laughs> But uh, no, no, I, I, this will be fun. I, I really am like, I'm very actually excited for this. But Harmful Opinions was right. He tweeted out earlier. I thought Sargon said he was above drama streams. You can fuck with Sargon so hard. All you have to do is make fun of his suit. And this asshole will set up a stream two days ahead of time because he's angry. This is our, this is our future career politician. Can't take banter on the internet. Gets so ass mad when you make fun of his shitty untailored suit. Oh, he's going to flop in politics. What is he going to do when a uh, opponent decides to call him out on bad policies? Is he going to do a stream on a key with a Kiwi's Farm thread about them? Like, <laughs> is that how he's going to handle it? Maybe MLK was wrong. Maybe. Maybe there, champ. Uh, v was right on that. Like, he can't, he just can't contain himself. He's so bad at it. I have no he idea. Spank me, daddy. Fucking politics. Anybody says anything, he's going to lose his shit. Well, I don't know if they, I mean, I, I'm not really sure what the intention, I, I think, it, uh, I, you know, I'll give him benefit of the doubt and say that maybe he's got a modicum of intelligence and this is just pre-show hype, but if he thought this was intimidating, God, was he wrong. Holy shit, I'm going to stream snipe the fuck out of him. And my my chat's going to laugh at his chat. The Sweetie Squad's going to be all up in that shit. They're already in there now. Like, I went to check it out. The, the <laughs> chat's oh, yeah, open are. now, and they're in there, like, literally right now. They're in there shit posting this chat. Uh, uh, it's uh but it, it is funny though i mean v yesterday oh sargon's not watching sargon's busy no he totally was watching that's why he streamed after my stream the very next day jim can't do better numbers than me watch i'll go on my main nine hundred thousand account apparently you can't champ huh nice one percent of audience retention there sargon you know what i thought that was curious you know he has first off he has the thinkery channel where he's doing this stream he also has a dedicated live streaming channel but yet he did that one on his main channel to try to, I guess, just, to try to pump it, it, up the it's numbers. Just, though. It's so sad. So sad. I don't know what he's doing. The absolute state of him. Just, just sad. Very, very sad.
Now, here's what the Harmful Opinion says. He says, How many days did Sargon take to go from being above drama to creating a drama stream with two days of hype Tom can't handle attacks on his ego? Fairly accurate. Uh, and also, he, he attacked... Well, I won't say attack, but he made a video about me and V. I remember V came on the show and she's like, you can't, you'll tell, I think he told you that. It's like, you'll know when he's mad when when he makes a video on his main channel about you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then he literally did that to me like two weeks later. I was like, okay, well, I, I guess he's angry now. Uh, this is amazing. These, these fucking skeptics, God, they're just so pathetic. The whole lot of them. The whole lot of them. I'm going to make that Sunday stream a regular occurrence. These fucking retards need to be laughed off the internet. And why not start with the Don himself? So I, I'm I'm super hyped for Sunday. I, I it's it, it's like a sporting's event. You know what I mean? Like it's it's exciting. I haven't been excited for something on the internet in a while. So I'm hyped. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be good stuff. And a lot of other people have commented that uh, this this uh, attack, you know, and it does seem to be coming from from all corners. Uh, whether you want to include Tonka and with it or not. Um, it, it's happened after the shit on skeptics announcement that you're going to start doing that every week. And it seems like, Oh wow. Now they're, the knives are really coming out uh, all of a sudden. Oh yeah. 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 I, I mean, it's such a, this goes back to that candid shit. And this is why, you know, I mentioned yesterday with V that I thought Sargon was dirty in that. I and mean, he wasn't involved in the marketing of it, but I have no doubt in my mind that he was aware of what was going on. Uh, he was tweeting about it during the day before the stream with uh, harmful and then pretended he had no idea about any of it when he was on stream with them. And it, it's just so fucking apparent and transparent. It's so fucking bullshit. Well, he's really these, touchy. These, these, this group, Canada. what they did to Harmful Opinions was shit. I didn't like it then. I stayed out of it. I probably shouldn't have. So I'm going to write that wrong. And I'm just going to go down the list. Harmful is a good dude, and they did fuck him over. They pretty much tried to run him off the internet. You know, all of his channels got fucking banned, and his Twitter kept getting banned. Um, you see, you know, he went through some hard times personally after that. It's just like, yeah. Um, and as far as the candid thing goes, Sargon, you know, as far as we know, publicly didn't take any money from them, but he's very touchy anytime anybody talks about that. Well, what like is he, it that Teal Deer and Harmful said? They have groups that they all coordinate and talk yes. with one another. What is it that Godwinson said? Oh, I got pulled into a Discord. This is before Godwinson disappeared. I got pulled into a Discord by one of the skeptics and was made an offer. Uh, so, I mean, it's like person after person bringing up the same fucking point. There, it's all glad handing, incestuous, fucking buddy marketing bullshit by a group of kids that thought they were going to run a corner of the YouTube. But you know, at the end of the day, it's fucking YouTube. We make gay videos for each other and we stream about stupid shit. It's not that important. So when you're trying to put that much dedication into it, you should be made fun of. Uh, I see Keemstar tweeted at Tonka. He said, "How about tonight?" Um, Tonka's. I, I don't think he's coming. Okay, there please. was also. Yeah, Sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. There was go also ahead. a stream that Sargon did with uh, Harmful, and he pretty much told him he was crazy and all this isn't true. and that, all that, that That's shit. the stream yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. But during that day before he did that stream, he was getting tweeted at and talking about the shit yeah. that was going on Harmful. So he, he also, knew what was going on. Yeah, he tried to dismiss it as calling it Harmful's autistic, and this is all autism and everything like that. He said that a bunch of times. Oh, he's autistic. It's a conspiracy theory. That Alex Jones line they like to bring up that some guy I used in his marketing bullshit. It's just an app. It's just an app, bro. Oh, we fucked ourselves with the apocalypse, but we're such rationalists. We're such boy liberalist thinkers. Hey, let's let's help facilitate an AI that's going to fuck us out of ad revenue and put us in the poorhouse. We're brilliant. We're the smart ones. <sighs> Genius, you know. Apparently, we haven't read enough military history. Maybe that, maybe that's our problem. Oh, uh, you know, yeah. It, it's always nice to have a, a group of retards to make fun of on the internet, and you know, furries and diaper furs, and other kin, and all the weird little niche communities. It, that can get old. So I feel like gift has been given to me, and I, I'm not gonna, you know, refuse that. I'm gonna open it up gladly. This is my Christmas. Welcome to Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> came early this year um it's just i don't know it's just it's just complete idiocy to think that this is anything but a gift not only to you i mean but look look at our show i think this is a new record for viewership on our own program here so uh, i what, what can i do but say thank you sargon i mean I appreciate somebody, it. <laughs> somebody should make you yeah somebody should make you a belt that says uh five tonkas because that's the amount of viewers that you have right now <laughs> I know you can't be killing my jokes, Kenya, but it's okay. It's okay. I'll laugh for us both. 
Um, oh, one more thing. Uh, what did you think about the uh, Nintendo Direct today? Uh, Luigi's Mansion looked good. Uh, Animal Crossing, people are going to be excited about. They're going to do the ports of Final Fantasy. Everybody's getting is going to the Switch, so I guess that'll be good. Uh, new character in Smash. It, it was okay. It wasn't awful. You know what I mean? It, it was a middle of the road direct. It's like a five or six rated, I think. Uh, people wanted Prime 4 footage. They didn't get it. No, they didn't get that, but Luigi's Mansion, I think, maybe made up for it. Ring, wahoo, yippee! <laughs> Waha, yippee! By the way, let me try something real quick before before we see you off, because uh, I don't know if that's your mic or my hangout. Um, uh, it could be mine. I got a bit of a storm going on where I am, so I might be roboting on you. Okay, that's all right. All right, final thoughts. I know, I mean, we could talk about this forever. Unless, unless you want to hang around and take some calls, it's up to you, but... Well, I don't know, Mr. Roboto. I think my dragon your stream down here. But I just like to say, I shut up. You know what I mean? I, I know there's been someone that likes to go around saying it's bitch made not to take people up on their challenges. I'm here. Just saying. I, all I see are tumbling by. Looking, I'm looking, looking for a wrestler, but not seeing anybody around. Just, just mark it down. Jim was here. Jim showed up. Jim was ready. Nobody else. Did. Okay, we're good. That's fine. I'm cool. All right. Uh, thank you. So the Sunday stream will be going on when Sargon starts the stream. Uh, be sure to show up, enjoy, unmoderated chat. You should post all you want. We're going to be watching and laughing in real time. Uh, I, I'm going to make some special Applebee suits gifts. It's going to be a good time. <laughs> thank you, sir. I, I will be there. Wait. Appreciate it. Thank you for coming on. Yeah, yeah. Take it easy. Have a good job, man. All right, you too. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Hey, congratulations for the viewership. Jesus Christ. OMG. It's still, we're doing pretty good. I mean, we, we had a lot to work with tonight, though, V, I have to say. You know, I can't take all the credit. I, I think Sargon, we, maybe we should uh, give him a nice hand as well since he, he kind, of, uh, kind of boosted us up tonight. Please clap. <laughs> well, I'll take the credit then um, because this is why I want to came on. Um, woke wait, up. You'll, wait, wait, did you say you'll take the credit? I'll take the credit. I, I woke up a couple of minutes ago and my DMs are exploding, right? Everyone is tweeting <laughs> at me. Uh, and I think the reason for this is that you wanted me to talk to Sargon to do the, the gym debate on your channel. Um, uh, and, and I showed him the clip with, with Jim talking and addressing him. So that's that's what happened. Oh, so he's, he, he got angry about that. Is that what you're saying? Or, or he decided he needed to address it. Is that is that what you mean? Well, I, I don't know if he's angry or not. I mean, uh, the, the thing is when you guys are talking about it and you're laughing, it, it's just laughing. When he's talking about you, is he's getting angry. And it's funny because if you're going on the other side, it's the opposite. It's like when you're talking about him, you're angry. When when he's talking about you, he's laughing. So it, it is more interesting when you see both communities talk about each other, you know? Well, I mean, that point could be taken. That being said, we do a show five nights a week, and, I mean, we kind of just laugh at, uh, laugh at dumb shit. Uh, Literally it's, everybody. It's not like a special event stream, you know, that we set up on Sargon. This is we were doing a show tonight, regardless of whether or not, you know, Sargon, whatever he was doing, we we're still going to be doing a show. And so that. Just no, kinda... I can definitely see that. As I said, when you speak with both communities, you get a different picture. Than By the way, uh, Jim that. is in the chat, and he says, "I called it." Yeah, he, he called it. Yeah, he was on Did the show you, earlier, he and, and he have and you he seen said the video that. link that he made two days in advance? Have you seen the description? Uh, yeah, yeah, people are DMing me that, yeah. What are your thoughts on that? I genuinely don't know. Like, I, I tried talking with him. He's he's keeping it a secret. Like, no, you, uh, no, I, I he's... Told him, uh, yeah, I mean, I told him to talk to Jim, and, and this is his version of doing it, so... You know, I, I, I would stream... definitely prefer a 1v1 with Jim. I, I don't care where it happens. Your channel, somewhere. I, I don't care. I just want him to have a discussion. I, I genuinely like both of these YouTubers. Well, I don't know that he's interested in that, but uh, I would I would like to see it too. But uh, as for the description itself, he he links to uh, alleged docs in that description. I mean, is that something you would disavow or? Yeah, of course. Uh, and I kept saying this publicly every single time. I think Jim's anonymity adds a lot to his channel. I, I would hate to see you know a face behind uh, what Jim does. I mean, Jim. Jim's might be very handsome. Would that would that not improve your <laughs> your thoughts about him? <laughs> well, usually when you see the YouTuber behind the voice, you know, like the mundane mask yeah. reveal. Ew. <laughs> yeah. the, the atheism is unstoppable reveal. 
uh, I, I can't think of a single YouTuber that had a face reveal and I was like, oh, well, wow, this, this genuinely adds, you know, because the thing is like when it's an, uh, an anonymous person, you hype it up in your mind and, and you're making it look like probably, you know, the, the best person, uh, the, the best. Well, there is ever. something about the disembodied voice. You know what I mean? It's almost like the, the voice of God uh, coming down or, or some type of celestial being because you've never seen them. It's always just their voice. So you have all these thoughts in your mind about what they might look. It's like reading a book almost. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're, you're picturing the character yeah, in your you own mind. Yeah. If you like the YouTuber, your imagination is going to imagine the best possible uh, outcome. And when you get to see it, like it, it, it's impossible to live up to expectations. Well, um, what well, do you that, think? Yeah. Do you have any thoughts of what the stream's actually going to be? Or Absolutely not. I asked him. He didn't tell me. But what I do know is that it's going to be entertaining. Like If not Sargon streams, then Jim's response, you know, like, well, I, I, I'm going to... I'm 100% certain it's going to be entertaining. Uh, I don't know that that'll be because of what Sargon's doing, but uh, Jim came on this show earlier. I don't know if you saw that bit, but uh, he said he's going to stream snipe V, I mean, not V, Sargon Log. Sargon. Yeah. Mm, well, what does stream sniping mean? Like he, he's going to stream over it or is it going to be in the chat? No, he's, he's going to be watching Sargon stream on his stream while it's live. Yeah. Like what oh, we did to Baked Alaska when he had his meltdown. Yeah. Damn it, now I don't know which stream to watch. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's not a very big cosign, but yeah, that that's what he that's what he said he was gonna do. Uh, I guess I guess I'll have to watch Jim's stream because it's going to have more content. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh damn. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! shit. Uh, Sargon of Applebee's blown the fuck out. Yeah. Well, I mean, I agree. I have to agree with you. I'll be watching Jim's stream too, but I, I didn't know that I expected you to say that. But no, no, this is the truth. Like I, I'm curious <laughs> about Jim's reply to the things that Sargon will be saying. You know. Uh, does Sargon is he is he mad that uh, you know he has a channel that's of course you know we're, you're speaking for somebody else. But he has a channel that's what three times as big as Jim's at least. And uh, yeah. Jim consistently outdraws him. And Jim put out a theory that uh, Sargon uh, streamed on his main channel the other day, right after Jim streamed, to try to you know just show how many he could get. And he still he still fell short and couldn't couldn't get up to the Jim Jim level. I mean, I I don't know if he's mad, but I keep saying this that Jim has a talent that no one else on YouTube has, as far as I'm aware. Uh, I mean, if you look at Twitch standards, usually people play Dungeons and Dragons and they get. 40,000 people watching, but on YouTube, Jim, Jim's the man, like, he, he, he can stream whenever he wants, and you will get 10,000, 15,000 people watching. Um, I think if you would take it to Twitch, you would have even more people. Well, he'd so, also last about uh, two days over there, probably. <laughs> Yeah, probably. Two, days, two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I I don't know about Twitch. I never streamed there, but I hear their rules are are very tight. So it's it's yeah. possible that he won't last there. Yeah, if you think but it's tight like over here on YouTube, it's extra tight over there. It's it's uh it's jailbait tight over there on the on you on Twitch. Yeah. Just put the, you know. No, I mean what, what I want to say is that the th this is one of the reasons I like Jim. Like he's he's the best at what he does when it comes to entertaining people. Uh, I looked uh, a couple of days ago, he started the stream, I believe he had 2,500 people in the chat even before he came on, and there were super chats flying if, even when he wasn't there. Uh, like, there, there's no doubt about it. When it comes to entertainment, Jim's one of the best YouTubers in, in this sphere, and, and probably others. I mean, I, I don't know if H3H3 or Philip DeFranco would start streaming if they would manage to gather as many viewers. By the way, some people didn't like my jailbait tight joke. No apologies. I'm not James Gunn. I don't. I don't work for uh, Disney, so I'll say whatever I want here. But <laughs> yes, very tight. The rules is what I'm getting at. Yes. Uh So you're gonna be watching Jim's stream on Sunday. Yeah, probably. All right. So, and you don't have any insider, you know, what this might be. Um. No, but the thing is, I, I don't. I don't think Sargon's going to do something incredibly stupid. Like I'll, I'll just say it. I will. We'll see if I'm right or not. Um. We'll, we'll we'll have to see. But don't you think, on a certain level, that this whole thing is stupid? So he just now put out 
you know, this thing, he's dealing with pan European politics and he's at the EU. You don't even own a suit, Jim. I'm doing big things, Jim. I can't, you know what? Jim's just bitter. He's leading his lost boys to pleasure Island or whatever the fuck he said. And he was, he was kind of getting at, I'm, you know what? That's, that's below me now. I can't really get involved with that. And then what? Two days later, I think he, he puts out this stream. Clearly I would have to say even being, you know, I'm being objective here and obviously I've had beef with Sargon myself this year, but it just seems like he's really bothered by this, this, uh, these critiques from Jim. You know, I, I don't want to bring the 4D chess argument, but I'll just say this. You're, you're looking way, way too much into it. Just tell me. I mean, what the, do you mean? Don't you feel that those texts were almost tailored to get the reaction? Like they, they were just like made in a certain way that they would no. know <laughs> you'd, you'd meme and laugh at it. What did you it, say? Isn't it like, let, let, let me put it this way. If you wanted Sargat to say something stupid, wouldn't it be exactly that? So you're saying he was only pretending to be retarded. I don't know. It just it just seems so what? He I'm put that out there so everybody would laugh retarded. at him? Like, I, I don't understand the, I'm the theory. I'm not saying he was pretending to be retarded. This is what I'm saying is that your reaction was probably the exact one you, uh, he expected. But what was he trying to do? Help us help us on the show? Like, I don't, I don't understand what the, what the motivation is. So, oh, he put that all out there on purpose just so everybody would laugh at him? I... What, I, what's I the angle? Put that up on purpose. I, I can neither confirm nor deny if you put it out there on purpose. All, all, all I'm saying is that he, if you listen to the Kumate stream, which he did, uh, I believe, three or four months ago, he specifically yes. said that he he still likes to laugh and he still enjoys all of this. It's just that he can't participate in it directly. But he's doing just that. Well, it's not really doing just that, is it? You you have tweets from me like what? you can always disavow that that it's B, him. That, he's doing uh, a fucking stream that. on Sunday talking about hello, Jim. I mean, what what do you call that? Like, I... well, I I call it the fact that Jim has been talking about Saga for quite a while now. But Sargon's um, beyond that, I... right? Why does he feel the need to respond? Well, yeah, pan European that's politics. Beyond yeah. that. But... But but the thing is, like, if, if people keep messaging you from your community and ask you to address it and talk about it, like, eventually you are going to talk about it. By the way, uh, Keem yeah, is let, saying, let, 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 let me say this yeah. real quick, V. Just just hold that thought. Put a pin in that real quick. Uh, people are saying that uh, Keem wants on. Uh, he can, I sent I sent you the link a little while back, Keem. So if you just check your DMs, um, you can join uh, the Hangout at any time. Uh, but yeah, go ahead, V. Go ahead. Continue with your thought. Yeah, I mean, if, if you think some little YouTuber is beneath you, uh, for example, you, you Ralph, right? Um, and he keeps talking about you for five months, wouldn't you eventually address it? Well, he addressed me, so, I mean... Yeah, put, but, but put, he, he wouldn't address you. Like, like, let's say he would just talk about you nonstop for, for five months. Would, wouldn't you eventually... Well, just see, the, like, the okay, funny but... thing about uh, Sargon is... Um, he, he did address me in a video on his main channel, which you said that that, that means he's upset then. But also, and I don't watch these streams, but the uh, Dungeon and Dragon stream you guys did the other day, um, they were talking a lot of shit on there. You you guys kind of get together on some secondary streams to talk a lot of shit as well, and it does it yeah. does make its way back to me. I don't I don't watch it live because I mean, well you know, that's the same with him. You know, like if if he doesn't watch it live, it gets its way back. Well, to people send me things and like, whoa, look at what Sargon was saying on his little Dungeons and Dragon stream. Uh, but uh, it's it's not like he never. I don't know. I, I just feel the whole. Well, I, I am on the record defending you on those streams. If you if you go check it out. Yeah, so somebody that, told uh... me that. I didn't actually um, hear the clip, but somebody quoted it to me and, and sent it to me. And they're like, "Well, V was actually defending you because they were making jokes, I guess, about the uh, Discord stuff or whatever." Um, yeah. That's what I was told. I haven't heard the actual clip. Yeah. Um, yeah I try to be consistent. Like if if I. Uh... If I believe something about someone, I'll I'll definitely defend them, and I, I'm fine with defending anyone from either side. Now, what did you think about uh, Shitrat said you were a cuck for putting out that apology video? No, we we talked about it last time. I, I think Shitrat doesn't understand that I'm not into a uh, uh, how should I say ideological war with you guys. Like, it doesn't bother me that you do the stream. The only thing that bothers me is censorship, and I overreacted because of it, right? And then when I was uh, pointed out that it's not censorship, nothing's going on, I was like, okay. I made an apology, and I withdrew it. It, it has nothing to do with one side or another.
right. So I guess uh, final thoughts here, predictions for the weekend. What do you, what do you think is going to happen? We'll, we'll call you Nostradamus. Extremely, for extremely entertaining. <laughs> um, you know with, what? With Jim's streams over Saga, I think Jim is going to have the biggest number on of, of viewers that he ever had. Um, I think so too. Yeah, I think I think he's going to probably uh, get more viewers than that pig stream. I think that he literally could hit thirty thousand because I I look at the numbers here tonight and you know we've been doing pretty well uh, the last couple well since the back the last thing but especially the last since the Monday Matt thing we've been doing really well. I and I look at the numbers tonight through all this drama and on this channel with what like nine thousand subs. The, Jim could easily hit thirty thousand views. Uh, viewers yeah, if, if I was Sagan, I would either make a video directly to Jim, um, and, and then you know it's, it's a video, or I would I would try to stream at like three thirty a.m. in the United States or some shit like that. You know, <laughs> I, I, I don't know some people. I, 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 yeah, well, video does seem a little smarter. I see some people in chat saying maybe I'm overhyping it, but. Um, I, when, I really when he think got it could get banned, there. he had like I think close to twenty thousand people watching. Yeah, exactly. There's yeah. there's Keemstar. What's up, man? <clears throat> yeah. Um. So like, I'm addicted to drama. Like a lot of people think I do drama for like money. Uh, I've made a lot of money doing a lot of other things. Drama is not the biggest income at all. Drama is like my obsession. Like I love all kinds of drama, whether it's politics, whether it's this, whether it's Jake Paul, I don't care. Like I'm, that's what I'm into. All right. Um, I really, I've never had a problem with Sargon. Sargon's always been super nice to me. And obviously I like Jim. Um, I'm trying to figure out how did this start? Like, what is the root? Like, what is the past history between these two guys? I will tell you, it's it's an op team, and it's because you were a son of a bitch. I masterminded everything, right? You made your, your sponsorship to Coca-Cola. I made a video and made me look like a fool, so then I sent all these machinations and, and all this emotion so that you would come here and I will finally confront you and call you out for it. God, Dude, God, you sponsored Coca-Cola. I got so screwed on that because that day that we decided to do that, like, thank you, Coca-Cola, like we saw there there were sprite ads sprites owned by coca-cola like we saw them with our own eyes so i don't know what the hell was happening because you know allegedly coca-cola pulled ads but there was still sprite ads hashtag me too i got screwed it, yeah. it, it hurt yeah oh i, I feel your pain <laughs> i looked like the biggest I, I, idiot for a couple of days I, I checked it out as well because I didn't take your word for it right away. Like I, I looked at it, yeah, there was Coca Cola. I had to ask people, and it's like, okay, well, right, and I and I went out. I believe me, Sargon, and a couple of other guys. We we made videos on it. I don't know if they uploaded theirs, but I went out. It was like two a.m. Went to a nonstop kiosk, bought as much Coke as possible, came out, <laughs> filled my room with Coke. You know, and then they made the video about it. it was like, oh god. By the way, I see chat saying get Jim to explain it to Keem. Uh, Jim still has the link, of course, if he wants to hop back in now that we, we made it a party uh, here. Uh, but, 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 V, I guess, what, is, what would you say is the root? I mean, I have my own ideas, and I'll give them momentarily uh, after you. But what, what do you think is the root of the uh, animosity between uh, Sargon and uh, Jim? Well, that's the thing. Last time I spoke about it here on this channel and I explained the two reasons, but then Sargon talked to me and said that please stop spreading that around because it's not true. I got nothing against Jim. Um, but nobody I, believes I that, though, right? Come, just look at what he's doing. You can't believe that with all the evidence in the counter, right? No, I think, I think uh, personally, okay, even though he doesn't uh, admit it, like I, I want it on the record, he disavows, but I think there's a rivalry between Sargon and Jim. Um... I don't know what it's about, but but I think ever since Jim came back, um, Saga might have had a different idea about how Jim is like during Gamergate, and it turns out that's that's not accurate. Um, so, yeah, I. But somebody was... in the somebody in the chat <laughs> said when I heard Keem was swatted, I was sad that I found out he survived. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> God damn, you're cold, you son of a bitch. Fuck you. Um, but the way I understand it is just different ideologies. Um, Jim doesn't like that Sargon takes himself too seriously. Like that, that, That's what Jim hates, right? That he's too arrogant, he's fart sniffing. 
So, yeah. so, so that's what is upset. While uh, Sagan is upset that Jim doesn't take himself seriously. Like it's, it's just two different people with two two different worldviews at the okay. end of the day, and I think that that is the root of the problem. That that's where everything is is coming down from. Uh, see, I just don't have enough time to like watch all of YouTube and watch every community to understand everything that's going on. Tonight, when I was watching the stream, was the first time I heard that Sargon was trying to be a, a politician? <laughs> What's going on there? Yeah, he, Wait, wants, to, uh, he, uh -huh. wants, he wants a seat in the EU. That's what he's, that's what he's going for. <laughs> he, wants a, he wants a seat at the big boy table with his Applebee's outfit. So that should work out well. Wow. Okay. <laughs> hey, Joe. But, but uh, hey, Kim, you don't watch my videos religiously? What the fuck, man? V, do you even watch your own fucking videos? <laughs> I mean, is that a fair question? <laughs> no. You see how many videos that are poorly edited I put out, and then people are, are calling me out, and it's like, by the way, there's no sound that three minutes and 50 seconds, like, oh, fuck, okay, I'll put it out. So, no, I, I don't watch my own videos. So, no, I, I heard Kim wanted, uh, I guess, the deepest lore on this shit. Um, I, I'll try to sum it up as quick as I can. Uh, like I'd say, like six or seven months back, there, there's a these people that put out a animated show called Murdoch Murdoch. Okay. And they had a clip of Sargon in it, um, and it's him basically getting a big head <laughs> and getting full of himself, trying to be a politician, uh, surprisingly. And um, there's this clip where he he turns into like the Akira baby monster at the end, and mm -hmm. he starts screaming, "Sargon needs more dopamine." And I thought <laughs> that was I thought that was funny as fuck. So I retweeted that. And it, it like kicked off this sequence of events where his friend wanted me to come on stream and he, he asked somebody else to ask me to come on and I don't know what it's about, so I go on the stream and there's Sargon in the chat just flipping his shit at me. So I tell him to get on and Sargon lays it out and he's like, oh, oh Jim, you should have been a leader in Gamergate, you were a coward and uh, you need to do this and this and just all this really pompous bullshit. Uh, and so that that's kind of, I guess, what accelerated it. Um, I don't know what his plans are for Sunday, but I, I, you know, I heard what you said. You like drama. I live for this shit too. I find it <laughs> fucking amusing as fuck. The more of them, the better. You know what I mean? If I've got 20 people taking shots at me, that's a good day. So I'm looking forward to Sunday. It's going to be fun as fuck. I'm going to stream snipe the shit out of his ass. I know it bothered him uh, when V was on here last time. I, I, I threw out a comment to see if I could get a reaction where I said, I, you know, I wouldn't stream with Sargon because he can't pull the viewer numbers I can't. Right. Um, and the very next day I did a stream, pulled 13 and a half thousand. Sargon immediately on his main channel, instead of his live stream channel, does a stream. Can't even hit nine. And you can like hear the, the sadness in his voice as he ends the stream after like yeah, an hour. I heard you say that. Jim, one thing that I really, really like is I like that arrogant, like I pull more viewers than you. Because like, you know, people never say that shit. There's very few people that will fucking brag. Like I pull more, I get more subs than you. But really, if everyone was going to be really honest, we're all trying to get as many views as possible. We're tr all trying to get as many subs as possible. And like when someone is just raw and real and they're like, I pull this, I fucking love that because that's who I am. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to Sunday because not only am I going to get to laugh at Sargon, I'm going to make so much fucking money doing it. And that's going to make it even better. So I'm going to have a college fund for my future children based off this one fucking stream. <laughs> well, I'll, 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 I'll make. Let's, uh, let, let, let's, uh, let's take some bets. How, how much do you think we'll make? I'll, I'll tell you my sum, how much I think you'll make. Uh, hopefully enough to buy at least three suits from Men's Warehouse, because I want to be a big boy <laughs> like Sargon. Yeah, so, I'll say now I think you'll make over five grand. So Sargon is he does he stream every Sunday or is this like a planned stream to talk about you? Oh, this is a planned stream. Like this is this is him uh, especially oh, yeah. ahead of time setting it up to have it come out. So uh, I, I don't know. I I love this. Like this is I'm genuinely fucking excited for this. I'm I'm looking forward to this happening and I'm gonna be loving every laugh. So how I understand it is like basically you know he had that funny suit. I seen the memes. I thought it was funny. Um, you know, he got upset with that, and then you dock somebody in one of your YouTube videos, and they and now they're mad at you and calling you out. Is that is that what happened? Yeah, that was uh, that's Takasa. So uh, there was this big uh, the IBS, the Internet Blood Sports thing, uh, and a bunch of the different people in it uh, all had gripes with one another. So I put out a message to everybody, like Ralph, uh, Andy Worski, and the others, and I said, "You guys can all come on stream, and you can yell at each other. Uh, I'm not going to interfere. I'm not going to moderate." just fucking half at it. And I said, just have your videos and your screen caps and shit prepared ahead of time. And, you know, my one rule was just don't, you know, don't try to dox each other. Just redact that shit if you can. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah. Um, and he, Tonka's pissed at me because 
apparently in Zoom's 30 minute video, there's a clip of him wrestling. It, but if you watch Zoom's video, there are like 20 or 30 fucking segments in it where he re edits it uh, to take out names and shit. And he, he's calling me out for it. He's like, Jim made me pull this out. Jim is a faggot, you know, that kind of stuff. Because I was pretty clear with everybody. And I made it right. pretty open at the beginning. I said, if, if something comes up and you think it's unfair, say something, I'll fucking kill the stream right there and we're done. Well, I'm kind of so shocked. Zoom tried and... to fuck with Jim. Uh, I... Zoom tried to fuck with Jim as well. Like he leaked DMs from Jim. He um, uh, he said that uh, Jim was a tool, only only needed so he can get on uh, on the IBAS and talk with Tonka. So it, it's not like you and Zoom are tight, right? Well, and to to be fair too, it wasn't just Zoom. I mean, like uh, the backyard blood sports guys had grievances with like Joakim and Tonka. Like they're they're different groups that are all arguing with each other. And the way it was brought up to me was, hey, this never gets addressed. Nobody ever lets us fucking have a go at it. So I was like, well, that'll make, you know, what, whatever, fuck it. I'll put the stream on. I'll let everybody scream at each other. It turned into a seven-hour clusterfuck because you need, you need some kind of format instead of that. But, um, yeah, no, this was – he's trying to make it sound like uh, – I said, hey, Zoom, dox him, which I, I didn't. I, you know, I, I'm getting shit at the last minute. People are sending me right. clips. I, there's only so much I can do. I mean – one of the guys had a clip that was brought up near the very end of the stream where it had his full name, his address, his fucking face, and everything like that. And, you know, somebody called that out, and it's like, okay, well, I'm killing the stream. But the guy whose information got put up was like, fuck it, just play it, whatever. See, this is – I don't think Sargon's a stupid person at all. I think this is the way you describe it. It doesn't seem like there's much of a case to go after you. I, I, I don't know what's going to get brought up, um, you know. Uh, my early internet days, I was big into trolling and shit. I hung out with people that did a lot of trolling. So maybe Likewise. he's going <laughs> so maybe he's gonna try to play into that. You know, the guy that used to run the forum that I hung out on, uh, Haberman, got a really bad case of trolls remorse, and he became kind of like super, super apologetic over it. So he he's written like fucking novels talking about his guilt over this and the shit that he did. So I mean, maybe he's gonna try to hit me with that. Um, you know, there were accusations that I doxed Haberman. I, I can actually verifiably prove that's not true at all. I, I can give evidence for it. So I hope Sargon's stupid enough to bring that up. I just, there's a lot of, see with me is I like when misinformation's out there because then you get a moment like this that's so beautiful that you get to in real time make them look fucking stupid. So right. I, again, it, it's going to be great. This, is, this Sunday is going to be fucking fantastic. I'm definitely tuning in. <laughs> I'm <laughs> right. so <laughs> Uh, so, are you going to watch Jim's stream or Sargon's? Uh, I'll pr I, I always, if it's like two things that are going on at once, I always pull up both. Oh, it'll be fun. It's going to be a good time. I, I think everybody's going to have I, a, I think, a nice time. I'm not picking sides, but I think you almost have to pick up Jim's stream because Jim is going to be doing the live reaction to, you know, Sargon's yeah, it's stream. More content. So the only it's way to get both, weird. the only way to get both is really to watch Jim's stream. But you know what? The, the thing I love the most about this, uh, Keem, is the fact that he's, for like the last month, has been trying to put out this era, you know, like the, this aura, that um, he's so beyond this. He's so above yes. drama. He's so uh, into big boy politics. This is beneath him. He's going to save Europe and the West and, uh, and everybody else. And he doesn't have time for the YouTube shit. And just making fun of his dumb fucking suit for a day and a half has made him dedicate a stream to me. That's... That's crazy. I just don't think like, you know, him with the with the frog stuff and, and I, I don't know. It just it seems like Sargon has always been kind of a memer. I'm surprised that he got offended. Oh yeah, I you know, know. I, 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 I'm in the inner circle. Like yeah. he's in the inner circle. He By the way, V V, can I ask you a question, V, because chat's asking yeah. us, what is wrong with your microphone? Well what what's up with my microphone? I mean you sound like it's stuck up your ass or something like what what? Um, like I didn't do nothing to it. Like it's the same since I came on up till now. Is, is there something wrong with it? It doesn't sound uh, like oh, you sound, you sound maybe, a little maybe, bit better. You sound a little bit better. Oh, now, actually, maybe. V, after you fix your microphone, can I ask you a question? I'm curious. Sure. Since Sargon said I lead around the Lost Boys on Pleasure Island, is he now one of the Lost <laughs> Boys? Because I'm dragging his ass around YouTube for my amusement at this point. <laughs> Jesus. Oh fuck! I'll, I'll, I'll send it that bad. That that is good. <laughs> I'll wait a week and a half for his response when he thinks of something <laughs> clever. <laughs> what do you think of V saying that he'd be watching your stream, not Sargon's? That was that was pretty amazing. I, I you know, honestly, I'm kind of like him. Uh, when when people are doing something like this, I've got everything pulled up at once yeah. because you don't want to miss something. And both chats are going to be entertaining, but I've got to have bias here. Of course, I'm going to watch mine. Mine's going to be the better one. 
mine's where all the good shit's going to be. People are going to be enjoying my stream. Uh, oh, wait, maybe, so... maybe the Sweetie Squad will pay him a visit and laugh at him uh, and bring up suits. I sure. don't know, but we'll find out. I think, brother... you, I think you and Sargon are both going to pull big numbers. I mean, Sunday is the best night to stream. Like, if it's what time does it start? Roughly Eastern, you know, five thirty uh, Eastern. Yes. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll oh start. Oh my out. god, that's that's kind of perfect. Like five thirty six. Yeah, yeah but, but but the Sunday. issue is that <clears throat> there is an issue because uh, as I said, I would just watch Jim's stream because it's going to have more content. It's it's with that extra DLC with, with Jim's commentary. Um, so you know you don't get that from Sargon's stream. Right. Are you saying Sargon's boring? No, if it was the other way around, if Jim would make a stream... No, I think that's what he's saying. <laughs> he just said Jim's stream has content. It's okay. It's oh okay. my god, I can envision okay. him just, like, starting off, like, Sargon starting off for, like, 10 minutes and then realizing what, what's happening. Well, he'll probably know beforehand. And then he just switches and then stream caps your stream. And then you get into this weird situation where you two are debating on your own streams. Well, and that's the beauty of it. I'm already prepared. I'm going to have men's warehouse commercials ready to play <laughs> until we can sort out the technical issues. Oh, no. I guarantee it. So I'm going to look at the way you look. look. I guarantee it. By the way, somebody did a super yeah, chat then, earlier. Then he can just mute your stream and just talk about whatever he wants to talk, and you can't make a response if that's Well, why does he just show up on the same stream? We know for a fact. By the way, chat, press 1 if you think Sargon's watching this fucking stream right now. No, Everybody Ralph, knows. This is, no, this is more fun. Not only will I get All more right. viewers and make more money, fuck it. I'm, I'm looking forward to this format. <laughs> <laughs> I think no. I think it would be smart if both of you just debated each other and both of you streamed. You know, he won't do it though. That's the problem. I mean, yeah, yeah. you have to understand, Keen. Like uh, he went on to a stream previously where somebody wanted to talk to him, and he had like seventeen <clears throat> different uh, criteria. You can't have any guests on. You can't have anybody say this. The super chats have to be turned off. You can't ask this question. You can only talk about this subject. Oh wow! No, yeah. oh, hold on, hold on. The super chats. I, 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 I feel like he's changed a lot since I, I. I knew him when he was on Twitter. When he got banned on Twitter, I just you know, I stopped talking to him because I, I live on Twitter and I had no really way to communicate with Sargon anymore. But back then, he seemed like a nice guy. He seemed really smart and intelligent. And, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I never. I, really I actually him. organized that stream. I, I'm the one who organized it, and and I know why he asked that thing. Uh, the reason he asked is because before that he joined Big Alaska stream to talk with Andrew Anglin. The moderator was constantly intervening and putting up points against him, so he wasn't like moderating like. Well, yeah, that that, 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 ex started, that explains one or two things, but not the eighteen. He, he then started dogpiling. Well, hold on, hold on. Then then he started dogpiling Sarga. Like when uh, the debate was almost over, he started bringing four or five other people to talk against him. So it was like six pe people to one. Um, and I don't think even you, Jim, could, could win such an argument, you know, when there's six well, people. Well, to be, to be fair, you're right. I mean, bringing in 18 people is, is kind of bullshit. But to be fair, uh, that stream was set up ahead of time with the premise and the promotion that it would be a debate between Andrew Anglin and Sargon of Akkad. And Sargon shows up on this guy's stream and says, I don't want to debate. I'm not here to debate. I want to know why he was fucking Asians in the jungle. Yeah, but but in reality, it ended up being no, a no, no. V, I mean, if no, 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 if you're gonna throw out the rules, I, I, I agree with you. I, I, I do you're agree. And throw I, out I did the rules you. and what you tell people you're gonna do. You can't complain that you get dogpiled then because you threw the format away. Yeah, I, I agree with you that the introduction was was really bad, and I told him this as well. Uh, but in the end, if you watch that stream right now, well, actually, you can't. I think it's taken down. But but if you were to watch that stream, you would notice that it ended up being a debate. Like, like, they talked about the immigrants and, you know, Andrew's plan on zapping the, them. All, all, it was, the, all it was <laughs> him trying to say, all it was was him trying to say, Andrew, why do you fuck Asians in the jungle? Andrew, why are you fucking Asians in the jungle? That that was his whole shtick for 45 minutes. If I was the no, host of a stream... Like, like it, was, I, it was if, a bad intro. Yeah, but V, if I was the host of a stream and I told people and promised them, I have a debate, these two people have agreed, and then one of them shows up and starts pulling that kind of shit, I'd be like, fuck it. He's not going to respect my fucking premise and show. Why should I respect him? I, I agree with you. Um, and, and I don't know if he personally saw it that way. Uh, but, you know, a after a while, after those 40 minutes, I did think that it became a debate. And uh, when it became a debate, the moderator wasn't uh, interested in moderating, and he started dogpiling him, bringing more and more people into it. Um, so, so because of that, he, when, when he went on the Kumate, he just wanted to make sure that there's not going to be people dogpiling him. And he didn't say turn off the super chat. 
he had a bunch of criteria. I mean, yeah, I talk yeah. to I, I people, he had up, a I, ton I, of criteria for going out of that show. Yeah, I relate them to uh, to Tonka. I believe one criteria was that there's only him and Tonka. Uh, that it had to happen that day because afterwards uh, he he didn't want to schedule it. He said like it, it has to happen in like uh, half an hour or something like that. Uh, and the the third criteria was that um, he, he would uh, answer whatever question Tonka had. So th those were the criteria. I think there were more than that, but we'll we'll agree to disagree. I don't want to take away from well, the main event. Still watch the stream. Oh, still yeah, I, I don't want to take away from the main event, which is going to be this Sunday. <laughs> this Sunday, Sunday, Sunday <laughs> is going to be the main event. I'm so excited. I know it's going to be so good. Uh, <clears throat> Hell in a cell. But why can't he just come on with no with no preconditions? V like. Who does this guy exactly think he is? Well, I, 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 I told you because when, when he came on with no preconditions, he got dogpiled. Oh, um, wow. And he just wanted to, to get his message out. No, there. That, that's fine, B. Not everybody can be a man. I mean, I show up without preconditions. I don't yeah, I was going to say, I've never heard Jim that. say, oh, God, you can't oh, let this, would, this, would, you, this would you go on Sargon's stream knowing that he's going to invite uh, B, he's going to invite Art, yes. he's going to invite Louis, yes. he's going to invite yes. you know, other friends, and yes. they, they would all just talk down against you? Yes. Um, sure. yes, that's I what would. that's what gay porn audio is for. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose, but I, I don't I don't see Sargon putting gay porn audio on a stream of Have lot. you seen his Twitter account when he spammed black oh dicks God. at everyone for two weeks? <laughs> yeah, but the difference is that Wait, porn that's is legal. How he got suspended? Oh yes. yeah, keep sorry. No, 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 he was no, 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 it's not illegal to show porn on Twitter, and you know, like. You but you have to mark your stuff sensitive content. You can't just start sending out, you know, dicks and yeah, inside of white. It's not. Dicks, it's know. not when he got banned. Actually, Sargon's off. Sargon's off. Yeah. Uh, well, well, I will say this: porn. the person that did it lied about being underage and reported the tweet. Oh. And the person, yeah, the person that did it was a general piece of shit that none of us like anyway. But it's just the well. fact that Sargon spammed. But he didn't just do this <laughs> once. Black Ox. He went on a I got suspended dude. He went on two or three separate sprees <clears throat> of spamming interracial porn. That was no. that was. A, uh, yeah, but but I want to clarify. Like, he who even does that? V V. Who even does that? Did he say? Did he get from his personal collection? See, you know, you guys are in tight, okay? But from the outside third party, you know, looking in, like where I sit. When Sargon got banned, everyone was like, well, this is bullshit. Obviously, they're after him. You know, he was a martyr, right? <clears throat> Up until this moment right now, I had no idea he was spamming big black cocks at me. <laughs> 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 this, is, this is not correct. That, now I get it. <laughs> it it's, it's not correct. Oh, um, yeah. He did get suspended then for like uh, uh, one day, but his permanent suspension was not because he was spamming big black cocks on the what, Twitter. What was but who for? Well, that's the thing. Like, he wasn't mm. deformed. Like, Twitter just suspended so, him. So, it, it and... was Big Black Cox. Okay, thank you. <laughs> no, but it, it, it was quite a while after the Big Black Black Cox incident. Like, he, he's just... Wait, which, it, incident he won. which incident be? Which incident be? I was going to say, there are multiple <laughs> incidences. I, I, I can bring up his suspension date, and we can compare it to when he was... No, nah, I don't want to measure Cox, Big Black Cox on point. the stream I'll, here. I'll, yeah. I'll tell you right now, I got suspended for tweets that were years old. I mean, thank God I know someone on Twitter, and I got unbanned. But, you know, like, you know, the date and time of when you get suspended doesn't really have anything to... Any I, I suppose it's true, but the, the, the difference is that with the Big Black Cox, he was given a reason. Uh, and it was a, a short suspension, I believe a couple of days, but his permanent suspension happened way afterwards and there was no reason given. But who even does so, that? You know, like, uh, yeah, v, the, what, yeah, that's what I'm is, asking. Who does that? It, it, does that ever occur to you? Okay, you're mad at the alt-right. Let me start spamming a bunch of big black dicks uh, on Twitter. I mean, it that's is funny. It is I, mean, funny. <laughs> I think it's funny. I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, I laughed at well about it. And, and, well, it's not the, the spamming of the big black cocks that uh, was funny. It's the reaction of the people receiving them. It's like, oh my god, think of the children that are on Twitter with other porn stars. No, they How weren't. The, most of the reaction I saw was just looking at, wow, this guy's a huge spurg. We just triggered him into turning his Twitter feed into a constant stream of big black dicks. Like, that that makes yeah, you look he, like he, an he idiot. You had the normal reaction. You, <laughs> you know you, what I mean? You only had the normal reaction, but what do you mean? other people who had a, a very funny reaction. It's like, oh my god, think of 
children. It's like, how dare you do So people like troll that? you into spamming big black dicks. Do you really think that that's going to upset them? You look like an idiot. That, that, what, what? Yo, well, there, there were people upset genuinely back then. Like there were okay, people who, well. who legitimately started making the the moral argument that you should just show dicks on Twitter because there no, are I, that might be awake at 2 a.m. at night and see the big black dick. I, don't well, per I got a perfect example. Uh, I got into an argument with this guy on uh, Twitter today. You know, he he criticized my Friday Fortnite tournament, and you know, he's a really really good. Uh, this story is kind of long, but I'll go into it. It's a good one. So he's a really good Fortnite player, but he's not popular. And my Friday Fortnite tournament was for like you know people that pull views because it was an entertainment tournament, not necessarily the best person in the game. So he was salty that he wasn't getting into my tournaments, and he made this big thing about how, you know, it was bullshit and it, you know, tournaments should be based on skill and all this, and he attacked me and said I was racist, all this other shit, right? So anyhow, I just ripped him apart on Twitter. He responded with this, you know, counter post to try to clap back saying, I shit on you uh, online and I've shit on you in real life. <clears throat> and he took a picture of him sitting on the toilet acting like he's shitting, but the toilet seat is down. So it's not even open. <laughs> And that was this response. And it's like, if you respond with like this cringy picture where you're going to, you know, do this weird thing, you know, to, to get this picture, you, you just lose. You look like a fucking fool. So I understand the whole point of like him sending big black cocks and it just him looking like a kind of a joke. Yeah, it was entertaining. But again, folks listening, Sunday, <laughs> Sunday, Sunday is when the real show began. <laughs> Yeah, um, I, it, it's going to be a win no matter what. That's that's what I, I just don't see how it's not going to be entertaining no matter what happens. Oh, there, so, there's no way this isn't going to be fun. It, it's there, there's no literally lose. no way this is not yeah. going to be entertaining. It, it just there's no way to lose. So say say he comes with a nothing burger, that's hilarious. Say he gets so worked up and he, ha I mean, there's just there's content for days off this. I just don't. What if don't he cancels it? I, that has. You know, people have mentioned that, yeah. I'm, I'm, just, I'm streaming it. anyway. Yeah, right, I was going to so. say, that, that's I, a win I, I too, I do though. not think he will cancel it. I'm just saying this. Sargon's talking to you right now, isn't he? Well, you know what? Actually, let me check. Let me see if he's online. No! Okay. <laughs> what, what V means is not let me check if he's online. He means let me check if it's okay to tell them that he's online. No, to he, he is. Uh -huh. Well, you, you can ask people on his own Discord. He's idle, so no, he's not mm. So okay. on on that video that Sargon put up, there's already almost 600 dislikes on his stream, and it's not even live. How many how many likes are there? About 280. Ooh. I just don't see how I could do anything worthwhile. I mean, he would have to have the bombshell of the century, and I, I don't have faith. I mean, I, I see what he's linking to. He's linking to some old post that Haberman wrote years ago. Well, Jim's the weird, already the talked about is, many times. By yeah. the way, somebody did a super chat earlier asking you to talk about it. I mean, I guess you've already talked about it before, but maybe you could do a short version of what that I, I, is. I've mentioned Medicare repeatedly in, yeah. uh, like, the Deviance videos. I went over the Deviant Art Coalition for Quality Control shit. I, you know, I've talked about it before. Um, yeah, yeah, I've always been open about that. I had posts where I answered that. It's not like, I'm not ashamed of that. I had fun doing that stupid shit. The, the only thing that I know about Sargon is when he did the Kumate, like, when, I also didn't know what he's going to say, and usually when he does these things, it's completely different than what you expect. So, well, so he's going to get that out there. V, we'll, we'll, v. we'll see someday if I was right or not. I, I, I get it. Nice damage control. Listen, there's no way he's going to come out <laughs> looking good in this. He either fully commits to it and looks like a retard when I laugh at him, or he backs out and tries some simpering bullshit and saying, like, oh, I wasn't going to do anything. There's exactly. no way he's coming out. About, there's there's no way he's exactly. coming out looking good on this. Uh, I'm still no, gonna no, have no. a great time. Like, 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 what I'm saying is, <laughs> yeah, no. What I what I'm saying is, it's not if he's going to look good or not. What I'm saying is that you are thinking about, oh, he's going to talk about Haberman. He's going to talk about this and that. I think the topic is going to be completely different than what people expect. Is what I'm saying. I, I, don't it, know. I, I mean. You have to understand, I, I've, I've been talking to him for quite a while, and usually when he does these things, uh, like when he went on the Kumate, it was a completely different topic than I expected him to address. Yeah, well, I mean, he is linking to these specific things, saying you're going to want to read along. So 
uh, you know, like, maybe he's just lying to his audience. I don't fucking know. Either way, yeah, it's going to be a good we'll see Sunday, as I said. You know? So there's but, two but, options. It's like Jim said. Either he fully commits and he goes out there and tries to do this expose on Jim, or he gets on there and says, LOL, I was just playing you, Jim. Oh, look at how upset you got. He's going to look like a retard either way. Like, and, it, and let's also throw out there, just so this is established, that uh, I, you know, I've been open about starting to do a, you know, starting to do a sure. regular Sunday stream making fun of skeptics. Yeah. So it's it's interesting that after the first one did so well, uh, that all of a sudden he's he's doing a stream on me on Sunday. Uh, I guess got to put me in got to put well, me I'm in my place. Lie. I tuned into that stream where you were shitting on Bunty, and I was in <laughs> tears. I was in fucking tears. That shit was funny. <laughs> oh, they're they're dude. They're all like that, and that's the funniest fucking bit. And being able to go through their shit and laugh at it is gonna be great. You were like, you were like Bunty. If you were the king <laughs> fucking of fucking duck, guys. Bunty, if you were the king of fucking Bunty, if you were the king of eating pussy, then why did she go with the other guy? <laughs> Obviously, we have to talk about Medicare, right? I mean, uh, really? Why? Well, I mean, it's 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 just been, it's just something that's not really. Why isn't I mean, he playing with furries or something? Well, we had to. We tried to get you guys on stream to talk forever, and a matter of fact, well, you did the... email me. He's, he knows how to contact me. If he wants to talk, I'm happy to talk to him anytime. Okay, all right. Um, but what 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 are the actual things? The 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 things you want to talk well, about? Well, okay, the, the, the aren't just drama, you know. Let's not bother with that. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, what what is drama though? Like, what is your? How about this? <laughs> to go philosophical, what is your definition of drama? So, I mean, you can look That's at almost any question. topic and, and say, well, you know, this this displeases me. This is just drama. I don't want to talk That's, about that's this. Actually a great question. I don't know. Um, uh, I excuse suppose, me, waiter. I suppose I would waiter, just say, uh, waiter, uh, uh, where are my appetizers? I've been waiting. Yeah, for I, 30 I would minutes. say I would just say it's thirty uh, thirty minutes. Waiter, where are my this, appetizers? Actually. My frittatas are going to get cold. Can I That's speak to your, Can I speak to your manager? No. I, I this Maybe service is this service is horrendous. <laughs> I heard I heard I heard you were gonna be pitching a, a big brained idea, so I wanted a front row seat to watch it. Yeah, actually I'm kinda of glad you're here, Jim. Oh, I, I'm sure you are. I am actually. I, I'm genuinely hey, glad. Hey Ralph, can I say one thing before here? before Please. we hear this amazing idea? Uh yeah. 20, 20, viewers and look who shows up in chat. Oof. How you doing? How you doing, Oof. Carl? How you doing? I'm good. Um so you know they keep talking about Gamergate. No, who's they? The left. Uh, <laughs> the, the collective left. Have they all yes. gotten together to discuss this? Okay. Yeah, they they go on about it all the time. Um, the latest one was, you know, the, obviously Kavanaugh, the guy who was alleged to have been in the room with him, was a guy called Mark Judge. He apparently wrote two articles in support of Gamergate, citing Mr. Repsion, a YouTuber. I did see and that. They, we talked about on the kill stream. I don't know how many times, you know, how often you get to catch. Yeah, that was show, like two weeks ago, I think. We, yeah. we did talk yeah. about it on the show. Yeah. yeah, it was like two weeks ago. Um, but that's pretty recent, really. And then you think like all the other ridiculous. Well, I mean, it, I mean like, it's, it's recent if you don't watch Ralph. But if you watch Ralph Weekly, you you heard about it when it was breaking news. That's okay. That, that's great. But no, it is great. Is... The audience loves it. We love being on top of current events. That's what makes it so delicious to watch Ralph. He's sumptuous, don't you know? <laughs> I'm sure it does, but it's not just that, is it? You know, there are there are loads of other, and we could we could find a huge list of things that they've said about GameGate to magnify it. I mean, I I have seen the most colossal overreaches in the description and sort of influence of GameGate coming from the left. You know, like the Guardian, the Independent, you know, like shit like this. They bring up all the time, and they're always making GameGate out to be this giant fucking boogie monster. And the FBI investigated Gamergate and found that Gamergate did nothing wrong. I, I'm, I feel like I'm in a time warp. We're in 2018, right? This, this yeah, hashtag yeah. is dead yeah, at right. this point. It's been yeah, four yeah. years. I mean, I yeah. feel like we're talking like about chinology. Yeah. Should I get my Guy Fox no, no, mask no, no, off to not, talk about this gay listen, shit? No, no, you're missing the point. You're missing the point. We're not talking about Gamergate, right? It doesn't really matter about Gamergate. What matters is the boogeyman that the left have conjured up. And they've conjured up a fucking hell of a boogeyman. And you know they're still afraid of it. It's still there, there under the surface, right? They have this kind of subconscious fear, I think, that some, and that's why they keep bringing it up. I mean, fuck, Justin Trudeau condemned Gamergate. <laughs> it's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my fucking life. Well, right? now, Carl, I have to be fair. I have to say, oh, it really, Carl, it, it, it really depends on the politician, now, doesn't it? <laughs> I guess it would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really does. I yeah. mean, you've got to take it on a case by case basis. You do. 
Yeah, and what, who, who, uh, who on on the other side might actually support Game Gate? Who uh, on what what sides are we talking about? Democrats and Republicans. Uh, who supports Gamergate in the Republican camp? Mm. I fucking don't know. Mark Judge. I, I don't. Pay, I, don't <laughs> I can tell you literally. Mark Judge, the guy who was alleged to have been in the room with Kavanaugh, supports Gamergate. Congratulations for Mark Judge, I guess. Yeah. But what? I guess just where, where are you yeah, going with right? this exactly? Isn't that, it, but isn't that funny? Isn't that just fucking oh, exactly. amazing? Like the idea that there's a game yeah. gate supporter, like in the room with a guy who's alleged to have sexually assaulted a woman, who is then the center of the entire fucking like world's media for a week. That's that's fucking incredible. <laughs> It was a bit <laughs> surreal, but but what I mean, what like what? Where are you going with this, though? That's what I don't. Well, where do you think I'm going with this? I have uh, I have no so idea. I'm gone, I literally it. have no I idea. Really like, I, 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 I'm, think, I'm, you can do this. I, I I'm not you even both. being sarcastic. I, I, like I, you I messaged me. I, and, I, can I just one. say you messaged me? and You seemed like really hype about whatever the idea was. Uh, oh, I'm I, fucking hype. And I have I'm no idea what you're talking about. And then you start talking about Gamergate, and I'm just like, what? What's going on? Yeah, this is this is why I'm thrilled you're here, Jim. I am fucking thrilled you're here, right? I am thrilled that you guys, the some of the core people in gaming are here so I can talk to you about this. This is exactly what I wanted. Do you not think it would be really interesting to see how far we can make this go? Who's we? I, that sounds very collectivist. I thought we are individualists here, Carl. The collective internet. Do you not think that would be funny? Do you I think mean, anybody how, on the yeah. internet gives two fucks about Gamergate at this point? It's, it's no, become a joke. No, like, no, I don't, Jim. That's the point. That's the that's the entire point. <laughs> what is your pitch exactly? Get get the band back together? Is that what is that what you're saying? Like I don't, I don't understand. What, what would look? They think gaming is a tremendous universal and categoric evil, right? Who else do they think is a categoric evil? Uh, I feel like I'm fucking lost. What are we talking? What is your plan? Know, what is your? I guess I what's your idea? You know, hit us with it. Try and use a bit of just just try and look a bit ahead. Just look a bit ahead. How if, if we're if talking you, about Gamergate, I'm looking behind me, not ahead of me. <laughs> no, you're not. You're looking way, way ahead. But you just, I don't know. You can't seem to do it, can you? Look, I know I can't. I need you to shine a light think on of it. From the left wing's point of view, right? They are genuinely afraid of Gamergate, which is why they keep talking about Gamergate. Is the punchline here Gamergate did 9/11? Because we made that joke already. No, but it could it could be something. <laughs> nearly like that like effectively like that right so <laughs> but what so, what, right? what are you saying that, like no, is it is it what i said though what, what are you are saying, saying gamergate raped and killed a woman behind an arby's in 1990 <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no that was just I, me saying, gator not gamergate better, yes right? yes yeah so again, again if gamergate is the eternal boogeyman what would be the worst thing that donald trump could do He's I mean, not going to co-sign Gamergate. He doesn't even know what to do. What, it could most, tweet out hashtag Gamergate? Is that what you're like? <laughs> most people have no idea what Gamergate was or is. I don't think you, you realize that it's a thing on the internet, but most, most people have so, no yeah, idea. So, yeah, we, we talked about this before. I, I, of course, know exactly what Gamergate was because I was in it. Yeah, we all know. I wouldn't, of course, I wouldn't, we, I wouldn't yeah, not presume we, what people are thinking like that. We all know. I'm just saying the public at large probably maybe 25. percent Yeah. Of now everybody on Twitter don't. knows what the fuck it is. You know, a lot of yes, the you know journalists and stuff know what it is, but uh, yeah. as far as the public at large, they don't. You, okay, how do you get black people to join the alt right? Give them watermelons. <laughs> Fried chicken on, and Kool Aid helps too. That humor. Come on, my fellow white nigger. I know you like those. <laughs> that, that was, honestly, I thought that was a bit slow. You get Hillary Clinton to denounce the alt right. Wait, sorry, was there a punchline? I could only hear crickets. It's not. <laughs> oh, you're being serious. I'm sorry. It's already happened, Jim. This is documented and verifiable. When Hillary Clinton denounced the alt-right, loads of black people took to Twitter saying, well, I guess I'm alt-right then. And I was speaking to a few of the alt-right people, and they were freaking the fuck out, thinking the idea that a bunch of black people are going to invade a white supremacist movement, because nobody really knew. And so Hillary Clinton kind of set the narrative on it. I mean, did I, I? I don't have like official membership numbers from the alt right, but did I mean? Is there any evidence no, no, that caused a spike? Okay, okay, yeah. But it was just you know, like you know, people. You'd see a lot of people on Twitter sort of freaking out about it, and understandably so. I mean, if you're a white supremacist, the last thing you want is black people stealing your movement or something. You know, that that that's pretty. Uh, yeah, pretty I mean, funny. I remember her speech and everything. I actually thought that that was. 
a yeah, technical no, no, that, mistake. That she she wasted a whole day of campaigning, you know, bitching yeah, about, you know, fucking ma- massive, Breitbart massive and shot. Pepe the Frog. <laughs> so like, I mean, what was that all right. about? She, you know, anyway, but yeah. Yeah, but ima- imagine them whinging about that to the point where Hillary Clinton feels the need to, and Justin Trudeau feel the need to, like, denounce Gamergate, effectively, the alt-right. How does this, okay, how does this help, how does this help you, how does this help you, Kip? It's, it it's sounds like you would. helping you, Kip. Well, but this, you're talking in American context or Canadian context. How does, I mean, I thought you were like, you know, kind of jumping in the political cycle over there. How does this help them? I'm not saying it helps anyone. Are you guys about helping people, are you? I, I don't, I, I legit have no idea what you're <laughs> I going wouldn't for. I would come to you if I wanted help, Jim. Let's be honest. I mean, like, I saw the last <laughs> stream you did where you're like uh, saying, oh, I don't care about anyone here. I don't care about Ralph. You know, you, you, we don't come to you for help, Jim. You know, we well, come you, to you. For you a already did, and I told you no. Sorry. Look, listen, listen, right? If someone comes to you at all, it's because they want a god almighty troll, a troll to end all trolls. That's what they come to you for. Okay, I, I just want to hear the pitch idea because uh, okay, yeah, be I'm honest, still the I'm last like, I'm really the last time that. you pitched me an idea. Okay, and I, I you can go reread the conversation was on Skype. I, I and Google care. was. I, I don't care. I, I want to just make the record clear. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll was, tell you exactly Google what was going. crushing. The, when I'll Google was crushing. Goal, why would you let me finish my finish. point? When Google because you're was making a silly point. What's you just you don't want, want to be about? embarrassed? I know you don't want to be embarrassed. Jim, let me finish my story. Sargon. Then you let me talk, won't you? You let me. Yes. Let's talk one at a time. Thank you. It's a big boy conversation. We don't want the pitch or not. You really don't want this story out there, do you? Jim, you've done a stream about it, haven't you? No, I haven't. I, Jim, just release it. I don't care. Just release it. I just want to go over the conversation. The last Wait. great idea you had, the big brained idea you had before about Google and how you could fight back against the apocalypse was by oh, taking. What was it? I can't remember. <laughs> you, you, you were so excited. You told me, Jim, we just have to tell everybody uh, that we're Google's friends. We have to, if we appease, you, you quite literally yeah, went through the method. If we it. appease Google, yeah. Google will fight for us and give us our money back. Well, and it I turns told out you that was a lot of information retarded. we didn't have there. Did, did, did that come out afterwards? Well, who told you it was a bad idea, though? I, I told you that's how it was going to play out. And you were yeah. so convinced. I was like, go for it. Because okay. <laughs> it's just a terrible idea. Oh, right. So okay, I want to hear, yeah, 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 hear your you next right idea. I want to hear your next did Google you see the, Did you see the good sense of thing? I did. Yeah. We read the yeah, entire we, article we the, on our We read the Breitbart leaks, yep. Was that all out when I had that conversation with you? Well, it's just kind of common sense. Why would you expect a mega corporation to give two fucks about a bunch of little YouTubers? I don't know. Maybe, Sir, maybe you, thought if, you thought if you were their friends, they were going to protect you. It was the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. Maybe. Maybe it's not. Who knows? You well, know, no, we obviously it, it, it was because we've seen how it played out with the leaks. Okay, that's, okay that's great. great. So yeah, I, yeah, now we, I want to hear what your next great idea is. is. That one thing was true and one thing was false. Okay. I want to hear what your next great idea is. So I'll, how does Gamergate I'll, help yeah. us take I'm not going to lie. I'm world. actually <laughs> interested. Like, I don't know what where you're going okay. with this, man. And I really just don't know. Like, I'm, I'm completely okay. lost. I'm lost. I, I can't believe that you haven't figured it out yet. Well, the only thing I could figure out, it sounded like you were talking about resurrecting Gamergate. That's the only thing no, I could figure out. No. But maybe I'm off base. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Gamergate, it, obviously, it doesn't exist anymore. Right? It's not an activist not movement really, on no. the internet anymore. Yeah. Right? We all understand this, right? So whenever I say Gamergate, I'm not saying us as activists doing things for ethics and video games journalism or against, you know, you know, for any, we're not participating in Gamergate anymore, right? Uh, yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Bravo, bravo. Well done. Yeah. You, you, you guys are fab, right? Now, now wait, you but quit that... Gamergate too, Sargon. Don't act yeah, like you did. You said it was over. <laughs> you oh. made a big public thing about quitting Gamergate. Don't act like we did the <laughs> only ones. Did right, I okay. make a big public thing about quitting Gamergate? You sure there wasn't Jim? Oh no, I, I, I made. You... A, I wanted people to know how many faggots were involved in that movement. Yeah, you're doing okay, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You're no, but you did. You actually that. did. I mean, you put out a video like Gamergate's over, work done. I mean, am, am I off base? Like, I mean, yeah. if, if I'm wrong, you yeah, can... but that doesn't mean I'm like quitting anything. I just means okay. Well, you said so. Anyway, all right. Okay. Getting, getting back to it, right? So, but the idea of Gamergate is now imprinted in the narrative of the left, right? It's, I, I mean, I still see see people talk about it from time to time, yeah. It's, it's usually like scare tactics from, from the media yes. and stuff, yeah. It's scare tactics. They're, they're worried about another Gamergate coming along. 
I, I don't really think they are, to be honest with you. I think they've <laughs> got their own agenda going and forward. You're just saying it for the sake of saying it. Sargon, what's dumb as fuck is saying, let's do Gamergate like, 2.0. I'd rather I'm fuck myself with a rake than do that. Help, but you know, I know that's where you went. You, you don't know what the proposal is yet, but you've made assumptions. Uh, well, what you're building up to sure sounds dumb, but okay, I guess I can admit I'm wrong if you've got a better angle. Let's hear it. Yeah, I do. I do. You ready? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, we are. Yeah, I reckon we can get Donald Trump to defend Gamergate. <laughs> no. Why not? But why, why not? would he, though? You just said Gamergate was well, over. Like, why would he? Why would he? The fucking troll in chief. <laughs> why would he defend Gamergate? Oh, there are lots of reasons. <laughs> I mean, it usually he kind of gets involved in stuff that's like breaking well, news, you know what okay, I mean? Like, yeah, it seems to be kind of good. What would the benefit everything. even be to that? I mean, he's already made comments about Charlottesville uh, where he said there was violence on both sides. They got angry for like a week or two. It was in the mainstream media. And then they didn't give a shit. So what? Like he, let's say he does they go and say Gamergate wasn't a big deal. It, it, you got uh, you got a news blurb and then nobody cares again. They still talk about Charlottesville all the time. So you wanna you wanna try to trick Donald Trump into really? talking about Gamergate? Why would I need to trick him? Well, because he's not obviously done it himself, so you're gonna have to spur that along. I don't think he knows anything about Gamergate. Of course he doesn't. Most people <laughs> don't. <laughs> yeah, but you you literally implied that he knew something, right? He, I, obviously my, listen, Sargo, my listen, point listen. my point is let me say this real quick my point is he usually gets involved in stuff he very much avidly follows the media but he usually gets involved in like breaking news stories or hot cultural topics Dude, like kneeling at on. the nfl he, games he and stuff like that this is kind of a twilight about not getting back together with the girl who cheated on him like Donald yeah Trump but that was before he was president no, so now he picks his Donald battles Trump a little more carefully the importance of culture sure i agree that, with that right? yeah and he gets involved. He gets directly involved, belligerently. In also true, cases. but Gamergate's not really a thing now, though. I, I know. I do you want, look. The fact that the left still remembers it like a wound is why it's important, right? For them, I don't think they were expecting this kind of consumer revolt, this this revolt from the bottom. I really don't think they were expecting it, and I think it's really freaked them out. I mean, like I'll, I'll probably go through like you know, the Guardian coverage in the last year or something on Gaming Game, and like the independent coverage, because they still make articles about it. They still talk about it. They still fear it. And if we get Donald Trump just to tweet out, I mean, it, you know, d just a tweet that mentions the hashtag Gaming Game, it, it, it doesn't even necessarily matter how he uses it. Man, the blue check marks are going to shit their fucking pants. It, you are going to see the spurging of a lifetime. Donald Trump supports gaming. They are going to flip their fucking shit. I, I'd rather see him. I'd rather see him talk about Veronica's. Hey, hear me, guys, gangweed. Huh, what's up? <laughs> what's up, my fellow gamers? Rise up! <laughs> I'm for the Jokers to take it back. But who cares, man? Don't don't you think it would be so fucking funny to watch them do this? Like the reactions. Would be well, how do you so propose bad. to do that? Like, uh, I I don't know. I I just think it's unlikely to see him go out and do sure, hashtag I'm saying, gamergate. I'm not saying guaranteed you know and this is this is why this is why i'm not saying i can do it on my own are you trolling us right now like what is this like this I, I don't reminds know, me of that millennial trolling? woes conversation you had where you're like dude millennial woes you should act like an sjw that's a super smart thing yeah. this like i think like an sjw shit. would get the white nationalists legitimacy <laughs> oh these are some big brain ideas I, it's I just, undeniably true Holy shit, man. <laughs> Do you have a they're war room back to this on him? college campuses, dumbass? I mean, like, it legitimately ends in the same results. But anyway, that's not what I don't want to talk about that, right? No, I'm so, just saying this is a, the same quality argument. I'm really enjoying this. So, you, okay, so let's say you're right and you get care. Donald Trump. Yeah. You obviously do. Why are you here pitching the idea to people if you don't yeah, care? Yeah, well, yeah, but you're, you, whether you're like, oh, I don't like it, okay, fine, don't like it, but you haven't even let me finish it. Oh, there's more? Fuck, asking, I'm sorry, I'll let you go. Uh, no, no, okay, you're right, you're right. You're right. If there's yeah, more, I want to hear the, more. You're the crab at the bottom of the bucket that can't see the rest to get out, aren't you? I, I don't know. I mean, do you want to compare well, stream numbers, know. Carl? You keep saying do I don't you, know, do you but wanna, that's do you want to compare stream numbers? The problem. What did you do you last night? Was it, was, it was it 1,600, Carl? And when Ralph was hitting eight? That's pretty sad. That's why you're here, isn't it? I don't know what you're talking about. Nobody wanted to listen to the dumb idea on your 1,600 viewers stream. Jim. But you come onto the Ralph retort no, after saying shit him. for months because he's got eight thousand stories. I don't. You know should what be you're sorry. About. That's really embarrassing. I mean, it is super. I, it's, it's tremendously, tremendously. It you're, is. You're the, you're, you're the crab at the bottom of the bucket. Ralph's sitting on top. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. you're pinching his you ass know, trying to get attention. Bucky, I get your Gamer Gate Two <laughs> idea. Holy shit, <laughs> Jim. Do you mind? Uh, do you mind? Let me finish Ralph's. Oh no, story. I want to hear this, please more. Why are you talking so much then? Don't ask me questions if you want to speak. I You're going to get answers. Go, go, you go. Interrupted. Why did you? Why did you interrupt <laughs> when I was trying to answer Ralph's question? I'm <laughs> being silent so you could talk. Go. Yeah, but I'm asking you a question now. You, you, you're asking me why, why I'm answering you your questions. Why did you interrupt Ralph's question? Why did you do that? Sometimes you say shit that's so stupid and stunning that I, I have to say something. It's like it's like a tick. It's almost impossible not actually, to say something. I didn't actually finish my sentence before you jumped in. Okay, well, I'm very sorry. I guess it's like your debate at MythCon. Oh, shut, up, shut, up, saying, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, Carl. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, Carl. Let me talk. <laughs> that's kind of how I feel that you're acting, yeah. I'm acting like you? Yeah, I better stop. I don't want to pull yeah, that look off. Do you think that that's a good idea? Maybe you should stop. To, to act like you? No, fuck no. I agree. Next thing you know, I'll be giving out of context quotes about the age of the child. No, let's go. <laughs> I, look, Jim, you can carry on interrogating teenagers about the size of their boyfriend's penises all you want. I, it's just... Hey, you know, Carl, I don't weird. don't get upset. I mean, I, mean, it, I don't even know what the I, I love how you tried. Be. I love how you tried black PR and it blew up in your face because you're fucking retarded. Black PR. black PR, yeah. Oh, I don't get the conversation Jim's having, and now I'm getting accused of the same shit that I tried using. It <laughs> depends on the child, doesn't it, Carl? Okay, Jim. Yeah, it was, on, does it, it was, depend on the child, Carl? Does yeah, it depend it, on the it child? All black PR, it's all it's all, all by case by case basis. So you're you're cool. It's case by case basis. We get you, champ. We know what you're talking about. Jim is scientifically verifiable. That people hit puberty on the case by case. Oh, no, no, please tell me about your, your ideas ideas about 10 year olds and 12 year olds having sex. You're so smart. You're so smart, Carl. Thanks, Jim. I appreciate that. Now, Ralph, oh, no, um, what was your question again, man? Sorry. Um, you said there was more to the proposal, I guess. And, and... Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, this, this one thing, I can't do this all on my own, obviously. Um, basically, okay, so the way, the, way that, um, the way that it seems that the political sphere works is that all of these people act within bubbles, right? Um, and obviously they're very sensitive to perception. This is why social justice activism has worked so well, because the SJWs act as a mob, they email, they, they tweet, they shame, you know, they, they, they are constantly filling the sort of inputs, the, the social media input of these people with the sort of thing that they want them to hear, obviously. And this is how they end up kind of influencing and like washing over an institution. And that's part of it. You know, another part of it is they have activists that go and speak to these people directly, like Anita Sarkeesian. You know, she ends up going to, well, she Intel. I mean, she's she got like the UN, you know, she, like how the fuck did she get there? Well, I know how she got there now. You know, I've actually been doing it myself. This is, this is how this works. And you can make this a remarkably, um, efficient and effective thing if you have a kind of victim narrative and if you have a particular like group that is opposed to you politically who you can demonstrate have interactions with you it's very very easy to get people already opposed to them to be sympathetic to your side and with good reason i mean obviously you know it, it's sensible that that would be the case you know why wouldn't you want to find allies and stuff like that um and so I think that with a kind of combined effort of the internet, we could essentially craft a narrative because you have to, to sell to people, you know, explain that this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened. That's a lot more fair about what happened in Game Against. And I think that we can effectively get um, very important people to say that Game Against did nothing wrong. I, I just... Look, I came yeah, here. I know. It is. It is. This is blowing my mind. I'm not. Gonna, sure. I'm not gonna lie. You're, you've blown my mind. I, I was sitting here. We had a lot of ideas of just about. You know, what, what is he up to? What, what is he planning? <laughs> oh, this this, was not, this yeah, did not this, come up on the is list. Not at all. What I was. This expecting. did not come up the list. But you know, one thing I did when I said I said I'm gonna come in here. You know, even though we've been you know talking shit about Sargon, he's been talking shit about us. Like I'm gonna keep an open mind. If, if it's a great idea, uh, it's a great idea. You know what I mean? No matter who it comes from, I just don't. I don't know. I just don't. I don't see what what you're doing here with this, really. I mean, and I I'm, think that I've made myself quite clear. I I want to. You want to get people to I, come I, I out and say Gamergate did nothing the wrong. Biggest basically. troll. I I want to see. I mean, there will be nothing more autistic than watching the response to them seeing Trump support Gamergate. That, why that be, why why would anybody? Okay, but so what benefit is that to Trump? 
you want Trump to to create a situation where Gamergate looks good? That sounds fucking retarded. How is that not beneficial to Trump, Jim? Trump, because uh, what I <laughs> I feel like I'm I'm having a fucking short circuit, Ralph. We am I, I, I on low on this? No, no I, I really don't, and I'm I'm not even I'm not even trying to be mean. Like I said, I'm trying to keep a fair amount. I just don't understand, like. Yeah. If, if okay, Gamergate okay, was okay. happening today, like if this was the heyday of Gamergate, I have no doubt that President Trump would probably be right in the middle of that shit fucking around. Right. Because he's a huge troll. But Gamergate yeah. is like s smoldering. You know, we talked about it earlier, it's dead. Now, there are some no, people no, no, hanging out on Kotaku in action Gamergate. and they don't, actually don't. think it's still going. It's not going. It's no, been done for a long time. Gamergate. Gamergate is gone. Okay. We're not dealing with an organism of people on the internet called Gamergate. That's not what we're talking about. What we're talking yeah. about is the perception in the journalists' minds and in the verified checkmarks' heads of what Gamergate is. Because they don't just think Gamergate was an activist movement, right? They think that Gamergate is a latent part of every community. That there are going to be people who are going to say, no, we don't care about your moral shaming, we're pro-racism or something like that. And then, you know, fuck you. Because that's how they perceive it. That's what they think. It's not what we think, obviously, because that's nuts. But that's why they're nuts. But that's I'm, their perception. I just don't think there's any real juice in it, if you know what I mean. Are so, so when Trump there's, does this, he tends to do it for electoral benefit. Yeah, he loves trolling the left. He loves fucking with these journalists. Dude, but he trolls them all the fucking yeah, time. Yeah, but it's for it's for voting purposes. So you see the NFL. The NFL is the biggest fucking sport in the country, if not the world. So when he jumps into something like the, the kneeling thing, he knows that's going to roll up his base and actually benefit him electorally. Um, the cultural issues he jumps into, uh, he, he tends to be thinking about, you know, winning elections and, and rallying up How the base. And I don't know that. Well, I mean, How I'm, do you know, I, I, well, I'm just making an observation. I mean, of course, I can't You're read guessing. the man's mind, but You're guessing. Well, so well, well, well that's all I anybody guessing? can do when am we talk about somebody's well? action. Somebody's am I actions? guessing, or have I had conversations with people who might know the man personally and figured out something? <laughs> that <you laughs> what <laughs> Bannon has no clout in the White House anymore. You do know that, right? I didn't say Bannon had clout in the White House. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who you talk to. However, if you do know who I talk to. Look, I, you know what? I, I won't you even know dispute exactly that. I'm, I'm sure to. Bannon probably still does have conversations with Trump. I'm not going to, like, dispute that. But I, I, I just think, you know, the idea of the Gamergate, I, I, just, I just don't see why Trump would do that. Now, of course, Bannon was well, intimately involved with the Gamergate you, behind no, the scenes. Hang on, man. Hang on. You said yourself, Trump is a giant troll. Trump is a giant troll. You said it repeatedly in this conversation, and you're right. Yeah, he you're is. But no, no, just... but you don't. No, no. Listen, right. I can't tell you what I've been told, but you don't even understand the depths of how much he enjoys trolling, right? <laughs> and I can't. I'm not. Gonna, it was all off the records. So I'm not going to say anything. But this is a this is a fact. Trump is a troll, and we know he is. He likes to make them scream. You too. understand you're coming on a stream and making a public statement that you've talked to people in the well, maybe you should try familiar. and sabotage it by Sargon. sending it to whoever. Sargon. Go, Jim, go. Oh Send my the god, you're please. such a pretentious cunt. Will you Fuck just it. let you're, me talk? You're, the, you're not listening. You're the idiot saying you want to set up this trolling op, and then here you are openly talking about it because you're fucking stupid. And then you're saying you know people that know well, Trump you, and that he's in on the know on it, you dumb fuck. I didn't say he's in on the know at all. Jim, you keep doing this. You make up shit. God, you're stupid. I you're so fucking dumb. It's painful. It. What is the matter with you? I didn't say he's in on it. How many I? things do you have to fucking murder and touch and latch oh, onto and kill? Get into that, Jim. You're currently in the no, middle really. of what murder. How many things do you need to fucking murder? And yeah, co-op Sargon. I'm trying to actually. How many burnt bodies need to be in the pyre for you to be satisfied? I don't know. How big's your pile? Uh, way less than yours, man. <laughs> I don't think it is, Jim. Uh, you're I the fucking... fucking you're, okay, oh, listen to Chatelet, man. Uh, you know, you listen to Mr. Chatelet one, here. Okay, you are the, you are the guy okay, who yeah, let's a, a series of people with character statements against your character for you being a bully all the way through. I, I'm such a bully. Years, Name the bully, Sargon. Has Bully Hunter 77 off, shown up? You know, Has Bully Hunter 77 all this sort of nonsense, Sargon? You have to do that because you work up so many people. And you know, it's fine, Jim. I don't care. Oh, yeah, I worked you up. This is what you I worked do. you up, and then care. you quit the internet for a while, didn't you? Uh, no. I know. I don't recall quitting. Uh, guys, uh, I need to take a break from YouTube and from the drama, and I need to stop. Yeah, I've already explained that. Did you miss it? No, I, yeah, right after I kicked your ass and made a fool. No, at the beginning of the stream, did you miss it? Oh, no, your rationalization for getting made to look a fool? Yeah, no, I heard that. Okay. Do you remember the stream yeah, I did okay. where 30,000 people okay. laughed at how retarded okay. you were? Do you, do you right, remember right, that? Right, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. So you agree. That you're retarded? Yes, we agree on that point. Okay, yeah, we agree. We agree. Right. So this is this is the thing, right? So, okay. Ralph, you're completely right. Trump is a troll and he enjoys trolling. And he's good at trolling, too. 
Uh, I would argue Trump might be the greatest troll of all time. Oh, honestly, yeah. I think you might be right. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. think we may have underestimated the man's trolling abilities, yes. right? So I, I genuinely think that he will see the value if we can present the right view of Gamergate to Trump. And I think the, pro the primary way of doing that is the FBI investigated Gamergate and they found they did nothing wrong. Because they did. Uh, yeah, I mean, I remember the report and all that stuff, but... I mean, okay, so where do you take, where do you go from there? So, like, I, I don't, so you take that and, and what? I, you're saying, well, the, the, the ultimate goal is to get Donald Trump to defend it. Because I mean, that, I mean you, imagine, you realize imagine this already happened a couple of years ago when that report came out and everybody made videos about it and talked about it. Um, Which one was this, sorry? The FBI report. Didn't that come, are you talking about the old report? Yeah, is there the a new FBI, one? Yeah, but we need, what we need is, what we need is Donald Trump to tweet something like the FBI report out and say, the media smears about gaming get false. You know, the FBI investigated Gamergate and found that they did nothing wrong. It doesn't have to be exactly that, obviously, but that, that would be like the perfect, you know, scenario. But, um, you know, I just mean, if that Donald, happened, would it, I laugh? Even, even yeah, yeah most likely I would, just, right? just from the sheriff's just insanity of, of him mentioning Gamergate. But I, I, I just yeah, don't. But wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> it would, I mean, yeah, I would laugh if that, if that It would be fucking incredible. I mean, the response would be apoplectic, wouldn't it? But how do you propose, like, so what, how, how do you propose them to do that, though? Well, and then, I, and then okay, kind of, say that does happen. What What is the ultimate benefit of that happening? I mean, just for the laugh oh, itself? Laughing. Yeah, oh, laughing good. laughing at the verified check marks. <laughs> mm. That's the point of this, just so we can have a laugh at the verified check marks spurging out about Gamergate. Not all. First, let me, let me do hashtag not all check marks here since I have one myself. Oh, yeah, sorry. I do apologize. But, the, uh, the, the, you, know, you know the ones I'm talking about, though. Yes, yes. The Jews. No, I'm just kidding. Jews, <laughs> Jews, <laughs> no, I'm just... <laughs> um, <laughs> but, um, wouldn't wouldn't that be amazing? And then the the coverage as well. And not only that, I think you'll find a lot of people on like the sort of out of touch Republican types like Ted Cruz, they understand that social media is important. And I think they can be made to understand that things like Gamergate are an, an inherent resistance to the far left. And I think they'll support that. I think I think they'll run with that. I think they'll I think they'll like it. You know, especially as we can you know we can we can have different ways of framing it that are all true. Obviously, I'm not suggesting we lie at all. We need to be completely honest about what we've what we've got and what what is going on. But I think we can be, and I think it will have the 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 results of freaking them out. And I think it would just be a funny ass thing to do. So, how do you propose to? I guess what what I'm getting, I don't know. Maybe maybe if you said that there, I didn't I didn't really catch it. But how how do you propose to make it happen? Like what what are you going to do to make it happen? What are you okay. what are you trying to tell other yeah. people to do? To yeah, make it happen? This is this is another thing, right? So, the way the way things happen is by connections. It's someone knows someone knows someone, and you have to ask them to get get their email to send to you. You know, so you can email them. Networking like basically, this. yeah. It is networking, yeah. And I don't really like it. I would prefer if everyone had a public email, like I do. But they don't. A lot of people keep their de contact de details secret, and it's annoying. And you have to go through agents and things like this. But um, but what I'll try and do is talk to people, and you know, try and get emails for people, and and um, and try and get them to pay attention to a cultural phenomenon. But there needs to be a cultural phenomenon, and that's why um, that's why I need you guys. Okay, so let me get this straight. Your plan is 90% us doing the legwork and 10% you sending out emails. No. What have I misheard then? How does this, what's the All breakdown? I'm not going to explain to you though, Jim, you're just wrong. So what do you reckon, Ralph? You just literally said, I'll email people to get them to pay attention to a cultural phenomenon. And then you guys. Yeah, that, that's, that's one thing I will do, Jim. That's one Okay, thing. well, fill us in on the rest of this 20-year plan. Well, I don't think I should, given this is a live stream. Okay. Oh, now you're taking my advice. That's good. I think it was good advice, don't you? Yeah, it is. Okay, well, well I'll I, take it then. Thanks. I did cons I did, I did think about that maybe keep it on the low, but I mean, okay, it's well, too late now. Delete the stream what... afterwards if you have to or whatever, you know. Ah, but, you know, but the thing is, either. you know, it's not like be sensible though. None of the people who are listening surely want to alert the far left that we're about to make them look stupid. Well, I, I will say this, um, you know, I actually, you know, there are lefts that watch this show, too. I mean, it's not just all, you know. Well, then they can, yeah, but hang on. How much funnier will that be? If they start raising the alarm that we're going to try and make Donald Trump endorse Gamergate or ask him to endorse Gamergate, how funny does that sound on the fucking face of it? 
Like, <laughs> you paranoid freak. And then Donald Trump might respond to it naturally without us doing a fucking thing. Um, perhaps. Uh, so, so you're saying collect? You're going to collect emails of people who might, you know, be in it's touch not with so. the leaders. I, you, you have to. Meet no, I mean, you, you mean like contact that. data? But I, I'm asking. So you're talking to a broad based audience here. You know, we're we're the number one late night show on YouTube. Uh, oh, I hate to, hate to toot my own horn here, but uh, um, Dude, oh no. but but uh, so what 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 should the people do? I guess in your, in your eyes. Okay, so the 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 thing that I think we need to start doing and not and I, I will be doing this as well um is finding everything that they've said about gamergate that makes gamergate sound scary right makes it sound impressive and big like you know you remember when they were like gamergate's gonna end up on mars gamergate put trump i mean didn't they say gamergate put trump in the white house uh yeah i want to say it was sarah Zhang that said that actually the uh the racist the uh, new york times i believe that was her that said that yeah yeah okay it was there was one on everyday everyjoe.com yeah not... she's not the only one that said it but i that, i think that's where i first saw it yeah, yeah. right okay so um i yeah, want to say that i mean don't you know i won't bet my left nut on it but i think that that's who said it yeah. okay I'll, I'll i'll put it in the sidebar so you can see it but again we can use all of this right because them printing any of this is just a bonus to us here's here's the link okay let me so we find everything like this like you know Everything where they say Gamergate did this, Gamergate did that. We make it sound like Gamergate is really capable and really competent. You know, it's everywhere. It's and it's we'll use their sources. They're the ones building this narrative. And then all we need to do is present Gamergate was invested by the FBI and found to do nothing wrong. And then, like, I don't know, you know, find, you know, in fact, Mark Judge's Mark Judge's articles on it are perfect because Mark Judge is a political, in, you know, involved in a political narrative. And he was in defense of Gamergate. And we there we go you know oh. in fact they, they all say that gamergate's like a movement of nazis that have put donald trump in the white house in fact gamergate was a grassroots move, movement of people against the far left here's some articles that mark judge wrote you know the guy with kavanaugh the, the fbi inve investigated gamergate found they did nothing wrong they're lying you know we'd like president trump to use his platform to help us redeem our name or something like that however you need to spin it you know how you need to sell it just like that that and the thing is nothing about that is untrue Nothing about that is untrue. That's a completely true narrative. And that's frankly what's happened. And this is not only a way we can... I mean, there are people in Gamergate who probably still aren't happy that the name is being smeared by the far left. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, you you know, you might, Gamergate, fair enough, you can say it's full of faggots and, and twats and, and people trying to make money out of it and all this sort of stuff. But it wasn't a movement full of Nazis, you know? And that's how they've tried to portray it. It wasn't a, it wasn't a movement full of woman haters and all this sort of stuff. And so I mean, that's... Don't, don't, don't you think, though, honestly, because I, I do think it, it had a lot of faggots in it, but at the same time, you're proposing using something that people are still, some hangers-on are still involved in. I mean, I don't... Are they like, still? Like, I think action, there definitely talk, are some still. Yeah, is. talking about gamer, I, I You want to use them as like a political cudgel to win points uh, with Twitter arguments with journalists. It kind of seems dickish. Oh, does it seem dickish? Well, uh, yeah, I left the movement because I was sick of people using it for their own gains. Why would I agree to do that now? Because this is a way that Gaming Gate can win. Can I ask you a question, Sargon? Sure. Okay. Are you trying to resurrect Gamergate because that's when your YouTube career was at its peak and now that it's dead, <laughs> it fucking, no. it's cratered? No. Because that's what it seems like to me. Let's okay. let's all do I, fucking Gamergate again. I I really don't think my YouTube career was at its peak during Gamergate. Well, I do. Okay. Well, I, I want to say this that uh, I just want to point out that the whiskey has not killed all my brain cells, and that I was absolutely correct that uh, it was a Sarah Jean quote. And here's the quote: Breitbart played a key role in Gamergate. Congratulations, America! You put Gamergate in the fucking White House, and Perfect. and that's in the article that you linked. Perfect. So Th this is all out. stuff that we can just you know mesh together and say, look, Mr. Trump, they think that we elected you, and they're smearing us all over the place. We did support you, probably. I mean, I know I did. You know, like. We support you, and we'd, we'd really appreciate it if you could just clear our name. So, so you're telling you're saying people here tweet at Trump or send letters, or not, it, not, it's going to take not or, Trump particularly um, or officials, I, I would, you know, elected officials, perhaps. I would I would tweet them and say, look, you know, we were activists who supported Gamergate, and uh, you know, assuming you were obviously, um, and 
you know, they, they smear us all the time. They think we put Trump in the White House. We do support Trump and the FBI investigated us, finding we did nothing wrong. Could you please get Mr. Trump to just tweet out that we, you know, that he supports us or something because we're sick of being told that we're terrible people. You know, it can be anything like that because this is all true. You know, I, I've talked to so many people who are sick of being smeared for it. They've just, you know, gone, oh, whatever, I don't care. But I'm sure there are loads of people who'd love to see fucking a bit of redemption in this regard. So, you and know, part thought, of the problem with Gamergate um, is... I mean, I guess a problem and a benefit. There was a wide tent, uh, especially at the beginning, and a lot of people had no problems, you know, keeping that wide tent and just letting people do their own thing. Um, but but the the coalition, the Gamergate coalition, quote unquote, there were a lot of uh, leftists in that. Uh, there are a lot of people who um, used to support Gamergate now who are raging anti-Trump people. Um, sure, but and so I, I don't really know that a lot of these people though. would be on board with it. I mean, I guess that's what I'm getting at. Yeah, I mean, they don't have to be. It's, you know, we don't, it does, you know, if someone doesn't want to, you know, try and redeem Gamergate's name in the public dialogue, then that's fine. You know, I mean, I don't mind if they don't care. Um, but this is something that, A, we could do, and it, man, if we did it, it'd just be so fucking funny to see the reaction. And B, it would be nice to be able to say, well, you know, Trump acknowledges that Gamergate did nothing wrong, blah, 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 FBI, blah, blah, blah. You know, wouldn't that, um, wouldn't that be interesting? I mean, it it would be yeah. I I would laugh if it happened. I just don't. I, I just tend to think, um, like like I said earlier, Trump Trump usually gets involved in in stuff that's hot. You know what I mean? Like stuff that's that's cult. He gets well, involved in culture. He gets involved in trolling, uh, definitely all the time. But it it tends to be hot button stuff. You know what I mean? Right. That has juice uh, among his voter base. And uh, okay. I, I just okay. really don't. Let's, let's pause there because that's a great point, right? Um, I'm not saying I know how to give this juice initially and that's that's probably beyond what i can manage anyway um again this is why i'm coming to you and the people listening right mm. don't worry about how you feel about me this is you know don't worry about how you feel about ralph or jim or anyone like that right but just think how can we achieve the end result um you know what what would need to go happen what is plausible that would need to happen for us to create a kind of i don't know online not this an online scandal but create the atmosphere for them to give a shit about game games. because they do still bring it up, you know? So, like, you know, I'm I'm sure someone listening, so you, you probably got, I, I can't, I haven't got the, the thing. We have probably, almost 8,000 people, people listening, right? almost 8,000 so people watching. I'm, I'm sure there are some fucking amazing ideas in, in the people listening, and I'm sure that, like, you know, after after the stream's over, like, you know, like, people will talk about in the comments and say, okay, I'm sure know, I hate, will, I hate yeah. Sargon, but if we did X or, you know, whatever, and then, you know, a good idea will come out and then we can run with that. And because like, like you say, it needs to be something hot. So we need to, I mean, I haven't looked at whether they actually, um, you know, what, what's been put out about gaming it today or anything, but um, it'll be very interesting to see. And, or, and not even just to see, like if, if something does happen that involves gaming then holy shit, why, why not, why not, get trump to endorse games i mean why wouldn't he like what you said and i admitted that yeah i would laugh if, if trump tweeted about gamergate i don't think that that's i mean that's it's so it's so crazy and absurd almost that i would have to laugh but um and i'm trying to be completely fair to your idea i saw a couple people in chat ralph you're being too nice well i mean i'm trying to i'm trying to hear it out i, I just don't see so this sounds like a lot of effort when the whole like so i asked you what the benefit was and it's like well it's a laugh I mean, it, it seems like it a lot of effort. So, so when I was sitting here thinking about you coming on, and you're like, you got a great idea. I don't want to go into every single thing you said, but basically, said I have a big idea. It's great. And I was like, okay, what could this be? Me and Gator were kicking it around because the damn wasn't wasn't he was at work. Sounds like he skipped out of work uh, for this, but uh, I did. <laughs> and we're like, well, what's he talking about? He just talked to Bannon. Maybe the Trump TV thing. Bannon's gonna do it himself. Like we're sitting here thinking that. And then you came in with the Gamergate stuff, and I'm just like, what is that? I mean, this is almost, it almost, it's almost like you're trolling us. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, it, you seem really sincere about it. I don't think you are. I, I'm, I'm 100 serious when I say I think we can get, not just, I mean, we, like, for example, I wouldn't go straight for Trump. I would probably, you know, try and get Trump Jr. or Stephen Miller or someone well, like can that. Well, can I ask you something? I mean, you keep saying we, like, and then you say, well, you guys might have the juice to do this. I just oh, like that. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to clearly state to you, I'm not going to use my audience for your retarded plan. Now, maybe well, Ralph will go along that's with that. Great. Yeah, that's no, that's great. right. It's not going to happen. Great. It's okay. stupid. Okay. And I'm not going to try to get them to, for great. your chuckles, great. your smug chuckles. This is that's, so dumb. That's great. That's great. 
Awesome. I, I'm glad we're yeah. clear. So and when you say we, totally make agree. sure that we is a royal one. It doesn't include well, me. Yeah, it, it is the royal one. I mean, I would never try and include you in something. Good. Happy? I mean, I, I don't know. I guess I guess my point is it, it seems like you would be sh shooting for something higher. You know what I mean? Like, okay. When, when, I, when I say we, I just want to say like anyone who's interested. Well, yeah, of course. And I, I'll trolling. go with what you said. <laughs> like, I, I haven't, this, this I this haven't is... signed on for anything. I, I just, I'm just hearing you out. You said I have this big well, idea. I haven't, and... I haven't initiated anything. You know, okay. I, yeah. I, I, I'll put that out there too. I haven't, yeah, <laughs> I haven't signed yeah, on. This is just all, you know, shit posting. I'm just trying to be and, fair like, and let you get and you know, extrapolate yeah, yeah, yeah. on your this points. This just throwing out ideas, right? But the thing is, I've noticed that, like from the perspective I have at the moment, I can see a path to achieve a particularly hilarious goal that does nothing but benefit people who oppose the far left and does nothing but enrages the far left. And I don't think there's anything wrong with us, like you know, following this path. I think it'd be, I think it'd be good for. In fact, I can think of several good reasons why it'd be a moral good to do this. But you know, you guys are generally just here for the laughs and stuff. So I figure. This well, will be a massive fucking laugh. Seriously, if we can get Donald Trump to like defend Gamergate, oh man, the sky's gonna fucking come down. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Just imagining it is incredible. You know what would be better if he tweets out hashtag White Lives Matter? Nah, no, he won't do that. He won't do that. It's it's, it's too I mean, close he to did Nazis. talk about the <laughs> South African, uh, you know, farmers getting killed. I mean, I I don't know if you know he's already kind of almost went there at, at that point. Um, no, no, no. The the thing is, right? I I'm certain that Trump and the people around him are not white nationalists, right? Yeah. So, the, the they're definitely. I I'm certain they're not white nationalists. Um, they they are they're like American nationalists, you know, um. And they, yeah, they will, they are, they're definitely concerned about like, you know, the South African farmers as they should be, which is laudable of them, obviously, but they're, they're not going to tweet out white lives matter because it sounds too much like an alt-right slogan that they, they will see it as being too. I mean, he I defended think. people at Charlottesville. That was, that was fairly. Yeah. 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 All right. So that's that's uh, not the same as tweeting out white lives matter. I think. Yeah. I think gaming is the one we've got the best shot with because the SJWs keep bringing it up. <sighs> If this was 2014, I would say absolutely. He, you know, he was president then. I'm pretty much certain he would be in the middle of it. Uh, it since it's 2018 and Gamergate's been dead for a long while, I, I just don't know uh, that he would actually, you know. I understand. Just just have a think about it. Just mull it over. Because, it like, <laughs> it, it would be seismic if Trump were to tweet the just the hashtag Gamergate. Just even, regardless of context, it would be fucking seismic. And if, if it was pro, understanding it as being a cultural force against the, the authoritarian far left, man, they would, they would just piss themselves. And it would be the funniest thing in the world. And he could vindicate Gaming Gear, which I think, frankly, deserves to be vindicated. So, um, and all I'm saying is, I think, I think I can actually see a path to it. But it, it requires us to, like, you know, you know, people who are interested in doing this, like, it would require some kind of understood coordination that you know we're not going to worry about interpersonal drama it's not about our own egos it's about getting the job done you know so if stuff needed to happen like we'd all have to do our part you know um but that's i'll, I'll like i said I'll, I'll leave it with you guys there um i'm gonna i'm gonna head off because i've got other things i'm editing to do which is amazing fun um but um i look forward to look forward to send me a, send me a message on skype when you've when you guys have talked to them and had a think and uh you know we can talk further and stuff like that is that cool uh I mean, yeah, we had other topics, but we went so deep at this. You know what? Uh, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just let it go with that. I guess. Uh, cool. This, this yeah. is a good one, though, right? <laughs> well, we'll, 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 I, I don't know. I'm, 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 I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know what to say about it, to be honest with you. But. Well, that's that's the thing. Have a have a think of it, and uh, and you know, give me a shout on Skype when you want to. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you for coming on, Sarah. All right. Take it easy, everyone. Bye. Right. Yep. Take it easy. Um. Yeah. I. What just happened here? I was just about to say <laughs> what the fuck was that? Like, uh, is he trolling? It? Like, I still can't. I don't know. Well, I, I, I brought this up. I, I, really, folks, if you get a chance, go listen to that millennial woes conversation that Sargon had with him where he tried to convince him that, no, no, if the alt-right want to be powerful, you need to act like SJWs. It's super smart. Trust me. It's a good idea. So, so he keeps saying, well, wouldn't it be funny if Trump tweeted about Gamergate? Well, I mean, would I laugh? Yeah, but like, I, why would he do that? For, I, I would laugh from the sheer absurdity of the President of the United States tweeting about Gamergate in 2018, years after it was over. Like, I would, I would more laugh at 
you know, I, am I this is life actually real? Like what's happening right now? Not from the trolling leftist aspect. You know what I mean? Just like what's I don't know. This was just dumb all over. If this was like a, <laughs> a tr- if this is a troll attempt, it was really stupid. And uh, if this was uh, genuine, it's even dumber. Like I didn't pick your poison. I guess I don't know. Do you think he was trolling us or? I, I, I hope he was. I, 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 I really kinda, hope he was. I, I'll agree with him. I really do hope this was his attempt at trolling because it's painfully a bad idea. But I will say, I have heard somebody else in his circles uh, mention to me that they wanted Gamergate 2.0. One of his capos specifically of said that. They, do. They, 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 they literally, word for word, we need to do Gamergate 2.0. Can you help me? <laughs> so and, uh, you be my and this, this, was, this was about a month ago. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I won't call that individual out because I, I want to, you know, I know he gets real upset when you share DMs. Oh. I'll leave it at that. Oh. Well, I have a couple ideas. I, I, won't, I won't make any speculations here while we're on air. But, yeah, I, uh, so that's, so when he was giving his pitch, like I said, me and Gator were sitting there thinking, oh, this is something big. You know, he just talked to Bannon. Maybe there's, like, something actually going on here. And then he starts talking. He starts talking about Gamergate, and I, and I finally just said, "Are, are you? Are we trying to? What, what are you trying to get the? So and then you showed up, and he's like, "Great, you're here too." It's like, "What are you trying to get the band back together? What, what is this?" It's like, oh, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. I don't. I don't. I, you you pick your angle. It's it's a really bad troll, or it's a, a really horrible idea. I don't know. I was expecting. I was really hoping for like year two of the twenty year plan. I was. I wanted a front seat to be able to listen to that. Yeah. I... I don't know. I just, I, I just wanted to make sure. Like I, I was sitting there and I was talking to Gator. I was like, "Look, I'm gonna keep an open mind. You know, if it's a great idea, it's a great idea, even if it's from Sargon." And then, and then we went to to Gamma Eight Two Point Oh. This, is, li- like, this, this is literally that fucking image macro of the guy that goes, "Her der, I'm retarded," and they're like, "You're a retard," and he's like, "I was just trolling you." <laughs> like that's what we just witnessed in this fucking call. <laughs> like the end result is like, you made yourself look like a fucking retard. Oh, I just, yeah, I don't know. By the way, I just saw JF message me earlier. Sorry, man. I just now saw it. So I was on air. I was just completely befuddled by what was, what was going on. So uh, I apologize. But yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, and then, so he's making such a big point of coming, you know, literally we've been, you know, badgering him for months to come on the show, call him a pussy and, and this and that. He wouldn't even come on the charity stream. And no, this is this is dead. I, I told you this uh, earlier. This is yeah. the exact. Same. This is a joke, and uh, you know, uh, Ice Poseidon's audience makes this joke all the fucking time. It's like, oh, you know, ten thousand viewers, uh, twenty thousand watchers. Look who shows up in the chat. It's once you started getting viewers. Now suddenly, I bet you said it was last night. I bet it was those comments. I told you he really hates it when you bring up numbers because they are important to him. He may try to play it off like it's not, but it is. And those jokes last. Uh, Last night or the night before, whenever the fuck it was, when you had eight thousand people watching and you only had sixteen hundred. Yeah, I saw those. I didn't even, yeah. you know what? I didn't even bring it up on air, but I definitely saw them. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You I, and I said you had eight Sargons watching. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, maybe I did read your comment. Yeah, maybe I did. Now that I think about it, but yeah, that's uh, that's funny. I don't know. I just and he was so excited in the, in the Skype though. I was like, what? oh, this must be something good. Like maybe maybe some type of big idea, and then. Hey guys, I've got a great idea. Despacito too. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically how it went. God, it felt like the underwear gnome of fucking plans. Like part one, I emailed people. Part two, part three, Trump tweets about it. <laughs> you know, like what the fuck was that? Uh, I still, I mean, Gamergate is so dead. Like if Gamergate actually had, like I said, juice to use the term. If it had some juice, if there was, you know, a lot of stuff going on, may, you know, maybe he would. He'd probably already be tweeting about it. You wouldn't need to come out and, and try to do that. But Gamergate's fucking dead. Like, what, what, uh, what, I don't know. I was about to make a joke that I shouldn't make on, on YouTube about it. Uh, did it does it involve trains? Does yes, it involve trains? Peacefully yeah, sunsetting uh, someone. Maybe that would be a good way to start it back off again. But that's about the only way I could think of. Uh, I, I really don't. I don't see it popping back off ever again. So it's pretty right, much well, dead. Well, this, this was this was fun. I'm gonna go yeah. uh, hit my head with a brick and get this <laughs> stupid idea out of it. I think. <laughs> it's just, uh, wow. Okay, that was uh, that's something new. All right. Something well, else. hey, hey, when yeah. you guys go fight the good fight under Gamergate 2.0, <laughs> uh, I'll be there laughing. <laughs> so, <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Appreciate it, man. Was the first thing that actually accomplished something. 
got something done. Do you need a moment, or this is who Gamergate really is? If you look at her, this is who we are. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. We, we are this. He he wanted to have Gamergate branded on our skin. He wa- he wanted it branded on our skin, for goodness sake. He wanted Gamergate branded on our skin and, and make sure it was a scarlet letter for the rest of our lives. I am Gamergate. Threaten my people with slavery and death. This is madness. This is Gamergate. People have to do jazz hands together. I mean, it's insanity. And we've seen that darkness. A real friend is willing to lick your ass. And if there's anyone, number one fan out there who loves Gamergate more than someone who's his friend, it's Ralph. He's willing to throw me under the bus to do the right thing. Someone who was with him and was almost, who could have almost been killed with him. He's willing to lick your ass because it's the right thing to do. That's Ralph. And um, I don't want to name any names here, but um, expect Trump tomorrow to tweet out Sargon's newest video. It's happening. He sees one. No, he's one. Yeah. Trump is going to tweet out Sargon of God's newest video. He's a big fan. <laughs> I couldn't, I, that didn't come across as a joke at first. I was yeah. worried. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bullets a little bit there, were you? I might have to disavow my fucking president. <laughs> Reno, it is a joke. I'd be at the fucking embassy tomorrow with my passport. Like, take it, motherfuckers. Get it out. I'm done with this shit. I, I just had to come back in because it, it I, like I've been letting it sink in for like 20 minutes of how dumb that was what I fucking heard him talking about, and um, I yeah, yeah I'm really split on if he was attempting to troll, or if it's real because I know people he associates with were pushing the idea privately months ago. I mean, I'm leaning towards real, but and that's just... really scary. Yeah, if that was. That's terrifying, to be honest with you. But, I, but part of me, it's just so absurd that I'm thinking, man, he's fu- he's pulling our legs. Like it has no, to be. Jen, did you was... hear what I said? Uh, I quoted some guy from his Discord who said this was like practice for journalists asking questions so that he can control the conversation. Do you oh, that, that's that good. Yeah, I you know, like I want to learn how to sword fight, so I go ch- I go challenge somebody. And I'm like, no, no, let's use real swords and no protection. <laughs> <laughs> I'll learn. No, no, did you see, way. Jim? In did terms you see of politics? The stream doesn't really matter. Oh, wait, right? did you see Is Jared that... Holt making? fun of him like everybody's laughing at this like well yeah but i mean look what happened last time like last time he he made one comment about a suit and he's been referred to as a waiter for a month now (laughs) (laughs) right so he started serious though like when you Oh, we're talking about at first. He was like, no, no, um, like it will make this, um, it will blow it up and make everyone take it seriously. And then by the end of your conversation, he's like, it's just a troll. Like you've, you, you made him like, like make it from serious to by the end going, I'm just fucking around guys. Relax. Sargon is only pretending <laughs> to be retarded. If he's being serious, this is legitimately one of the most sad and confusing things I've ever seen in my entire life. I, I, with no exaggeration, I've seen a lot of fucked up and confusing shit, but this is unbelievable. You, you need he's to get actually on his level, it. okay, of 24-hour ops. I don't think you can appreciate yeah, I, what you're I'm getting that, that image of the big brain Sargon floating around the galaxy. Like, this is just incomprehensibly above me. I, I can't even look up and see it. 20 year ops fucking get he's well, yeah, I mean, the, the terrifying thing to me though is okay um he's he's associating with people in ukip he's associating with people that are ex-trumpers all right even if this was just practice for uh, politics and dealing with reporters he's coming on here and making statements like he's in the know of what their communications are right that that's something like about when it comes to politics it's not about what's true it's about what it appears to be so all they need to do is start clipping things and be like Oh, I, I, you know, uh, somebody related to the Trump White House or somebody related to the UKIP party. And now Sargon has entrenched himself into giving stupid quotes for that that'll be used as ammunition.
Like he, that's so dumb. That's so dumb. If you want to go into politics, I don't understand why he would do it. Because <laughs> he said it was an email people. Now they're going to email back and be like, we were watching those clips and you said it was a troll. What the fuck? No, no. Get out of here. I bet he's blocked. He went to email them and then he's like, well, why isn't it being sent? Why is the emails not being sent? It's blocked. I'm going to, yeah, here's, here's the plan, guys. I'm going to send out an email. You go do all the legwork. Like, <laughs> that's, that's the plan. By the that's way, the, the Capos. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead, JF, and I'll interject with the news later on. But because yeah, Mr. Mithaker just said a word that he, he doesn't use usually. He's terrified about Sargon. He's, he's really shook by this. And the last time I saw Mr. Mithaker in this condition was when Erin arrived on the internet. And I had said to Mr. Mithaker back then, is it possible that Erin is the, the coolest kid on the internet, the last cool kid on the internet. I believe that what we saw today happen is that not only Mr. Metaker had been uh, surpassed by Erin and her ability to be the coolest kid on the internet, making Mr. Metaker second place on this dimension, but Sargon just out Mr. Metaker, breaking his dream of being well, I, I, I don't the know last if you cool go, kid on the internet. Well, Jeff, I don't know if you can call it, like, if you're talking to somebody and you're trying to, you know, run a troll on them, if you're trying to fuck with them, and their first reaction, and I think three, I think, I'm pretty sure Ralph and Zidane immediately said yeah. this, is, are you trolling? <laughs> I think it defeats the purpose of what you're attempting to do. <laughs> you, say, you say the troll was not perfect? I, I'm saying if that was a trolling attempt, that was awful. That was really well, bad. Well, don't forget, there was like a, a 15 minute build up. Is it European trolling? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, that's why we're missing it. I'm not sure. But, by the way, is Aaron still alive? Uh, I, haven't, I haven't heard No idea. Her. Oh, I have an update on her. No, uh, she OD'd actually uh, about two and a half. I'm not joking, two and a half weeks really? ago. No oh, shit. No, no, no. You can check the Ice Poseidon. Uh, no way. So oh, no, was... no. Found her uh, dead with a heroin needle in her arm. Oh, she had, no a, she had a note. She had a note on her chest that said, "Why would JF have babies with me?" <laughs> <laughs> Poor Aaron, rest in peace. We'll always honor her memory here on the kill stream. Oh, but what I was gonna say is the Capos are already disavowing this. Uh, you see the quartering on Twitter. Huge waste of time for Sargon. He should know better. He should oh. know better. Ooh, short fat Otaku, uh disavowing it as well. Uh, saying it's a bad idea. I haven't heard what V said. I did oh, talk well, the to... dude that LARPs as a fat disabled lesbian says that's a bad idea. Maybe you should listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he said bad idea. Quartering said bad idea. I talked to V before the stream, and he, he claimed he didn't know what was going on. Because actually, you know, I was sitting here thinking, you know, what what is he up to? So he just messaged, you know, messaged me out of nowhere. So I'm thinking, you know, he's got something. Like, what is he trying to do? And originally, I was, you know, I was kind of questioning, like, what are you up to, Sargon? This is kind of strange. He just emailed me, you know, whatever, Skype me out of nowhere. And V claimed he didn't know what was going on. I haven't heard what he said since, but uh, at least two of them have uh, disavowed. So, I have a better question for the panelists. I want to get your, your ideas on this. Um, what's the best possible outcome for this? Is it A, Sargon saying it's real and he really wants to do this, or B, saying it was an attempt at a troll? What do you think is the best possible way of gracefully bowing out what the fuck just happened B. today? Yeah, it has B, to be B, no right? Doubt. Yeah. Because if he, he, he doubles down on this, he, he's going to look like the most retarded person to ever live, perhaps. <laughs> like, I, I can't think of anything worse than saying that this was an actual attempt at, at some kind of ops, because that <laughs> defies belief. No, so he, no. he has to say... That he was fucking hammered. Oh, I was just drunk, guys. No, 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 no. I said, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I almost OD'd or that. Yeah, yeah, guys. Yeah. Option C for cocaine, right? Yeah, yeah. No, oh, no. Yeah. Even on coke, you wouldn't fucking think of this shit. You'd be like, you have a better idea, probably. Honestly. It, yeah, <laughs> I mean, Andy is right. I mean, he did light his nipples on fire, but he never said, "Hey, guys, let's do Gamergate 2.0." <laughs> <laughs> I, I want him to double down, to triple down on this. I want him to go as far as he can. <laughs> this is the dumbest fucking thing ever, and I really want him to fucking burn himself to the ground with it. It's funny. Option C is winning in chat, by the way. This keeps falling in our laps, Jim. I, I, really I didn't do anything for this. Tomorrow that says Gamergate 2.2, how to do it. Please I hope he just him. avoids this entire, like, he just pretends like this never happened. 
what are you talking about, guys? <laughs> three days, comes back. Oh, feminism. And you're just like, what? what? I like how after it was pointed out that maybe saying all this publicly is a bad idea, he like tried to say to Ralph, hey, maybe you could delete the stream. <laughs> <laughs> That's not happening. Not happening. Uh, no, as a matter of fact, I might just leave the, you know, usually we put them on the archive. I might, I might just leave this one up on the channel, actually. Uh, just, I don't know. And I'm, I'm lurking his Discord channel, you know, following up people on Twitter talking about it. There's nobody in his Discord channel that were talking about it. And those motherfuckers were defending the live stream about Jim. And <laughs> even to them, this is indefensible. They're just saying this is a complete waste of time. This is Do drama. we have any even liberalists? Like Where's V? Artist. Somebody grab V or quartering. Do we have, do, are one of these guys going to come on? Like, what's I going would, on? I would love to hear V's take on All this. Right, are you him. kidding? I want to oh, hear what the carrier you. pitch and has to, I want that insight. We have when V came on after the gym stream, he said it was retarded. <laughs> I can't wait for, for his take on this. All right, I, I messaged him. Let's see. Well, let's just ping one of them. One of them's got to show up, right? V too. All right. All right. Now, did he see. use the uh, did he use the code? There's a code word you can use with V that will instantly get his attention. Just say, I have Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen pictures of his apartment, but that'll snap him right into it. Uh. Let's see. I'll message quartering too. I, mean, I thought it was surely, anal war. Am around? Surely somebody has to come on and talk about this. Well, you could you could you could try to you know combine the two. Like I put a, a canister of <laughs> Coca Cola in <laughs> <and> a snake. <laughs> come get it. <laughs> come and get it. Oh man. All right. So I messaged those two. Uh, I just love how we all had these. Big brain ideas of what this was about, and, and it came down to Gamergate 2.0. I, I thought this was going to be like, you know, here's like the new political thing I'm doing. Yeah. Like, I thought he was going to come out and be like, I, I've been I've been uh, messing with everybody, and I've been, uh, you know, laying in wait, and now you're going to see my magnificence. I was really expecting that. Or, or it would have something to do with, you know, YouTube censorship or, you know, something like that. Maybe, maybe he's been talking to Bannon, and he had some type of idea he wanted to pass along. Because uh, he knows, obviously, this is a hostile, you know, this hostile area. For God, him. you know, the scarier idea is this wasn't Sargon's idea. This was Bannon's big brain idea. Please, yeah, don't let that be true. <laughs> oh, that's the night. That's the fucking nightmare scenario. That is right a there. nightmare scenario, to be honest with you. Yes, this no, kind of. No, no. That would explain. It, it was his like, idea, but it was a joke to get Sargon to fuck us over. <laughs> <laughs> that would explain why he's not in the White House. <laughs> Could you yeah. imagine if the Mercers were like, okay, Bannon, we're going to give you a million dollars. We want you to go tell Sark out of a cod to start Gamergate 2.0. Don't, don't ask any questions. It's a really good <laughs> idea. We can't use Milo. He has AIDS now, so it has to be Sark. By the way, I saw that. Does he – Was he was joking, right? Or does yeah, he really it's, obviously, have to, it's obviously Yeah, he's joke. trolling. Like, So I've seen so many people like, oh, he's really got AIDS. He, I think he was just kidding with that. But I mean, no way to know for sure, but. I thought he posted a picture of his medical bills. Yeah, but he, it was all blocked out, and he just said, oh, oh I, thought that was, I thought that was a receipt from the restaurant he went to. Yeah, I don't know. It was some receipt. I don't know that it was – yeah, it was just some receipt with, like, $2,000. Yeah, how meta can we go? Do you, do people in chat are like, maybe Bannon is, yeah, just trolling Sargon. Maybe this is just – maybe Bannon <laughs> hates you Kip so much he is thought Bannon, it was Bannon's in the chat right now, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, I see him right there. He's <laughs> like, don't blame me for this. This isn't my retarded shit idea. Oh, my God. All right, so I'm, I messes those people. What's up, uh, Jim? How's it going, man? Oh, hello, hello. Hey, what's, hey, up? what's up? Oh, oh, man, hey, man. Okay, hold on. I, I Ralph, Ralph, Ralph's muted. muted. I yeah, I can't. I can't hear anybody else. Okay, yeah. it should be. It should be okay now. It should be okay. There we now. go. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. I, I got uh, a furry fun. that uh, <laughs> kept escalating things. So uh, he he made it seem like he you know he was like I. Somebody's like, why don't you settle it on the kill stream? And he's like, do a gym won't even talk to me. So I was like, all right. You know, I asked and uh, you said yes. So so what's the backstory on this exactly? Let me give you the backstory on this. So if you look at my timeline, that uh, YouTube comment was by this guy. The one where it's, oh, Jim's a pedophile that Sargon favored it. Oh, yeah. We did show that earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then somebody else shot me over something from his Twitter account where he's just going on like 30 tweets screaming about me being a, a child molester. So I, I, you know, I looked at his Twitter and I looked at his YouTube and it's the same username. So I Googled it and I found a fur affinity account. And on the fur affinity account, there are pictures of like fucking 
Shota, uh, basically like uh, cub porn. So like pictures of very young furries, you know, in thongs and shit, riding bananas and sucking on pacifiers and shit like that. They're pictures of, like tails bent over, that kind of stuff. Yeah, get wholesome. <laughs> so he seemed he gets, he's got really upset once I once I found that, and then he's like, "Oh, well, you're doxing me." And then he, he started screaming, "You need to dox yourself so we can be sure you're not on the sex offender registry." Yeah. Um. Why, why would Sargon favor to comment like that? I love the, you know, it was a joke, right? Earlier today. Uh, yeah, and, really and other yeah. people were saying it. Like a lot of people were saying, oh, I wonder if uh, uh, Sargon tribe and Furry tribe will make an alliance. Well, here we go. <laughs> He's oh, so man. dumb. Sargon is so dumb. He tries that black PR shit and it literally is pulled on him three days later. And he still is oblivious to, you know what I mean? It's like, it's, it, I don't know how somebody can be so stupid. Uh, but if you, his name on Twitter, Ralph, if you want to try to get a hold of him, is uh, Carusi. Carusi, I guess. Yeah, K O R U S I. I have DM'd them already with a link to the Discord and tell told them to tell me their name on the Discord. I, if that right. might be them, actually. Oh, here we go. There. Yeah, because he, you know, he blocked me initially, and then he unblocked me. Oh yeah, I do. I see them. Carusi, nineteen eighty four. Here we go. This will be fun to me, but. And here we go. Um, all right, let me turn them down just a little bit. All right, unexpected. This is gonna be good. I said it keeps falling in our laps. So what, can, what can you do? Um, Carusi, nineteen eighty five. You should unmute yourself. You don't. Okay. Uh, can you hear us? I can hear you fine. Okay, here we go. You said uh, Medicare wouldn't talk to you. Well, here he is. Here we are. Can you hear okay. me? I can hear you fine. Okay, so uh, what's with spazzing out and screaming that I'm a pedophile, and then you've got a fur affinity with cubs riding bananas? No. Can you explain to me for just a moment why you have 500 people messaging me at the same time? I, just I, do I, me I, that favor and answer that. I'll be happy to answer your oh, question. Oh, okay. Well, that'd be fantastic, girl. Um, if you look at my timeline, I'm not talking to anybody else but you. You've been the only person I've been talking to for the last hour. So I don't I know how I got anybody. Listening. I don't know how I got anybody to to do anything to you. I'm not stupid. Nobody is that. I, I stupid. don't know if we could. I don't you know if we could say that. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I don't know if a smart person would go around calling somebody a pedophile and they've got pictures of cubs riding bananas on their fur affinity. So you are. You are a pedophile, are you not? No, I'm not. Am I don't I have wrong? a fur affinity with cubs riding bananas like you do, sir. Okay. Are you sure? Do you not? Do Am I not sure that I don't hands? have a fur affinity with cubs riding bananas? Yes, I'm. I'm. I'm pretty sure on that. I see. Um. So you're not on the sex sexual predator list. Is that right? That would be correct. How do I know? I don't know. Are you telepathic? Are you law enforcement? Like I don't know. How would you know? I don't know because I don't know your real name. What's your real name? Oh, jeez. I, I, let, me, let me jump out there and tell it to you. <laughs> this is a very smart strategy. You've learned well from the stepfather. I don't call him the stepfather because I am not a sycophant like you. You're not and a sycophant. You just go around you know, sucking Sargon's cock. There, I'm not spamming you. There I is a reason. There is a reason that I created this account specifically so that you could not do this to me. So could you stop? Do, do what to you? Respond to you when you say stupid shit? Well, that's going to be difficult on the internet for you if that's if you think special accounts exist where people aren't going to call you retarded for acting retarded. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm still trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're calling somebody a pedophile when you have pictures of cubs riding bananas on your fur affinity. Yeah, where do you get the pedophile thing from exactly? I, I mean, I hate to jump in. I know you guys are having a uh, discussion. I was just talking with him. <laughs> it worked, didn't it? Oh, no, this has turned out well for you. I think this is a good idea. I think this, this has played out spectacularly, really. This has been right up there. I mean, this is not as good right, as the Gamergate 2, but it's, it's close bully. up there. You have a bully 
cabal that you have created. A bully cabal. A bully cabal. <laughs> <laughs> Outer heaven. Of what, the else squad. what else would you call it? Uh, I'd call it the Swedish squad. That we spread you, hugs you, and love across the internet. Bullshit. You know that's not true. You know what you're doing. What about uh, name the bully? No. Name the bully for fake. <laughs> bully hunter will help you. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, uh, Darty is currently randomly messaging me bullshit. Have to block his ass. Okay, I don't know who uh, Darty is. I don't either. No. Well, he works for you. He works. Well, I've I've got many mercenaries in my outer heaven. I mean, I do employ a lot of sweeties in my sweetie squad. Do you condemn their actions? I do not condemn any actions. Okay, so then you are basically the leader of a bully cabal. Well, if I were to disavow or avow any actions, that would mean I'm taking responsibility for them. But since they're free agents working under their own will, I can't really pass judgment on what they do or don't do, can I? You're a bully. That's how bullies work. And you know that's how bullies work? Bullies work work by letting people express their free will? That's kind of weird, isn't it? Oh, how disingenuous of you. You know what you're doing. You know you're a bully because you've probably been a bully your entire life. And who am I bullying exactly? Oh, wait, the guy with the cub porn on his Fur Affinity account. I mean, here's the question. Is it illegal? Even if I do have, which, by the way, if you didn't know, Fur Affinity pretty much bans uh, cub porn, like... A dragon. I did, not, I did not know that. No, I didn't. I'm not. Well, that. it's a picture of a youngish. Uh, yeah, it's a picture of a. I'll try to describe it as best I can. It's a picture of a youngest. I know. I'm guessing a wolf and a speedo riding a banana, sucking a lollipop, with what looks like either okay. a lube or a baby bottle behind him, uh, behind his right foot. I mean, that's about the best description I could give of it. Okay. And is it illegal? Is it uh, is it illegal? To uh, well, I don't know. I mean. How how are we? I don't know if anybody's made a ruling about Cubs riding bananas in the U.S. courts. I we tell have you. precedent okay. on this. Yes. So basically, what you're saying is you're going after me for uh, what you have perceived to be just this thing that you don't like because you have this crusade against crusade. furries. In My fact, bully crusade. <laughs> My bully cabal crusade. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you have a crusade against furries right now. I understand that. I do. And this isn't about being a furry. What uh, because... when, you, when you say against furries, what furries are we talking about? I mean, what, what is my crusade against, since you seem to be so familiar with it? At this point, like you uh, have created a witch. A witch hunt for what, though, is what I'm asking. What, what am I going after? Well, I found it odd that you are so good at finding uh, pedophiles, which was why I called you a pedophile. It was because it was funny, because who better to find a pedophile than someone with a guilty conscience? Well, a lot, a lot of a lot of yucks in there, but uh, I'm not the one that leaked the logs of the uh, Kiro stuff, uh, and I'm not the one that posted them. I merely read them because I found them to be uh, horrendous. Logs of what? I'm sorry. What are you talking about? Well, you said I'm leading a witch hunt, and we're talking about the Kiro leaks in which people were decapitating puppies and fucking their skulls and talking about molesting yeah, creatures. That has nothing to do with that has nothing to do with me. Why why am I in this? You just said I'm leading a furry witch hunt, but you you keep neglecting to bring up the fact that you the furries we're you, talking about you molest me. children and you kill animals me. for their sex uh, pleasure. Uh, that's nice. You caught me in that wide net. You have where, made where it did, your where mission. Did, to where did I make it? My, you're the one running around calling me a pedophile. And then you get angry when I find out you've got cub porn on your fur affinity. Well, hey, it's funny because to me. It's funny. it's funny to me that the guy that calls me a pedophile turns out to have a bunch of cub porn on his fur affinity. I guess so we're, we're just both, laughing. We're, 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 both we, laughing. We're both, oh, I'm very much laughing. Yeah, my, my troll laughing. cabal, my bully brigade is laughing right now, yes. Yes. I mean, they they really are. They are enjoying what they're doing to me. 
because they've got nothing better to do. Because they enjoy. <laughs> yeah, that, I guess that's what that's what uh, bully brigades and trolls would do. Yeah, I suppose they kill them time on a uh, on an evening. A bully brigade, you admit that you have created a bully brigade. You're bullying people because it's funny to you. I, I'm, I'm bullying you because, because it's funny to me. I, I, again, you keep neglecting the key point of people decapitating puppies and fucking their skulls and molesting little children. That has nothing to do with me. Why, why has that got anything to do with me? Explain. What, why would you call Explain it a free witch? Me. Why would you call it a free witch hunt then? If that's what, what we're discussing. Why would you call that a free witch hunt? Well, you're, you're the dude fucking... screaming pedophile at people with cum porn on your perfidity, <laughs> dum-dum. Think it through. Are you stupid? <laughs> How dumb are you? God, why are why are furries so fucking stupid? It's like a, it's is it something in the water when you guys go to conventions? Is, does somebody lace that shit? What's going on? Same thing over and over again ad nauseum because they think it's funny. Well, you're the one that's the master you? yuckster. You're the master yuckster, right, Mister Super Humor? I mean, if you if you don't think that's funny, why did you do that all day today? I'm sorry. You, what did you say? I, I said you're the master yuckster, Mister Comedian. If you don't think it's funny to repeat something ad nauseum, why did you do it all day today? How did you know? Because people sent me screen caps saying, "Look at this furry. He's a retard." Why do you think they did that? Because you're a retarded furry. No, why do you think they did that? They are loyal to you. They are your loyal Gestapo. You know that. My Gestapo. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. Are you, are, you, are you handicapped? Am I speaking to somebody that has all their mental faculties? I don't know. Am I? I'm asking you. Okay, can you self-identify? <laughs> do you play with trains? Do you like Legos? I, I, do you? Like, I mean, why are you trying to make me out to be stupid? You're doing a great job of making yourself out to be stupid all by yourself. I, I don't know if being sa you know, sassy gay when you get called out for being a degenerate is going to work well for you here tonight. I'm the de degenerate. We don't know anything about you. We, 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 don't we know, know about, about you, you though, don't we? Whether you use the same username on your fur affinity with the cub porn on it. Prove that it's me. Prove that it's you, the account that has your avatar on it, the same username on it. Now you're going to go with it's, it's, now you're going to go and change tactics and be like, no, that's not me. You're getting a little desperate here. No, I just wanted to find out exactly how much information you had. Why? It's your uh, avatar. It's your username. It's my account. It is your it account. It is my account. Yeah. So then well, why are you asking me to prove it if you're literally admitting it's yours? Because you went to the trouble. Why did you go to the trouble? Why did your the Gestapo go to the trouble? Of, if it the wasn't trouble you? of Googling your username. The trouble of Googling uh -huh. your username? Really? I mean, that is very difficult. That, I mean, that takes, it's an arduous journey. That is journey. pretty stalkerish. You realize oh, that, oh, it's right? Super, it's super yeah. arduous. It's very that's, difficult that's to take a username, weird. put it into a Google search engine, and hit enter. Why? I sprained why? my wrist. It was a lot of work. It's a lot of effort. I think I need to ice it. Maybe get some medical attention from why? from this long day's work of Googling your name by hitting enter. But why? Why? Why would I look at your username? Because you're a retarded why? because you're a retarded furry, and it turns out what do you know, shocker, the thing you're trying to accuse other people of seems like maybe applies to you. Wow, how shocking is that? Does it apply to me? I, that one I'm not letting you pin on me because that's not true. I'm not the dude with the fur affinity with the cubs riding bananas and sucking on lollipops. That's you, champ. I mean, like... I mean, so, so to be fair, didn't you accuse him of being a pedophile? You understand why he might look you up. If somebody accused me of being a pedophile, I'd probably, I'd probably give him a look-see myself. Not really, because Wait, what? who am I to him? Oh, I see. You're say, you're just you're just the innocent little guy fighting against the powers that be. A little bit, really. I mean, oh, you are so seriously. stupid. Like, who this am is I? Painful. God, I can tell why you're a Sargon fan. 
I mean, it's a pretty serious allegation. No, I can imagine what somebody might, you know, look into the person making such an allegation. None of us know. None of us fucking know, do we? We don't know because we don't know who this guy is. This guy is leading you around. You have no idea who he is, and you follow him blindly. Ralph is my second in command. You are correct. <laughs> Ralph, I don't have any problem with you. I don't know you. I've 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 heard of you, obviously. I mean, I don't other know than you when you I, all I know is you started stabbing Sargon in the back the moment he got off your stream. That was fucking low, dude. I didn't. I wouldn't call it. I did. I mean, I said it was retarded. I pretty much said that in a nice way while he was here. I was just playing my host role, and then I put nice on. I, here, I, exactly. I put on my. Analyst, wow, was... I put on my analyst hat after he left. Uh, I wanted to make sure he had a fair hearing while he was on the program, and then I gave my, you know, full view. But I was, and if you can that, tell by the questions I was asking, I yeah. pretty much said it was stupid already. But I mean, absolutely, he was an idiot for even coming to you guys because this is the kind of group of people that he is trying to convince to do something that is, like, kind of big picture. It, it, it was fucking stupid. It was fucking stupid. Ralph, I mean, you should he listen to him. He, he's, he is right. <laughs> I mean, we should listen to the retarded furry that's into cub porn. Clearly, that's the audience Sargon <laughs> needs to appeal to to accomplish his Gamergate uh, too. He can have them. No, oh, I think he's going to save the West this time, guys. We're going to look foolish West. in a week, I'm telling you. His new slogan is going to be, Yiff the West. Yiff it, yiff it, yiff it to freedom. So what? So okay. So you weren't happy with how the, how the stream went. You got in his comments, and what was your quote exactly? I'll have to pull it back up. Uh, you said true, but at least he isn't a pedophile like Jim. Now I don't know the he you're refu referring to. Was that me or someone else? But um, no, that was in reply about Matt. Like they took the. I was actually making a joke about how the fact. Well, at least Matt isn't a pedophile. Like they were saying, Matt was like all he was a. He was the guy that uh, took down the streams and everything like that. He, he, but like, who says that? Why are you so mad? Like you're, you're accusing. I mean, it's a very serious allegation to just file out say somebody's a pedophile. Because I don't know who this pedophile is. And now is. you're talking he about. I, now you're talking about. I'm a. You know. You're saying. You know. You're talking in your voice. You're saying I'm a nobody. Uh, this, that, and the other. Well, you made a serious accusation. Sar yeah. Sargon fucking favorited it. I mean, you you did this to yourself, and then you repeated it on this show. You said it on Twitter. <laughs> Sargon favored it. Oh, right, because Sargon. Well, he might not have is, seen it. He might not have seen it otherwise. I don't know. Um, but that, that probably is why. That's true. That's probably why Jim, because Jim has such his fucking heart on for Sargon. Oh my God, he is such a fucking spaz. What I'm getting He's at is spaz. you're, you're talking Actually, about oh people are I, bullying really you, but you did this to yourself. Me. Ralph, why don't you read through some of the gems that this retard has tweeted out over the last okay. hour, like? He started yeah, an you shut he started an op to dox me. He started an op to dox me. Oh, the Kasap was after Shit. me. Oh, mentions. Oh, they're bullying me. Help. I, hold on. I actually said I don't want to pull uh, my mentions on this, but it was ridiculous. If I oh showed my God, you girlfriend, it was shit fine crazy off the hook. Fuck the furry I have three notifications and 20 messages right now. Like, it is I love this. Listen to this shit. No, his audience is a bunch of shitlords that think they are defending Papa Jim and will notice them. I'm not walking anything back. Jim is a disgusting pedophile that attacks other pedophiles because he has a guilty conscience. Then he also so wait, wait, I mean, what? even but by yeah. your logic, right? By your logic, if I'm a disgusting pedophile that only attacks other pedophiles, then I must be right about you, huh? He also said, "I see. So you aren't going to release your real name so we can know you aren't on the sex offender registry." Is that right? That was another. Stop! Stop! Catch him in what he just said. He just admitted he was a pedophile. I said, going by your logic, if I am a disgusting pedophile, then I must be correct in attacking you, and you must be a pedophile, right? By your logic, you're admitting you're a pedophile because I'm attacking you. Are you a pedophile? Answer the question. I just told you I wasn't, but by your logic, I am. So if I'm attacking you and that's what you believe, you must be a pedophile, correct? Mm -hmm. Can so you, I'm not a pedophile. You use, can, you use your, can you use your thinking thoughts by your own logic? You're, you're saying if I'm attacking you, you must be a pedophile, correct? It's very simple. You might not understand this because it's an SAT thing. If then, 
if you're not a pedophile, then I'm not a pedophile. But if I am a pedophile, then you are a pedophile. Again, it's, it seems like you're struggling with this. By your logic, you're saying I'm a disgusting pedophile and only attack pedophiles, right? You? That's, that's your statement, correct? Are you? Are you? I, again, is that your statement? Did you pedophile? write that out? Did you write that out, big boy? <laughs> Did you type that out with your tail or your paws? Are you a pedophile? I, 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 why is it so difficult for you to say yes or no? Are Ralph, you? do you want to confirm that he did write this, in fact, on his timeline? Because he seems to be unable to answer this. Yeah, they're all there. I mean... Okay, so he, by his logic, he's saying Jim is a disgusting pedophile that attacks other pedophiles. And then he claims I'm attacking him. So by his logic, what does that make him? By his logic, that okay, would make so him a pedophile. a pedophile. That would make him a pedophile you're, by his, by his, his logic. logic is. Okay, good. I'm glad we all, I mean, Mr. <laughs> SAT here was really struggling with it. But I think, I think all of us kind of, kind of grouped together, put our thinking thoughts together and big brained it to get an answer. Here's the thing. I think you. I so think we can all work together. I don't think he can give you the quest now. Here's the thing I want everyone to understand. Jim just admitted he's a pedophile. Boy, you really have difficulty with the English language. I'm going to guess that's because you lose a lot of fluids jacking off to cubs riding bananas on your fur affinity. I, I would recommend maybe like an IV drip of saline. Just how Hodge did. He is a pedophile. Okay. Case closed. Oh, it, more it, it's case closed. Boy, you're stupid. And I think I think you're embarrassed because you basically got caught being the thing you're calling other people, like most disgusting degenerate furries like you are, um, like the faggots in the Kira League who abuse animals and children. Uh, you don't really strike me as being very different. I, I think if we looked at your other um, accounts, you're probably even even into more fucked up shit. Probably on your ink bunny or your gold furry. I, I bet you I bet you're into some really twisted at... shit. Uh, you know, and you're dumb enough to use the same username. It's probably a given. Okay. Here's the thing. At this point, I already know everything about you. I need to know. Do You're you sassy liar. gay man? You were scam uh, asshole. Oh, I'm an asshole. I, don't I care bet about you want to just lick it, don't you, girlfriend? Mmm, <laughs> it's an asshole. It's presenting itself to you. I bet it's delicious. Look, I'm not like the guy that molested you when you were a child. So, oh. you know, maybe show me respect. Well, I will be fair. He wasn't wearing a fursuit. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess you got me on that one. I mean, you have to admit, I can roll with the punches. Well, I think you roll because you've I mean, been trained to, like a dog, because you're a furry, <laughs> and it's part of the role-playing shit you're into. Probably at the petting zoo you attend at the conventions. How many horses have you fucked? Just be honest. You have, have nothing... You have nothing better to do than attack my character because you've got nothing. You are such attack a... Attack your character. I'm looking at your accounts. This is the shit you put online, dipshit. That's not your character. This is what you decided to share with the world because you're retarded. That's why you are a retarded furry. Plus, it's kind of hard to say you attack... Water. He's attacking your character. I mean, you called the man a pedophile publicly and... I did call him a pedophile. That seems like a character attack there. It's what he does. He attacks random people and and just doesn't even care about the consequences. I, I love it. This guy is so mad that I made Sargon look retarded. This is his is spazzing out to try to protect him. And then he gets caught basically being a degenerate, and now he's upset about it and crying about being bullied. What a pussy. And he calls other people shitlord, like that's a hot fucking bance around. I bet you're the kind of asshole that uses Snowflake because you think it's, uh, you know, the cool hip in term. But uh, you're fucking retarded. And that term probably applies to you more than anybody else. You blocked me. And then you unblocked me and this cried because you were getting mentions. What a pussy little bitch you are. Does, does it make you feel good? Does it make you feel good to say these things to me? Really? Oh, 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 you poor, I'm, I'm, I'm happy poor abused pupper. Oh, God, I weep for you. <laughs> Can you hear the smallest violin in the world playing in the background? Yeah, I, I really don't care what you have to say because I Obviously know what you kind do, of person because you are. Because you're on the stream to... and you're engaging with me on Twitter. You must desperately care what I have to say. Otherwise, you wouldn't be doing any of this. Here's the thing. The only thing that I really want is to stop getting this abuse from all these people. And well, maybe, don't, I came on to say maybe don't. That I am not it. afraid. Maybe don't invite it on yourself, you dumb, stupid fuck. 
by yes, being a degenerate and being openly man. degenerate and then crying when people call you degenerate. You're not a man. I mean, don't start right. shit and then cry when you get hit for a coward? Are you not a coward? Are you not a coward? Well, here's the thing. I don't want to have to put you my account in front of it. For like Listen to this <laughs> shit. Uh, they always go to it. Can you repeat something Wait. Argon didn't pull out of his ass, retard? Do you have any original arguments? I don't. I actually don't. You care don't. Yeah, no, I know. You don't have any original arguments. You're fucking retarded, and you repeat and parrot the shit you hear in videos. God, you're stupid. How do you live? Does it? Don't you just get depressed at the thought of how dumb you are? Doesn't it just make you want to throw yourself off a bridge sometimes? Are you done? No, I'm asking. Are you done? How long are you going to continue with this life you're living? Wow, are you telling me to literally kill myself? No, I haven't told you to kill yourself. I've asked you a question. Do you ever get to the point where you just can't take it anymore? Where you just think, God, I'm so fucking stupid. I'm such a dumb dumb. I just can't take it anymore. Do you have those thoughts? Does that ever occur to you? Look how weak you are. You have nothing else. But personally, well, I've, got, I've, got, I've got the pictures of your cub porn you have in your favorite section on your fur affinity. I mean, that's kind of what we've been talking about, that you're dancing around with the, is it a legal girlfriend? It is what it is. Not, we all know not. what it is. Yeah, we know what you it's are. We legal. know what you are, and we know why you <laughs> act like you do. And now we know who you follow and what you watch on YouTube. So you're a Sargonite that thinks a stepfather's oh, a big that's... brain. You're a Sargonite that thinks a stepfather's a big brain. And you're a furry that's into degenerate shit. And you're mad because I exposed Kiro and these other fucking disgusting puppy killing, child molesting yeah, freaks. About that because they, because yeah, anyone that kills puppies or, or like, you'll find that most furries are actually decent people that just want to be left alone. But, and, well, I mean, obviously you, that's yeah. not the case because you've done everything you can to not be left alone and to engage repeatedly. No, it, it is just because I'm a furry. It, it, that's the only reason that you're even talking to me. No, I'm talking to you because you're retarded. Like that's the, furry, the furry part's a bonus. Well, I mean, I'm on your target list for now. Like, I'm... Sargon's already on your target list because you... I, I don't have a target list. It's just when a retard flails in front of me, I pay attention, and then I move on to another retard because they inevitably get my attention. Right. Uh, because... I mean, that gets you mega views, and, and I applaud you for making that dope, brother. That, that, is, that is a great scheme you got running there. Yeah, people generally like a sideshow. I mean, they want to watch you flail like an idiot and throw popcorn at you like you're a sideshow freak. Yeah, I mean, you do have that correct. That's what the audience is literally doing right now, even though it's not technically my show, but Ralph is making <laughs> a fuck ton of money with people laughing at you. Yeah, you're right about that. <laughs> it is true. Basically, Ralph, but but does he cut you in ever? Like, does it, if he's not cutting you in, cut this man in. Cut this I, fucking I man in. I don't need any out. of that money. I do I do good on my own. Ralph's a big boy. He's making those big bucks. <laughs> I'm happy for him. I do my own shit. You get nothing out of this for real? I get laughs. I'm enjoying myself right now. I get the joy of the moment out of this. That's That's more than money could ever buy. You can't buy happiness, friend. Really? Because, I mean, that, that really does add into the bully narrative that, that I've suggested is that, like, you're just doing it for the yucks, really. That's... Like you like you do, right? Like you just literally said earlier, you're doing it for the yucks. We're the same thing, right? I, I know, but... So you're a bully. But think about what you're doing. Well, you're a bully then, right? You, you just said we're the I same don't have a group. I don't. I don't have a group of people that when the kid on the playground on when the kid on the playground burn. when the kid on the playground kicks another kid's ass does he need 14 people to do it or does he just do it because he's a cunt? I mean, you don't need an I audience to be a bully, do you? You could just be an asshole, can't you? Well, I've actually noticed that it actually does take a lot of people to kind of be a real bully uh, cuz that is the kind of thing like cuz because if you didn't have all these people behind you, like, would you even be here? Like, would, would you just be echoing it out into the open by yourself? Yeah. I, yeah, I am I, curious. I, I, I would absolutely be doing the same thing I'm doing, laughing at retards. I've always enjoyed that. That has been a pastime of mine for, like, a decade. See.
interesting because it 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 just seems to me that really and truly like all you can do is come after me because I called you Jeff. Like you have such thin skin. I love skin how you try I to paint that. that. <laughs> oh, I I love it. No big deal. Jim, you have thin skin, and then when I when I do the same thing you've done to me, you start crying like a bitch and block me. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You but... instantly did that. You blocked me like a bitch instantly. So who's got the no, thin skin? No, no. Was I the one that blocked you, or were you the one that blocked me? Blocked you for. There you go. Yeah, I'm glad you can remember the continuity of what happened tonight. Oh, I unblocked you, and even after I unblocked you, I had like 30 people asking, "Why'd you block?" Like he he can't message you if you blocked him. It's like he's been fucking unblocked for 30 minutes. I and the only reason I blocked I, you can you can look at my account. I messaged you, you repeatedly, so I I don't know what your problem is. You asked me to respond. I did multiple times. I probably couldn't find it after, like, like I really probably couldn't because I'm actually not used to seeing that many messages, really. It is true. It was confusing. And, and you can admit that technology Twitter... spoke to you, did it? Are you you're the one that called me a boomer and you can't work out how Twitter works? No, you know that it calls a lot of shit. You know that. No, I'm but, just trying to, I'm like, saying like 30 replies spooked you. Like, it, it, that's kind of amazing to me. I mean, I, I, I'm guessing you're old enough to have remembered what a VCR was. Uh, did it always blink 12 for you? Were you able to figure that one out? Are you done? No, I'm, I'm, I've literally got all night to do this. <laughs> I mean, so do I. Isn't, isn't it great that way? I mean, but no, like for real you know that it's different. You know that it's different when someone has like 100,000 people that are in their corner, in their corner. It feels good. It really does feel good to go after people like that. I to mean- To go after degenerates can, that are into cub porn? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? You, you can see this shit, right? Like, you, are, are you just not in Discord at all? Are you just like, Proxy no, I'm, on I'm, this. I'm heterosexual. I don't use Discord. That's a statement I've made multiple times. See, so you have no idea the shit coming through. Uh, I, I'm assuming Ralph can see it. We're we're talking about Twitter, though. We're not. I'm not actually about monitoring it. the Discord right now, so no, I haven't seen what all's going on there. But I could imagine you're probably not getting a oh, warm reception. It, yeah, it is fucking priceless. Some of these. I, I suppose um, it is when you flail around like a retard <laughs> saying, look at me. Yeah, you probably get some attention. It's weird, isn't it? Can I ask you, do you think Anita Sarkeesian was bullied? Uh, as much as she says she was? Fuck no. Well, why not? I mean, she had all these bully jerks, these bully brigades after her, right? I mean, she was a victim. What about Zoe Quinn? I guarantee she probably had some of this same shit. So she was, a, she was a victim, and, right? But it really didn't. Was, was she a, a victim of what? Like, of bullying. Am, am I saying that I'm getting death threats and, and things like that nature? I might be, actually. I'd... Oh, so you're kind of like, am, kinda then like then Anita Sarkeesian and Zoe Quinn. I got gotcha. you. Okay. <laughs> You're really batting a thousand tonight. I think you're impressing the crowd. I think they're on your side. I think you're winning them over. I might be losing this one. Are you done? No, like I said, I've got all night. Okay. All I'm saying is that it is it is a little different. They have actually huge audiences. You know that they've done certain things and 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 basically they have gotten me. You would admit they've gotten mean things sent to them and death threats and things of that nature. You would admit that that is something that has happened to them. Well, I mean, it is tragic that Sargon of Akkad, a member of Gamergate, whipped people up to harass Anita Sarkeesian. Yes, I would agree with you. That is tragic. And now he's trying to start it okay. back again. Jesus I know. Christ. Why won't this ha hate campaign stop? Oh it just needs to stop. <laughs> Brianna Wu had to hide from snipers. I don't know if you're aware of that. Driven from Wu. <laughs> I was driven from the home. Oh, my God. I doubt that. I, I do doubt that for real. That that's that's not likely. Um, but I mean, yeah, like 
people do get death threats. They do get attacked. They do have that kind of thing, and it's not helpful at all. It does like what is the goal? <laughs> Just to laugh at me. Dead? Yes, the the fucking goal is to laugh at you. Yes, that is the entirety of the goal. Okay. okay you act well, like an idiot. People laugh at you for being an idiot. Yeah, that's that's pretty much the whole thing. Are you still there, sir? Or? No, I'm I'm still here. I, I'm just like <laughs> I I just don't understand why you're laughing at what is actually occurring. Like it is. Why am I laughing? Actually, at what is why happening? are you laughing at furries? <laughs> oh, wow, uh, I know <laughs> it's I'm referring to Andre, isn't it? What I'm referring to, what I, the doxing, like they are actually actively looking. For information about me, you do know that, right? No, I wouldn't. Again, like I answered you earlier when you said, "Do you uh, basically disavow?" And I said, "I can't disavow or avow anything because that would mean I have control over what other people are doing." So I'm unaware of what other people are doing. I'm not a psychic. Well, no, dis you can disavow something even if you're not in charge of it. You can say, "Don't do this, guys." Well, yeah, and we could make a list of a billion things and sit here all night talking about them because, you know, that would be retarded, though, wouldn't it? Well, I mean, people know what's right and wrong. Like, are you really going to sit there and tell me you... you <sighs> well, see, I would disagree like, you with you on that premise because if people knew what were right and wrong, you wouldn't have pictures of cubs riding bananas on your Fur Affinity account, now would you? Not even my pictures. Yeah, that's why they're called favorites. Yeah, I know you didn't draw them. Yeah, I understand that. That concept doesn't elude me. You would think it would. I mean... I gotta say, when Sargon sends his, he is not sending his best. I, I'm sorry, but this is really... I don't think Gamergate 2 is going to do too well, guys. I got to put this out here. I, I don't know. Zidane, Ralph Gator, what are you thinking? Uh, what are the odds looking like? It's not off to a great start. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Smashing success. I didn't send because because I am I am not working for him. I don't have a cabal. I don't work for a cabal of people that work for Sargon. That's not what I do. I, I'm pretty sure you're a card-carrying member of the, uh, Liberalist? uh, uh, the, the Liberalist. There we go. The Liberalist Lynch have, Squad, identify. that's what they're called. The Liberalist Lynch Squad. They bully the Bully Brigade. It's very tragic. You know, so so that's all. Awesome. Uh, really, all this is about is just getting back at Sargon because you can't. You're just I, I, jealous I, I, of them. I just, that, I just talked real? to him this morning and laughed in his face. Like, obviously, I can. I, I can and I did. Right, because because you're just jealous of him. That's all this really is about. Jealous of what? Making myself look like an asshole <laughs> by starting up Gamergate too? No, I I don't really have jealousy over that. Yeah, you know what what you're jealous about. That's why what, you're avoiding. What am I jealous? Your what am I jealous of? Tell us. Hit us with the hit us with the you're deep. Jealous shows. that that he is basically doing what Anita Sarkeesian did. He is going to. Uh, <laughs> yes, you are he correct. Is Sargon is doing what Anita Sarkeesian did. You fucking called it. Thank you. You said it perfectly. Went to the EU. I mean, went to the EU and actually spoke there. You know, like he is actually doing activism, and that's the only thing that you can't do because <sighs> all your all the people following you, all they care about is laughing at people on the internet. I know it's so weird. Why would why would there be a group of people dedicated to laughing at retards? I think you've got me. I am deeply jealous that Sargon of Akkad is behaving just like Anita Sarkeesian. I wish I could do that, but something holds me back. Maybe it's a moral compunction. Uh, maybe it's just self awareness. I don't know what it is, but I fucking testosterone. Wish, I wish I could be Anita. I really do. Maybe I need to eat more soy so my tits grow like uh, like Carl's. I don't know. I can I can give it a shot. I can work at it. Maybe we can get through this together. You can make me a schedule. We can work on it daily. Are you there, sir? I'm still here. I I just really don't know what what else there is to say. Like we're not going to come come to any kind of agreement. Obviously, like. It, 
I laughed at him. He laughed at me. We had fun, didn't we? Oh, I've definitely enjoyed myself. Yes. I just right. want to say and, one thing. And you wait. Let's you a, let's a Dan you get can say here. whatever you want. Go. Okay. Sure. Like I'm, so I don't, I'm trying aware. that you've been getting bullied this entire time. Yet you started everything. You can't start shit and then cry like like a little faggot that you get bullied. You have tweets from earlier today calling Jim a pedophile uh, and saying that you're that they're terrorists. I think Ralph pulled that up on screen earlier. Yes. And then you go into Sargon's uh, stream and call him a pedo again. You did this to yourself. You started everything. Don't cry about with shit that you start. If you start shit, you're going to get with hit. Him. Right, with him. He didn't message me, no, not once. He didn't tell anybody to go after you. You could look at his tweets. He said nothing of the sort. Jim's not the one that put right. cub porn on your <laughs> fucking he... deviant art. Right, but here he is. Yeah, and yeah, here you are, you. Af after starting shit earlier today. Yeah, laughing at you. Uh, before you go, since you said you're, you're done and we're not going to come to an agreement, um, can, can you say yif well, and, I'm not, can I'm you say yif and hell for fags? Can you say that for us? I'm not doing anything for you. Okay, can you breathe for me? <laughs> I got him! By I mean, the way, people have found your ink bunny too, apparently. So, bet there's some gold in there. But, but, but ink bunny. I, I mean, don't, don't worry about it, it pal. It, I'm it, sure it, everything's it, looking it, up. <laughs> oh, that's it, bitch. <laughs> Gonna be a great weekend for you. I can foresee it. Fun times ahead. I mean, The question really comes to mind, like, why? Just why? Why like, not? No, no, why not? It's a, it's a Thursday me. evening. Why not? Why? Why would anyone do this to anyone? I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're just all twisted people uh, looking to spread misery, and they're all part of a, a bullying cabal. That Ralph runs. I, I have heard Ralph is a terrible person. I can't, I, you know, I, I love to tell him more, but I'm scared. I'm scared he's going to hurt me. And, and look, sir, I, I don't, I forgot your name to be honest. No, no offense, but what you're saying might have some, some merit if you're just some dude that, that was picked out of random and just to pick on. I, you came at him, was. called him a pedophile. No, you weren't. I mean, you came at him calling him a pedophile and you got answered, you know, forcefully was, here on air. He does, and and somehow I like. I have never seen Jim call somebody a pedophile without any evidence whatsoever. I've never seen him do that. So, I mean, if you have some evidence that I don't know of, you can go ahead and give it. But I haven't seen that. I'm not interested in looking into Jim's docs. Who are he's not interested in evidence, Ralph? Please. <laughs> No, so, someone is messaging me and saying, we have Jim's docs, we can help you. Like, no, no, that's not what this is about. This was this was just to fuck with him, and really, I got what I wanted out of it. He, he, I, I think he did. It's me more question. It really is. We should put a banner up behind he's you. And take a <laughs> he's given me more attention than I think I have ever had. <laughs> Perhaps... <laughs> It's really amazing how disconnected with reality this guy is. This is pretty great. Well, you're complaining about know. being bullied and getting attention, and then you're saying you want the attention, so don't cry when you get bullied later. It is negative attention. It really is. Um, yeah, we're like is. five minutes I mean, away from them finding all of your like really shameful, disgusting, care like shit. So you might as well just come out and admit it right now, live on air. Yeah, protecting your tweets isn't going to help. I, ever, somebody's told me they archived everything. No, that that was just so that I could get away from Twitter and like. But they're also messaging me on like. Why Ford would you want to get? Why would you like, want to get away from Twitter? You just said you love the attention. I mean, you must be super happy right now. Unlock that Twitter. Let everybody come in. You need that attention. You want it. You said that's what you're looking for. They're they're going for more than just looking at my accounts. Like I I, I don't know why, but I already have a Kiwi Farms. Like what the fuck is up with that? 
I don't know. You know, like, the Kiwis are like those those weird fucks that live off Australia. I don't know. Maybe maybe you piss that country off somehow. I can't tell you. New Zealand is weird. All I had to do was call you a pedophile. All I had to do was do that. I think it's I more probably related to the Cubs riding bananas and sucking lollipops on your fur affinities. Probably what got people's attention, to be honest with you. I mean, so? Like, what? what's... Like, what's... What's the big deal, man? It's just cub porn. What's the big deal? It's cool. No, I got you. We got you. We know where you stand on this. Everybody's cool. We're all copacetic here. I don't mean to harsh your mellow. I mean... <laughs> Harsh your well, buzz. I mean, like, like you haven't actually, like, do you have anything? Like, that's that's the thing that I don't understand. I know, it would be terrible for me I... to make a claim and then not have any evidence for it. That would make me a massive cunt when that... Yeah, but that's all you've got. Boy, now, it's like not to say zero self-awareness, right? Like, <laughs> Did anybody catch that? Like, or I just, was that too confusing? Did I put that better? My only concern is, like, seriously, if if I see something coming in for real, like, that that's going to be... My question is, can I come to you and talk to you about that? Because that, would that cross a line for you? That's the question. Like, would other people doing it? things to you cross a line for me? There are other people. Why would I care what they do? Because you might have some sense of morality? I don't fucking know. You want me to control strangers? Do you think I'm some kind of internet god? So that's a no. You just don't care. Well, yeah, I mean, it's two, It's a two for really. One, I really don't care. But two, how would I control other people? Can you control other people? Do you have a special ability we should know about? It's like X-Men kind of thing? Are you Jean Grey? The furry Jean Grey? <laughs> I think it helps. I think it really does help when you tell people when you tell people just don't. Like for you, buddy, you know what? I'm going to put it out there. Hey, everybody, just don't. Just don't. They know what it's about. Just don't. I gave okay. you a three. I gave you a three right there. Here's a fourth one. Just don't. Hopefully, hopefully that I coded mean, message is clear. Well, I mean, I like I said, I'm more than happy to go ahead and, and un like I want to go to bed. Okay, <laughs> you go to sleep. You get so some rest. I, I, oh, that's there's a sarcasm <laughs> yeah. for you right there. Oh, I'm so tired, sleepy. sleepy. Oh, it's so tiring. How, how long do you want me for? Because I can. I mean, I no, can it's fine. Longer, I, think but... I, I think we've had a good conversation. I think this has been. I think this has been something okay. special. Well, well all I, like I said, all I'm asking is just call off your dogs. That that would be cool. Well, they're that not my dogs, really cool. but I mean, I did throw that special message out for you. Hey, everybody, just just don't, just don't, you know, just don't. I think you're about to get a okay. lot of attention. If I have to make my guess, yeah. I probably am because I'm going to go ahead and 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 undo the protection on my tweets, and, and I'm probably. <laughs> I know it's fucking stupid. I should not do this. This is this is so fucking I stupid. I have one. I have one recommendation for you before you go. One. I think I'm we sorry, can all agree with that. that. Really, I mean, I think that's the message I'm walking behind. <laughs> All right, sir. You have anything else? We don't want to keep you past your bedtime, you know. No, like I said, like I, I'm happy to stay on here and continue Which to see if y'all want to. Like, no, don't you be silly. We what? don't want to interfere with your beauty sleep. I want you to get a good night rest for all the positivity that's awaiting you. Because we've told them just don't. So I think it's going to be sunshine and fucking rainbows from here on out. To be honest with you, I doubt it. I'm sure I'm still going to get messages and and things like that. And I mean, like they're messaging. You're trailing off there. It's okay. Why don't you show him the door? Yeah. Show him the door so he can go get a good night's sleep. Thank it's you, uh, Car Carusi. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, you're gonna need that rest. I have a feeling. Uh... Dip, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I also saw Andy's in the chat. I think he's had a few drinks or something. He 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 linked me to to some short fat otaku video. 
I don't know what he meant what he meant by that, but uh, well, I, hey, thanks for letting me use your stream. I mean, he's the one that kind of wanted yeah. to do it. But, um, you know, yeah. I think we all learned some special things tonight. You know, I, what was it? Just don't. Um, Cubs riding bananas and sucking <laughs> lollipops is totally cool. Uh, you know, um, Sargon is amazing and you shouldn't stab him in the back. And, I, I, you know, jealous Jim just can't handle the fact that Sargon's acting like Anita. I think he really has some deep insight into that. <laughs> and um, he really fucking blew me out of the water. I'll be honest. I, I didn't expect that from him. Yeah. Yeah, I know. All right. Well, I'll let you get back to your show. I know you were doing the quarter pounder thing. Yeah, yeah, I think quartering's probably, yeah, we'll probably play that Kanye clip. I don't know if you saw that yet today, but yeah, we'll probably play that next. Oh, I'm sure you can get quartering back in. I mean, what is he going to do? Go to his live stream of 10 people? No, he'll come back. <laughs> 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 All right, you guys take it easy. Let her do it. Fantastic. Yeah, but I, I should have, have a perfect time for Sargoy that. Sargoy Avocad's fine with target lists going on. Oh, wait, there, there's uh, Jim. How you do, sir? No, you sent me an invite. I didn't want to miss this. I got the front row seat to this shit. <laughs> yes, why not? Why not? Well, let's just make it a party. Let's just Gamergate 2.0, am I right? Well, I'm oh, down for Gamergate 2.0. Rise up. Down for <laughs> gamers, gamers rise up, yeah. I think they should. I, I, I don't think we need to. Keemstar took care of that shit himself in a day. <laughs> did he? Yeah. He did, actually. How, what with the Diablo stuff was that? He got uh, he got the guy's channel back pretty much you know instantly. Yeah. Awesome. Keemstar, Keemstar got shit done pretty quick, yeah. Good man. Mm-hmm. Gamers He's rose up, and then they sat back oh. down. <laughs> they started playing their games again. They started playing their fucking games again. <laughs> Well, I guess the problem will persist then, won't it? No, oh, yeah, I know. Uh, so, uh, how's the the de de platforming going, Sargon? Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it's 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 weird. Do you that think you're next? It's weird that you'd go on Joe Rogan. It's weird you you'd go on. Do you think you're it, next? It's weird you'd go on Joe Rogan and cry for thirty minutes about journalists coming do you think, after you. Do you think you're next, Jim? And then you know, retweet stuff targeting uh, journalists. You're afraid. I'm coming for you, Jim. I, I don't know why are you why are you using the tactics of the people that you bitch about all the time well, and make money off of? But you see, I, I've decided to defect to the SJWs. I work with for the Wall Street Journal now. I'm actually well, you're, you're tweeting at them. You're tweeting at yeah, them. Yeah, with, yeah. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, caps I'm, I'm, to get I'm Andy Worski in trouble. A new did he, did he make too many? Show? Did he make too many suit jokes for your taste, Carl? Yes. Yeah, yeah it I, was the suit. I was really bothered about it. I, I, thought, I heard. You know, I heard. I, I heard. I just be well, yeah, I can no, actually no, get the Wall Street Journal. Well, we can talk right over each other. I can do that all day too. You do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's not a problem. I that's just. I, I find it amazing that you just deplatform people. I bet you do. You're such a fucking snake. I am. I, I can you do are. it with a retweet. I can literally do it with a retweet. You better be careful. It's the attempt. It's the same shit. You're not afraid. You know, it's worried. It's the same thing. Oh, my channel already went down and it went back up again. Thanks to Keemstar. Gamers rise up, Carl. Yeah. Oh, I'll, yeah. I'll have to keep trying. I'll go for the New York Times next. I bet. Yeah, I'm I bet sure if you, I do a you probably, you probably would. You probably I would. would. Yeah, yeah. No, Jim, literally, that's what I'm about to do. I, I, I like your I'm... damage control today, by the way. I thought it was brilliant. <laughs> okay, yeah. I yeah. thought it was brilliant going on your yeah. stream and admitting Thank that you. Andy Worski was correct when he said you dox young boys on Facebook. That's really <laughs> Is, no, is no, someone's name doxing them, Jim? I, I thought that now, you're okay. showing his pictures, talking about him, showing his Ooh, name. I, I, I am. I you am. said yes when Andy said, oh, oh, oh here's Jim Carl Benjamin to, doxing. Jim, why are you, why are you to... looking up pictures of young boys on Facebook, Carl? What's going on, buddy? Yeah. What's going on, buddy? Does it depend they, on the child? Why are you looking up their pictures on Facebook, champ? They were coming to me from you. Oh, the little boys were coming to you, were they? Yeah. Did you have a it's candy man parked out from your house? You can see it. Was there a little Was there a little bell ringing along? Is that it? They were literally your stalking kids children kids. on Facebook because they make fun of you. God, you've yeah. lost touch. You've I lost. Know, I know. It's terrible touch with reality. Holy shit, Carl! Yeah, you should go to the Wall Street Journal. Is there a, is it. there a joke or banter here? I'm waiting for your hot take. I'm waiting for you. You're the you're the, you, you're you've the, had you're five years the jester, right? with SJWs. Where's Jim, the, the where's the fire, Carl? So do you do you guys agree with Ralph that the SJWs just met over? Who hat. cares? We're talking about your ass. Who cares about well, the SJWs? I care about SJWs. Well, of course you That's do. You're a you fucking broken about. record. We've heard this shit for the last five years. We're talking and about Ralph's you today. channel got taken out for, for hate speech. Yeah, and then you, yeah, you, and happily, yeah, yeah. Retweeted, you happily retweeted at the people that did it to try to have yeah. it to Andy because you're a cunt. Yeah. You're a snake. You're a and fucking you're next. snake. You're next, Jim. You're, you're next. a snake. Just you're like your friends Jim. are snakes. Just like Kraut yeah, was a snake. A total nest of vipers. You're better than us and you're covered in shit. Good job. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You yeah, you're, you're, you are brilliant, Carl. I mean, yeah. it's great that you just show this off, going after kids yeah. on Facebook, trying to get yeah, Andy taken off out. because he makes fun of you. I'll retweet something and get you off the internet too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If Anita had done that, you'd have made 18 <laughs> videos about it and cried on Rogan for an hour and a half. Yeah. Remember yeah. when he told you to shut up and stop be, you know, pretending to be a victim? Because you cry a lot when people make fun of you. Oh, I'm, I'm terrible. I just like you that. got upset that Andy made fun yeah. of uh, what happened to your wife. You know, I haven't talked yeah. about that. 
I don't but, care. Uh, but didn't you shit on Thunderfoot for you know his criticism that you guys should be making fun of a dead feminist because he shot his girlfriend? And you're like, oh, Thunderfoot's a pussy. You should learn to live with it. And now so you're upset. When did I? When did Andy's I complain? That to you? When, when did I complain? I don't know. It's probably on one of your numerous fucking Twitter. Well, why don't you, why don't you that get that for me? Why don't you get that for me? Oh yeah, let me just you know open yeah, up my time on, machine. We're, we're all waiting for you. Where, okay, where did great. I complain? Oh yeah, yeah. No, like, is, is oh, you, didn't, didn't, you didn't have a you didn't have a criticism. Uh, oh, right? Jim, Jim, it sucks. Did you, you not? Oh. So it sucks when you call out. Just go get me a citation, Jim. I'll wait. Oh, oh, you need a citation? Do you Reddit? Well, yeah. Oh, well, maybe while we wait, you can go <laughs> oh. steal some more meme. Huh? Huh, Carl? I don't know what you're <laughs> laughing about. I, you. I don't know what you were laughing you about. Like, you've, you've been called out. You've been caught you doing the shit. You've, you've been caught doing thinking. the shit you co- you've accused other people of doing for years. Yeah. You fucking faggot. You tried Jim, to I'm, deplatform I'm people. Jim, I'm going to shut down. You the tried to deplatform people, Carl. There's no way around it. That's what you did. You don't even know what I'm going to retweet. You tried next. to get out your channel. <laughs> you tried to get people taken off of YouTube. Yeah. You're a fucking pussy, Carl. You're a giant yeah. fucking pussy, yeah. Carl. Yeah, I'm coming for your channel next. Yeah. Oh, you're so yeah. Be afraid. You better tremble. I've I've got 24 hour ops going on you. You're super funny. I know. Trying to take people's channels out because they make fun of you. What a pussy yeah. you are! You're no different than you're Anita. Next. I keep telling you, no you're different next. than Anita, Carl. You're the same. I think thing. I might. Uh, I mean, I think I'm uh, live thing, reporting Carl. your Sunday stream. How should I? Should I do that? Oh, you can try again if you can get the audio to work. Yeah. You dumb fuck. <laughs> it's, <good enough. laughs> it's tough being a boomer on the internet. You'd know about that. So, no, well, you would. You're older yes, than me. You, you would, stupid Carl. asshole. <laughs> you're older than I am, Carl. You're oh, older. Hi, you're older than I am, Carl. Tell me how old you are. I'm 37. You've read my docs. Don't be stupid. I haven't, actually. I've got it on my desktop, if you want. No, Every you, you put my name in the title of your video, Carl. What are you talking about? I know. Oh, was that your name, is it, Mr. O'Shaughnessy? Yeah, it is. That yeah. is my name, Carl. Yeah. yeah. Really? That's not what I've heard, actually. So, you're older than I am. So, what is it with the boomer shit, old man? Do you know what I've heard, Jim? What's that? I've heard that it's not your name. I've heard that it's a fake docs. And I've heard a convincing story as to why we should think that's a fake docs. Oh, so you discuss my docs in detail yes. with people, do you? That's oh, smart, yeah. Carl. You're looking really good today. Really bad. Yeah, I'm, 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 you're a smart boy. I'm, I'm, you're a smart boy, Carl. Oh, listen to this dumb fuck walking of a conversation. God. Holy shit, you're dumb. God, you're I'm stupid. I'm coming to shut down your channel, Jim. You just admitted you're sitting in conversations yes. discussing my docs. I'm docs. doxing, yes. We're running 24 I've hours. I've heard a convincing story. With the God, Wall Street Journal to dox and shut you down, Jim. Oh, man, you're stupid. You're dumber than quarter pounder. <laughs> At least he had the excuse of being drunk. What's yours? Cocaine? No, 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 no mountains of cocaine. But you weren't no joking, crap. Sargon. You were clearly being serious when he talked about you had a convincing I'm, story. I'm being totally serious, Ralph. I mean, is it? I don't know. You, how long have I been running Antifa? <laughs> like, how long have I been working with them? Nobody said you were. You're too fat to be Actually, an Antifa. Like, <laughs> you they wouldn't let you in. They need somebody you know, you to run from you stronger people. Citation, if you want, Jim. Is that or does that matter? Was it a noggin job? You have, you have a citation that says you run Antifa. Yeah, from Gaza, uh, in fact. Oh, okay, great. And you're misrepresenting what I said. So I, what I said I, I, I was don't... one of the sources for the Wall Street Journal article was Storyful, and Mike Enoch pointed out on Twitter that Storyful is run in part by Michael E. Hayden, who is a open and avowed supporter of Antifa. So the fact that the Wall Street Journal sourced them and apparently yeah. sourced somebody that's in your camp, I'm not really? saying it was you specifically, but <laughs> sourced one of the people in your camp. So okay. Uh, just, hands up, Jamie. Do, do, you to, do, you, do you want me to? If you've got an email address, I can send you the emails the correspondence that I had with the Wall Street Journal. I'll, I'll send you it as long as you promise to read it on the on the uh, stream. Uh, who, are you, who, who are we talking to? <laughs> yeah, any of you? I, I don't run the stream, asshole. Do you want Why my, you you want my correspondence with the Wall Street Journal yeah. or not? No, I yeah, mean. It's, it's, Send, send it. I'm sure. Address. I'm sure. Okay. The, everybody, my email is public, Sargon. The Ralph at the Ralph Retour dot com. Okay. Hang on a second. A very hard email. Ralph, very he hard. doesn't watch you, and he doesn't know that he's in the European yes. Parliament. So, <laughs> I get with it. so uh, while, unironically while, that, Jim. Unironically while, that. While you do that, Sargon, why are you acting like a white nigger and trying to fucking say that Jim is involved? Oh, that's a good point, Jim. Are you sure you want me to reveal your part in this? Oh, go ahead. I'm I'm dying to hear this. Yeah, I thought you would be. Uh, sorry, hang on a second. Ralph, it's just, is it the Ralph? Did you say it? The Ralph Retort.com? That's correct, yes. I mean, I sh- I'm sure it's going to be some poor attempt at humor, but uh, I-, I figured I might as well. Wow. 
I guess while we're waiting for this, I'll go apologize to Kraut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, by the way, Dominic Peso sent me this. Uh, he wanted me to pull it up. Have a happy Christmas. I gathered the docs of Coach Red Pill. Uh, he said, I gave them to the Guardian because I thought you would defend them. Don't be too rough on those who worked with me. Uh, and that, of course, is from Kraut himself. We showed that on air before, but... Uh, just I don't know, when you guys are bringing this up, why don't you just play the audio where Kraut demands that people go dox a 16-year-old girl? Because I'm not we, Kraut and I don't give a shit. No, no, I'm talking to Ralph. I'm not talking to you, Applebee's. Do we have that? Oh, that's yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'd be, I'd that's be up on, that's up on or That's up on Zeph's SoundCloud. He wanted her address, her name, her information. Okay, well, I'm only sticking around while we're actually talking about me. I know that's kind of... Oh, you're the one that said we needed to apologize to Kraut. Sargon, you gotta go. Sargon Sleepy. Well, it's nearly four in the morning. Sleepy. Oh yeah, so tired. Oh, go get do you know? Sleepy. Do you have? Do you not have so, time zones in America? Oh, so sleepy. The... Oh. Do you don't have time zones. Okay. Sargon, you're the one so who Sargon. said we... time zones in Minnesota, Jim. You said we needed to apologize to him. I think you should, yeah. If I were in your well, position, I'm, I'm telling you why we shouldn't. Okay. We well, should apologize because Kraut ran a second server. Oh, by dear. the way. I have access. I was the one that helped publish all of the shit that was in that server and showed everybody what was in that server. By the way, the video that came out that was associated with that showed V on the stream with Kraut and Tonka and everybody and saying that you were going to come on. You were actually going to come on that hangout with everybody in there. Okay. So you can keep playing your little games and yeah, trying to look. defend Kraut while trying to say at the same time that Kraut did nothing wrong while trying to distance yourself. You can play that game all you want to. Okay, listen, listen, everybody okay. can Have, look at the evidence and everybody can see what's okay. going on here, Sargon. Okay, everybody listen, knows you're a listen, liar. Listen, right, listen. I don't disavow Kraut at all. I, in fact, completely avow every single thing he's ever said or done. How's that? Fantastic. Works for me. Great. Okay. Yeah, I see. I see your uh, correspondence. Uh, I did say I would read it. It says, "Ralph, you are a fucking retard." There you yeah. go. I read That's it. That's the interaction I've had with. The I mean, I'm not the one who just sat here on live stream saying I was um, you know, I, you trying know to what, collect Ralph, Jim's dog. It took dog. that long for a damn! It took that long just to do that. God, yeah. you're old. Fuck. Yeah, I am. I'm a <laughs> Oh, you old fucking <laughs> man. I mean, that's, that's real. That's striking home. Well, yeah, I just, you know, I wanted to try being you for a minute and steal an insult and use it against you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you need to practice your snuckles. Yeah, no. I'm you used sure. to be famous for them. I can't believe you've turned into this fucking blowhard. Mm -hmm. Like, you're not fun anymore, Jim. It's really oh, funny. that's rich coming from you. Nobody's laughed at a single thing you've said the whole Dude. time you've been here. You're fucking like dead air. I at least totally failure. Agree. At least failure totally has agree. the excuse of not talking. But when you talk, it's like there's nothing coming out. Tot totally agree, man. Totally agree. Okay, well, yeah, I just wanted you to, you know, yeah. to know you're a fucking snake, know, yeah. and it's yeah. obvious what you do. Yeah. yeah, but you're better than me, so that's okay. Well, I'm not the one contacting the Wall Street Journal after making a video defending PewDiePie. I you guess you just one wanted those clicks. I'm better than you. You just wanted those be? clicks and those views and the money, huh? You don't really yeah. believe in shit. You just want to make money. Jim, you know what you are. I tell you, you know what, Jim, what you are, Carl. You're, you're just get your hard. channel taken down. You're I'm going to make such just... a fucking funny video. Hey, why don't you make some I'm going to dance on your grave, Jim. Awesome. Why don't you make some t-shirts like you did in Gamergate? Remember when you monetized that with your shit? I was actually Gamergate thinking about getting a Mr. Mesca t-shirt. So I think they're quite popular. Yeah. Do you, uh, think well, you, should talk, you should talk to the artist, the one who owns the copyright. Yeah, maybe maybe I will. Well, good luck, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll just do it and hope they see Like me. Like that fucking gay-ass Kekistan shirt you wore? Fucking Joe Rogan? By the way. Someone yeah. else made that, and I bought that off someone else's website. And you got laughed off by fucking Joe Rogan because you couldn't stop oh. talking about Anita. Well, I'll tell you like, what. No one gives a fuck. Wait, wait, wait. I'm you're better when you're on Joe Rogan. Sargon, uh, somebody else joined uh, Keemstar is in the call. Sargon, I want to know, Keem. like, obviously somebody has went to the Wall Street Journal, <clears throat> most likely an enemy of the right. kill stream, right, and right. tipped them off. I mean, this... This lady has no idea what the hell the kill stream is, what this community is mm. of all you guys. I mean, no idea. Somebody went there and said, hey, look, you know, this show's racist. Something needs to be done. Write an article. Who, do you, right. who would you think that was? I don't know. I mean, didn't you guys have like a trending stream on there? I mean, yeah, it was. It was definitely trending. Yeah. So okay. why wouldn't YouTube notice that? It was probably like the biggest stream on the platform or something. Yeah, but it wasn't YouTube. YouTube it was the journalist. doesn't notice that yeah. Peppa Pig 24-7 stream is violating copyrights either. They do. They take them down. I know because I actually watch them with my kids. I mean, YouTube, <laughs> YouTube them, noticed this. Them, they'll just take them down. YouTube noticed the stream and it was trending. But due to the nature of the stream, YouTube said, uh, we don't want this untrending, but we're not going to 
shut it down. We're not going to do anything. We don't want to end trending. But when YouTube took it down, like completely shut the channel down and all that, that was because a Wall Street Journal article was coming. Yeah. Out. It, so it seems that way, doesn't it? I don't know. I just like, I'm thinking of this guy who, you know, people made fun of him. They were making jokes about him. So then he would like try to shut down their videos and false flag them. Is he he noggin jogging, is it? I mean, his name's Matt. I mean, he's a a boulder collector. I don't even even think it was Monday, Matt. I I actually think that they can figure this out on their own. I mean, they they don't like YouTube. It's just strange because, you know, when when the kill stream got taken down, mm-hmm. Matt he decided to do a charity event, right? Well, he did it. Um, he organized it before the kill stream was taken offline. Is there any proof of that? Yeah, I've got proof. Hmm, that's interesting. You got proof? What's what's yeah, the proof? Yeah, because he messaged me on Tuesday. When was Ralph taken off? Uh, Ralph. I think it was a Friday, but uh, so yeah. you're saying he messaged you the Tuesday before. Yeah, I got taken yeah, off. Hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll... But I will say this: the journalist clearly didn't know what she was talking about. She had been yeah, put on this story. I, I this wasn't like, something just, uh, she yeah, just yeah. found I, on I her own because you. she her 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 messages to me are e- well. The one email she sent to me, you can just tell she lacked a clear understanding of what the fuck was even going on. on YouTube, like, oh, did YouTube take the video down? You know, who splits the money on super chats? Like, she she really didn't know what the fuck was going on. Somebody yeah, interrupted and was like, he had no idea. But let, let's be real. Who who Somebody is much more likely? Like, if if it's going to be someone coming after you guys, why wouldn't it be some of the SJWs from Twitter? Well, it's not. It's not you guys. It's Ralph. It's it's Ralph's show. It's yeah. his show was the one that got taken down. Um, but the thing is, it's just during that charity stream, somebody made a comment um, about. You know how this reporter didn't do a thorough job. I think it was Andy that that raised the question, you know, that the reporter should have, you know, had some screenshots of the racist uh, super chats and all that. And mundane Matt was like, oh, well, in her defense, the videos get taken down and, you know, um, you know, maybe she she couldn't see those and the re uploads. And it was just it was so weird for him to go this extra mile to like defend the reporter on this stupid little mistake. It's like it, to me, it felt like he knows the reporter. He's been talking to the reporter for quite some time. And, you know, he wanted to go out of his way to like defend her in some way and her journalistic abilities. OK, well, I don't know. I, did, I didn't see him defending. her. I don't have any idea. He was. Okay. And then we got this Tommy C character. Are you friends with this guy? Or do you talk to this guy at all? Tommy C. Tom, his name's Tommy C. Does he go by an alias? Uh, shot from the point, Tommy C. I don't know. Basically, he's um, best friends with Kraut. Right. No, I don't know. Anyhow, he's been talking about all the stuff going on. You know, Kraut, Jim, the kill stream. He's been. Yeah talking about this on streams nonstop. The minute the kill stream got taken down, he uploads this video and says, I'm not covering this anymore, guys. I'm not going to talk about this no matter what. Even if Jim attacks me, even if Jim attacks me, I'm not going to respond. Now, I have know I know this Tommy C guy very well. I was on a podcast with him. This guy is literally looking and seeking for anybody to get in a fight with. So he has content. You know, this okay. is just simply not him. Totally out of character. Okay, well, I don't know anything about this. So, well, when you say wouldn't it be SAWs? You know, we make fun of you and Money Matt much more than we've ever made fun of uh, SAWs on this program. You know, it make more sense for it to be. I mean, I mean, you ask him. So, no, no, but Ralph, like, look, I'm not. I'm honestly not trying to be a dick, right? But I don't see what you do as being anything that I would care about. I mean, you're here on the show right now. You know, that's only because V's and like telling me, look, you should do this because they're, they're saying you got the Wall Street Journal to do something. And I'm like, okay, well, what's the proof? A retweet after the event. It's like, okay, that's dumb. Well, why did you retweet that? Because it's funny. Because fuck you, Ralph. That's why. Was it funny? Yeah, to me. It's funny. You. It's funny to try to, you know, get yeah, people to sick, sick them on Andy. That's what the tweet yeah, was trying to do. Yeah. It was funny to spread it's, that around. Why is that funny? Noggin, so noggin. we were already taken down. Why is it funny to try to take you. his channel down? Fuck you. Okay. Well, your kid dying was fucking funny. How about that? 
Now you want wonder why I say fuck you. Well, I didn't say that until you said shit like that. <laughs> okay, Ralph. I never once, I never once made yeah, those jokes, even though they were there else. for the taking. No, never anything. God damn it, Ralph! I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, Ralph, Ralph, that was just the worst you thought you could do, and I don't care because there isn't a combination of words in the English language that you can assemble that will offend me. Okay. Well. But why was that funny? He, he tagged the FBI and everything in it. Why is that funny? Why is it haha? I'm so it's such a big joke. <laughs> Like Be because it makes you guys piss yourselves. So so if we start sending stuff to to people in the UK about you when they already call you all right, is that funny? When they start deplatforming, will that be funny, Sargon? Are you, are you, will are it? Are you honestly asking this unironically? Yeah, no, I am. I am because you, you think it's hilarious. But what right. if they start doing it too? You start crying like a little bitch, wouldn't you? Didn't, didn't you like, oh, really oh, try no, and no, fail me. at this? We didn't send it to anyone, you idiot. We just That's laughed at it because we laugh at you. Who do we send it to? You kept. We didn't send it to UKIP, you idiot. Not, not, none of us did. Your encouragement. What do you mean encouragement? I don't think I have to explain that. I think even a what child do you mean? Could were, were, were we telling people you to do it? Were, yeah, yeah, yeah. were we telling people to yeah. do it? Yeah. Yes or no? Yes. No, we were not. Yes, you were. Not once did we talk. Oh, okay. Show us. Show us. Show us. Show us. Show us. Where we told them. Show us. 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 Show uh, you, don't citation needed. <laughs> you don't need one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what being consistent is. That's what I thought. You're inconsistent, you fat faggot. That's okay. what you are. You all cry right. like a little bitch when somebody says anything about you. You cry when mm -hmm. people go after you. You cry about all this bullshit. <laughs> you make fucking videos after videos about it. Oh, Adina did this to me. Oh, somebody did this to me. Look, they're painting me as a white nationalist. Boo hoo. I'm Sargon of a card. Yet when that you do it, it's fine. It's funny. To. It's just a joke. That that was just embarrassing to listen to. You're embarrassing to listen to. Yeah. Well, I is there anything know. else? No, I, 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 I think we've had our appetite. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll take, I'll take <laughs> that resounding silence. Isn't it? I don't know. Well, okay, I mean, I could read out this well, comment. Well, I'm going to go by your stupidity. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's well, uh, yeah, you want ooh, to say ooh. you're a fucking idiot. Got me, Jen. You, you got talk right about doxing kids on Facebook and fucking trying to deplatform people and act I'm like gonna it's not a I'm big gonna deal. I'm going to dox you tomorrow, though. I'm you act like it's not a big deal. I remember. I'm going to set up a stream called Dox a Palooza. Yeah, yeah, you're your doc. like last time. Really? Yeah, again. Oh, yeah. two days yeah, in advance. Yeah, hello, Jim. Yeah, yeah okay. Real smart. Well, I was waiting for the goodbye. To be honest, I thought goodbye meant goodbye, but you can't stop talking about it, can you? You're the one that came on here. You asked to come on, Carl. You asked to come on, attention whore. What are you talking about? Why did you come on? You asked to come on, attention. Go away, Jim. I was, I, to to I was invited by the host, you stupid fuck. You, you don't, don't have to go. go. You don't run this show, Sargon. What oh, really? Don't I? Who does run it? Do you run it? Ralph does, idiot. What Seems are you like talking Matthew about? You run it. Ralph, God, you're you, so well, dumb. Who did you, who did you ask when you wanted to come on the show? You didn't ask Jim. You asked me. So who do you think yeah, runs it? So why is Jim running the ship? He's not. I he's asked him a question, and then I responded to his question, and he gets so upset. Okay. But anyway, that's a, that's a nice new, a nice new tactic. Anything, God, you guys need to really get your shit together and try to bring your A game because you've been right. fucking up a lot lately. Crowd was a disaster. Yeah. Quartering and his bullshit was a disaster. You oh, were really? a disaster. Yeah, what, really. What, what happened with the quartering? Hell, hello, hello, Jim. Stream was a disaster. What a fucking uh, embarrassment that was. It, it doesn't feel like a disaster. Well, go look at your like dislike ratio, idiot. Uh, that Remember when he told James tells me you have a gang of groomed children? That's well, it. you did. That's not what you told James Elsop when you said, "Oh, your videos. Look at your videos. Uh, like dislike ratio. That should tell you something." Yeah, well, take, that your that funny, take your own take your own fucking advice, Carl. Genius. Take your own advice, Carl. God, you're such a moron, Jim. <laughs> like it's honestly amazing to hear you act. You're the only one laughing at your own yeah. fucking quips, idiot. I know. That's one more than you. Holy shit. God, you're dumb. God, he's so <laughs> stupid. You're fucking <laughs> awful at this. Got me, Jim. Nailed it. Fucking All right, well, why don't you run back and you can have your little pet gypsy suck your nuts. Well, uh, you did such okay, a good job it's, today. It's four in the morning, Jim. Do you say, I mean, you're, you're probably a night owl. Go work on Andy getting, getting him taken off YouTube. Yeah, go work on Andy. You've already got to start on it. Yeah. You, you can go finish well, that up. Maybe Kraut can help you. He knows how to work with journalists to get people to platform. He, he can help you. He's already done it once, so you can yeah. help from crowd to do it, yeah. Sargon, I think your problem is you're full of shit. Oh, that's that's easy to solve, isn't it? <laughs> what he, is he still here? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't he, he just went pretty quiet after that. Uh, am, am I being deplatformed?
<laughs> no, you're still here. You, you feel free. Right, I am. I am gonna go. Cause I know. You, I know. You said we were scared to have you on and all this and that. And you well, you messaged me and you know you, you wanted were, on. You weren't replying for ages. But no, fair play to you. You did have. Me well, on. You know, I got shit going on. Sargon, the world's biggest YouTuber, just featured me in his video today. You know, I, I, great you know, job. You call me Big Man me? Ralph. I mean, it, it's coming true, Sargon. So, do you, do you remember when he featured me? No, nah, we don't really. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not remember the first time the Wall Street Journal attacked him? Uh, no, I don't. Not ringing any bells. Uh, 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 and there's some newspaper clippings. There's some pictures of you, Farage. We'll put them yes. on our walls. You at the yeah. European Parliament. Go ahead and email that to me, too. <laughs> yeah, good luck saving the West. Okay. Talk about Nino some more. Right. Well, since you guys seem to have uh, blown over somewhat, I'll... Uh... Blown oh, over, it, idiot! You made yourself look like a fucking retard today. Oh, I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. You've shown everybody what you are. I thought, hey, listen to you talking about how funny it is to try to get Andy D platforms. Fuck just, off! Yeah, you're a snake. I'm, I'm going to get you to platforms as well. I'm just waiting. You're a it. snake. You can try to, you can try to use it and try to be sarcastic, but it doesn't, it doesn't change a thing. Doesn't change a thing. Doesn't change a thing, Carl. Doesn't change a thing. Everybody can see what you did. Did he leave? Yes, he left. Oh, he needs he needs some more dopamine. That's, that's Can his... I say that or is he still? Dopamine. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> but that's his thing. Like, oh, he just always tries to everything. You know, he's being accused of. You know, rightfully so. Uh, no, all he, he you know, here, here's joke. what he does. Yes. Yeah, here's what he does when he comes into a conversation. Uh, if you ask him a question, he'll say, oh, "Do you unironically believe that <laughs> uh, people should be smart enough to know that?" Uh, you've got to be kidding me, right? I'm not going to explain. I'm not going to provide a citation. Uh, and then he'll talk over you. That's yeah. all he does. That's every fucking conversation with Sargon. And then he gets sleepy, you know, Sargonism number two, and he has to go take a beauty nap. You don't honestly believe that, do you? I, I mean, he could try to play it off all he wants, but listen, you're being targeted by a journalist. You've been thrown off of YouTube. The article's about to hit, and here's this asshole retweeting people that are trying to get a hold of the Wall Street Journal to get Andy pulled off of fucking YouTube, too. And he wants to act like that's not a big deal, and it's just a joke. If it happened to him or one of his fuck buddies, if Anita or another SJW did it, He'd be crying about it in 48 fucking videos. He'd be on Joe Rogan talking about it for an hour and a half. But it's okay because he doesn't like Andy, so it's acceptable. And his whole timeline fuckery, uh, you know, I'm not making jokes about his kid or his wife. You are. But uh, you're, you didn't make those until today. He tweeted this shit out uh, to October 22nd. Yeah, by the way, they're jokes. You know, I don't, I'm don't, i not glad his kid died or whatever. But uh, I'm just yeah, but saying. My, my point still stands. He did this before there was malice there. Yes. So he wanted to, you know, oh, it's just a joke. It's just banter. It's just funny. No, it's not, Carl. You're trying to get people thrown off a platform. You think you can take advantage of the situation. You're throwing them to the wolves. You'll do videos sucking the dicks of any YouTuber that's bigger than you to get views and clicks and subscribers. But when it's actually happening, you know, to people and there's no benefit to you, you're, you're a cunt. You're just a dirty fucking cunt. And I, just watching these people do their, their gay little ops, they're so fucking awful at them. I mean, look at this disaster today. He admits to, you know, stalking fucking kids on Facebook to try to own them. And then he uh, fucking gets outed tweeting at the fucking Wall Street Journal about Andy. What a dumb motherfucker. Oh, and then, of course, don't forget this very conversation where he's like, well, I have a, a better idea of what your docs are. We've been having conversations. Well, why are you sitting around talking about my docs? That wasn't a joke docs? when he said that either. I mean, and then that's another thing. So anytime you, and then you start to ask him about it, just, and then he tries to turn into a joke. It's like, motherfucker, you weren't joking. Like, he was dead serious with what he was saying. I don't know. It's just pathetic. That's always uh, his thing. I, oh, I don't just know. Make it a joke. I don't know. I, I, you know, I've got a fucking action-packed Sunday Funday oh, coming guaranteed. up. I mean, you've got. I've got so much shit uh, from these. Idiots. Like, it's going to be a twenty-four hour stream at this point with the amount of dumb <laughs> shit these fucking morons do. They light themselves on fire every day. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump. But yeah, uh, so, I think oh, Andy, I think Andy go. wanted on. If, uh, oh, yeah, if definitely, we'll, we'll bring him on. But also, just a real quick before you go, Carol the Wolf. Uh yeah, yeah, Carol the Wolf's under a police investigation. Wow. I hope you'll fill us in more on that on Sunday. What time Sunday? Uh, Sunday Funday will be, I was going to do three. I'm going to do it a little bit later, 4 p.m. Central, so 5 p.m. Eastern. All right, very good. Thank nice. you, Jim, for joining us. Hopefully, Jeremy can wait. Okay, Quartering, just hold on. The stream is coming. I know you're really excited. It's coming, and you can super chat all those naughty things and try your best to get me thrown off, just like your daddy Sargon's trying. All right, yeah. you guys take it easy. Thanks, man, you too. Thank Where is you. Andy?